somebody touch my spaghetti! I regret nothing. Please clap. Big black butt. Oh my god. There's too much gold today. There was a lot of gold that had transpired on the internet from one Philip Brunel. Oh my god. Please clap. I, I just don't understand how how is it that this man who plays the games very boringly decides to give us content that's just gold it i i'm surprised it just leaves me in a state of bewilderment it, it's it befuddles me more than likely i would make a video about this like i really would but the amount of gold dust i might as well stream instead and then watch when someone comments on this said hey why don't you just edit the beginning part of the stream you don't need it and it's like Motherfucker, this is a goddamn VOD. Please clap. Ah. Uh, I regret nothing. I, re I do regret nothing here. I, I really don't. Atlas and if you can shoot, let's go. Eventually. Eventually, I want to join in on Atlas. I did it once, but that was with Brand Dude, though. Brand Dude, Atlas, and myself did a stream together. But that was like in, I believe, last October, I believe. Last October, maybe November, I forget when it was, but I do want to. Today truly was the premiere of all time. Oh, oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> and it, <laughs> it was bad. It, it, it was very bad. Please clap. Anyways, let's start. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort. It's like too much gold that someone could carry on their back, and at the very end of it, they have to go back for more. Snort, tell you. Drip. Snort, snort. I got the drip. Yeah. We got a lot to discuss. We really do. Um, 
Namely, what is going to happen here? There we go. In this week, in the next... I hate how it goes to 720. I hate it. Couple of weeks. Uh, what the next major game is that I'm playing. Um, the reason that we have to have this discussion today is because I feel like our train has gone off the rails. I know, Phil, Phil, Phil. Your train was already off the goddamn rails. It was a train wreck. And you keep taking that same train while it's wrecked. And you're just wrecking it even more. And you're thinking, oh my god, we're, we're on course when in reality you've been off course for fucking years. I really do feel that way. Yeah, but you know, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't play those RPGs he'd be complaining about. It. Oh yeah, absolutely. If he hadn't been playing these RPGs that he picked, he chose to play them, he wouldn't be complaining about it. But no, he has to find a reason to complain. I feel like, sadly, as a result of many of the games that originally I was interested in and plan on playing, not being so good and me skipping them. And then... Okay, I have a few things to say about the whole thing about how these games aren't good and he skipped them. Who cares? Who fucking gives a shit? Who cares if IGN gives a game a 3 out of 10 and says it's not that great, but other people can give it like a 7 or an 8 saying it's okay? Who cares? You buy it, you play it, you enjoy for as much as you can, and you can determine your own thoughts on a game. But, no. Phil's problem is that he wants to keep telling everybody that, oh, hey, we don't listen to reviews, don't listen to hype, don't listen to what other people have to say, listen to what I have to say, me, Reed, ah! and anyone else that has an opinion about a game that's not like mine, don't listen to them, they're just shills, they're sheeple, and big ups to everyone that joined in <laughs> while I'm in the middle of ranting about this, it's because there's so much you have to say about it, and if I would have made a video about this, this would have been two hours long. And me playing some of the games that I was interested in, but sadly, they're so lengthy, it's impossible to get through them in a reasonable amount of time. Phil, a lot of people can play a game or buy a game, and they can get through it within a week or two. The only problem is that you want to proclaim yourself to be a variety streamer, juggling all these games, making curated content to an audience that is really, you know, duh, dur, fucked up in the head, and all of a sudden you just want to think, oh, they're too lengthy. Oh, it's, it's the game's fault, not mine. When in reality, people can take any game. Doesn't matter the length, doesn't matter how bad it is, how good it is, doesn't even matter what genre it is. Everyone is different when it comes to it. Yeah, exactly. Everyone is different. But the problem is that Phil wants to sit there and make up the excuse that he's a variety content creator, that he doesn't have to worry about it. But he worries about it anyway. Ah! <laughs> Hope Super Comedy Chisler. <laughs> Sorry, I saw that name. I thought it was funny. Please clap. I, I'll give you that. It's a great name. Big up. We've been stuck in this endless Groundhog Day feeling of every day. It's the same stuff. It's no, 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 Phil. That's your channel every fucking day. You're playing the same games over and over and over again. And then you play another game. Oh, that's not doing well. Drop it. Go back to the same games. Oh, let's play this game. Oh, this game's not good. Drop this one. Go back to the same few games. Oh, this game's really good, though. But um, I'm just going to drop the other game that I'm working on just to play this one. Oh, it didn't work out so well. We'll drop this one. Go back to the other ones. Ah! Another long RPG. It's another limitless, endless never progressing game uh phil um sorry to tell you this but all video games all forms of media they have an end never progressing would be something like if you're trying to do something but nothing is sticking development hell is a great example of something that's never going to progress if you think that it's going to progress but something's getting in the way something in the way then it's not progressing or soft locking yourself in a game that you can't progress, like Resident Evil th like Zero. I was going to say 3, I don't know why 3 came to mind. Case in fucking point here, it's like he wants to go on and on and on about how it's all the game's fault. They're too long, even though he picked them. And because of that... Yeah, I'm taking control. <laughs> I'm playing the same games. Because it, I feel like the variety has kind of a... Uh stagnated here on the channel. Phil, your channel, your content is stagnating. Don't blame the game for why your channel is stagnating, dude. That's just a problem. A big fucking problem I'm seeing with that. He wants to keep saying that, oh, it's stagnated. It's because it's an RPG. No, Phil. 
it being a genre of a game doesn't matter. Are you doing anything to entertain your audience? Are you doing anything that makes them come back for more? No, that, no, you're not. Okay. Ah! Channel, this channel has stagnated. Views are yeah. <laughs> channel did stagnate, and it's not the game's fault, Phil. Down. Engagement is down. Contributions are down. Sanity's down. His dick is down because he can't get it up anymore. His libido is down. His tolerance for alcohol is down. I mean, a lot of things are down over at DSP Gaming and the store for it. Everything is down. Okay? And I can't just have that continue. Phil, do something about it. And when I say do something about it, I mean don't rely on your audience to fix your fucking problems for you. Do it your fucking self. Look in the mirror, figure out what's wrong with you, look at your channel, look at what you're putting out, look through your content for God's sakes, and figure out, oh hey, I'm doing this wrong, this wrong, this wrong, I might as well fix it. But you think that putting up stupid fucking audio filters that makes you sound worse, oh god, that's bad. Ah! But that's the problem. You think that you're finding solutions to a problem, where in reality, you're just making it worse while calling it a solution. The audio filters that you want to put on OBS, that's terrible. As soon as people kept saying over and over that, oh, it sounds worse, I can't unhear it now. I really fucking can't anymore. Sly did it. Jad did. Everybody that listened to his fucking streams that heard the distorted mic. Oh, on the sounds. Yeah. Hmm, I can't unhear it anymore, and it's driving me crazy. Ah! Oh, hey, Dunce, what's, what's up? Welcome to stream. I did see that too. Like, granted, I would. A lot of people would be like, "Oh, why didn't you say that you like the lie?" Like, I listened to that song before. It was a great song. But honestly, I don't think my, the line with me was great. The Tech Nine line was the best line of the entire fucking song that uh, Darcy made for Cha King of the Ring. Speaking of Cha King of the Ring, big ups to everyone that submitted. Big ups to the people that were finalists, and big ups to the people that didn't get it. Big ups to all the submissions, actually. Please clap. The thing is, it's not like this is going to last forever because we're in a situation where there are some exciting, interesting games coming out, not only in the next few weeks, but in the next few months. You know, uh, Phil, there were some interesting games that came out in a few months before now. The problem is, is that they're indie games. They're not RPGs. They're games that you thought sucked. Helldivers 2, great game. You didn't like it because it's a co-op shooter. Kill the Justice League, well... With Super Baby Inc., oh yeah, that definitely explains why it sucks. Please clap. You no. Know, looking long term at stuff, you know, the Elden Ring DLC, you know, is going to get people excited to see me play that. Not really, though, because you try playing it for the second time and nobody cares anymore. And what, you're going to go back to it in May, hoping that people can spark up that excitement for Elden Ring? I'm sorry, you playing Elden Ring doesn't mean a fucking thing to me. Among many other things coming out. Yeah, though though I also slower to fill, but I try to complete everything in my game. Oh, absolutely. There are some games out there that you can try to do that. And that's the beauty of video games today. You can either go through the game's story and be perfectly fine with it, or become a completionist. Which, again, that's entirely fine. Problem is that Phil tried using that route of I'm going to do everything in the game and I'm going to show everybody that I care about the games, but it's already too fucking late though, due to the fact that throughout the entirety of his whole entire existence on the internet, it's just him. Rush, 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 rush. And it got pointless. It got to the point where nobody cares about him anymore. Nobody cares about his content. And he kept complaining about how the game sucks. Developers suck. People who play the game suck. Other content creators suck. It was the same attitude over and over. But he thought that, oh, I'm going to focus on everything in the game. That way people can see that I care. In reality, they don't care. By the summer. But we're in March. Yeah, we're in March. whoop dee doo Congratulations. We're on March. Mar Today's March 16th. Okay? And the situation that I find myself in and all of us find ourselves in on this channel every day is, okay, it's time for stream number 37 of the same game that I've been playing for seven months. Because you play games so fucking slow, Phil, if you would have picked up the play like pace and actually play the game and get through it faster, 
you wouldn't be in this fucking dilemma. Or do what other streamers do, which is play the same game all throughout. Oh, hey, you're done. What's the next game? At least they can get through games faster than you can. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but, you know, it's going to be samey, same kind of stuff again. Same crowd will be here, which is fine. Uh, Phil, I thought that... Now... Okay, that, uh, okay, there's a lot to unpack with that one. Ah! Okay, so you're saying that that's fine, but the way that you said that is not fine. Because it sounds like you want more and more people to come into your channel and look at your videos. That way, you can actually see, oh, hey, the chat's going faster and faster and faster. I have a, a retention span. I have an audience, an attendance coming, and it's going to keep on coming. But now it's like the same people, the same whales. <sighs> That's fine, I guess. It's like, Phil, you have no passion for streaming at all. And the way that you're sounding right now, it really, really shows. I know which makes me so damn annoyed with Phil. <laughs> oh, it does. Phil does a lot of things that makes us annoyed. But at one point, will there be new exciting stuff going on? Oh, there's a new game coming out. Oh, guess what? Reports say it's terrible. Well, I'm not going to play it then. Uh, Phil, you could always play the game anyway, regardless. Go by your own gut feeling about it. Give it your own perspective. I mean, for God's sakes, I bought the fucking PlayStation... Well, not PlayStation. Yeah, the PlayStation 5 version of the Battlefront Cla like Classics Collection. Yeah, am I having a good time with it? For what it's worth. I'm having a fun time with it, either because A, some parts of it is bad, or B, nostalgia, because I actually grew up playing the Battlefront games. Not the EA ones. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm, we're not talking about those. Ah. Those are just uh, oh. dead to me. Just due to the fact that they try to be like the classics, and they'll never be the fucking classics. And if I get bored with it, guess what? I can just move on to another Star Wars game. I can move on to Dark Forces. And then we wait. And I can see you on. Oh, another thing, too. He said not to listen to reviewers, not lis listen to everyone that's saying the game sucks or the game is this or that. Just don't do that. You're too old. I'm sorry. I'm early 30s. Please clap. With endless long games. And then the next game that comes out is another endless long RPG. Right? And now Again, though, Phil, you could always skip those RPGs that you're so complaining about, even though you're the guy that says, I love RPGs. I skip RPGs because I'm playing too many RPGs, and people complain that I skipped the RPGs. So fucking what, Phil? If your audience truly gave a fuck about you, they would actually understand, hey, I'm playing these games already. They're RPGs. If they don't like it, they can just move on and watch someone else play them. Who cares? Who really cares? Even though the RPGs that I'm too old for the EA Battlefronts. No, not because of that. Not because it's the EA Battlefronts. It's just because I don't care for them. They try to be like the classics and they're not the classics. If you had the lead singer of Breaking Benjamin breaking a disc of it, saying that the game sucks, it's never going to be like the classics, that says something. Please clap. I'm playing, people are saying, are too long and boring. So... Uh, Phil, you're the one thinking that they're too long and boring, but yet you want to sit there and go, I'm having a great time. It's kind of like this endless cycle at this point. All right. Now, today was supposed to be a big opportunity for variety here on DSP Gaming. Why? Because yesterday the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection released. Uh-huh. And? And this is a collection of two games from the 2000s. The 2000s? That are... Well regarded, well respected games that everyone absolutely loves. Eh, but then again, though, Phil, what people would have played back in the, day, in the day, or if it came out in the 2000s, as he likes to say it, who cares? So a lot of people didn't like it that much. Honestly, I don't like Battlefront 1, but I love Battlefront 2. And I love Renegade Squadron for the PSP. I had a great time with that, too, even though, granted, it's not as good as Battlefront 2. But for my perspective of it, I really enjoyed for what I played of it. And yes, Ben broke the disc. Oh, he broke it in half. There's a video of it. I need to sh find that video, too. Ah! I remember playing uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Je or Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. I still play it from time to time because it's classic to me. But Phil would never understand the this is kind of or this kind of gaming. Oh, no, he won't, Lauren. And absolutely right with that one. That's a good one, too. Dark Forces, a.k.a. 
Doom Wars, I like to call that one, because it's a good, a, a very good Doom clone. Because it's first person, boomer shooter type of style. It's really good. I highly recommend it. Granted, I do know that, uh, what's it called? The remaster of that came out earlier this year. Some people say to get it or don't get it because it's $30 and it's not worth it. Just buy the original one and just up it with Source Engines. I would say just do that instead or mod it to make it better. Just do that instead. Or if you really want the remaster, just wait till it goes on sale. And I'm telling you this from a consumer status of that because I actually bought the remaster because I really like Dark Forces. And... EA tried to recreate... And also, Night Dive. Night Dive does really good uh, re-releases of games. They did Blood. Republic Commando, that's another good one. I love Republic Commando. Due to the fact that it's a squad shooter, and it does its job well. Hey, Turtles, welcome to the stream. I'm doing good. Uh, I had a little bit of foot pain where it throbbed a little bit, and but it went away. <laughs> I have my I have my medicine. Please clap. Expected games that everyone absolutely loves, and EA tried to recreate this lightning in a bottle back in the 2010s. And no, they weren't trying to do the lightning in a bottle. Phil, shut up. Failed miserably. The two battle. Oh yeah, it's very underrated. Front games that they made in the 2010s don't hold a candle to the originals. They've lost that fun spirit of what they're supposed to be. I mean, okay, okay. I don't care for the EA Battlefronts. But I will kind of give some props for EA for trying to bring back a spark for the Battlefront series. But it just didn't do its job. In exchange for like... What up, Dark, uh, Boogie Dark Wings? Welcome to the stream. Experience and leveling systems and randomized pulls and drops. And it's just really, really weird what they went there because I think they wanted to make these microtransaction games as a service games and it didn't work they did it with uh, battlefront 2 where they did the whole thing with the loot boxes but they heard the complaints nobody liked it so what did they do they fucking removed them they updated it to the point where you don't need to do that anymore so honestly good uh, one thing i'll give ea they got rid of loot boxes please clap but also you know <coughs> because they were way too fucking late and i stopped caring for it <laughs> i just went back to the originals knights of the old republic fan that's one game i tried to get into but this is when i was way younger but now that i'm older i might appreciate knights of the old republic a little bit more okay oh but keep in mind phil uh he called his uh corrupted save data the worst thing than kobe uh, kobe bryant's death that's Never forget. So, with this collection coming out and everyone excited, wow, the originals are coming back. People got pumped and now it came out and apparently it's a huge flop because it's just a broken mess. It's only a broken mess because of the servers. It's a broken mess because of technical difficulties with it, Phil. You know, I guess on PC it came out. Uh, but here's the thing, though. Which is better, though? Knights of the Republic 1 or 2 Sith Lords? That's where you get the major divide here. Wednesday night, and no one could play. People turned on their PCs, opened Steam, booted the game, and it said there were no servers. Like, how are there no servers for an online game? Apparently, their entire infrastructure crashed when they hit the switch to turn it on. So, hey, Phil, they could um play the classics and just mod it. You had like 10,000 people. Like, like I said before, same thing with Dark Forces, just buy the classic. Just buy the classics Battlefront 2 and just mod it up, get a better source engine with it, and presto, you're good to go for PC. Trying to play on three working servers that each house 64 players. You know what happens when you have 10,000 people trying to join about 180 slots? It's not a good situation, let's put it that way. How do you know about any of this, Phil? Did you look into it? Are you a game dev? Do you run servers? No, you don't? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! The servers are the problem, not the game, Phil. Stop lying. Absolutely. Because he doesn't know anything about it. He doesn't know how this game was ran, how it ran, how it came out. But he wants to sit there and pretend that he knows everything. When in reality, fuck what he thinks he knows. Okay. Now, from what I'm to understand... It's been Another thing that I don't fucking like is him saying, for what I wanted to understand, which in reality, that just means he doesn't know anything that he's talking about. He's talking out of his ass. But he wants to be like, for what I have to understand, and this is something I don't understand. I don't get this. So you don't get it. 
getting better over the course of the last 48 hours or so. It is improving. And the console experience apparently hasn't been as bad as the PC experience. But the problem is... And it depends on which version you're getting. Are you playing it on PlayStation, Xbox, or Switch? I mean, the PS5 version, it's okay. But I have fun with it. I can make my own fun with it. Something that Phil can't do. Taking a game that's bad and having your own fun with it. Yeah, also, why is he complaining? Would he play multiplayer? Uh, he did play multiplayer, and, um, <laughs> spoilers, that didn't end well. First impressions are everything. And if your first impression on the internet of this game is, wow, it's a broken mess, nothing works, it's buggy, it crashes, you have to wait to get into servers endlessly, you drop from servers, it's, you know, lag. Hey, Phil, um, a game that actually had that problem with server issues, but that game still has a good first impression. It's Helldivers 2. You know, that one game that you refuse to play because it's a co-op shooter, even though you can play that game by your fucking self. That game has a lot of problems when it comes to its servers, too. But what I will give the developers of Helldivers 2 is that when they saw that, they were disappointed. They really were. And they actually gave their heartfelt condolences and their sympathies to the people that are actually enjoying the game, but they can't do it because of servers. Yeah, what did he expect from EA servers at launch? Uh, in this case, for Battlefront, this isn't uh, EA. This is a... A different server. Um, it's a Spire. I don't believe these are on EA servers now. This is like the classic one. It's on a different type of server. But I can look more into that as well. And also, don't don't mind the... Uh, <laughs> don't mind liquid being poured into a container. It's, it's going to be a concoction of Monster with... Uh, Aguas Fresca Strawberry, so yeah. Please clap. And I'll mute, I'll mute the rest of it so no one can hear that anymore. If that's what everyone heard, that's all anyone, anyone's going to think about the game or care. So I hate to say it, this game is kind of dead because it got destroyed within the first 12 hours of being on Steam, and now everyone just has turned it into the laughing, running meme and joke of the internet the last couple of days. Um, Of course, me, I bought it early. You know, I bought it ahead of time and preloaded it. So me, I'm so I did that too, Phil. I played it. I had fun with it for the most part because again, I create my own fun. Stuck with it. I <laughs> thought that was you, pig. <laughs> Black Mage Water. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, 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 not that. No, I'm upstream because I'm sorry to say this. This is why I normally start streaming. I stream late at night. Bought it. And luckily for me, I did buy it on PlayStation. But welcome to Nod. So hopefully I'm going to have at least a decent player base um, to play it with. But I don't know. Like, I don't know how it's going to work. I've even heard they basically didn't even bother adding in a modernized system to jump into multiplayer. That it's literally the same system that you used to have on PC like 20 plus years ago. Where you boot up. Phil, you did not play this on PC. You did not play Battlefront at all. But he wants to sit there and be like, I played this game, guys. I love it. 2000s. I played it. No, you didn't. Shut up. The game and it gives you a certain... Yeah, though, you also probably played the single player there. Oh, absolutely. Get the single player shot. Get the groundwork of the controls again. How to fire. How to throw grenades. How to switch weapons. That's a great way to actually get used to the controls. But again, Phil does not do that. Server listing. You're not doing research and think I maybe I shouldn't buy this game. Oh no, he didn't do that. He preloaded already because he was anticipating that this game would provide more variety on his channel. He did not do that. And you have to manually select and try to join servers to play. So just like how it was in the original, Phil. <laughs> For someone that claims that he enjoys this game and he knows this game. It's clear as day he does not know this game. And that in itself could be very hit or miss. Um, it might not work, or it could you go you know, get errors and crashing. So just to get into a game could be a nightmare. I've also heard that Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2 are completely separated. Instead of being in one system where you just select like, oh, what's the server with the bet with you know spots or whatever? No. It basically uh also, I heard, I heard this, I heard that, I saw this, I saw that, I read this, I read that. I'm sorry, Phil, I thought you didn't read or look into shit. I thought your dents did that for you. Uh, 
Only research he does is how to melt the dense war for Hogan pulls money. Oh, absolutely, Maxon. Separated the experiences completely. So now you got like, you know, everyone's jumping in Battlefront 2, but no one's playing Battlefront 1 because obviously you want to play the more modernized game. But now because of that. Phil, they're both the same. Both the games are the exact same fucking thing. Except one has heroes, the other one doesn't. But I love how he's like, oh, the more modernized one. Phil, they both play the exact same fucking thing. Everyone's got. Why wouldn't they be separate? Uh. Give you a little perspective with that one, Reaper. They're, they are separated. Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2 are separated. You can go on both of them, one at a time. Set your own profile with it. Play the multiplayer on that one or the other one. But I don't think Phil understands that quite a lot. Got a Battlefront 1 with, like, no one playing it. So you can't play it online because, like, there's not enough people. So what the fuck? You bought two games in a collection, and one of them essentially is unplayable. Gee, that was smart. Wasn't uh, Phil, you're saying that one of them is unplayable. If you're so angry that you can't do the multiplayer, just play the single player. Just do that. Isn't it? Again, this is the equivalent of, like, when I bought the, the Capcom collection last year. Yeah, again, Phil, you bought that because you're a big cat-like street fighting whore. And there were, like, four versions of Darkstalkers in it, and they were all separate. Well, no one's going to know what version to boot. So every time you go to play online, you got like two people playing, and you can't even find them in the in the, the matches. What why did they do that for? Well, Phil, the little thing to know about that one: the Capcom Fighting Collection that had the Dark Stalkers games on that. Oh, that game was already dead because people moved on. For so anyway, um. Anyway, uh, I really don't know what to do. I uh, I've bought this already. I have it loaded. I just downloaded a 17 gig update patch for it. Because that's the day one patch because the game's so fucked up. It's essentially like half the size of the game redone. Uh, no. Whenever there's... I didn't see anything for a 17 gig patch. I did not see that at all. When I downloaded the game, it was 25 gigs. <laughs> Makes you wonder now, doesn't it? What, what, what accident is that where he has to drop the T at the end? Uh, Connecticut. Downloaded and trying to fix it. He came for that bad street to Bridgeport. Um, we're playing it today. I mean, you guys were so hyped for it. No one was hyped up for a film. Nobody was asking you to play the Battlefront Collapses, like classic collection. Nobody did that at all. Just you. The fact he bought this instead of Persona 3 Reload is insane. Up, oh, no, Reaper. He wouldn't buy that because that's already on Game Pass. He could just download it. But the problem is he won't do it. Because it's Atlas and it's an RPG. That's the only reason why he will not play Persona 3 Reload. But I like Persona 3 Reload. <laughs> I love how it just chimes in on what right on time. Yay. Ah! He insulted people saying, who wants to see the single player of a 20 year old game? Yep, I remember that too. Convince me. Oh, but continue on with that one as well. I did not like Persona 3 in the beginning. Not because of the Tartarus and not because of just everything of the game. I did not like the social link aspect of it because it can be easily reversed. Say one thing wrong, <laughs> fuck off, it's reversed now. I heard they actually improved that with uh, Reload. That's the only reason why I liked Reload a little bit more. I need to play it all day today. Like, this was my whole day. And now we don't even know if it's going to work. When I boot it up. What up, Aussie? So, we're going to try. Like, I'm not going to say, oh, well, let's just throw it away and not play it. We're going to try. But if it doesn't work, I don't even know what we got. We're going to call an audible, right? We have to. We ha Call an audible. I've never heard anyone say calling an audible. It's like calling an Uber. I have to do something else, and I don't like doing that because calling an audible means that half the people who would have been there for whatever I'm doing in place of what originally we were going to do, they're, they're not there. You know, like, for example, let's say we boot this up and within an hour I give up. I can't play it. It's unplayable. All right, fuck it. Let's just go play Baldur's Gate, right? Oh, yeah, let's go play Baldur's Gate. You know, the RPGs where I kept complaining that I played too many RPGs help. Well, guess what? Most of the people who are here for Baldur's Gate are not going to be here today because they didn't know that I was playing Baldur's Gate. Who cares? Who fucking gives a shit, Phil? Who fucking gives a shit? So now you got a different crowd, a crowd that wasn't ready for Baldur's Gate, Probably not the same Shut engaging, the fuck up! supportive crowd as usual, and people are upset because now, oh, I missed on Baldur's Gate. I didn't know you were playing it today. Who cares? I don't give a shit, Phil. I don't give a shit what you want to play because, again, you chose to play 
the classic collection. You chose to buy it. You chose to play all these long, lengthy RPGs in quotes. You chose this. But yet, you're looking at Phil here. Or, you know, look at Phil. You're looking at the situation at hand, Phil, and you're looking at your audience going, Guys, what should I do? I gotta call an Audible. Ah! I gotta call Amazon for an audiobook, apparently. And that's another thing, too. He could play Pizza Tower. He could play indie games. But he'll tell you the same excuse over and over again, which is, um, <clears throat> not interested. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't either. Right? And also, spoilers, he did not play this game again for the night stream. Instead, he, um, did, did, um, Q&A. <coughs> and so that's a problem. Um, so I guess we have to see what happens. Okay, uh, I, I hope it works. I want to play this game. That was the whole point, is that I wanted to play something different. To bring something completely so different from everything else we're doing with these RPGs. We have variety. Yeah, you had variety with Tekken 8, Phil, but you got your ass kicked to the point where you had to drop the game, even though uh, that game was giving you, like, at least 500 viewers just for Tekken 8 alone. So it's fun, and I think this would be a fun thing to fun. play and to watch. It's an exciting game. It really is. 20-year-old game. Exciting. Well, according to today's gamer standards, if you play a game that's 20 years old, they call you a boomer and just uh, go back to the retirement home. Please clap. Glob, glob, a kai water. Glob, glob. But if it doesn't work... Yeah, which was boring as shit. Yeah, I saw that. But Atlas beat it on easy, so I can't... <clears throat> I can't really... Nah, nah, he did good on that one. At least he did something good with that. It was more productive than what Phil was doing. Work, it doesn't work. What can I do? Right? I guess we'll find out. Um, um, so anyway, see what I mean? Like, I have all these plans. I'm like, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this for variety. We're going to do this. It always kind of bites me in the ass, it seems. I can't seem to get out of this rut of everything's an RPG, everything's lengthy. Phil, that is entirely, again, your goddamn fault. You're the one picking these games. You're doing this, Phil. And the whole thing with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you didn't like Seven Remake. The only reason why you played Rebirth was because... Game Awards, most anticipated game, goes to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, I better, I better go buy that game when it comes out. Please clap. Same thing with Baldur's Gate 3. You didn't want to play that game. What? Wait, wins game of the year. Someone gives it to you. Well, I guess I got to play that one. Please clap. And what's the other one? Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. You don't care for the Yakuza Like a Dragon series. Well, I'm going to prove them wrong by saying I like it, passing the fuck out. <coughs> so... Hmm, 40, yeah, 40 year old likes a 20 year old game, 30, and like, oh, oh no, Lauren, I see what you did there, and I hate that. <laughs> what up, Lauren? Here's the deal. Yesterday was my day off, all right? I don't give a shit, Phil. I don't give a fuck of what mundane task that you did on your day off that you want to tell the whole entire fucking world to the point where it's like the world revolves around Phil when it doesn't revolve around you. What? You went to the store? You went to pick up food. You went to the dump. Who cares? Ah. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Hey, and I had a day to kind of sit back. I had some errands to run. Uh, again, I don't care about your shitty errands. My wife and I did a bunch of stuff around the house. Again, I don't give a fuck about you and your wife cleaning the house. When he says him and his wife did some cleaning around the house, she did all the cleaning. He did nothing. <clears throat> but for the most part... What Vanguard? Er I had time to sit back and just think about everything going on right now. You thinking? There's not a single thought going on in your fucking brain, Phil. Just give yourself some gin and all the thoughts turn to mush. It's all scattered in your fucking hollow brain. This is the point where you're like, I need to do some critical thinking. Gotta question everything. How can I make money from the dents today? We've got to have money. And I'm looking at the channel. And here's the truth. The throwback channel is doing good. It's got more views, more engagement. It's starting to gain or garner some support. Uh-huh. Garner some support, meaning that that one person that gave three $100 Super Chats, oh, that's garnishing some great support. Uh, a lot of views on there? I highly doubt that. I don't think they ever hit the fucking thousand mark. <laughs> Have you finished those errands yet? Big black butt. <laughs> God damn it, I was trying to press this. You what? The throwback channel's getting healthier and better. I'm like, wow, this is excellent. Mm, healthier, huh? 
It was already dead for many fucking years. All you're doing is just putting on more makeup on a corpse of a channel. The React channel's doing all right. It's about where it's always been. Where it's always been. Demonetized and not making money off of it, except for the tips that he gets on his podcast. So no, who likes the th who likes the throwback and why? No one. No one likes the throwback channel. I don't see Brandu doing anything with the fucking channel anymore, or just doing that. I miss, I miss that, that miserable bastard. <laughs> I'm him. I really miss that guy. No one really goes into the throwback channel anymore. But hey, Jesse, how are you doing? Dead? <laughs> the Walking Dead. Ah! Blaine's there. But the DSP Gaming Channel's way down. No exaggeration, I'm down hundreds of thousands of views. Uh, Phil, the only way that you can check on that is when you check the YouTube studio, and if you see it, it's either up or down or nothing, meaning it's the same, then you'll know it's down. But the problem is, is that you want to keep lying. You'll see, like, oh, hey, it went up. No, it's down. I'm down engagement. I'm down a ton of support this month, and I'm like... Again, this is all entirely your fault, Phil. Like, I know what, right? Because we're playing the same goddamn games, and they're never-ending. Uh, Phil, they do end, Phil. The problem is that you play them so fucking slow. Ah! I mean, for God's sakes, by the time you finish a fucking game, Keffels will be done reading the fucking Bible. And this is driving me nuts. And I'm thinking about everything I'm doing right now. I'm like, I'm in the home stretch of Baldur's Gate 3. But people are saying, oh, you still have to do this mission for this character, 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 this mission for this character. Uh, Phil, you don't have to fucking do it, Phil. But again, this is your fault for this as well. You told your audience to give you help and hold your hand. And they're telling you all this and you're being ungrateful for the help that you're getting. This is entirely on you for putting that pressure onto your dents. Why do you think that they call it uh, Dents Play Baldur's Gate 3? Then you gotta get into the end game, where you have to do this, 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 and this. But if you do this, then you can skip this. But then you maybe do this, and then don't forget this, if you want to see the full story of this. And then this, 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 this. Then you make your big choice, then it's the end. So then there's this, 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 and this, and then the game ends. And you know what you could do, Phil? You could just, I don't know, go to where you see YouTube, you click on the channel where it says delete the channel, you click delete, you say yes, you sure, yes, you're sure, and then at the end of it, you grab a gun and just end it all already. What the fuck? Again, fucked hard. You told your audience to give you help. And as soon as you're giving you help, oh, you don't like that anymore. A poor fucking baby. What, did Cat not buy you the right pacifier at the fucking store or didn't find it in the fucking drawer next to her fucking vibrator? So when does it end? Does it ever end? It ends when you choose to make it end, Phil. You're not letting it end because that's your cash cow. That's the reason why you're not letting it end. And once it's not ending for you, and you're playing all the other RPGs out there, you're bitching, whining, moaning, complaining that it's not ending. Because you're so much of a pessimist. Huh? Huh, what? I've been playing Like a Dragon, and the good news is we've had major, major progress in Like a Dragon in the last couple of streams. We got out of the rut of being stuck in certain chapters, and the story is turboing, barreling forward. All right, and that's good. Yeah, it's good because you're trying to rush through it as fast as humanly possible while still looking bored. Yeah, he could literally beat it on stream. Oh, yeah, he could play and beat Baldur's Gate 3 on stream. He doesn't want to, though, because as soon as Baldur's Gate 3 goes bye-bye and it's no longer there anymore, he's going to be struggling trying to make money. I've actually been told that if I just focus on story progress in Like a Dragon Infinite Well, I'll probably beat it in like a week. Like, seriously, if I played it like five streams i could beat it if i just do story and i'm debating doing that because at this point even though i love like a dragon even you don't you're passing the fuck out we've seen you play all the yakuza or like a dragon games you're passing out like a dragon ishin that's your ambient like a dragon gaiden you're passing out you're not caring like a dragon infinite wealth oh that's just like me for 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 no, this is the swan song. And then it gave us the fucking, <laughs> gave us that fucking rant with the spoons. For the Cosmic Kiryu character, I can't have the same games going on forever. We're almost 50 hours into that playthrough. Also, fuck Faith, uh, Faith Forge for giving him that $20 super chat that says you're amazing. He's not amazing. If he's amazingly shit, then might be that, but he's not worth $20. That's for damn sure. Ah! 
Oop, what the hell? I did not mean to press Right that. now, you should be finishing. But if Piggler focuses on Baldur's Gate 3, only puts his family in danger, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. His family's in danger. Oh, no. It, it could be that he put his family in front of him while they're taking the shots meant for him. No, couldn't be me. In the game, right? It's like, what is going on right now with all this shit? Um, and by the way, to everyone contributing, thank you. You know I shout out contributions at the end of the podcast. And I, I shout out contributions at the end of the podcast. Uh, victim mentality and... <sighs> Fucking end it all. Like a dragon, y'all bored. Yeah, if you play games like a normal human, none of this would be a problem. Anthony, you're absolutely right about this, but <laughs> Phil's not a normal human being at all. He is a guy that constantly calls first world problems... When he can't buy that fucking expensive food for his wife. We'll do that today. I gotta get out of this. I gotta do talk about my subject matter first. and then we'll You get... don't have to, Phil. You do it on your own. Get to all that, all right? Thank you so much because people are being very supportive right now in the chat. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, Snort. God damn, that fucking... I hate his audio. <laughs> I hate those audio filters. So all that's going on. Oh, by the way, did you remember I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Re uh, Rebirth? Does anyone even remember that? Uh, Phil, the only reason why you're bringing it up because that was an anticipated game that everyone else is playing, and they actually got farther than you. It came out two weeks ago, and I was very hyped for it at launch, and within one stream, no one cared. Seriously, I played the one stream, and then everyone's like, meh, it's another RPG. Or they could be just be playing it for themselves, Phil, and they don't want to be spoiled. And I'm like, seriously? Like, people were so hyped and asking me to play this for so long. And now, because of the climate of the games, I fully believe it's not the game. Oh, oh, really? It's not the game, huh? So tell me, what's the problem here, Phil? If it's not Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the game itself that you're having a hard time getting through and hard time getting money for, and yet you want to say that it's the game's fault, tell us, what it's, what's the problem here? <laughs> the cry me a river. Because the game is good. I it's good. But not for you. It's because there's just too many other fucking RPGs. Uh, no, Phil. There are people that can play any RPGs out there. They can play Sea of Stars, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, fucking Baldur's Gate 3. They can play uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, or just any indie RPG that's out there, and they can never be RPG'd out. From the guy that says he loves RPGs, comes to show he really hates RPGs. And it oh, yeah, and that's another fact, fact too. Maximilian dude is still, still getting tens of thousands of people watching. Oh, oh my God. Please clap. Tifa 2 distracting. Uh, uh, yep, I just looked at my stream, and yeah, yeah, he she is pretty distracting. Killed the hype for the game. What, can you explain otherwise why sales for the game are lower than Final Fantasy 16s? Well, Phil, when you're talking about the sales, you're talking about the physical Japanese sales, though. You're not talking about the whole sales from the other parts of the world. You're not talking about the digital sales. You're focusing on physical. But people loved Remake, but everyone was... Yeah, everyone loved Remake, but you. Hyped and anticipated for this game, right? I mean, everywhere, games media, the freaking social media, everyone. So why are the sales down? Because it's called being tired. It's called stagnation. It's called oversaturating the market. No, it has nothing to do with oversaturating the market with RPGs, Phil. It has nothing to do with that at all. You could say the same thing when Spider-Man 2 came out, Mario Wander, Alan Wake 2, when those games came out at the end of October last year. Oh, what's that? stagnation and also oversaturation of other games that overshadow one another fuck no mario wonder sold well spider-man 2 sold well alan wake 2 sold well and they all got awards well except for spider-man ah! but this guy this fucking guy wants to make up excuses to why final fantasy 7 rebirth isn't doing too well yeah, he doesn't want to put a shred of fucking research into this at all. Instead, he'll see, oh, hey, sales, not doing good. Okay, what sales are we talking about? Japanese, worldwide, physical, digital, combined? Of course not. Currently playing Unicorn Overload myself. Still not an RPG. That's not RPG'd out. Also because it's on PS5 only, Phil. Oh, yep, that's, that's another one, too. It's based on the fact that it's only exclusive for PS5. It's the same thing with Final Fantasy 16. It was only on PS5. But that had a lot of hype. Both games have a lot of hype, really. But one sold really well, though, because it was a completely different experience, though. 
Even though, granted, I am baffled that Final Fantasy VII Reaper didn't do so well, in quotes. But it's still a good game. Please clap. And also, I will say this, Unicorn Overlord is another great t game, too. Vanillaware really went out with that, too. It's too much of the same in a I'm sorry, Christopher. I'm sorry. Yep. I hope that I will make sure this VOD is not too long. To a period of time. Even people who love these games are like, Oh, what's up, Kenneth? Welcome to the stream. What about it? Being tired. It's called stagnation. It's called oversaturating the market. It's too much of the same in a short period of time. Uh, too much of the same, huh? Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, turn-based RPG. Like it, uh, not like a Dragon. Unicorn Overlord, strategy RPG. Baldur's Gate 3, a computer RPG with a lot of customization with the character and you play it to your own style. You create your own story with it. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, action RPG. Again, you want to keep saying that all of this, it has to do with, they're all being the same, but there's different subcategories with these RPGs, Phil. And Jack became a member. I felt like that it had to be bombed. What up, Stephen Hawking? Welcome to the stream. And everyone else that joined in, too. Even people who love these games are like, it's too much. And it's Paul. too much RPG, okay? Glob, glob. I don't... Phil, you could just deny the whole thing that you're bored with it and just say that, no, you love RPGs, but then you want to make complaints that it's too many RPGs out there. Then just don't play RPGs anymore because you don't love them anyway. You want to say that you do. That you say you love Chrono Twigger and Final Fantasy 2 and 3, aka 4 and 6. But he'll just keep going on and on and on and on to the point where I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> ah! Hey, Andrew, welcome to the stream. So. <sighs> <clears throat> huh. <clears throat> Goose. What are we going to do? I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. No, 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 Phil, don't say what we are gonna do. This is entirely on you, not your audience. Stop making this your audience's problem. All right, I've had enough. I've reached my limit. <laughs> you ain't Cloud Strife, motherfucker. You didn't hit the limit break and you're gonna do the Omni Slash. <laughs> you're not that at all. Really, I have. At this point, it's like a question of, are these games playing me? Or am I playing the games? Well, you're playing the games really poorly, and the games are playing you? I don't want to play as you. I mean, granted, I know Lord Jim's making a game about you. <laughs> the only time where I'll actually play you, it's some... Um... Ugh. <laughs> and I've really, really reached my wit's end. All right? Starting today... I'm grabbing the bull by the horns. Uh, no, Phil. The bull already kicked you in the balls multiple times and it kicked you in the face. I'm grabbing the ogre by his giant swollen ball sack and I'm gonna speed bag it like Rocky. Alright? This is it. Phil, what's your fascination with genitalia? Especially the female, not the female one, but the male genitalia. Are you trying to tell us something here, Phil? Like, are you? Cats your beard. I mean, you could tell us, Phil. No one's judging. I mean, you claim to be a proud ally, after all. Ah! Bah! Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. That, that's right, wrong one. Oh! There you go. It, now, it's serious fucking business. Because I'm not playing these same fucking games another two months. I'm not gonna be caught up in endless fucking playthroughs. I want to play a variety of games. I want to play what I want to play. Yeah, you're going to play what you want to play. Also, Phil, guys, what do you want me to play, huh? What, what do y'all want me to play? I don't understand. I, I'm playing the games y'all want me to play. What should I play? Play Helldivers 2. No, I'm not going to play that. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Play Scorn. Why? So I could suffer? I played this game longer and y'all hadn't received a hundred dollars. This is entirely everyone else's fault but my own. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Phil just... Mm. <laughs> oh man, the doctor told me I shouldn't drink alcohol, but I'm so tempted! Really, the, the straw that broke the camel's back for me... <clears throat> excuse <clears throat> me. Yesterday, I'm off from work. And I'm reading. Phil, this isn't work for you. Everyone that actually 
does this, like they stream you, they have jobs outside of this, they know what it's like to work, this is just a hobby. All of the comments on my videos, all right, and I'm approving them, and I see a pattern. There's a few people who pattern. are now leaving comments that are like, you've made a horrible decision. Because next week, my choice, remember, there's two games coming out next week. Rise of the Ronin and Dragon's Dogma 2. I mean, granted, some people might want to play Rise of the Ronin. Some people want to play Dragon's Dogma 2, but honestly. And this is just coming from me. If I had to choose one, Rise of the Ronin, just because I didn't really get into Dragon's Dogma. I know a lot of people like Dragon's Dogma. But again, I'm not going to sit there and be like, I'm going to pick this game because I don't like the other one. Both games are going to be good on their own merits. But it's all based around perception on it and perspective. Correct? <laughs> now, I already told you guys. I was not going to play Dragon's Dogma 2 because I cannot play another lengthy RPG when I'm oh, playing psychotic. too many other lengthy RPGs. I just can't do it. No, you couldn't do it, though, because you had this whole thing about RPG overload and you couldn't like couldn't play them anymore. You're getting RPG'd out. Rise of the Dragon. <laughs> the Drachnan. Oh, God damn, Pop's getting to me. Ah! How would I do it, right? Come, mate, you got Paper Mario. Oh, yeah, ah, yes, I have Paper Mario 1000 your door. Fuck, I need to finish Paper Mario. Instead, I was going to play Rise of the Ronin, and you know... Maybe at least gave Dragon's Tomba 2 a chance after when it's on sale. Absolutely. That's one thing. I will definitely do that. If it's a game I really want to try out, I will do so. I'll wait till it goes on sale. Another thing that I tend to do, I listen to other people's perspectives on it. If I'm playing a game that they're not playing, like, example, if I'm playing Rise of the Ronin and they're playing Dragon's Dogma 2, if they ask me how Rise of the Ronin is, I'll tell them how my experiences are with it. Just like how they'll tell me their experiences with Dragon's Dogma 2. And if it sounds like it would pique my interest, then yes, I will either A, buy it right then and there, or I'll wait till it goes on sale. But, again, Phil doesn't seem to understand this quite a lot. A bit. Nope, nope, no, no. Early reviews that come out for rise of the ronin in general most people are favorably looking at it saying it's a hybrid of assassin's creed Sekiro, and dark souls it's a unique open world that's kind of fun it is i've never heard anyone say that about rise of the ronin being considered as an assassin's creed type of game or a Sekiro type of game maybe a neo or a ghost of tsushima type of game but not assassin's creed it's kind of Team Ninja ass because a lot of Team Ninja tropes and things in it, but it looks like it's going to be a pretty good game. Uh, Team Ninja tropes, huh? Are we going to have Ayane or I forgot her name? I forgot her name for fucking. It was Ninja Gaiden like Sigma. I forgot her name. It was the, it was the blonde chick. I, the, I don't know if it was Nicole or someone. It was one of those names, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, it's an action RPG actually. So <clears throat> I settled. That's what I want to play. In fact. In truth, this is the absolute truth. If I had my absolute choice of games to play, I would be playing Dragon's Dogma 2 this coming week. I'm serious. I, I thought for the longest time you weren't going to play Dragon's Dogma 2 due to the fact that it was an RPG film. Now, Rachel, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please clap. I, it was, I knew it was a six-letter word. Ayane was the purple hair check, yes. But going back to this whole thing, though, he kept going on to say that he didn't want to play Dragon's Dogma 2 because it was another lengthy RPG, but he said he was going to play Rise of the Ronin, even though it is an action RPG. But he's like, no, it's not an RPG, guys. Nope, nope, nope. They just misconstrued it and mis they misrepresented it. Loved Dragon's Dogma 1 over a decade ago. I thought it was a unique game from Capcom who I didn't know back then for making RPGs. Little lies that I know. Monster Hunter, right, which is so popular. But back then, I didn't even know about that franchise, so when Dragon's Dogma came out, it pleasantly surprised me. No, you didn't know anything about Monster Hunter because you were so focused on fucking Street Fighter. That's the only reason why you didn't even know about it at all. Once you did play Monster Hunter, you gave it a shot, in quotes, and then all of a sudden, you kept saying over and over, it's too grindy, too tedious, and it's very boring. When in reality, a lot of people play Monster Hunter and they really enjoy it. It's one of their best-selling franchises besides Street Fighter, Resident Evil... And that's mostly it. I know Capcom has made a lot of games, though, but their two best sellers are mostly Street Fighter and Resident Evil. And I really was hyped for Dragon's Dogma 2. I wanted to play it. I was stoked to play it. And then... Eh, some... I wouldn't say somewhat, though. I would say that was more like a... Bringing it in because it's a franchise or same developer. What happened is I got caught up 
in all of this insane amount of RPGs. And it's like, I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3, it refuses to end. I'm playing uh, Like a Dragon. Phil, you're actually close to ending it. Again, it refuses to make progress. Phil, you just said moments before that you were making tons of progress. Now you're saying you're not making progress. I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and no one gives a shit. Uh, Phil, it's because either A, nobody likes how you're playing it because it's very boring, or B, they're actually playing the game for themselves, and they're not tuning in to watch you. Really? Rebirth, no one's showing up to the streams. It's very low attendance, very low engagement, and very low support. To everyone out there that actually plays video games, like, I'm just saying this. To anyone that actually does stream, they do stream video We've games. got to have money. I'm here. Deep Fry donated $4.99. Is it weird that I love FF4, but I really loathe the FF4 3D's remake? FF4 3D is really sluggish compared to the original. Oh no, that's not a problem with that at all, Deep Fryer, and thanks for the $4.99. No, a lot of people tend to like one version of it than the other one. I personally don't care for the 3D version. Granted, it looks nice for the DS, but if I had to say the best version of Final Fantasy IV, it would have to be the PSP version of it, the complete edition, where it had the interlude and the after years. That one's the best version of it. Yeah, why even talk about this? I have no idea. He just wants to talk about it because he has to complain, and this was a big announcement, and it's like... <sighs> <coughs> but here's my question, though. For those that actually stream video games as a hobby, do you care about the attendance? Like, him saying, getting 200 people, that's not enough. I stream games, too. The important thing for me is having fun, but Phil only sees money. See, Andrew gets it. Please clap. That's the reason why I asked. It's because I want to hear people that actually do stream video games, though. Like, there are times I stream video games, and I would stream film. I would have a good amount of attendance on it. And when I play video games, attendance goes down. But I don't care about the attendance, though. All I care about is, hey, I'm playing a game that I think people would enjoy, or it's a brand new game that nobody know of, and I stream it anyway. Like, when I streamed On Guard, people didn't know what that game was until I showed it off. But it's fine. It's entirely fine, though. But the whole stigma with Phil, though, he only sees the dollar signs and he sees, oh, hey, 300 people watched my stream. That's really good. But they didn't give me money. So it's like, where? Cry me a river, Phil. Just cry. Right? At least in the case of Baldur's Gate. No attendance is not an issue. Nope, it's not an issue. Three, you can argue the interest in the playthrough has waned over time. But man, people support that game. They like it so much, and they want to see me play it to completion that they're supporting every single stream. Phil, you told people, and I... I... <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. For Baldur's Gate, you kept saying that if you didn't get money or had your hand held, you'll say that the game sucked. Ah. Love showing people presentable liberty and ex exploitable money. Everyone tends to do so. <laughs> uh, oh my god, Phil, you're making me angry. You make me angry, Phil. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. And this is why I'm known as the Phil, you make me angry guy. Final Fantasy VII, it's like. How do you feel about Beyond Two Souls announcement? Why? That's my only question. Why that game? Of all things, why that one? I mean, granted, I'm glad it's not Stardew Valley with his wife. I'm glad about that one. <laughs> no, those are actual games. Oh. Yeah, the oh, okay, those are actual games. Okay. Ah! <laughs> like, it jumped off a cliff into the water, onto the, the, the narrow shoal rocks down there, and the body is all jarred and ripped apart. I don't know what happened. This is the game that everyone was pumped for. And now it's like no one gives a two shits about it at all. Right? I'm just... I'm I'm bizarrely shocked because i thought people were gonna like it really um <clears throat> you thought so. people would like it shut up glob glob motherfucker glob glob yum we have two major things to change and or figure out okay and why is it your audience's problem Th that's my whole entire question how is it their problem how is it that what you're going through when it comes to oh i don't know why is it that you play a game and not getting money or attendance from it? How is it the audience's problem? It's definitely not. 
<laughs> yes, because you suck. Oh, he does. Absolutely. Cat actually picked... There's no way Cat actually picked that game. I don't think he... I don't think she did. At all. Like, honestly, I would say, like, Star... I, I'm glad it's not Stardew Valley. Because I saw a thumbnail that had Cat and Phil's face on it with Stardew Valley. I was like, if they pick that game, I swear to fucking God, I will roast him for the time he said when it was raining. Hey, do I need to water my crops? Phil, you make me angry, Phil. The amount of stupidity I can get rid of this, man. I swear to God. The first Mark is as follows. And this is absolutely 100% official because I've had enough. As of now, after today. God damn it. Listen to this. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna do this. Hang on. Listen to this audio. Does this sound like improved audio? Absolutely, 100% official. Because I've had enough. As of now, after today, because today we're already committed to trying to. Yeah, because his fucking voice is being cut off by the goddamn uh, audio filters. Because he has a noise gate, the audio suppression, the limiter on it. But how? No, it's not good. That audio is not good. I've said it before, but Logan has a really good video about how to do correct, like, really good audio. I'm sure Prophet has one, too. Like, those are really good videos when it comes to that. But, at least that one, at least with them, they know what audio is. They know about audio. This case, this is just a guy that just does click, 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 click. Okay, that sounds good. Please clap. Play Battlefront Collection. I am 100% committing demon. to beating these goddamn RPGs as soon as fucking possible. I am not going to have Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon endlessly going on these channels. We are playing the fuck out of them. Okay, say hi, pick Picture. Ah! Whatever you say with that one. You're, for, you're basically pushing yourself to do this. Even though people say, hey, just focus on beating the games. No, you take your sweet ass time trying to get through the entirety of the game. Slowly until they're done. This is why I hate this pick. He makes everyone else's problem except for him. He's so pathetic. He, what a loser. Yes, this is very much a loser mentality. Okay? And even if that means we have to cut some corners and we have to skip some missions and oh, not cut some corners, not some demons? Not do side content, then so fucking be it. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. <laughs> I'm just now reminded of Inglorious Bastards now. With the Hitler just going, nine, 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 nine. It's like, that's what this looks like right now. Like, this guy is angry. We have to skip some missions and not do side content. Then so fucking be it. You're like, Phil, you're trying to be like this guy that's like, I'm, I'm sticking with my guns, goddammit. It's like, Phil, you chose these games. You chose to play these fucking RPGs. You could have said, fuck Baldur's Gate 3. I'm not playing it. You could have said, hey... I'm not going to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm going to wait till I get all these other games done. Or Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Or Tekken 8. Or all these games that are out. You did this to yourself, Phil. And, oh, I forgot. Uh, uh, Dwight's here. Yeah, Dwight's here. He comes in like a bomb. We're finishing these games as soon as humanly possible. You know, Phil, you're trying to finish these games, but you're still looking for contributions. I'm not going to be balancing 17, 18 games anymore. We are finishing this shit right now. Wait, 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 so how many? 17, 18 games anymore. Uh, Phil, you're playing three. You're playing three games and you're struggling to beat them. How is it that a man that could sit there and say, I love video games, but you couldn't even beat a game. The only one that you've beaten was a story mode of Tekken 8. That's the only one that you've beaten. I think another way you could say is uh, Silent Hill, the short message, but I don't really constitute that as a game at all. That's just like one of those games where it's like, oh, hey, here's Silent Hill. Here's something to keep your mind flowing for uh, Silent Hill 2. And nobody liked the met short message. Hell no, that game sucked. But how is it that you could just sit there and be like, I love video games. Can't even beat all the ones that you're playing so far. Or you just ban most of them. When in reality, most people who play video games in 2024... I've beaten about 23, 24 games this year so far. Granted, some of them were short, but they were in my backlog. And I wanted to cut back on my backlog a little bit. We are finishing this shit right now. <clears throat> you get it? <clears throat> so. The short, the late shit just messing up his words up. It's a word salad. It very much is. 
Phil does that. He makes you like the most smartest man in the world, but you didn't hear stupidity, and it's like, what does magenta taste like? That means tomorrow, Saturday, we're doing Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. Now, Sunday is React Day. So, Sunday, we're still doing the React streams. That's not going to change. But oh, that's definitely not going to change. And it's still going to be god awful. Phil, if you really want to beat these games, just get rid of the React content. Just focus on the games. Your audience might understand. But then on Monday, it's Baldur's Gate 3. Now, I can't do a late stream on Monday because I have to do private patron videos and finish up my personal business stuff from behind the scenes that I have to do every year this, this time of year. So, taxes. You could just say you're doing your taxes, but you're avoiding mentioning taxes like you mentioned, uh, don't even want to mention Leanna's fucking name. Ah! Uh, you missed quite a lot. You're going into the announcements here, Coraz. <clears throat> <clears throat> but then on Tuesday, it is Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. And then on Wednesday, it is Baldur's fucking Gate 3 and Like a Dragon, and we are going to get as far into these as possible this week. I was so hoping when Phil did that shit, when he's, like, slamming his head down, I was so hoping for him to go, ow, my carpal tunnel. All right? We are going turbo fucking mo. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to boot the game up in Baldur's Gate. I'm going to pull out my staff, and I'm just going to bop everyone on the head in a row. Bonk, bonk the fuck out of my way, because I'm beating these goddamn quests right now. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Uh-huh, so you're inciting violence onto the staff. I got you. Inciting violence onto people... Or just things in general. Because you're so irritated with the RPGs, gotcha. And we're turboing through this shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay? I really, 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 really had enough. We have to finish these games. Can you imagine if I was playing these games till, like, mid-April? I might as well just fucking pack it up and close down the channel. Oh, please do! That would be fun to do. Hey, guys, he's retiring finally. After 16 years, he's going to go get a real job. Please clap. Yay! I might as well. And say fuck it why even bother no one's gonna come by anymore yeah well phil oh god shut the fuck up you cunt we have that but phil the reason why no one is coming around to your channel it's because of you it's your attitude towards the game developers the game itself connections you're making up constant excuses to why the game sucks you're not providing any justifications with it you keep saying we instead of me re it's like oh god damn phil <laughs> god damn it phil how is it that you could just sit here and just think that oh boohoo i'm gonna try to finish these games <laughs> we've Where? got to have money Money. Kenneth Douglas donated five dollars. Phil, we have to beat these RPGs by any means necessary. Also, Phil, all right, guys. Welcome to the night session of Q and A. Why not play the RPGs instead? <laughs> that's exactly it. That, Kenneth, that's exactly it, though. He makes the, makes this announcement. Okay, guys. Hold, hold on. Let, let me move some shit out the way so I don't break things. Okay, guys, we're gonna beat these RPGs, and then all of a sudden, hey, welcome to the Q and A. Uh, what? What's that? I uh, I need to finish these RPGs. No, we're doing Q and A, cause fuck you. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Ball. Ow, my carpet tunnel. <laughs> right. <clears throat> <laughs> so that is that. That that's this week. Now, here's the important thing. Okay, we have to determine what's the new game that I'm playing next week. No, Phil. No one can determine this, Phil. Because it doesn't matter what game you play. It doesn't matter if it's a new game, an old game, an indie game, or what platform it's on. It does not matter. At the end of it all, though, it's the same vicious cycle that comes with Phil. He's expecting people to toss money at him at the very beginning. And when he gets it, he pretends that the game is really good. But as the game keeps going on and on and on... It goes slowly. We've got our money. Nah. Aaron Hines donated ten dollars to help you celebrate when after your foot fully heal. Yay! <laughs> oh, hold on. Just be, I, I'm already getting a headache from Phil too. But thanks, Aaron, for the ten spot. Oh God, Phil, you make you make me angry. Now you give me a headache with this. But it's like everything is with this though. He wants to go on, he's like, oh, I'm not making money off it. I guess people don't like this game. Or he plays the game day one, plays it, makes money off of it, but it's not the amount of money that he wants. Oh, the game sucks. 
let me guilt my audience into giving me more money. He gets the money. Oh, hey, I'm going to put on that stupid Cloud Strife wig that doesn't even look like that. It looks like he's about to go to a gay bar to pick up John Rambo. Ah. And the worst thing about it, he keeps going on and on. Oh, nobody cares about this game. This game sucks. This game sucks now. Same vicious cycle. Doesn't matter what game it is. Doesn't matter what day it is. Same shit, different day. It's either going to be Rise of the Ronin or Dragon's Dogma 2. Yay. I can only play one new game. And no matter what it is, the game is going to be played on release day. And then... We're going to change it up and go back to Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon until they are completed. Okay. This part, I don't understand. I don't get this logic. Whatever the game it is, Rise of the Ronin or Dra Rise of the Gro Grognan or, or Dra Dragon D's Nuts 2, doesn't matter what it is, he'll play it for one day, shelf it, go back to the other games. What's the point of that, Phil? You could just fucking wait. <laughs> Play traffic. Ah! Oh, oh, hey, truck. And then we will go back to it. So we will have one day of launch day height. Our oh, I remember that scene with Hockey. He looks, he does look like, he looks like Frank Reynolds wearing that wig. Going into an art museum. It's like, bullshit. Derivative. Oh, but this I love. All right. For whatever the game is that I choose to play next Friday, because it is next Friday that they both come out, correct? <clears throat> so then one day of that, and then we go back to the other ones, and we play them till they're fucking done. Okay? That is what I want to do. Because then, at the very fucking least, we will have closure to some of these ongoing playthroughs. The 120-hour game will probably end around hour 135, right? The... 50 hour game will probably end around hour 55. We'll have the end. We'll say, okay, they're done. Now we can fully focus on new stuff. Right? Because here's the thing. There's absolutely no way I can play any game right now and focus on it when I've got these lingering RPGs. They well, Phil, what other streamers should do? They focus on one game at a time and then they work on the other games, Phil. Why do you think they can move on to all these games and finish them within the years done? And why doesn't he get them on uh, sale? Day one views. He always wants them day one views. And he's he is definitely given the illusion of choice here. The grand illusion. While suffering from delusions of the grandest of doors. It must be completed. Alright. I wish we had closure instead. <laughs> so Snort Lord could shut up. So, that's the thing. We have to figure out. What's the game that I should play next Friday? We. Now again, if I had my choice... If I ultimately could just play whatever I wanted, I would play Dragon's Dogma 2. Why? Because your wife wants you to play it, or you just don't want to go through the game while your wife is playing it and get spoiled. But I'm concerned. I mean, here's another thing, too. At first, the only reason why he wanted to get Dragon's Dogma 2, his wife loved Dragon's Dogma 2, or wanted to play it. That's the only reason why. Because I'm getting feedback that I should play Dragon's Dogma 2. But I'm very concerned. We're getting out of RPGs. We're finishing two. Uh, are you sure about that, Phil? Because the way you play, come uh, come April, you'll probably still be playing one of them. And now we're going to jump right into another one. Now, it is a very different style of RPG. This is an action-based RPG with different gameplay elements, right? But I am nervous it's not going to work. That it's going to be just like everything else. I buy the game. We play it two streams, and after two streams, people are tired of it. And they say, well, oh well. And they stop showing up, they stop engaging, they stop supporting, and I might as well never play the game. Well, then again, though, Phil, the reason why that you're play they're not going to give you money or not doing anything for it, they'll watch one stream of yours and not come back ever again. All right, I'm going to be a good example of a variety streamer is Co Carnage. Never seen him beg. Must not be a successful streamer. But if he's not begging, he's doing something right. I mean... Oh, honest with everyone. You guys have sadly been de it's desensitized to streaming. You are now <laughs> Des <laughs> desensitized to streaming. What does that even mean, Phil? Think that every streamer should just play a hot new game for two streams and move on. No, Phil. A lot of streamers out there that I've seen, they don't do this shit. Ender doesn't do this shit. Proton John doesn't do this shit. They don't play the hot new release and then drop it. They don't do that. They play whatever the fuck they want to play. 
And the reason is it Dragon's Dogma 2 more nuanced. It's not just some hack and slash action RPG. It has specific mechanics like Baldur's Gate 3. We all know how much he loves those. I really didn't look into it, but I'm going to say yes. Please clap. The reason that you believe that is because that's what the top streamers do. No, it's not. Because they're all fickle. But how are they all fickle? Because the reason that they're sitting here in front of you isn't to put out an entertaining broadcast. Uh, look at Maximilian, dude. Playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to tens of thousands of people. He's providing entertaining content. It's to print money. Uh-huh. Even though Maximilian, dude, tried putting the videos on YouTube and he got copyrighted. And because of that formula, everyone just believes that's the status quo. Okay. And that's not the status quo, Phil. That's your fickle brain, like, thinking here. That's your deluded state of mind thinking that all these top streamers out there, they're just printing money for themselves. They're printing money for the companies. They're printing money, 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 money. Money that you, I wish I could have. That's what you think, because you're, je it's jealous and envy. That's all it is right now. Jealousy and envy is really weird. Okay. It's not. It's not how it's supposed to be. All right? People who actually care about games. Not you. At least Maximilian dude plays games and he actually cares about video games. At least all these other people that actually stream video games or play video games actually give a fuck about video games. Even the, even the fucking ones that actually have a job that they go to. And, ti and they're tired. They're fatigued. They bust their balls to make a paycheck to support themselves and their families. And they buy a video game for themselves, and they take their time playing the game. At least they have a passion for gaming just as much as the next person. But not you, Phil. You're just going to sit there and just constantly keep going on and on, feigning the whole thing about you're have a, you have a passion for gaming. You love video games. Yeah, we're there for you. When the big booty Latina bitch didn't want to go out with you, all of a sudden, video games were there for you. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. When Leanna broke up with you, video games were there for you. <laughs> Phil, you make me angry, Phil. You want to keep saying that all these people out there, they don't have a passion for video games, and that they're just doing it for the money. When in reality, Phil, you're the one that's trying to do it for money every single goddamn motherfucking time. We'll fucking play them till completion. They don't. Oh, well, mm hmm. There are some people that actually do that. Asmongold plays them to completion. He did it with Diablo 4. You didn't. Just play a game when it's hot for two fucking streams. And then drop. Hmm. Maximilian Dude is still playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to this fucking day. On its fucking head. I gotta wake. Yeah, I gotta wake up my wife for this one. Oh, please do. But it seems like that's what's going on with tons of these people these days. They get a game because it's free. The publisher gives it to them for free. so they Because they're a likable personality, Phil. Or they give it to people that actually have a passion for it. They'll give it to someone like Super Butter Buns, even though, granted, I don't care for that person. But they like, but they love RPGs. Give it to them. Maximilian Dude, same thing. They like RPGs. Can play it and not have to worry about money investment, right? They only play it for two, three streams while it's popular. And, oh, fuck that. I'm not playing it any further. They never see the end of a game. That's not who I am. Uh, huh, that's not who you are, huh? Pal World says hi. You dropped it like a rock when money wasn't coming in. Sea of Stars says hi, and hello, Sanity coming back to me after reacting to your fucking shitty fucking playthrough of it. You dropped it like a fucking rock to play all these other games, and guess what? That's biting you right in the ass, fucktard. Please clap. Jesus fucking Christ. What other games did he put to the fucking band world? I know Final Fantasy VII is on there now. That's never who I've been. I don't follow those trends. I don't do what it takes. How, you know what? Hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look up something here. One second. How many games did DSP Rage Quit? There's a list. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. There's this. Big ups to Secret Limited, Legends Never Die. Please clap. A real hack job is what this is. They, it's a hack job. They just pretended like they were going to remaster the game and did not. I'm Let's see. Yeah, Divinity 2, that's what. Mario Wonder, um, no, he finished the game, but he was trying to do that special badge challenge. He quit that after that. Never went back to it. Uh, let's see. Uh... I know what, yeah, that one that was Super Meat Boy, one that was Amy, one of them was, uh, Crisis, Lords of the Fallen, that was another one, let's see, uh, that looks like a Sonic game, I believe, that, oh, that looks like Sonic Forces, Super Gold, got to have money, 
Mega Man. Fry donated one dollar and ninety nine cents. As Mungold built a career playing RPGs and MMOs. And yet he's still around. He's still doing the same thing that he loves We've to do. We've got to have money. Movie sign donated ten dollars. Dave is too dense to figure out that the common factor to his reasons why his channel is failing is him. Just wage quit already like the failure that you are, Phil. <laughs> Big up's movie sign in. Yeah, he should. He should just wage quit it. But he's not going to because if he does it, then it'll just prove that the tractor's right. It'll prove that he is a failure after all. But you see the point with that, though. At least people can actually document these rage quits. Which is something that Phil doesn't even understand, that he doesn't rage quit. For God's sakes, Alpha Omega Sin brought up DSP as an example for rage quitting, and he took offense to it. Please clap. Yeah, Streets of Rage 2, and he had to cheat. Mario Tennis. Mario Odyssey, he rage quit it, and then he cheated. What was the other games that he did it to as well? Let's see, what other games I'm trying to think of of recent memory? Well, no, Persona 3, fe no, Persona 3, he actually went back to finish it. He rage quitted it, and then he went back to finish it on easy mode. Become popular, you know what I'm saying? Um, the end of the game. That's not who I am. That's never who I've been. I don't follow those trends. I don't do what- Oh, yeah, also, yeah, Scarface. That's another one, too, that he rage quit. Threw it right behind the couch, and he will never go grab it ever again. <laughs> Kirby in the Forgotten Land. That was another one, too. He rage quit. He's like, no, this is like Dark Souls. It's so hard. Oh, and he wants to say that he's not following the trends. Pal World, uh, uh, again, comes a knocking. Everyone else was playing it. It was a virally popular game. It was somewhat meme worthy due to the fact that a lot of people say it was copying, bl uh, copying Bloodborne. Mm. Copying Nintendo's like Pokemon. Everyone played that. It was virally popular. You hopped right on that cakes to become popular you know what i'm saying you tried everything to become popular phil and then you pissed and squandered that all the way um i'm sorry that's just it's not me and it's never going to be me i'm not going to change who i am to follow the trends of what the top streamers do just because if you tried doing what all the other popular streamers do you wouldn't last and you wouldn't get any support of it because people would call you a try hard. Just because they can get away with it. Because didn't he find the disc again? I believe he did after he um moved that couch and replaced it with those two tables that have the de de decorations, and also that stupid chair, Dragon Ball Fighters. That's another one. So popular, and it's sad because I think that the gaming industry is really, really We've got to to have money. Vanguard Nice donated five dollars. I'm started to think Phil is cooking with Jack's son who he tried to end game in real life. And no, I'm not joking Jack hammed it to that while using religion. No, in fact, index for the four, not, uh, five spot Vanguard. Yes, I remember that too. He full on admitted that as well. That he was going to kill his son. That good, Jack Scalfani almost killed his son. I remember that. Ah! Even August the Conduct covered it. And that's why he's not doing anything with uh, cooking with Jack anymore. And also Stray Fox, I heard, I heard they had that cough. I do apologize that you're dealing with a sickness. Hope you feel better. Because of this. You can't... Oh, yeah. That's another one. Tekken 8. Mortal Kombat 1. Come rage quit at those games. <laughs> that was more recent, too. Retain interest in a game for more than a few days because every fucking person is on to the next game. Uh, if Phil, the reason why most of these popular streamers are on to the next game, they already beat it. They already did, Phil. Did he, rage, did he rage quit the new Zelda? No, he finished it. But he kept saying that the game was overly bloated with padding and side content that didn't matter. But then when he got to Ganondorf, he called it a puzzle boss. If the game industry knew what was good for it, here's what it would do. Stop giving out copies to every top streamer and find five people who are going to stick with their game throughout the entirety of the game and actually showcase the full game and how good it is and give them the copies, and everyone else can go fuck themselves. That's not a good idea, Phil. I would rather give it to a pop someone who is really popular when it comes to streaming. I would rather give it to a copy to Mac... Uh, I'm just using these names as an example. Love them or hate them, doesn't matter. I would rather give copies of a game to someone like Maximilian Dude, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, PewDiePie, and I would give it to Dr. Disrespect. I would give it to those people who are majorly fucking popular because they have a more of an audience than you do. 
but I wouldn't give it to someone. Like, if they gave me a copy of a game, it's not going to do much. If they gave you a copy of a game, it won't do anything. Because there's a select audience with it. But if you give it to someone who has, like, millions upon millions of people that watch them and love them, it makes more sense. But, again, Phil, this is your business degree trying to talk, but it's not saying a lot of shit with it. And it just comes across as someone that's like, give me the copy, me, re. Because then what'll happen is people will stop. I believe they did. With this bullshit of only hyping a game for two days. And then he, I think he, some, oh no, I think he finished the game, but I'm not too sure about that one. I'm not entirely sure. Dropping it. If you're putting on an 80 hour RPG, you don't want people only knowing about the first four hours. And that's what's happening right now, you know? Hey, Phil, did you not understand that sometimes they have to follow an NDA or they have to follow an agreement that they have to show off the first four hours or the first certain hours of the game or first section of the game? Some chapters, they have to do that as well, Phil. That's part of the agreement as well. Some cases, not all. But Phil, I love how Phil loves to generalize that all these popular streamers, they get a cop like a copy of Final Fantasy and they're like, oh, hey, four hours. That's all they show. He went to fancy schools, but he doesn't learn. Oh, he never learns. He claims that he's learned, and he knows everything, but fuck what he thinks he knows. Yay! Uh, hmm. Oh! Hold on one second. Where are you going, Phil? Really? Why you do this, Phil? Why you get up? Hold on one second. I gotta go strangle a bird. Yeah, you know, I'm, uh... I'm genuinely upset because I'm generally upset. It's everyone else's fault but my own. We're in a rut <laughs> now, and I don't like being Pardon in me. a rut. I don't. I don't like being in a fucking rut. Uh, in a situation where. We okay, thank you, Andrew. I, I, because I wasn't sure about that as well. I thought he finished it, but then he didn't finish it. I thought. I thought so. Thanks, Andrew. Please clap. We have all these games going. But no one's- uh, Apparently, Andrew, I gotta go to you to complain about something. Atlas said to go to you for complaints. It's happy. You know what I mean? It's like they say you can't please all the people all the time. Well, right now, the only people who are kind of happy right now are the Baldur's Gators, the Baldarians, right? Well, the only reason why is because when you play it, they give you money, and you're happy because you get money. Because I'm playing a lot of that game still, right? Um. So... By the way, I'm just enough of these idiots. Goodbye. Every idiot who just wants to be contradictory in the chat, just say goodbye. Why? Why is that a problem? Why is that? Oh, hell, I need a few levels to finish it. Okay. <laughs> what is a complaint? Atlas didn't give me my sandwich, and I'm complaining. Ah. I asked him for a sandwich, and he said, no, you're not getting your sandwich. And now I want my sandwich. <laughs> the fuck? But I love this whole thing, though. People are actually giving him, like, disagreements. Like, no, Phil, you're, you're an idiot. Shut up. I'm just gonna ban people. Fuck you. Oh, there it's one. Oh. Okay. Yeah, banned for contradicting his takes. And that's a problem, though. Phil wants to sit there and be like, you gotta respect my opinion. Hey, Phil, I have a disagreement. Nope, 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 nope. Get the fuck out. You're, you're what? You what? You banned. Fucking idiot. Everyone has to just contradict everything I say, of course. Well, Phil, people contradict what everybody says. That's human nature. Nobody's going to agree with the same shit that everyone's going to agree with. Like, I, I'll say one thing, and people can agree. And people can agree or disagree. It, do it doesn't matter, because we all know to agree to disagree about some things, motherfucker. That's how it works. Like, you don't see me say, like, I said that Spider-Man 2 is not the greatest game in the world, or, uh, actually, no, that's a bad example. Ah! If I said that Spider-Man 2, the Sam Raimi version, is not the definitive Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is the definitive Spider-Man movie, and I would say, don't at me, don't change my mind, and people said, hey, you're wrong about this, Spider-Man 2 is a great movie, Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man, and I told you, shut the fuck up. You're banned for my chat. Butt. That's dumb. It's dumb. It's childish. What he's doing right here is childish. If I ban someone for having a disagreement with me, it's childish. It's fucking childish. Yeah, adults, all adults do this. But he's 
What Phil's doing, he's taking up his ball that he took a knife and stabbed in. He's getting up like, nope, mm -mm, nope, I'm out. But fuck you, bye. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Bro, we're fighting. <laughs> oh, no, kid, this is going to help. Hold on, where's the bathroom so I can go hide in? Um, <clears throat> Don't hurt me, I'm an alcoholic. So. That, hey, what up, Dale? Welcome to the stream. That's the deal, is I need to do, I need to put my foot down. We have to make a big change here. In order to get stuff going, okay? He's a 14 year old in a melted body. Oh, absolutely injured. Especially the body that has eye twitches, the tongue that goes, bloop, and then also the ear twitching. <sighs> Creepy. Okay? Uh, I hope this is okay with you. Because I know some people are gonna be upset. They're gonna be like, well, what happened to Final Fantasy VII? Well, what happened is people stopped watching it. That's what happened. Phil, if you truly gave a fuck about gaming like you proclaimed as you do, play it anyway. Fuck the views, fuck the money that you get from it, and just put it out there anyway and play the game anyway. Do what most normal people would fucking do. Normal people that actually do Let's Plays of games like that, or they stream it. Do that. But you won't. People have completely... Oh no, the... Oh no, bombs. Uh... Dom the Monko, Monko, Monko. Yay. <laughs> I couldn't do the bob anymore. Stop. When I play the, the game. The envy, the angst, the disdain. It's nuts. It's all nuts here. <laughs> the sun gave him ashes, so he sought out the moon. It's like it's dead in here. People are falling asleep. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. People have completely stopped. When I play the game, it's like it's dead in here. <laughs> It's dead in here! Are you sure that's not your soul? Because that's been dead for fucking years. People are falling asleep. That's you, Phil. <laughs> that's fucking you. <laughs> God damn it, Phil. Shut up. Very few people are engaging. Uh, the <laughs> Phil, Nightbot is the only thing that are talking. No one's engaging. It's so quiet in here like your Discord. Support as well. Like last time I played Final Fantasy VII. Uh, all the support. That, that would tell. That would tell a normal would tell something. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Support came in during the podcast. As soon as I booted the game, nothing. There was that. Was it. it was dead. Who cares? Who fucking cares? If I play a video game and no one gave me money, I wouldn't give a fuck. It's not their obligation. If they want to get money, they can get money. Who cares? <laughs> Who fucking cares? Is it, I, I'm dead. I might as well have been sitting here. Just staring at a camera like this for three hours. Well, hold on. G give me a second. Hang on. Guns at the ready. Ready to fire. Let's go. In fact, if I actually did that, I think it would have been more exciting to some people. Because people just don't care about the game. Yeah, it's so exciting. Yeah, who... If I actually did that, I think it would have been more exciting to some... Get, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Staring at a camera like this for three hours. Like, imagine... Okay. Ladies, imagine that face was staring at you. That turn you on yet? Or does it make you want to punch him in the goddamn face? Makes me want to punch him in the face. In fact, if I actually did that, I think it would have been more exciting. Especially with that fucking dirty ass shirt. It looks like a fucking bum. Getting to some people. You're a bum, Rocky. You're a bum. Because people just don't care about the game. You know? And that's sad. No, 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 Phil. They don't. It's not that they don't care about the game. They don't care about you. They don't care about you, Phil, and my cat's screaming because they fucking hate you. Because I think it's a fine game, but why am I going to continue on with a game that there is literally no interest in? And I really like this game, but I'm going to drop it because nobody likes it. Yeah, I, that's what I'm getting out of my audience is I'm getting no interest in that game at all right now, Um, which is sad. I think they did a good job with it. I do agree. He does. They did a good job with the game, but I'm getting rid of it because I don't like it. That. I mean, no one likes it. So. Just saying, face does. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, pussy. Ah! No. Well, the side content in the open world is very repetitive, and I'm wondering because we're only in the second side area. That's another thing. I'm, okay. Someone brought up this point that he never had this face. He didn't have that stroke face. Like, back then. And I really want to know is this true, though? Because I hadn't noticed that until more recently now. And a lot of people started noticing this too. Did he have that stroke face beforehand? And when did this face like contort into this? 
So if we get to the further side areas of the game, and basically it's all the same shit again, like the same exact, uh, you know, game loop again. The same uh, enemy fights, one mini boss, you go to those energy pools, solve the sub in, uh, touch pattern puzzle, which isn't even really a puzzle, it's just a time button push, like you're playing a Bomani game or whatever. If it's all the same. Yeah, sir. Uh, <laughs> Bell's palsy. I know what you're doing. That's cerebral palsy. Ugh, that's that's rough. God, for God's sakes, it's just rough. Over and over and over. Uh, well, Phil, the problem is, is that the game does something different, though. Sure, you're fighting a mini boss. It's a different one. Has a different way to fight it. Has a boss. Different way to fight that boss. Uh, different enemies to fight. The game can provide you with variety, but as soon as variety just like bitch slaps you in the face, you wouldn't like. You don't like it. Um. So, I don't even see the point of continuing, right? I feel like that's a game that maybe you just turbo through the story and fuck everything else, because what's the point? Well, that's what normal people do. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Ah! I, I actually had no idea there was multiple things of that. My apologies with that. Hey, Oleander, welcome to the street. But here's the thing that I've noticed with this as well. I'm going to go back just a bit more. I had, I had the train of thought and I lost it. I need to regain that. Over and over and over. Um, I don't even see the point of continuing, right? I feel like that's... Wait, hang on. ...game loop again. The same uh, enemy in fights. One mini boss. You go to those energy pools. Solve the sub in... Solve. Uh, ...touch pattern puzzle, which isn't even really a puzzle. It's just a time button push, like you're playing a Bomani game or whatever. It's all the same. Over and over and over. It's not the same over and over and over again. Different games have different types of mechanics with it. Unicorn Overlord. Different ways to play the game. Has a different mechanic to it. It's a strategy RPG. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Has the same entire environment like Like a Dragon or Yakuza. But it has turn-based combat. Like a, I was going to say Like a Dragon again. But Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Tur uh, action RPG. With a retelling of Final Fantasy VII. Um. Um. I don't even see the point of continuing, right? I feel like that's a game that maybe you just turbo through the story and fuck everything else, because what's the point? Oh, oh, okay. That that was my that was my thing. Okay. Normal people, when they play a game for the very first time, they go through the story first. Most of the time, they do. But there are some games out there, if it provides you a big open world or just a big environment for you to fuck around with, a good example for this case would be like Far Cry 3, Spider-Man 2... I know people don't like Spider-Man 2 because Sweet Baby Ink, but that's a... <clears throat> we don't talk about it. <coughs> but, continuing the point with that, though, it's like... People can just play the game and enjoy the story and then go back to it when they want to. To get everything else in the game. To do the side content. It's there. But it heavily depends on how the person wants to play the game and how much they want to spend time and investment onto it. It heavily depends on that. But Phil just sitting here. At first, he was the guy that rushed. Then he became the guy. He pretended to be a completionist by going to do everything in the game. And now, he's going right back to rushing to try to beat the games. Ruining the impact of what a game should offer. Cyberpunk, Dishonored, Prey, uh, Prey Dishonored, and Cyberpunk. Those are good ones, too. I would say another one game that I actually really do this a lot into, and and I did this with the PS4 version of it, was Stardew Valley. Trying to get every single trophy in that game. Trying to find every single item to craft, every single item to ship, every single achievement in that game. Except for the one with Jojo Mart, because fuck Jojo Mart. Ah! But I don't even know if you can do that, because I don't know if the game scales to your level or what, right? I don't know. Unless you pick the difficulty. Um... Well, yeah, that just feels like that's the situation we're in right now. Um, is that no one cares about Final Fantasy. Mm, that's a disagreement with that, Phil. People do care about Final Fantasy, just not you. We're endlessly... St Actually, in high school, DSP said his nickname was that kid with the weird head. Or the, the weird-shaped head. Yeah, I remember that one. It it's such a dumb nickname. <laughs> really is. Stuck in these other playthroughs. And, you know, we need to make a change, so... What I need... Oh, no, he ain't he ain't no Russian. <laughs> Remember, no, no Russian. Need, FYI... Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 is good. The newer one. The new Spider-Man 2. The um, Insomniac one. It is good if you don't pay attention to the story. 
The combat's great. The environments are great. The story is just... Eh. Is feedback of what we're playing on Friday next week. And no matter what it is, we're going to do a premiere day of it. And then after that, it's going on hiatus until we finish these games. We must finish Baldur's Gate 3. You said that about Sea of Stars, Phil. And that's never coming back. And we absolutely must finish Like a Dragon. And we're going to work on it. Because I want someone to say, hey, it's, it's my friend's birthday. <laughs> ah. It's my friend's birthday today. Wish him a happy birthday, Phil. Hardcore for the next one to two weeks until the games are done. And then we're going to come back and focus more on whatever other game we chose to play. Okay. No, 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 no Phil. Ooh, quit saying we. Because I know people love to say we when you say we. Because it's dumb. Because it's not we. It's what you decide to play. Phil doesn't need an edible. No, no, no. He needs a lot. <laughs> yeah, funny thing. Yeah, remember Project 7? Phil's always hated Final Fantasy 7. So why do you play it nowadays? Uh, with the remake? Oh, no, he played the original. Said he liked it, in quotes. But then there's the remake. Hated the fucking remake. And then there's 7. Rebirth. Again, he only played that because everybody else was saying the same thing. It's the most anticipated game of 2024. Most anticipated game. Most anticipated game. Most anticipated game. Anticipated, 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 anticipated. Oh, I guess it's mine now. Okay. Now, the thing is, this Battlefront collection is also a big question mark. Because it was going to be a part of the rotation. Yeah, spoiler alert. It was not after that. But sadly, I don't even know if it works, right? Glob, glob, glob. Black Tar. But he won't... But he won't get the girl that speaks to him in Persian, that girl with golden eyes. He'll never have that one. So Too rich for his blood. doesn't work, then obviously it's not even a concern. But I guess we have to see what happens today. Um, and if it works, and if it's, if it's a joke and it's broken and it doesn't work, then I guess we're not playing this anymore either. And I just fucking bought it. Yeah, he just fucking bought it. He bought it for 32 I think it was like 32 something because it, it, was, it was like discounted price on it because PlayStation Plus had a discounted price on it. But after yesterday, he's not touching that ever again. Right? So this all, obviously, this is not the ideal. This is the necessary evil. Necessary, necessary evil. This is necessary. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is. Like, I have to do it this way. I don't like doing it this way. I would much rather be more paced, be more metered, play everything, balance everything. Um, well, then again, though, Phil, nothing would ever be balanced with you. If someone hands you the, a perfectly balanced sword, and they're holding it in their hand, they're like, look at this, this is perfectly balanced, and they hand it to you to make it balance, you will fall fly on the fucking ground. But sadly, it's not working. There's too many lengthy games. I don't think ever in my entire history. Yeah, but the problem is, though, Vanguard, he won't do it, just due to the fact no one's asking about it anymore. People have asked him to play other games, but he's, like, not interested. Um... Might be a hot tag. I play Final Fantasy VII. It's okay. I liked it, but I don't get the hype behind it, sadly. It might be a case of it being past my prime. Oh, don't worry. I didn't really care for Final Fantasy VII either. The only one I cared in the whole entire uh, compilation of Final Fantasy VII was Crisis Core. That was the only game related to Final Fantasy VII that I really enjoyed. Nine and six will always be my go-to. Of me being a YouTuber. And but 7 Remake and Rebirth, changed. it didn't change my mind about Final Fantasy 7, but it made me appreciate it a little bit more. That's almost 16 years at the... How could a remaster of a remake be the most anticipated game of 2024? Uh, because in this case, Final Fantasy... Uh, I was hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, but sad If we're talking about the Classics Collection and Phil's logic, I have no idea. But if we're talking about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, it's a retelling of the classic. That's what that is. It's not working. There's too many lengthy games. I don't think ever in my entire history um, of me being a YouTuber, and that's almost 16 years at this point, I don't think I've ever played this many ultra-lengthy games at one time before, ever. Hey, 16 years. Isn't that when you met Leanna? Ever. Never. You know, over 100 hours Baldur's Gate. Roughly... 60 to 80 hours, Like a Dragon, and like 80 plus hours, Final Fantasy 7. I've never played three... Uh, Phil, Final Fantasy 7 is not 80 plus hours. It's 55 and a half. Games like that at one time before. They've never even come out at the same time before. And now we're faced with endless amounts of these games. And again... Endless amounts of these games. Only mentions three. And then he mentions... He doesn't even mention Unicorn Overlord, just because Atlas, Sega, or Vanillaware. Yes, 
some of the responsibility here has to be put onto these game developers and game publishers for all releasing their insanely lengthy RPGs within a three-month period of time. That is suicide. Mm, poor choice of words there, Phil. <coughs> but no, it's not because that's what the game industry did. Each pu company, publisher, released it on their own terms. They didn't look at, oh, hey, oh, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is coming out on uh, in January. Oh, no, we can't do it there. We got to do it in February. Oh, no, that's Persona 3 Reload at the beginning of February. Oh, no, but let's put it at the end of February. Perfect. Please clap. They're not doing that, Phil. And that, if that's what you're thinking, that all these people for the pub, each like CEO of the publishers are coming in and like making a meeting, coming into agreement of, oh hey, we'll release this game on this day, we'll release this on this day, this day, this day, this day, handshakes all around. If that's what he thinks that they that this is, holy shit, this the, the delusions of this. <laughs> and they've all done it. There is a distinct reason why Final Fantasy VII Rebirth sales numbers are much lower than what the company was expecting. They were expecting it to be a blockbuster blowout, their highest selling game of all time, and the game hasn't even sold as well as Final Fantasy 16. Hey Phil, where are you basing this research on? Where are you basing the source from? Are you basing this around Japanese sales, worldwide sales, physical, digital? Are you focusing on those? Or are you just focusing on one and saying, nope, that's all around? Which by argument- Yeah, the collusion, conclusion. Hate when he says words. Really do. You know, a lot of people criticized said it wasn't that good. Why? Phil, you said that Final Fantasy Seven or Final Fantasy Sixteen was not good. You kept criticizing it for the wrong reasons. What up, Scoot Boot? Because there's too many fucking RPGs. You're not going to continuously have hits if they're all the same genre of game. Mm, but Phil, they have the same quote-unquote genre, but it's a different type of genre in the same one. It just can't happen. You can't release... 20 summer blockbuster action movies back to back you can't release seven fighting games back to back and you can't release 10 rpgs back to back it doesn't work hmm they didn't release them all back to back phil i'm okay so if that's the case phil they're doing it back to back who's heard of unicorn overlord when you were told about unicorn overlord you had no idea what that game was about you had no idea who made that game you were just like uh i don't know what that is probably another rpg to huh If people told you about and Sandland, you didn't even know Sandland was an RPG until you looked it up when a Toriyama passed away. And as soon as you said, oh, it's an RPG, oh, <laughs> RPG, you just cry me a goddamn river. But for some reason, they idiotically didn't look at the climate and anything around them. The climate? <laughs> they looked at the climate change. Instead, they just focused on making their games and just pumping them all out at the same time. It makes no sense. So now they're all cannibalizing each other, and we're seeing this in the industries. How? What the fuck are you even talking about? They're cannibalizing each other. What the fuck are you even talking about? You see people talk about an RPG for three days, and then it's like the game doesn't exist. Uh, no, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth still exists. Unicorn Overlord has some talk about it, mostly with its animations. Big ups to the animations, am I right? Big juicy butt. What happened, right? Like, no exaggeration. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, no one's talking about it anymore. Uh, are you sure about that, Phil? Because I can go on Twitter and I can see people talking about it. And it just came out two weeks ago. You would have thought this would have been the game that everyone, it has legs that everyone's talking about nonstop. Hey, oh. Phil, people are still talking about it. I mean, for God's sakes, look at the, if people can divert their attention to the bottom of the screen, <laughs> you'll see why. Oh, it's done. It's as if the game never came out. It was hyped for a few days. And then everyone just ran to the next thing that pumped out. Now everyone's talking about their hype for Dragon's Dogma 2 because the character creator came out for that, right? And in all actuality, I'm not seeing much people talk about Dragon's Dogma 2's character creator. I'm not seeing much about it. All that I saw about it when it first came out, look at people creating Carlac, Laziel, and Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, making all these characters and the fucking character creator. After that, nothing. There's nothing that came out after that. It's like, even in the RPG market, Final Fantasy VII, Infinite Wealth, and Reload appeal to different people. Oh, absolutely. And that's another thing that Phil doesn't seem to understand. Is that there are different RPGs out there in the market that will cater to people's style. If they like more of an anime style of a game, Persona 3 Reload. If they're catering more into, like, a retelling of a story or nostalgia, then they'll say Final Fantasy VII. In some cases, Final, uh, Persona 3 Reload. 
if they want to see a game they want to continue and also they like like a dragon or yakuza then like a dragon infinite wealth or again turn based all of the rpgs out there they always have a catering style to everybody <clears throat> and now the controversy is about this is what i mean like there's no more focus on one game anymore it's all for one day we talk about it and then we move on uh phil who are you looking at that does this shit phil you're not looking at any of these people instead you're making generalized notions that's what all streamers are doing you want to know why i'm telling you right now the fuck is streamers because this is how they've become they've become talk about a game for one day just to get a boost in views and then move on to the next and then move on to the next it's like hey phil that sounds a lot like you dude that is so harmful to the industry phil how do you know this is damaging the industry how do you know that people that are streamers talking about a game how do you know that this is killing the industry you have no fucking idea that what the industry is going through or what they're doing to sell their games you have no idea what they're doing to promote their games instead you're just making more generalizations more generalizations more and more and more and more and more to the point where it just makes you sound like a crazy man it really is and i don't understand why no one gets this. I was browsing the sea market for games. Did anyone know about the Dragon Togma character creator on Steam? Ah! That having this fucking ADD bouncing all over the place. Oh, oh, this today, this today, this today, this today, this today. Oh, God damn it, Phil. That retarded dance of yours. Nothing ever fucking gets, gets done. Right? <clears throat> Phil, nothing ever gets done on your channel because of the way you play the games. But I love the fact that you're saying that nothing ever gets done from other people and they go straight to your content. Why are you not done with your games, Phil? Glob glob. I don't know. I feel here's the thing. I feel like back in the day. Oh, I, oh great. Back in the day segment. Oh my god, old man talk again. I say back in the day, I mean like 10, 15 years ago, of course. Um Yeah, 10, 15 years ago. Well no shit, back in the day when you weren't a popular YouTuber, and it's like Fuck! The game industry was so different because when a big game came out, that became everyone's focus for a couple of months. And everyone was talking about it, everyone was excited for it, everyone cared about it. And now it's like everyone just lives in their little bubbles. You know what, Phil, that's you. You're the one living in your own little bubble. But then again, though, Phil, you're talking about all these games that people had a focus on. If it was a big AAA release or a big title, then people would care about it. But if it was like a small title and nobody's ever heard about it, hey, a little hit piece. Okay, back to the big thing. It might be, it might be the dawn of the on-demand era as well. So Wait, what? Hold on. How does this have to do with on-demand? For example, um, right now, let's say you want to watch a movie. Okay, it used to be back in the day, well, you go rent it. You go rent it from the video store. Okay, this is what I don't understand with this whole entire thing. He goes about how the game industry is oversaturated with RPGs, how streamers are ruining the game industry, how there's oversaturation of RPGs. Now we're moving on to... Renting a video from Blockbuster or on-demand services, like, what? Huh? What? Oh. Huh? Or you buy the DVD. Today, it's like, well, what streaming service is it on? Is it on Hulu? Is it on Netflix? Is it on Paramount Plus? Is it on, uh, what's the other one? The other one that starts with the P. Peacock. Peacock? God, I have to go back to how he said that. Uh, what's the other one? The other one that starts with the P. Peacock. <laughs> this is the way that he just says he has like the bug eye and the little head wiggle up. Peacock. Because he didn't want to say the word cock. Right? Is it on Mac? Cock. Ah. Is it on Amazon Video? It's Prime Video, Phil. Is it on Apple fucking, you know, video? What's it on? And if importance happened, he had a Q&A stream and it was fucking boring. Right? You don't even know. Even Atlas did the whole thing with the restream with it. And um, Atlas finished Halo Reach. Please clap. Oh, what is this point? I have no fucking idea. Like, make this make sense, you fucktard. Make this make sense. And you need to have 17 services in order to get any kind of entertainment. Now. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. You don't need all those fucking services. It's the same thing with the gaming industry. You don't need Game Pass. You don't need the Nintendo Switch Online. For the ones that has like the like the N64 or the fucking Genesis or the old, you know what I mean by that one. You don't need PlayStation Plus. 
You can choose to do it if you want to get them. You can choose. Same thing with like Peacock, Tubi. No one, no, no, don't go to Tubi. No, 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 no. Mm. Ah! I was like Peacock, Hulu, Netflix, Prime Video, Max. It's all depend on the power of choice, what you want. But I love how Phil's like, oh no, you have to go to all these sites. You have to buy them all. No, you fucking don't. There's a trial. Most of them offer a trial. And if it doesn't match your billing, then what you want, okay, drop it. Move on to something else. <sighs> Fuck me. And now the thing is, <clears throat> it used to be when a new show came out on TV, what would happen? That TV show... Oh, yeah, his mannerisms are just... They're very passive-aggressive. They're, like, trying to attack me. Like, I feel like I'm being attacked right now. I, oh, my God. I, I, I need to call the police. ...show would be broadcast nationally on prime time, 8 p.m. this Thursday, the hot new show. So everyone would watch it all simultaneously and then there'd be talk about that show all over the world not really though film i remember okay this and this is making me sound fucking old right now whenever i was younger there was one show that came around that everyone somewhat talked about that me and my family would always get around and watch it was funny enough it was fucking lost please clap i mean lost great show first three seasons are great but then after that kind of goes off the deep end a little bit but i watched it because it was something that me and my family could talk about why? Because it's there. It's like, he's so much like Bojack, but with none of the charm. Oh, absolutely. That, I, I've even made, to the, I even made that point, too. That his Heavy Rain playthrough is his, is his version of horsing around. And that he wants to relive the good old days. That he wants to go back to when he was famous. And when he was a somebody. When he was a nobody. And all of a sudden, as soon as that popularity drained, he got kicked out of Machinima. He just became a washed-up nobody that nobody cared about. And yet, he's trying to relive his glory days. He's like, see, look what I did here. I said the N-word and... Phil, you make me angry, Phil. So dumb. So fucking dumb. So goddamn dumb. But it's like the whole thing with this, though. He wants to keep going on and on with these stupid fucking tangents. He wants to go over these analogies, and he just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, he peaked. Can't accept that he's gone. He misses the cold eyes. He, he's him. I'm him. You go home. Because it just aired, and it was a hot new property, right? Okay, but then again, though, Phil, this cannot be related to video games at all. Because if it's a talk of the town of, like, one video game, problem is, though, Phil, not everybody's going to own the same console. If the hot new release was on the PS3, I'm using this back in the day, PS3, no one really would have to talk about it unless they owned a PS3 and actually played the game. Same thing with the 360, same thing with the X, like the Nintendo. I say Nintendo because it's very loosely, ah! but you get the idea. If you had that certain console, then yeah, you could talk about it, but if you never had it, you can't really talk about it very much. But you can go by word of mouth and see if it's really good. Today. Oh, that's a bell. Because everything, everything is on demand, instant gratification. But uh, I'm sorry, what? But because it's all in its own channel, you don't get that feeling of, wow, it's a big worldwide event that everyone cares about anymore. Mm, but then again, though, Phil, what can be like described as a worldwide event can be completely different than someone else. But then again, though, Phil, this isn't something like 9-11 that actually shocked the fucking world. That actually shocked the country. And that was talked about because that actually happened. I know this got really depressing and dark fast. But still, if you're talking about shows with this, though, not everybody's going to watch the same show like everybody else. Because everybody has a certain preference. And I think that's what's happening right now with video games, right? Everyone's kind of in their own lane. So the fighting game people are here, the RPG people are here, but then there's even subgenres of RPGs. You didn't even know there was subgenres of RPGs. There's the shooter people here and here, and they all just do their own thing, and there's no crossover. Uh, Phil, there's most cases, crossovers. There are people out there that can like multiple genres of games. Take it from me. I love RPGs. I love me a good shooter. I love indie games, but indie games have their own genres of what they could be. Indie shooter, indie RPG, indie rhythm game. I like a good rhythm game. I like a good puzzle game, a platformer, action adventure. 
everybody can like any genre that they like. There is a crossover, Phil. But the way that you're talking, Phil, you're very clueless and you're trying to sound smart and profound when you're talking about this. When really, it just makes you sound like you've been hitting the bottle a little bit too hard. Instead, everyone's just in their own lane. So it used to be you could be like a jack of all jack of all trades. You cover variety. You're interested in all these different genres. Oh, great! Look at him saying that he was a jack of all trades, the master of none, when he was indeed the master of none because he had no knowledge. But now it's like if you're not hyper focused on the one genre, right? <clears throat> so let them. If they really like RPGs and they just want to play RPGs, let them. Leave them the fuck alone. Then you just don't... But here's another thing, too. Here's another thing with this, too. Phil wants to say that they're all fo hyper-focused on a genre and they nothing else. But yet, this is coming from a guy that proclaims himself to be a variety streamer. He plays all types of games. But once a certain type of game is handed to him, he'll feign interest and anticipation that the game might be good. But if it doesn't go his fucking way, then all of a sudden, oh, hey, the game fucking sucks now. So he wants to sit there and cry and bitch and complain, but constantly make up the excuse that he loves RPGs. Same thing with Nintendo. If something doesn't go right, if he's playing like a Nintendo game and no one's giving him money or giving him attention, he'll keep saying that I love Nintendo, I love Nintendo, but he'll constantly make up excuses to why these games suck. Tears of the Kingdom is a great example. Him kept saying over and over and over how it was bloated, how it was padding, Nintendo doesn't know what they're doing, the visuals don't look that great, the frame rate's terrible, yada yada yada, making up excuses and making up all these problems with no solutions to how to fix it or how they could fix it, and it just makes him sound like a nut. Just on the one genre, right? <laughs> <laughs> then you just don't care about anything else, right? Like the fighting game community cares about Street Fighter VI, and it's DLCs. Uh, not necessarily. They could also care about Tekken 8 and also care about Mortal Kombat 1 and Grand Blue. And Tekken. And that's it. The RPG community right now is kind of in shambles because there's so many different RPGs. But... I'm, I'm, I'm fucking dead. Mortis. How is it in shambles? How, how are they crying? Oh my god, no, our community is in shambles, even though there's a lot of RPGs to play, a lot of RPGs to enjoy. Oh my god, we're in shambles. So now they're even, like, siphoning out into different channels of what RPG styles you like, and then you follow that, right? Shooters are kind of all over the place right now, because Call of Duty's in shambles. No one really even talks about it anymore. You can't, It's more about what's the new hype shooter that everyone's playing for, like, the next few weeks or whatever. Nobody cares, Phil. <laughs> to pick whatever they want. When did you miss Mokey? Oh, two hours worth of insanity. Ah. Um, him making the big announcement saying that he's dropping Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. And he's trying to focus on rushing through Fi Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth and Baldur's Gate 3. Making up really dumb analogies and dumb comparisons. You know what? Oh god, shut the fuck up, you cunt! Missed that. Shooters. <laughs> and also shooters. He's talking about how nobody cares about Call of Duty anymore, and they're oh, focused God, on the the, the next hyper shooter. <laughs> rewind it. Listen to Intridge if she tells you to rewind. Rewind. And there's all these different ones. Hey, the God. I'll do that, too. I'll, I'll, hold on. I'll do that. There we go. We'll go here. There people here and here, and they all just do their own thing, and there's no crossover. Instead, everyone's just in their own lane. So it used to be, you could be like a jack of all, jack of all trades. You cover variety. You're interested in all these different genres. Uh, TLDR, Phil proclaims to be a variety streamer. He is not. But now it's like, if you're not hyper-focused on the one genre, right? Even though the fighting game community was like that. But then again, though, uh, another part of the TLDR, Phil was hyper-focused on fighting games. <clears throat> <clears throat> then you just don't care about anything else, right? Like the fighting game community cares about Street Fighter VI and its DLCs. And Tekken, and that's it. The RP uh, TLDR, uh, they're focusing on two games when there's a lot of other games in the genre. The RPG community right now is kind of in shambles. Because a TLDR, there's a lot of games in the RPG community and the RPG genres, but all of a sudden he thinks that the community is in shambles. That, that's TLDR. There's so many different RPGs, so now they're even like siphoning out into different channels of what RPG styles you like, and then you... And uh, another part of the TLDR, even though there's different subcategories of J of RPGs, it doesn't really fucking matter, because the RPG community is eating good this year. Follow that, 
right? Shooters are kind of all over the place right now. Shooters are all over the place. What shooters are you playing, Phil? Now, because Call of Duty's in shambles, no one really even talks about it. Did he ever play the Monster Hunter games? He played, uh, I believe, four Ultimate. But he never, and he tried to beta for a world, and he apparently he made up the excuse that nobody liked him playing Monster Hunter World, and that he shouldn't do it. But he kept saying that Monster Hunter was grindy, tedious, and repetitive and boring. When it's actually one of their best sellers for Capcom anymore, you can't. It's more about what's the new hype shooter that everyone's playing for like the next few weeks or whatever. And there's all these different ones from different studios and things, and they're all competing. There's the, the finals just had its fucking season two. Oh, yeah, he was getting to the finals. Um, he never played the finals. And I guess there was that game, or was it, like, Ready to Go or something like that? Has ready or Not. I heard Ready or Not is actually really good. Something to do with police or something? Who knows? Yeah, that's Ready or Not. No, people played it for three days, and then they dropped it like it never... Uh, not really, though. I know a few friends of mine that actually like playing Ready or Not, but as soon as Final Fantasy VII Rebirth came out, they're focused on that right now, so it makes sense. It never existed. Right? But this is how it is now. Like, everyone is all over the place now. Even, yeah, even random. You're making, you're actually showing off on other games for the uh, fighting games. Mortal Kombat 1, Guilty Gear, King of Fighters 15, Grand Blue Fantasy, uh, Versus, Under Night and Day. And there's no, or Under Night and Birth, my bad. Oh, no, like, this is what's popular. Let's talk about it. Instead, it's like we're all off in our own little corners of the room in these little clicks. And we're kind of like, oh, this is happening. This is good. This is good. This is good. But there's no crossover. There's no feeling of like, as gamers, this is what's good and let's enjoy it together. Oh my God, Phil, are you generalizing that all gamers out there are just focused on one genre? I, I wish I had more to say after that, but I'm so fucking speechless. So, Jaha. Shut the fuck up! Ready? I need to play Ready or Not. I need to buy that eventually. I heard that was really good. I need to play that. But the whole thing where he's like, oh, there's no crossover. There's no crossover. It's like, look at all the excuses the pig roach made. Talking in circles. I don't think... Oh, yeah. Hell Divers 2. That's a shooter that just came out, and it's doing really good, and people are still playing that. I think that's a good thing at all. What about Lucid? Uh, I feel Lucid like Dits? we've lost that feeling. Of greater gaming, of big momentous releases, of you know big hype things. They don't felt that's you. You're the one that lost that momentum. You're the one that lost the greater side of releases that are coming out. You lost all of that, but yet you're generalizing that everybody lost that. People were still excited for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to come out. People were still excited when Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth came out, Tekken Eight. And they're still excited for all the other games that are coming out. Rise of the Rodin, Dragon's Dogma 2, Sandland, Dave the Diver for PlayStation, even though it's already out for other consoles. And all the other indie games, the people that like the indie game to like market. There are people who are really excited for that as well. There's a game that has a demo for it. And I don't know when it's going to come out, but I hope it comes out this year. It's called Die in the Dungeon, which is essentially a roguelike game that's really, really good. I highly recommend it. If y'all like have, have Steam, I would recommend downloading the demo for or what they have for it, uh, Die in the Dungeon Origins. I highly recommend trying it out. If it's your type of game, great. Wait for it to come out. But if it's not, oh well. I'm not going to appease everybody with my opinions. Ah, don't exist anymore because. Hang on. I feel like we've lost that feeling. Oh, Dredge is a great one, too. Oh, absolutely fucking lootly. A fishing game that has Lovecraftian elements? Hell yeah. Of oh, greater game? Yeah, boy. Balotro. I saw Snood play that once, and I actually own that game on PS5, and I tried the trial for it, and I really liked it. I kind of want to get it on Steam. That way, I can do a stream of it one of these days, but that game's great, too. Of big, momentous releases of you know, big hype things. And he was hyping uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You're absolutely right, Gareth. Because he saw that it won anticipated game. He's like, oh, I guess I'm going to play it now. It don't exist anymore. Because all people care about is the day it comes out, you talk about it, and then you're on to the next, the next day. And again, I, I do believe that's heavily influenced by the on-world streamer culture. Not necessarily, though, Phil. There are some people that will still talk about it. There are people that I know that talk about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. They're playing it right now. They're showing off screenshots of it. They're telling about their experiences with it, especially the uh, the Tifa suit. Come! Yeah, they're still talking about it because they like what they saw of it, but... <sighs> Phil just doesn't get it!
I totally rem- I heard Backpack Battles looks good. But it reminds me of Backpack Hero. Remember that shit. Yeah, I, I, I believe that shit. Because everyone's now got this ADD feeling. We're wired to think games are important for two days and then you're out. What's the next one? And that's a horrible fucking thing to, to feel, right? Phil, that's you. You're the one that's like that. You're like, oh my god, okay, a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. All right, let's go. Let's get this game going. I'm not getting support of it. Oh, y'all think it sucks. Oh, I'm going to play it again. Oh, yeah, it's, it's oh, okay, it sucks now. I'm dropping it. Baldur's Gate 3, I'm going to play that game. Yeah, because it won Game of the Year. I'm going to prove my detractors wrong, those fucking retards. I'm going to prove them wrong because I never said it wasn't going to be Game of the Year. And he makes money off of it. Yeah, I'm gonna play it like a dragon if it well. I really like this game. Barely any support. Mortis. Again, all this is Phil. Right? Um, I don't think anything should be like that. <clears throat> At all. <clears throat> okay. I'm blowing right into the mic. So, anyway. Um, um, that's why I gotta put my foot down here. Now, some people are gonna be upset and they're gonna be like, So wait, there's no Final Fantasy VII anytime soon? No, there's not. I'm not playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth again for a while. Yeah, you're dropping it. Yay! I'm not. I refuse to play it. No one's tuning into the streams as it is. I, so there's no point in continuing with that playthrough until I get to um, a, a time. <laughs> until I get more. Until I get more money. Yay! That means Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster is all right, but a bit short, but all right. If you need a Star Wars fix. Uh... I would just recommend buying the original game and just getting modded sources, modded engines that actually make it look like it's HD. Then you'll be fixed. Cheaper, too. And when maybe we can bring it back and it makes sense, it doesn't make sense to keep it dragging along while I have these other unfinished games, okay? Well, Phil, that's your entire fucking fault. You're the one that keeps constantly doing that. So... Yeah, dropping a game that's been out for 16 days. Yep, smart plan. For this next week, the absolute focus... Is Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon, let's finish them. We probably can't finish either in the next week, but if we just play those games nonstop, we'll make big progress. Everybody's RPG'd out. I'm gonna force y'all to watch me play RPGs. Okay? I'm gonna do a QA segment. Hey, why don't you play RPGs? No stupid QA time. Sit on Daddy's lap. And then <laughs> this Friday we have to figure out what we're doing. Oh god, that that Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That not that face. That's not that's not a good face. Stranger danger. He's about to touch the no no square. No. Ah! That's a bad bad touch. Bad touch. Big progress. Okay. And then. And he has to do that Rico Suave hair <laughs> little hair push. This God, hold on. Look at that hairline. Look at that. It's like God did. Mr. Bean has better hair than he does. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Jesus Christ, that shitty widow's peak. This Friday, we have to figure out. <laughs> the eyes like, give me the money. I implore you to give me money. Out what we're doing. Is it going to be Rise of the Ronin or Dragon's Dogma 2? I'm okay with either. I really am. I'm okay with either just playing one game for one day and then dropping it until I finish the other games and going right back to it when nobody cares about it anymore. But we have to make a definitive. Yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> no beach scene. Trust me, Kenneth, I'm disappointed just as much as you are. I'm really, really am. Oh, no. Big juicy butt. Decision. All right. Hey, stupid. I, I have RPGs I need to finish this week. Hey, stupid. I have two big bills due this week. I'm sorry. I, I was watching Old Mr. Bean. That was a part of my childhood, too, because it was it's dumb, but it's great. Rowan Atkinson, great actor. On what it's going to be. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shitto's Peak. Please clap. <laughs> oh no. Not Shitto's Peak. Next. And then I'm going to play it on launch day, and then it's going to sit there and wait until we finish Baldur's Gate 3 and Dragon's Dog, or uh, Lack of Dragon. We have wait, to. Wait, huh? What? Huh? What? Right. On what it's going to be next. And then I'm going to play it on launch day, and then it's going to sit there and wait until we finish Baldur's Gate 3 and Dragon's Dog, or uh, Lack of Dragon. He was going to just drop Lack of Dragon if it was. Well, Phil, just drop that one. Nobody cares about that one. We have to finish those two. When those are done, then we can go back and we can heavily focus on the new game, okay? And that's what I want to do. Whatever the new game is that I start playing on Friday, I want to heavily focus on it. <laughs> it's there, watching, waiting, seething, balding, coping, seething, 
<laughs> now, if this game works, Battlefront, which we're playing today... Spoiler alert, it did not work out in his favor at all. I would like to keep this in a rotation as an occasional multiplayer game, and you guys already asked me, am I playing the single player? And it's like, single player? Okay, I have... I don't know why. I need to... <laughs> this is going to be a stupid idea. I really want someone to make Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bean film. I want someone to be called... It's like Mr. Beg or Mr. Phil. <laughs> What's your name? Phil. <laughs> Why is it I come up with the stupidest fucking ideas? Ah! It was a GZ uh, Welcome stream. I don't know where you think we're going to have time to do another single player campaign for anything. Phil, just play it. If you're not going to enjoy the multiplayer because you can't do it, just play the fucking single player, you daft cunt. At all, I just don't get that. That that, that request is like baffles me. People almost never how many, demand single. Yeah, how many times can you say the same goddamn thing? It's like, oh my god. Okay, here. You know what? Here's the thing I've noticed. Every single time that Phil wants to talk about, he wants to keep talking about the same thing, over and over and over again. There's one part of a song that keeps coming to mind. Hang on, let me find it. Oh. This part. That one. Instead of the sacrifices we made, look at all the excuses that he made. Talking in circles. Player of a shooter. And you're actually asking me if I'm going to do the single player of this one. <laughs> Don't bring down Lord Bean. I'm, I'm sorry, Dashy. I, I have bad ideas. Help me. It's like, if you, listen, I'm not against doing that. We've at got all. to have money. Turtles Game Kingdom donated five Australian dollars. How many times can you say the same goddamn thing? He says it way too goddamn many times, but thanks for the five Australian dollar twos. It's like, if you, listen. Yeah, I think that I think that's the case. He's the guy that drives that little. I forgot what that car is. It's a blue car. I know exactly what you're talking about, Dashy. I'm not against doing that at all. I just don't see how I'm going to do it right now. But I'd like to maybe eventually do it. I don't understand why people, how I could do it, but I like the idea it doesn't do it. So if the game works and you guys like it, I would absolutely love to play more of this after we beat RPG Mania. Did you just hear call, did you just hear DSP call the Dark Knight just okay? Did he do this with the Q&A? If that's the case, oh, fuck him. Uh, God damn it. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. I would say the Dark Knight was the best one out of the Nolan Batmans. The Dark Knight was the best Batman. Is it the best Batman movie? Top three. Okay. The best one being the Michael Keaton Batman, the Tim Burton one, the first one. Then the Dark Knight. And then Batman Returns. Glob glob, motherfucker. Cat's angry! So let's see how that goes. Okay? I got the drip going. 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 Big black butt. I got the drip going. I got the drip going. Big juicy butt. I got the drip going. It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. I so regret what do you want me nothing. To do? Have, a, have a mute button that every second. I How is it that that works for that song? How does it that big juicy bucks work with it? Oh shit. Well, let me tell you something, brother. All right. Snort. Snort. Oh, great. I forgot. We're talking about the... <laughs> we're going to be talking about the boring co-op stream, aren't we? I got this game! Ah, goddammit. No, no, Moki. I was talking about the one, the car that he would constantly screw over. The three-wheeled car. My wife and I talked about co-op. We've been talking... No, I don't think your wife talked to you about co-op. I think she wanted to go blow Tyrone. We've talking about it for weeks. Because we want to do stuff on stream together. And I told you, if we couldn't figure anything out to play, she was probably going to come on stream and do a Q&A session with you guys because it's been a while now. Yeah, Q&A segment, family Q&A, woo, where she looks bored and she's about to show her ass and just look entirely bored, yeah, woo. Uh -huh. Yay. 
You know, it's been a month, if you didn't know, since we did... The Reliant, thank you. What's up, Diablo? The Dundoko Island Co-op. Dundoko. It's Dundoko. Dundoko. Not Dundoko. And it didn't go anywhere. We stopped doing it, and since then we didn't really think of anything else, right? No, you didn't. Instead, you yelled at your audience trying to demand that they give you games to play. And as soon as they gave you games to play, oh my god, we're not interested. We don't want to play those. Those are games are boring. La 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 la. So... We were talking about the various different things that we could do and the ideas that we had. And, you know, we looked up a bunch of games. A ton of games. No, you didn't. You did not look up anything. Again, your audience was giving you suggestions. And you all of a sudden, you just put your fingers in the air. And you just sing la 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 la. Stone and haters got your back. California's been hated by a happy psychopath. Ah! To try to look. La 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 la. We're like, what are we going to do, right? So finally, we came to a conclusion. Some of you are going to like it. Yeah, no, I won't play that game. I don't want to play It Takes Two. Others of you are going to hate it. But I think for those of you who are into Phil, seeing you make me angry, Phil. us hang out and interact like a couple, right? And to enjoy, enjoy a game together, which is what it's about. I think you're going to like what we came up with. If you're someone who's very demanding and has all this fucking laundry checklist of shit things that you absolutely must require of any stream where two people are doing something together in a game, then you're going to be very upset. Oh my god, Phil. Phil. Why are you attacking your audience here? Why are you doing that? Just why? Because you're just going on and on and on about how all these people are going to get offended and think that all the streams are samey. That's you, Phil. You're the ones that think that all the streams are fucking samey. Yeah, Jack, you make a great point. He will not kiss his wife because that's stupid. Ah! All right, I'll tell you right now, if you're one of the laundry list checklist people, just leave. You're not going to like these streams. Don't even bother attending them. Okay, you well, you heard it here, folks. He, well, he said he for me to leave, uh... It, Shut the fuck it was, up! It was nice while it lasted. I'm, I'm sorry. It was nice while it was nice while it lasted. All right, because that's not our attention. I wish. We're not doing this to be professional grade streamers. We're cat is some kind of a veteran at this, and everything's perfected. No, instead, Phil, she was a streamer. For the Chaos Realms. She was. Until you told her to turn that shit off. It's two of us that want to do... It bed. <laughs> it's it time bed. ...stuff together and just have fun. We want to have that social interaction. Like I wish I had... Up, I wish I had a Terminate thing, but that's Pop's thing. We have off-camera, on-camera. In, in fact, to give you some perspective here, someone left some comments <clears throat> on videos recently. <clears throat> and they said, you know, all the things... That you've been describing that you do together on your Shut day off would be great up! for content. For example, imagine if the first time Kat played Tekken and you were teaching her basics and we got to see her play the arcade mode that you described. That would have been awesome. Uh, uh fucking Phil. No one told you this. And that's another thing, too. And I brought this up last time. I brought this up when I, when I streamed on the 14th. Nowhere in the comments that they said anything about it being professional. They are just trying to say, oh, you know what? Fuck it. I might as well. I'm, well, then again, I'm not going to do that again because I'm not going to go through the, the hassle of doing it. But, yeah, hold on. Since you didn't do it right, Vanguard, I'll gotcha. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. But going back to the whole thing with that, though, none of that comment from Rainbow Lenny said anything about professionalism. All they were saying is that you're not doing things like a couple. You're not talking amongst each other. There's no chemistry. It just wasn't. There was nothing. Imagine her trying this uh, power washing simulator and going through it and having, you know, doing the story of it. That would have been awesome. There was no story with it, Phil. There's career mode. And this is that. And I'm thinking to myself, does this person not understand that, like, it's okay to have a life outside of a stream? Like, I don't have to. Which you don't. You really fucking don't. What do you constitute as a life outside the stream? Oh, just going out once a fucking week? Out into the fucking grocery store, out to DoorDash some sushi for your fat ass fucking wife so she could gorge on all of it because Tevin made her cry for some reason? Is that what you think that constitutes as a life outside of the streams? Because every single time that you get off these streams, you just go eat dinner, go talk with your wife, your wife wants to cuck you for her Xbox, and then she just goes right back into doing nothing while you go back up your stupid fucking stairs to go back to your office. 
just to do more work, in quotes. Yeah, gray constitution of life. Please clap. Have my stream on every moment that I'm out of this room. And Yo, Saga of Books, he'll, he would make all the extended tri like trilogies of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit look like fucking short films compared to his sagas. We're having interaction. Like, when I take a shit, I don't need to have the stream on as the turds hit the water. And as I we're cooking, we don't have to see as we put the we're frying and sauteing the pan. You don't need to see it singe and sear. You don't need to see the smoke coming out of the food that I'm gonna eat. I can just tell you that we made it and ate it. Mm, but then again, though, Phil, a lot of the food that you've made though, it's very very stupid though because you come up with a lot of these ingredients for dishes that don't mix well. They don't do anything with that. They don't. He just doesn't. And then there are people out there that actually do record their lives. They do have vlogs. They show their life because that's what they want to do. And they're okay with it. You know, it doesn't... Like again, Stephen George does the same thing. He has a vlog. Records his life. Why? Because people like him. He's entertaining to people. Not everything has to be broadcast live to an audience. There has to be like a separation <clears throat> of per personal... And public too fucking late with that phil because you kept putting your personal life on the internet for so goddamn long and then when people start asking you questions about it oh well excuse the fuck out of me for asking you a simple fucking question ah! and that's a great thing when you have that snort okay i don't want to 100 percent have our private lives be broadcast to the world some people don't understand it. Like, well, I don't understand, but that's that's monetizable, and people want to see it. So you should just do it. No, We've no, come on. To say this, Phil. Shut the fuck up. Vanguard nice donated two dollars. Pay attention, meathead, saying the same shit again. Had to be done. Vanguard had to be done. Had to be done. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. <laughs> Fuck you. We have our own lives. That's the idea. Is that I'm much happier now. I used to do that. I Again, Phil, what constitutes as a life? What does she do? Go out to work? Come back? Do all the chores around the house because you're too fucking lazy to do them? And then she's more miserable? And then you sit in your office doing nothing all day, constituting that as a job? And then you go downstairs when she's cooking dinner and you eat food? And then you go right back up and do the same thing? Babysit the uploads? Do some pulls on WWE Champions? Drinking gin? Again. is What is this as a constitution to life, Phil? Like, there are people in the detractor community that have lives outside of this, too. And if they want to show off their lives, again, so fucking be it. They can do whatever the fuck they want with it. Because the difference between people like you and people like them, they're more interesting when it comes to everyday life or just what they're doing in their life compared to you. The film and vlog, everything in my home, and every trip that I went oh, on. Oh, he can't. Oh, he can't do that. No, he's working a full time job. You're right, Moki. I'm. 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 I'm sorry. <coughs> and everything that I did was broadcast live to the internet, and a lot of people liked it, and it basically destroyed my life. It made it. No, Phil, you destroyed your life. You did that. Not anyone else. You did that. That their people became internet stalkers. That people became obsessed with me and, and my private life. Hey, Phil, we didn't dox your information. We didn't dox your address. You did that on your own. You put down an address for where you lived on a business card. You exposed your mail when you lived at the condo and in the house that you're in now. You exposed that. And how fucked up it was that they're all over every little piece of my house. Every piece of your house. Again, Phil, that was you because you showed off the house. A guy who proclaimed he had no money, but yet for some reason could afford to move across country to Washington State in that little shitty house that you're living in now that smells like cat shit and piss and fucking fruit flies everywhere and dust. Yeah, and then you're showing it all off and you're like, oh yeah, look at the house. Oh, oh Black Widow, it has a big black butt. You know, because it has a real big big juicy butt. Yeah, pretty much. If you could choose the next villain for a movie, which villain would you pick? Who would, who would play them? Ooh, fuck. I don't really know. Hmm. 
I really don't know who would be the next Batman villain. Because they kind of tease off the Joker in the Batman part. Like, the Batman. But not much, though. But I need to think about that one more. It, yeah, he looks like a bum, Michael. Obsessive. It's fucking disturbing. If you guys heard the stories of shit that's happened to me and my family over the years, you would be shocked and shit your pants. But I don't tell those... You know what? Shit pants, you know what? Scat humor. Stories, because you don't give attention to that kind of fucked up stuff. You understand? But you did, film. Whenever you were swatted, you laughed it off, and then the very next day, you made a video saying that people who made this say don't plays and people who watch them almost got you killed. And you made it into a big beg segment, a pity party. And you kept saying the whole thing about family. You and Leanna at the time when they were sw the swatting happened, that was not a family. What you have now does not constitute as a family. You don't have a son or a daughter, an actual human child. You just have a wife and a pet. That's not a family. Um... <clears throat> Phil looks like the pig. <laughs> oh, no. No. I don't need <laughs> to fucking show you every aspect of my life, okay? But in line with what people are saying like that. So, yeah, so let me get this straight. We're the ones who, yeah, who caused his so-called depression. We're the ones who made Phil jerk off on May 1st. We're the ones blah, blah, blah. Yeah, fuck off, Phil. Ah! He done it himself. Please clap. You know, thinking about what would have been... A yeah, that was a time when Phil pronounced wellness check wrong. Oh, yes, he did. ...game that my wife would have played. I think he called it a welfare check? And I would have liked to be there either to participate... Yeah, and that's another thing, too. What about his Hogan polls? His WWE Champions account? We didn't expose that. He did. On his own. Because he kept denying it. And then all of a sudden, Jasper decided... Yeah, H. DeClaude sat in his chair... Had, he had the camera pointed down. His phone's open. Oh, hey, it's WWE Champions. Pay in myself or to just sit there and do like, you know, commentate on it. And what would have been something that we would have really liked to enjoy to do together that maybe we could just do on stream instead. And there's actually a game that we were talking about watching someone play or having her play, but we haven't found a means to have her play it because of our whole gaming situation gaming situation no it's more like she doesn't want to come back on and yet you're thinking oh hey she'll come she'll come back on guys shut up okay all right so that being said great podcast oh yeah and speaking of which jaking i think believe the finalists will be on sunday i'm not sure but big ups to everyone that submitted big ups to the finalists big ups to the ones that didn't win Everyone wins except for Phil. Please clap. Here we go. Because some people are going to like this and some people are going to hate this. All right? So here we go. The game that we have decided on. People are just saying the most random shit in chat. It's hilarious. The game that we've decided on is a game that Cat has wanted to, again, play or watch for a while. And we didn't have the means, but then we were like, Eureka, why not? And I will give this, if you can believe it, I give credit to Slayer, who is not here today. I wish he was here, but he's never here during the day streams. Fuck off, Slayer. Slayer left a comment on one of my videos yesterday. He's like, you know, this might work. And I talked with Kat about it. And we were like, actually, yeah, this would work one million. Yeah, me, Kat, and Slayer talked about it. In percent. This was a this. I think this is an excellent idea. It's a game that's not very long. It's a game with a very interesting story. It's a game where we could even maybe do some co-op. But we'll, I'll explain in a moment because the game truly is co-op but isn't. It's not co-op, whatever it is you're suggesting. It's hard to explain. The game that I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's not Singapore Simulator. Stop that right now. Yeah, because that's Slayer's thing, Phil. Because Slayer is from Singapore. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. It's a game called Beyond Two Souls. Oh. You what? You, you, you what? what? I don't understand how they came to this. I don't understand how they came to this. I don't understand it at all. I don't, I don't get it. Why that game? Because you're watching yourself play Heavy Rain. And you're like, oh, that's a David Cage game. We might as well just do that. Fuck! 
I just, I just, I just don't get it. Like, mm. like, what? Overcooked wasn't good enough. He okay. Overcooked in his eyes, boring. It takes two, boring. And all the other games that they suggested, boring, not interested. But fucking Beyond Two Souls. Well, that game sucks. Please clap. It is one I mean, the only thing it had in it was Ellen Page, now Elliot Page, and also Willem Dafoe's in it. One of the yeah, co-op walking sim. Yeah, business is saved, guys. Oh my god, the channel's saved. Oh my god, no need to file for unemployment. Older Quantic Dream games. It's actually the the major one that came out before Detroit Become Human. And if you can believe it, it is co-op, but not really. It. Da, 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 da. To like the story you want to experience, the story you want to see the story, play in local co-op mode. Two different controllers for each player, one to play as Jody, one to play as Aiden. Phil, just play Super Mario Galaxy and have her wail her fucking flabby arm on the fucking screen to pick the star bits! Allow me At least that's more of a co-op experience! To explain what I mean by that, okay? It is co-op. Yeah, do, at least Detroit Become Human, in my opinion, it's a better game. It's not co-op, but it's a better game. But people were actually disappointed at the time because they thought it was fully co-op, and it's not. Okay? Well, Phil, you're play one's playing one character, one's playing the other one. So how it works is you're the main character, and that person, whoever player one is, plays as the main character with their control pad. Do you even know who the main characters are? But then there's another character that's a supernatural entity in the game. And if there's a second player, they can control the supernatural entity at certain points in the game. But there's never a point where you control them both at the same time. It kind of just swaps between the two. So you're basically just kind of a helper or an assist to the main character. Okay, just play Super Mario Galaxy. Just do that instead. At least that's more of a co-op. All right. But, yeah, let me tell you why you had to put up with my decision. Ah! But, here's the deal. Yeah, think about this, guys. Think about it. Number one, it's a great plot. It's a very interesting game. If you've never seen the game before and you don't know the story, it's very interesting. Like, it hooked me when I was playing it. This game came out in 2013, by the way. So, it's been a long time. Yeah, by the way, it came out in 2013. It came out that th Who cares, Phil? Who fucking cares? I don't give a fuck. Let's see. What was it mostly criticized for? Let's see. Visuals were good. Uh, ultimately failing to listen to feedback and instead delivering another flawed experiment. Innovation. Challenge to gameplay. Oh, so overall, 70, 72, 76. Oh, so overall, a mixed bag since it's been out and if you haven't followed it or played it yourself it's a very interesting story okay that's number one number it's not it's very boring it, detroit become human and heavy rain had more interesting stories uh what was it indigo prophecy or fahrenheit had a better story than that number two cats never played it she knows nothing she's heard about it she likes the quantic dream games you know uh, hang on i was gonna say this as well uh jeezy i forgot because apparently this game came out on ps4 it came out on PS4 in 2015. And it came out on PC in 2019. <sighs> yeah, well, why couldn't they just play Mario Wonder? Recently. <laughs> pig, pig Roach pretend to be human. <clears throat> we actually yeah. watched someone play Detroit Become Human. And then I'm, I'm watching myself play Heavy Rain every Sunday night on the DSP Throwback channel. For yeah, because, again, you're living the life like BoJack Horseman, someone who is washed up and it has been reliving the good old days with none of the charm. Retro React series. So we've been interested in this game for a while, and she's wanted to play it, and you, she can't play it because she doesn't have a PS5, and it's not on Xbox. Right now, currently, the only console we have in the living room where she plays games is the Xbox, and so it's not on there. So she just hasn't had access to it. So we stayed away. Originally, we were going to maybe watch uh, someone else play it, but we kind of held off from it. 
and now we're actually happy that we did that we did because here's the thing so the I... game's only around eight to ten hours long so it would take only like four or five streams to beat it which is good it's di a digestible game it's episodic right it's not a game that has insane amounts of gameplay investment where we're going to be stressed or bored. Oh, Phil. She's going to be very fucking bored with it. If she's going to be taking control and you're trying to tell her she's doing it wrong, oh, she's definitely going to be fucking bored. Instead, it's an ongoing narrative. The narr That's a, another thing, too. Do they have two PlayStation 5 controllers? Or just the one? Because I'm kind of thinking about this, too. Get you excited to keep going. It gets you hooked and interested in the game as opposed to, oh, it's just gameplay, 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 right? That was the problem with Dondoko. It's literally just grinding gameplay to get a reward. There's nothing to it. There's no story. There's nothing. With this, it's an... Phil, Dondoko Island is an optional thing that you can do to actually make money in the game. It's to help you with the main story. Nothing to do with the main game itself. Engineer or, excuse me, let me rephrase that. Nothing that's like side content, like a standalone game where you can do whatever the fuck you want into it, and it doesn't have any effect on the main game. There we go. Narrative is interesting. And again, if you've never... Uh played it and you don't know the story it's very exciting now the other thing is i did play it in 2013 when it was new but i've never played or watched it since so because of that it's been 11 years i honestly don't remember much of it i'll probably remember certain scenes but i don't remember that much so for me it's going to be cool to re-experience this game again because it's the first time in 11 years and it'll be kind of refreshing and interesting uh so the friendly grumble says, are you going to call her Elliot Page or Ellen Page? You're not going to call her anything because it's a character in the game. It's not the actress or actor. It's a person in a game. Phil, the reason why they're saying that now is because at the time, Elliot Page was Ellen Page. That's what's her, that was their name. I think they're non-binary at this time. Let me check. Yeah, let me check what they go by. A transgender man. Okay. So, non-binary, but also him. So, that's what they went by. They went by Ellen Page, and then all of a sudden they changed it to Elliot Page. So, they're asking uh, more about, like, a respect thing. But he's like, oh, it's, it's, not the, uh, it's not the actual person. It's the character. It's like, shut the fuck up, Phil. Yep. Oh, by the way, proud ally. Fist in the air, proud ally. To call them by their real name. Vince Vaughn's calendar man might work. I need to see more of like Vince Vaughn's like dramatic side. It's not a concern, really. If this, if we're saying we're going to play Beyond Two Souls a co-op, and your major concern is, are you going to call the actor Elliot or Ellen? You don't have to be at the stream. You cannot attend. It's fine. If that's really what's going to be on your mind the whole time, that's all you can think about. I think you need to take a step back from reality. Yeah. They're just asking a general question, Phil. They weren't saying it. it's like, oh my god. He called Elliot Page Ellen, called her a she instead of a he. That it's not what you're thinking. You're thinking way too far into this, Phil. Please stop. It's a little fucking stupid thing to say. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. Oh yes, he was minutely. He was about to. Glob glob al alkai gin water. Yum yum. Yeah. Anyway. Um <clears throat> So anyway, all that being said, uh let's uh let's now Start talking about this. Even though that is considered like a derogatory term for that uh, chorus. But I'm not going to say that to you, though, because that's essentially what Phil says here. You're not getting anything with that one. You mean Phil is being transformed again? Shocker. Hold that again. It's Phil. Oh. what? What's new? It's not like I'm going to go like, you what? I'm not going to do that to him because it's like, it's Phil. It's always going to be Phil. He's going to be the type of guy that he'll take something that's a general question, a basic, simple question. And just go, oh, I'm not going to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Thinks way too hard into this. But here's the thing. Okay? I hope his politics does get him canceled too. I can't do it this week. There's no way. We are making a push to finish Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. So once those games are done. Are oh, okay. I have to go back. Look at how he just does this stupid shit. Look at that. Like a Dragon. So once those games are done, and then he looks at the camera, and then he does his, uh, and then he does like his little head motion. Instead of like him doing the the head shake like a a little chihuahua that got caught pissing on the rug, instead he like pushes head forward like, okay, right. 
then we're going to bring this co-op into the fray. All right. We and by the time the co-op is about to go, no one cares. We are. Now, will we actually play it co-op? That's a good question. Because it's actually funny. I read a few online reviews about how the co-op works in this game. And they're like, literally, you don't have to play it co-op. What you can do is just have the one controller. And so the one person plays the main character. And when it's time for the other character, you can just hand the controller over. And then that person just... Because he doesn't want to spend money on another controller. But knowing Phil, he might do that anyway. Makes all the decisions for the other character. You don't need two controllers. Like, it's literally exactly the same. There's no difference. <laughs> so maybe we'll just use one controller. Instead of having to have two, and have one me just sit around two. not playing 90% of the time, just pass the controller back and forth or whatever, right? I don't know. That's going to be very boring, though. Passing the controller back and forth, it's very fucking boring. But, again... The whole thing with passing a controller back and forth, if you're playing the game and you're entertaining, that shouldn't matter. But since it's you and Cat, though, Phil, it's going to be very boring. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, yeah, it's not going to be that much of co-op at all. Okay, so, anyway. um, Yeah, we have, I want to do it, and I'd love to do it as soon as possible. I would love to do it tomorrow, but we can't. i got to now finish these games I'm playing. I got these RPGs. I love RPGs. All right. So here's the deal. This week's schedule. Here it comes. Today, we're trying Battlefront all oh, day great. long. I hope it works. I want to play these games online. I want variety. I want to have fun. Oh, uh, yeah. It's but fun. it sounds like this collection is a huge bust and doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, there's not much I can do about it. Yeah, there's not much I can do about it except nothing. All right. If it doesn't work and we have to make on-the-fly decisions to change the schedule around, I guess we will. All right, but All right. let's see what happens. I really hope that it does work because I want to enjoy the game today, okay? And this is supposed to be both streams, so I'm going to do my best to have this be both streams. I hope you'll stick around. For everyone who's been screaming for variety, stop playing RPGs, do variety. Today's your day. So Phil, they've been telling you to play other games that aren't RPGs, but every single time that you're doing something about it, you're like, we're not interested. I'm not interested. This game sucks. Hell Divers 2, I'm not interested. Kill the Justice League, blah, 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 blah. It just makes me shake my head. My He complains he's playing too many RPGs, so what does he do? Rage quits second eight and doubles down, tries to brute force finish two, ex yeah, two RPGs exclusively. Yeah. And also canceling or pushing to the side Final Fantasy VII, an RPG, and he's trying to rush through two RPGs at once. The only one that he's really close to actually finishing is Baldur's Gate 3. But he probably won't be able to do that because he needs that money. He really, really does. He needs that money. Hey, stupid. I have two big bills due this week. Stick around. Engage. Please support the streams. Please give me money. The Argentinian memberships. Justice for Argentina. Because I need it now, because everything stagnated for two months as I played the same RPG. Well, Phil, that's you. You made your channel stagnate. You did all this, Phil. The games didn't do it. All right. Now, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Tomorrow, it is Baldur's Gate 3. I believe he said he was like on chapter 10, but he might be at chapter 11 at this point. Three and Like a Dragon. On uh, Sunday, it is React Day. ESP versus the I love how he's like, we're gonna, I'm going to do a brute force to get these RPGs done. Except for Sunday. That's my React day. The internet on DSP React. And then Retro React, Heavy Rain on DSP Throwback. We're almost done with the Heavy Rain. Two more streams and we finish the game. So that's already in its finale state. So for which one, Phil? ESP versus the internet on DSP React. And then Retro React, Heavy Rain on DSP Throwback. We're almost done with the Heavy Rain. Two more. Oh, uh, okay. He's almost done with... The heavy ray playthrough where he's like, I was famous. Four streams and we finished the game. So that's already in its finale stages. Okay, it was chapter 10. Thank you. I I was thinking it was chapter 10, but I thought it was chapter 11 as well. So, yeah. Okay. Monday, Baldur's Gate 3. And then I cannot do a stream Monday night. And I know that sucks, especially now with everything going on. Everything going on. Taxes. He won't say taxes, just like how he won't say Leanna's name. But I have to, number one, do private patron videos. And number two, finish up with my behind-the-scenes business stuff. Phil, you should have gotten the Patreon videos done last week. Why is it that now you can't do it this week? So, I will. And then after that, I will be here for double streams every day afterward. That's the last day I have to take a night off this month. Okay? <coughs> Snort. Then on Tuesday, Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. And on Wednesday, Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. Hey, look. It's the same content. Why aren't y'all giving me money? And by the end of this week, we can now reassess oh, where we are in each game. <laughs> it's like, hello, Derek. How are you, how are you doing, Derek? Please clap. And see how much longer do we have on... 
autistic adherence to his schedule. Oh, always. Because if there's any changes to his schedule, he doesn't know how to deal with it. Till the finale. Okay? <clears throat> now, next week. Oh, yeah. And imagine this. The co-op streams. He's not going to be doing any snorting or belching or farting or <clears throat> the goose. Wait. On Friday, we got two games coming out. Dragon's Dogma 2 and Rise of the Ronin. Uh-huh. You're going to do one stream of those and then put shelve it until you're done with the other games? A great idea! We must determine between the two which one I will be playing, and it can only be one, okay? Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about that Stray Fox. He doesn't know anything about drop boxes. How you can just upload to a drop box, send the link to Slayer, and then you're done. Because he kept complaining about the copyright strikes or copyright claims. <laughs> God damn, the goose is having fun. I just, I, I just now need to say fuck it. I'm going to add the goose to my fucking layout now. Excuse me. I might add a goose from Untitled Goose Game to the mix too. Just because why not goose. Okay, so please. I need feedback. Which do you want? I'm down for either. I would play either game. But here's the deal. No matter which game I play. Please only give me your opinion if you're going to be here and commit to watching the playthrough. Now, oh, I just want to see the first early stages of it for four hours and I'm never coming back. Because if I buy a lengthy RPG and I play it for four hours and the, and the interest drops off, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to stop playing RPGs. <laughs> great idea, Philip. That's a great idea. Do the exact same thing. That you're accusing other streamers of doing, playing the game for four hours, then dropping it like a fucking rock. Yeah, great fucking idea. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Shut the fuck up. Hey, stupid. <coughs> I have two big bills due this week. I'm going to repeat that for all of you. If I buy an RPG, because you guys say you want it, and I play the first four hours of it, and it does okay. And then after that, no one comes back, engages, or supports those playthroughs. I'm going to stop playing RPGs. Then stop playing it all together. Once you're done with fun, not Final Fantasy, once you're done with Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth and Baldur's Gate 3, don't play RPGs anymore. Don't go back to Sea of Stars. Don't go back to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Don't go back to any of the other RPGs that you dropped, or any of the other games that you dropped all together. Just don't go back to any of those. Just focus on the top AAA releases and hope that you get money out of it, and then when that stay, like sales away and gives you nothing, then don't complain about it. Don't complain to your audience that you're not making money off of it because of your bad decisions. Do it. Entirely. I will just drop them. Because I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not. Imagine if a detractor streamer says, hey, if you all aren't giving me money, I'm not going to do this anymore. Or if you all don't come to my streams and just sit there and watch my content... Don't even bother. I'm going to stop doing it. Imagine that happens. You know what that does to the audience? That doesn't make them want to come back. Instead, it just makes them go, oh, he's just a real greedy asshole. Ah. It's the same thing with all the other top popular streamers. You don't see them doing that at all because no one wants to give them money for that. I'm Because it makes them look like a dick. I'm not going to have months of my streams inundated with 100-hour games. That people really only wanted to see four hours. How is this boy not imploded from all this extreme hypocrisy and cognitive dissonance net yet? I have no idea. I have no idea. But then again, if you do this, it'll be echoey. Of course of, and then we're never going to come back for it. Because that's what's happening. Yeah, they'll all be polarized by the entire Directiverse. That too. Been with these playthroughs now. Can you imagine? I mean this now. Can you imagine if with Baldur's Gate 3... I had played that in September. Can you imagine that? Oh, hold on, hold on. That, that, look, look at that, look at that, look at that. When, uh, when I played it in September, blows it right, it blows it right into the mic, and then he smiles after he blows his nose. And I imagine if you played it in September, you wouldn't have though, because you didn't want to play Baldur's Gate three. You kept saying that Starfield was going to be the better game. And then when that proved you wrong, and when it won Game of the Year, then oh my god, <laughs> backtrack. Because at least the way that I started in December, I was able to play it all of December and all of January. Be not all of December, Phil. You didn't play it all of December. The only reason why you played it was because you wanted to try to prove the distractors wrong for calling you out about how you even said 
PC centric games aren't game of the year contenders, and Baldur's Gate 3 has no spot on there. And once it proved your ass wrong, then you try to say that, no, I never said that. I'm going to play it right now. And I love this game when you don't love it. <clears throat> and then when games had come out, right? Then I was able to balance it with those games. No, you weren't. You were trying to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's all you're going to focus on. You're going to push Baldur's Gate 3 to the side. But as soon as you weren't making enough money for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, that's when you brought back Baldur's Gate 3. Can you imagine if I had played it at a time when there was a zillion other games out too? Yeah, if I went to a sandwich shop and they yelled at me say, and saying, I know these are available, but don't dare ask them because you're stupid. I'm going to fuck the fuck right out of there and take my money with me. He's like, why does he not get this? Because he never understands it, though. Because he would be that restaurant owner that will just demand that you give him the money, even though you hadn't even ordered yet. My God, right? Balding's Gout 3, Fall Gout, Snortfield. So, that's the deal. Um, I need to have people commit to these games and not just say, well, we want this game, we want this game. Yeah, but the game's 80 hours long and you only showed up for five hours. But, Phil, here's the thing with that, though. They were just asking if you were going to play them. They weren't demanding that you play them. They were just asking a simple question. You took it as a demand. Right? Just like how Trick Chris Chan took the insult of motherfucker literal. So, it's, it's got to be one of two things. Either people are going to ask you. Yeah, before I make this sandwich, I need your commitment. And then Atlas comes on and is like, what about this about making a fucking sandwich? They're going to commit to actually showing up and watching and engaging with. Or, we just play games for five hours and drop them all. In which case, that's pretty bad, don't you think? That I never finish a game? Well, then again, though, Phil, you have a shitload of games that you never fucking finished. You rage quit, board quit, wage quit. You've done that, Phil. And yet, when people ask you when you're going to play it, I'm not playing those ever again. And you know me, for me, it's the complete and utter opposite. You know what I'm saying? It's the opposite. I like to finish games that I start, especially if it's a game that I like. I'm one of the least quitting streamers there is. <laughs> Phil. 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 You rage quit Mega Man X6, Xenoblade Chronicles, Ratchet and Clank, Super Metroid. And there are many other games. I know for a fact there is a list of games that he's played. Let's see. Give me a minute. I'm trying to find it. I know for a fact that there's a list of games that he's fucking quit. Let's see. I know for a fact there's a game list out there that he has dropped. I know there is. People who actually make up that meme are complete jackass morons. I've beaten more games than most people out there because I almost never drop a game. I See of Stars, you dropped it for the other games. Pal World, you dropped it because you were bored and didn't make money off of it. Tekken 8, you dropped that game because you were getting your ass kicked. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you're dropping that game for a time being because you're not making money off of it. Oh, oh, what's this I see? I have the list of games that he's actually finished. Okay, here we go. Let's look. Here we go. I found the list right here. Shadow Complex. Simagama Tensei 3 Fests. Later resumed. He rage quit the boss. There's a few games on here that he's never done. Corpse Killer. Due to terrible gameplay. Phoenix Wright. Turnabout Case 5. Quit because it was too difficult. Ah. 
Dragon Guard 3 quit because he couldn't didn't like the game. He thought it was repetitive and boring and he was frustrated. Transistor didn't like the game. Rise of the Dark Spark Transformers. He bought it with uh, Sniper Elite 3, lost interest in playing it because he wanted to play Sniper Elite 3. Lords of the Fallen, uh, he saw a game-breaking bug and he quit. He quit because he was bored, saw he was bored, unimpressed, uh, had no interest, uh, being unimpressed, da, 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 lost interest in playing the game, stopped to frustration, high difficulty, I want to be the guy, died 312 times in one sitting, gave up, crisis, stopped playing due to being dubbed one of the worst remasters he's ever played, yeah, XCOM, unknown reason, Dante's Inferno, nudity. Well, in that case, that's acceptable. You know what? <coughs> it's fine because, you know, copyright, blah, blah, blah. Killer is dead. Didn't play. He didn't continue playing it because he was bored. Amnesia. He was not scared of the plane. They stopped watching. He stopped playing because no one was watching him. Defiance, frustration, crisis three, unknown reason. Frustration, frustration of boredom. Frustration, frustration, unknown reason. Frustration, inability to fight the final boss. Another one, Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns. He couldn't beat the final boss, got tired of it, and he did a live react to it, the ending of the game. Fury, that was another one. This this list hasn't been updated yet. Yeah, Amy, frustration. SSX, frustration. Uh, Ninja Gaiden for the NES, game's difficulty and frustration. <laughs> Sharp learning curve. Shadow Complex, I already said that before, unknown reason. Kill Zone 2, unknown reason. You see the point with that, though? He wants to say that he's beaten a lot of games, and he's beaten about... He's, it said 677 games, but there's a lot more games that he's rage quit or board quit. Phasmophobia, he rage quit He wage quit that one just because he couldn't play it with anybody. But then again, he had no one to play it with anyway. Frustration shows up quite a lot. I almost always play a game to completion. It's a no, rare... No, you don't. You never beat the game to completion. Completion means 100%. You never 100% the game. Pretty when I don't, right? So, if you're one of these people right now in my chat who are yelling, Dragon's Dogma 2, Dragon's Dogma 2, Dragon's Dogma 2, I hope you're ready to show up for the streams. I hope you're ready to watch the video. Someone in his chat said, rip, see of stars. Videos. I hope you're thinking of supporting the playthrough. Not you're just screaming for the sake of screaming. You better give me money, Phil. You're screaming at me to play these games. You better give me the money. And you show up for two streams. Okay, I saw. Yeah, one. Divinity Original Sin two. He rage quit. He bored quit that one because he audience was bored. Not him. He was loving the game. Everyone else was bored. But it was bye. I'll see you in a month. That that's not how it works. Yeah, this is not how it works, Phil. That's definitely not how it works because you're demanding people to give you money for shit, and that's not good. Glob glob, motherfucker. That one time he joined a public lobby and they all said nope. Yep, they all said nope. They were like, uh, who, who's this? <coughs> I'm out. Oh. And the stream was dead. Lorkin. Well, Lorkin. Okay. Here's the no. truth. <clears throat> I want to play Dragon's Dogma 2. That was the game originally I was going to play this month. I no, it wasn't. It was, it was not that at all. Way to lie about that, Phil. We all know that the real game you wanted to play was Rise of the Ronin. Dragon's Dogma 2 was not a game you wanted to play. That was a game that Cat wanted to play. I told you that. I said Dragon's Dogma 2 is the game I'm focused on for March. And then... Oh, what was another game that he never finished? Uh, Street Fighter 6 World Tour mode? The story mode of that? Never went back to finish that. Starfield got dropped? I thought he finished that already. Every RPG I played, it was like less interest, less support. Everything stagnated. Again, though, Phil, it's because of you. It's not the audience not giving you money or watching. It's you. Views are way down on the channel. What the hell? Again, the views going down, that's you. You know? So that's the deal is if you really want that, you got to show up for it. Okay? You have to. So... Like, how big of an asshole do you have to be to your own audience to blame them for the views being down when, in reality, it's you that's causing the views going down? You have to be a major fucking cunt in order to just go on and just say, yeah, audience, it's your fault. 
Chat, it's your fault that my views are down. It's fucking dickish. Let's see what happens, I guess. It's like, uh, fucking, he's like a school. He's like in there. It's like, but, 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 but they get to do all that. Y'all, it's y'all's fault that you don't pay me attention. Me, re. Close <laughs> to the mic. Ha <laughs> ha. That's right. Yeah, it's like a tournament. Yeah, you have to. Tournament. We need to have a sign up list. You gotta sign up and commit to being at the tournament. So you gotta sign up and commit to being at the playthrough. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> It's not all that serious, but I mean, you have to understand for me, it is, because it's my job. I'm trying to put out content that's entertaining an audience, and the audience likes the content enough that they come back, and they engage, and they support with that content. What have you done that's entertaining, Phil? What have you done that made an audience member go, you know what, I'm going to go back to watching Dark Side Phil, DSP Gaming, playing this game. I sure love being yelled at and being called a worthless fucking faggot just because, oh, I didn't give him money. I sure love that. I want to go back to that. Ah! No, I don't want to do that. Because I don't want to support an entitled man-child that believes that all the money given has to go straight to you. That my paycheck has to go to you because you're so goddamn lazy that you don't want to go out and get a real job. Instead, you're hoping for a handout. For anything that you do. For every bad decision that you make. And I'm having a hard time with it right now, honestly. And it didn't used to be like that. And now it is. Now it's just, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> it's like... How many of these games do I play? And then within a week or two, this happens. It's like, man. I mean, our, look at already happened with Final Fantasy VII. Be leg bouncing up and down. His leg is just going up and down and up and down and up and down. Within like three streams of Final Fantasy VII, people were done with it. They tapped out. Because either A, they're playing the game for themselves, or B, it's not their kind of game to watch. So, hey, they're not going to watch it anymore. Like, nah, fuck it. It's just, it's just a, another RPG. Oh, well. It's not because it's another RPG, Phil. It's, oh, hey, it's a game that I don't care about. There are games that have the same genre. Like, if you, if, okay, I'm going to give an example. If I played Unicorn Overlord right now and people tuned out, it's not their type of game. So it's like, okay, it's not their type of game. Understandable. But if I came in and I played Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and people tuned in, hey, people actually like Final Fantasy VII. Same thing with, like, Baldur's Gate 3. If I did that, then I would know. It's like, okay, people are interested in this game, but I'm not going to let that deter me, and I'll keep going with it. But no, you are getting really annoyed with this, Phil, just due to the fact that your boredom is rubbing off on your audience, and they're getting bored of you. Please clap. Really? This was the game that everyone was so hyped for. Couldn't wait. After remake ended, everyone saw it was going to be a different plot with added stuff. They saw it was, so they saw it was going to be a continuation, Phil, not an add, not add on to the plot. Ended. Everyone saw it was going to be a different plot. Not a different plot. It's a continuation. With added stuff. Guys, I'm happy and successful. Guys, I don't understand why people get bored of everything. Help me. Everyone's so excited, and it's just like no one cares, right? Nobody cares about you, not the game. It's just wow. Certainly, because people can take any game. It does not matter if the game is highly acclaimed or bored or bad or yeah, boredom. It's like some of boredom. Ah! They can make the game entertaining. Not what I was expecting. That game was like, that's the opposite reaction that I was expecting from the game, right? <clears throat> so. All right. Anyway. And he's looking at his chat like a disappointed stepfather. He's like, I can't believe it. I do everything for y'all. Um, that's what I need to know. What do you want me to do for Friday? We have the schedule laid out for this week. We know what it's going to be, okay? We need to know what I'm playing on Friday. And then whatever it is, we'll play it for the one day. Not we, Phil. You need to figure it out. Not the we is me mentality again. A lot. And A then lot. we'll kind of put it on hold, and we'll play these other, you know, Baldur's Gate and Like a Dragon, finish them both. But that's not a good thing to do, Phil. It's not good to bring up a new game, then drop it just so you can finish the other ones and then bring it back just to hope that you get someone to come back. And then we can fully come the Bumble. commit to whatever the new game is, if we want to put Battlefront into the mix, if we want to continue with Final Fantasy VII, or maybe we want to play another game, because remember, there's other factors here. <clears throat> Tism Bowl. For example, one of the big factors is, is this Alone in the Dark game going to be any good? You didn't even do any research for that, Phil. 
Why do you think that people have demos out for their games? Alone in the Dark has one, but it's called Grace in the Dark. Or Alone in the Dark Grace. I forget what they call it in particular. But I do know for a fact that the game looks fine. Would I get it, though? I might wait on it just a tiny bit. I would love to have some kind of a horror game in the mix for variety. But I don't think anyone knows enough about it to really make a judgment yet, right? It's a remake of a Low in the Dark film. That's what people know about it. And Hopper from Stranger Things, a.k.a. David Harbour, is going to play Edward Carnaby. I think it's Carnaby. Carnaby? Carnabus? Cannabis? Like, we, we've been following it, and he's like, where's the information? Why is it that it's supposed to be coming out by the end of this month, and there's still no, no real info on this game? Phil, it was supposed to come out last year, but they delayed it until this year. That's a little bizarre, don't you think? Especially after being de delayed twice, you think there would be some info? Like, where is it? So, <clears throat> I forgot he rage quit the DLC for Spider-Man. Yeah, let's see what happens. See what uh, happens. that. <clears throat> <clears throat> but... I hope that you guys understand why these changes have to be made. Otherwise, yeah, I figured it was Carnaby, but I didn't. I didn't want to. Say, I was trying to say Carnaby, but I don't know why I said that. But Carnaby, yeah. I would literally, literally, be just sitting here, balancing seven, eight games in a row. In a row. You're not balancing seven, eight games in a row. The most that you've ever balanced any games was like five. That was the most. And now you're trying to balance three. But that's not going to work, so now you're going to bounce two. Or at a time, I should say. Never finishing anything. Right? <laughs> but I thought you did finish everything. Glub, glub, glub. Okay. Okay. Well, that's what I have to say. I got it off my chest. Now, my Phil's Day Off segment is very simple. I, I mean, I could click over, but I ran errands. I was following com YouTube comments, which is how I came to this determination. That's a bad... This is a bad segment. Sat with my wife, and we talked about co-op and determined Beyond Two Souls is the way to go. Um, and we talked about that. I can't do it right now. We have to finish up other stuff. See, here's the thing. It would be cool if... <clears throat> it would be cool if... Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. We finished Like a Dragon. So now we're focused... Let's say, let's say it's Dragon's Dogma 2. So this is the major game I'm playing, right? And then I balance that with something like Battlefront, whether I do the single player or the multiplayer or both. But you said you weren't going to do single player, Phil. You were going to focus on a multiplayer. Um, I don't know if we go back to Final Fantasy VII. That would be more your choice. Maybe if we go back to Final Oh, yeah, guys. I'm holding it in your hands. Do you want me to play Final Fantasy VII, even though I said it's my most anticipated game and I was hyping it up and no one asked for it? Do y'all want me to play that still? Final Fantasy VII, I just st streamline the playthrough and we just do story and that's it. Forget the open world because it's too time consuming. To do all the open world segments i just turbo through the story elements right maybe and then we do co-op <clears throat> once a week or maybe twice a week of beyond two souls all right i think that would be good variety until new games come out and you might say well when are the new games coming? yeah philbo beggins is coming out even more today coming out i don't know on my birthday marathon on April 6th, we're going to figure that out. I'm actually going to go through the whole game schedule. Oh, my fucking God. I don't give a fuck about your shitty fucking birthday, Phil. Happy fuck you to you. Ah! And look at all the games coming out, and we're going to figure out a schedule for us then. All right? And that's another question. But when are fighting games coming back? I don't know yet, but they might. The only fighting game that he wants to bring back probably would be uh, Street Fighter VI because of Kuma. He skipped it, Ed, because I don't know why he hates Ed. But he's going to play it for Akuma, which... Can't wait for that to happen. They might. We might bring them back into the mix. Let's let's in see. the mix be together. But we have to get through what we're on right now. We have to get past this big roadblock of RPGs before we could do anything else. They have to be completed. Okay. You only have two of them that you're close to finishing. One of them that you just started about a few days ago. A few days, I say about two weeks. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sound good? Anyway, so outside of that, the only other stuff that we did on a day off, you know, we, we cleaned the house a bit. Um, By we, I mean she cleaned the house. I've actually been playing this uh, game where you renovate homes and flip them. I don't even know what it's called. I guess it was... <laughs> it's in the description. It's House Flipper. It's on Game Pass. So she's been doing that, and that's kind of... It's kind of very relaxing and almost similar to what she was doing with Power Wash Simulator. Not really, though, Phil. Power Wash Simulator, you're cleaning shit. House Flipper, you're flipping houses. So, I watched her play that for a couple of hours. Maybe he was with Miss Hez, the horse. Oh, well, of course, of course. Um, 
we ordered Mexican food for dinner. She had some some tacos, and I had like a burrito. Nothing too special to talk about there. Oh, but Phil, every single time that you talk about the DoorDash, you would always like like come over the fact that you got food. Yeah. Um. That's yeah. He bought House Flipper two. House. Yeah. He just. Yeah. He did. That. I mean, pretty pretty basic. He forgot the name of House Flipper. He's like, it's a game where you, you renovate a house, you flip it. I don't know what it's called. It's called House Flipper, you tard. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Day off, nothing. Ch oh, hang on. You what? Crazy to talk about there because I, the, the things we determined on the day off, I've already discussed. Yeah, you already discussed about it and you don't care. Okay. Um. Wh why doesn't he play House Flipper on stream? It's actually chill and really fun because it's not interesting to him. All right. Go. I got the drip, go. Big juicy butt. I got the drip, go. I got the drip, go. Big Please clap. Butt. Drip, go. I got the drip, go. Oh. I got the drip, go. Oh. Dripping. Can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Oh, hey. Y you know what time it is. It's, it's, it's everyone's favorite segment. Him rage quitting the classic collection of Battlefront. Please clap. Yay. All right, so I believe this is going to be our epilogue now. I think it's a chapter seven epilogue. You know, for the longest time, I never understood why chapter seven was so like important, but I was like, oh, right, that's bankruptcy. Ah! Oh, boy. There's also the issue of the music. I wonder if the music's going to get everything muted on YouTube or playing. I'll get no, no money at all on these videos, right? Oh, God, content ID! Content ID! Content ID alert! Thermal detonator. Yeah, it's that time. And now it's Battlefront. I actually asked Atlas about it. And he's like, it was so good. I was like, how is this good? It's like, no, 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 you don't understand. It was so bad, it's good. Please clap. And I was like, okay, how? I did see some parts of it, and it was bad. He got to the point where he got the clone commander with the chain gun. How do I fire my gun? What is the recon droid do? Yeah, the DMCA scroll. Yep, he saw that. Everyone sees that. Here, I have this Wookie. Take cover. Did he die? Yeah, he went. Wow, he's like a total. He's not dead? <laughs> hey, you missed, pal. Aim is awful. No, Phil, the aim is not awful. Yours is. And now? He is. I can't move. Like, here's my thing with this, though. Like, from looking at it, for what I played of it, it's not bad. It really is not a bad time. But I do agree that the servers need to be fixed. Like, oh, it's still alive. Bill, you're missing! I won't die. I can't move again. I keep getting stuck. And you're out of ammo. Oh, my God. It's so glitchy. What the fuck? Is he dead now? <laughs> No. <laughs> he does have that stormtrooper aim. Please clap. He does. Oh, why don't we do anything? How the fuck do I use it? Look. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. I just try. Oh. You got sniped, bitch. I did his triangle. I immediately died. Also, what Phil doesn't seem to understand, he likes this game. Okay. He says he likes this game, but... He doesn't know that you have to capture the objectives too. Ah! It's just like Call of Duty with capture, like uh, domination. And yeah, tell me your joke. He did not say how do you fire a chain gun. Yeah, he was okay. Where's my controller? I need to find. A, he kept. He had a chain gun. He kept doing this with it. He kept going. How do I fire? How do I fire? And he doesn't hold it down. He's like, oh, you hold it down. And then forgets that knowledge within a few seconds. And then he just... I'm not, I can't fire. I can't see. I don't think so. <laughs> I think we got an idiot who's fucking with me, so I'll probably have to go to a different server after this. I love the Dark Troopers, yay! Please clap. Yay, go Dark Trooper! Got a moron. Oh my god. The things don't even stay on screen long enough to shoot them. No, Phil, they are staying on, on screen so you can shoot them, but you can't. 
do Stormtroopers suffer from rollback netcode? That's a good question. Look at this mask. It's just like landing. Is it? Is this hitting? No. What's going on? Now I got a guy in my face. Like, what is. <laughs> okay, fuck this. I don't know what's happening in this game right now. It's so confusing. Now I'm lying down. I don't know why. Is this the same idiot? It is, isn't it? I'm not gonna lie, I love playing Renegade Squadron whenever I was in high school. Bring PSP out, done with classwork, headphones on, PSP at the ready, Renegade Squadron, go! Please clap. I wish they would bring that out for, like, consoles as well. Have, like, the, the Squadron, like, Battlefront Squadron series with Elite and Renegade. It would be so good. Alright. <laughs> Rage quit like a bitch! I have no clue what's going on anymore. I, I, I'm trying to figure it out, it's too confusing. I have no idea what's going on. No session found. Oh, there's no sessions, huh? No sessions of the game found. The game doesn't exist. Uh-huh. Now it won't find any sessions. Right. Oh, my God. Dude. $35 I paid. Well, no, you didn't pay $35, Phil. You paid $33 because you had that little special deal with PlayStation Plus. In this specific match, he literally stayed in the whole chain gun thing for almost the whole game without doing anything. Oh, shit. Oh, excuse me, I paid well, thirty one fifty. Wait, how how much did you pay? Dollars I paid. Well, oh, excuse me, I paid thirty one fifty. And then how'd you pay thirty one fifty though, Phil? How did you do that? Oh. I paid thirty two something with it. Oh, I'm frozen. I can't move. Connection dead. Look. This is how I play the game! Oh god, not that. <laughs> oh yeah, the Dents definitely pay for all the games that he plays. Wow. Great. Great. Connection died. Connection bad. I was just getting into a good position to be able to shoot. It yep. also just shows how bad your internet is, too. I know it's the game's fault, but it also shows how bad his internet is. The corridor and my connection died. <laughs> uh. What a great game! Yep, that's exactly what that is, Brian. That's what I did. I had the 10% discount for that as well. But the thing is, though, I can have my own fun with it. Granted, I know the game's not running well when it comes to online, for the most part, but I have fun with it. I don't think it's too shit. I don't give two shits, guys. <laughs> not much you can do about that. <laughs> All right. Let's reboot it. And let's try Battlefront 2. All right. <laughs> you could just quit and go Yeesh. to the launcher. Yeesh. Guys, thanks for at least chilling with me here today. For those who contributed in any way, thank you. It'd be great if you could still support the stream. I, I am playing this for another two hours. Um, It really sucks this is what it is. because I get the feeling no one's going to like it. And I bought it basically for no reason. I was no, you bought it hoping that people would give you money. You bought it anticipating that it was going to be variety on your channel. Don't say that it was for no reason. When it was going to be like worth playing, it really doesn't seem like they put any effort into it. So I guess not. And this is my whole day today based on what you guys wanted. And now I, it looks like no one cares about it. So I really saw. Phil, nobody cared about it. No one was coming straight to your stream going, Oh my god, he's playing Battlefront. Ah. No one was like that at all. Instead, it was just you sitting there going, Guys, I'm playing this game. Guys, I'm buying this. Guys, I'm going to use this as variety. Guys, I'm going to do this. Guys, 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 guys. Oh. There we go. $56. He only got the gutter glasses. Fuck it. Next game. You ever think you see Darth Vader walk around like that? Uh, oh, Han Solo, Kit Fisto. Is this all? Yeah, Kit Fisto was added to this collection, which honestly, eh. All heroes? I think we're all heroes. Here, let's be Mace Windu. It is. It's all oh, God. You got... Why you gotta be Mace Windu, man? You're not gonna do the lightsaber justice. Dom the Monko. Monko. All heroes mode. Force push. Saber throw. To all heroes mode. You see why you do the single player shit first? So you can actually get used to the controls. Code. Now guys. Yikes, it's already crashing. Look. Wow. 
Wow. Now, guys, I spent five hundred plus dollars on a fighting stick, PlayStation Plus, and the collection just shows Street Fighter Six on PS Five. Now, give me money, fuck Jasper. Wow, that's not an impressive start. Ah ah ah! Why is it all heroes? Leave the mode. Why is the game all heroes? I don't get it. It's not supposed to be all heroes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, defeat. <laughs> defeat. Man, I suck. I had zero kills. Like I'm always terrible. in life. I didn't even have... I... Silent Star Wars, baby. Well, now I can't get copyright stri stricken down. Maybe I let copyright strike my voice. I love you hear absolutely nothing. Completely silent. It's amazing. Let's try... This guy's got a shotgun, the engineer. Let's try him. Those are the worst. How do I change weapons? Okay, and the one thing that I'm glad that Mimology did not show in this, he kept singing the soundtrack to Star Wars. The Moss Eisley theme and the bar jizz. Ah! That's actually what it's called. I don't know why George Lucas called it jizz. Just bear with me on that one. He did that. It was terrible. He kept doing the soundtrack for it. It was just bad. And I'm so glad he cut it out. I hope he did. So I have... Oh, oh I can't tell what's going on. And people were trolling him here, too. Is this the health pack? Okay. You're not a health pack. I can't see what's going on because it's silent. What the fucking shit? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah, and he kept doing that, too. Well, I have to do... Okay, since there's no music, I have to do it with my vocal cords. Okay, ready? Oh, fuck me. Wrong notes, too. I don't know, if we don't play this tonight, what do you guys want to do? Because if this really is a bust, you never want to see it again because it's a broken piece of shit. I understand. But I don't know what we're supposed to do tonight. I mean, if I do like a dragon, no one's going to show did, up. He did, Brian. He actually said he couldn't see that it was... It's silent. I can't see. But we need to make... Are you picking up this game considering its quality? Michael already have this game on PS5. And I make my own fun with it. Ah! Progress in it. Right? Oh, yeah, I'm being told the people who made this game were taken off the Knights of the Old Republic remake team. Is it still silent? Shut the fuck up! There's still no audio. There's no audio at all. The whole game has no audio now. <laughs> the entire game just went silent. Uh -huh. Okay, let's reboot it. We're on Bespin. All right. The Empire has less. Just auto-assign. Oh, good. Well, that was a good choice. We're about to lose. I can't even spawn because we have no spawn points. <laughs> Defeat. Phil's always defeated. Can't jump through these windows? Nope. No, nope. You can't. That's how they. Oh my god! What the fuck, dude? Wow! The <laughs> rocket hit me perfect. <laughs> His aim terrible. The droid's aim. It's spot on. It's very spot on. Please clap. Perfectly. Okay. Why did it end? The game had just started. Look, the game had just started, and it ended. No one won. Why did it end? I don't understand what's going on. Roth. There's the walkers. How do I use my my rope thing? Uh, select it, Phil. I'm, what happened? Am I dead? Yes. I died? That didn't show anything. I'm just back over here. Or it didn't. <laughs> or it was starting, <laughs> Phil. What is going on? How does this work? Again, Phil. Down here. Again, this is why you do the single player shit first. That way you can actually get an idea of how to control the game. <laughs> yeah, the Irish Baconator. Go to Ask Tether Mode. And I Ask Tether. Okay. Leaving the battlefield. What the fuck? Why did I. 
Phil, you're what leaving happened? the battlefield. Go no back. Idea. Oh, now I'm dead? I didn't even touch anything. Please clap. Oh my god, exploding. Phil, the reason why it exploded on you was because you left the battlefield. You're blind. Oh, sign fucking explodes. Ask, ask tether to the walker. So if he flies us into place, I'll try to ask tether. We've got why is it so shanky? Money. Michael DeRouter donated six euros. You're a great talent. Enjoy your content. We've got to have money. Michael DeRouter donated six euros. You're a great talent. Enjoy your content. <laughs> it's double Michaelception. Oh, thanks so much for that, Michael. I pre appreciate the six euros for both of those. Yeah, big ups for that, man. And what happened to the map? I just now noticed that. Ah. What the fuck happened to the map? I see like the che like the dice and the checker marks. I don't know what happened. Hold on. What's with the graphics? Why the gra why does it look like a patchwork quilt? Yo, look, the snow looks like a patchwork quilt, like it's Lego fucking Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> you know, if, if you get this. <laughs> At least he'll. I'll give him that one though, because he called it out. I call. Everyone called it out. Yeah, that looks fucking bad. I'm not gonna lie. That's bad. They need to update that one. But again, have your own fun with it. I think Nerd Brews. Yeah, Nerd Brews here too. I regret nothing. <laughs> Lego Star Wars Battlefront. Can't get it. What the fuck is with it? Look at the graphics, yo! <laughs> what is going on? Jesus Christ, his audio is so bad. When he's doing that laughing, it just sounds like distorted seals. Nothing. What? I'm sorry, Doug. Please clap. I think next time I should just be like, I should just call you on Discord, like, Nugs, get up, streaming. It's fucking shit, dude. What a piece of shit game this is, dude. What a piece of fucking shit. Oh. No, I have no idea what to do tonight, because obviously you guys don't want to see this. It's a piece of shit. I'm going to play it for another hour for today's first stream, but... I mean, I would play it more. Like, I would just be like, hey, let's see how it goes from here. But the problem with Phil is that he won't do that. He will not do that at all. I don't know what you want to do tonight, because if I play Baldur's Gate 3, everyone's going to be upset, because I'm in the House of Hope, and everyone's waiting for that to continue. And they're gonna be upset if they can't be here for it. If I play uh, like a dragon, I don't think anyone's gonna show up. So I legit have no clue what to do tonight. Oh my god, excuse me. God, that just looks bad. <laughs> I did, it did nothing, it did no damage to him. What the fuck is with this game? It sucks. You see? Well, you're, even though the game is looking like it's crashing amongst itself. Your aim is still terrible. Please clap. And you're firing. Nothing hits anyone. Nothing registers as a hit. You're playing a shooter where you can't shoot anyone. What a, what an amazing concept. <laughs> a shooter game where no guns work because the game is so poorly made. Why is it? Dude, no of my, none of my fucking hits register. Fuck this. What am I going to play a shooter? <laughs> None of my none of my shots are hitting. Ah, help me! Where your shots do nothing. He's right there. You charge with the bow cast. You release it. No register at all. I don't want to fuck about playing anymore. Yeah, poor him. He doesn't want to play it anymore. Even though Grant, he can work with the visuals looking weird, but he's getting upset because he's not aiming. He's not hitting the target. Wow. This is. Uh, I mean, this is so pathetically bad. I'm so. Ups I'm not really so upset. But I really wanted something new and different in the moment. Well, no shit, you're not upset. You made up the money that you spent on this game. You play or, or excuse me, the money that you spent the dense money on. Rotation. And obviously, no, you guys are never going to want to see this again, right? Right? Like, you're never going to want to see this ever again. The game is literal literal trash. So it's trash. There's money wasted, right? Money wasted. It's entertainingly bad, is it? Because I feel like nothing I'm doing. I mean, I was happy to take out the ATATs. That was fun. But outside of that, I don't feel like anything I'm doing is like conscious gameplay because anything you try to do intelligent doesn't work. The game's just so bugged. Half your shots don't register. Also, Phil, another thing that you're doing right now with that, um, this game just came out two days ago. 
what you're going to expecting that's going to work right then and there since it's going to do the online shit wait a little bit they might update it but you're not patient you know you find out you're dead after the fact like i don't uh, what kind of a, sh a shit company does stuff like that also does it make sense to call yourself fucking pandemic we just had a real one does it make sense to call your company pandemic phil that was a company that made it originally for someone that proclaimed that he really likes this series, he should have known that Pandemic was the studio that created the fucking Battlefront series. Fun fact, they also made Destroy All Humans. Maybe you should have, re you were already called that before the pandemic. Maybe you should have fucking retitled your company, idiots. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Are you, are you fucking pig-splaining Pandemic Studios? Are you fucking for real? Also, Phil, do you not understand that they're defunct? Pandi like, Pandemic's been defunct for, let's see, 2009. About 15 years. Yeah, they made really good games. Pandemic made good games. They made the Mercenary series. They made the Saboteur. They made Destroy All Humans. And also, the Battlefront series. Yeah, the ones that they've made. Let's see what they've made. Let's see. Du -du -du -du. Yeah, because Battlefront 2 was the last one they made for Star Wars. Destroy Humans 2 was the last one they made. The Saboteur was their last game that they fucking made. And then we had, let me, I'm going to check something really quick. I'm going to check uh, uh, Renegade Squadron. That was made by Rebellion, and Rebellion did a decent job with that too. And for those that don't know about Rebellion, the games that they programmed, um... Uh, the Sniper Elite series. That's the best way I could describe that one. No, the Battlefront collection was a complete dumpster fire. They had three 60 player. Yeah, I saw that too. They need to update it. I will say this. If they made it updated, game might be a little bit better. But I would just say this. Just get the classic one on Steam. Put some mods onto it. Have like a modded source that makes it look better. <laughs> Saves you a bunch of money for that one. Please clap. Same thing with Dark Forces. Just do that. Like, Jesus, you're stupid. You have to be brain-dead fucking stupid to believe that. Thank you. Thank you, Memology. I just pointed that out, too. No, definitely I can tell you guys this. The original game ran much better. And what I mean by that is the hit detection worked. The game was fun to play. This, it's like you're fighting so hard to have your, your actual shots count because they fucked it up so bad. It's such a losing fight to get anything to register as a hit. It's broken as fuck. Can we have a DSP reference Star Wars prequel trilogy OP? Hmm, maybe. Go over to this capture point. Oh, you're talking to Nurbu. That should be a thing, too. Oh, the game crashed. Oh, my God. Oh. The game crashed. You fucking piece of shit. Fuck. Fucking shit. I think it's the same match. I think it's the same exact match. Seriously. I do. I think. Yeah, that's no, because I try to be optimistic with it, though. It might not happen, though. But if it does, it does. Doesn't, doesn't. But people won't care about it. I would just say get the classic one instead. Oh, oh. To have money. Lord Kane six hundred and sixty-six donated two dollars. The word intelligent should not come from him. Oh, he's never intelligent, Lord Kane. Thanks for two spot, though. Please clap. He's never going to be intelligent. That hollow brain that he has. This. I'm going to be on a gun. I think you, you could if you mod it. Oh. If you could find it. He's on a gun. Where am I going to be? Why am I not? Pl what happened? I think I, I'll leave that to, uh, I think I'll leave that to Nerd Brew. Nerd Brew is really good when it comes to parodies. I mean, his interlude that he had for King of the Ring was really good. Why am I not playing? You're waiting. You're responding. I'm waiting further. You're responding, Phil. Why can't I play? What's going on? They're not letting me play. Oh, fuck this fucking piece of shit game, man. <laughs> Rage quit. I think I... Yeah, even I still have that on Steam, too. The Battlefront 2. I wish it was Renegade Squadron. <laughs> no, this is shovelware. I mean, this is the definition of shovelware. The game barely works. The hit detection's awful. The connections are awful. I wouldn't have mind the graphics not being improved. I would be okay with these graphics. I don't... I'm not a graphics guy. Oh, fucking bullshit!
Bullshit! Every single time you play a game, you go, the graphics are pretty. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. You're a graphics whore. But the fact that the game is fucking unplayable is a huge disappointment. I want to play the goddamn game. And I can't fucking play it. It's just, it's, it's trash. It's trash. They'll probably fix it in six months when no one plays it anymore and there'll be no player base for it. Get a refund. How would I go about getting a refund? For this game. He wouldn't get a refund for it, though, because he played for more than t a certain amount of time for PlayStation. And if he already got trophies for it, too, he won't get it back either. I don't know how to do that. I'm on PSN. This isn't like Steam where you just request it. I play? Why am I stuck at one? But then again, though, Phil, you already got your refund back. It's yeah, called, uh, it's called $80 in tips. Why am I stuck at one? <laughs> Please clap. I love I love that. What the fuck? Come to Dago Bar. Come to Dago Bar. Get stuck at one. And you come to Dago Bar and you get fucked in the ass. I They're giving people refunds. Okay. Now I know because I know for a fact like Steam has a good policy when it comes to their refunds, but for Sony it's a different story i never had to refund games on like sony or playstation before so that's why i'm kind of eh. can't play if i have to i will have to I, oh, hold on the fuck i can't play i oh yeah that lightsaber is glitched <laughs> oh my god Oh my god! Oh my god! Stop this! Anyway, yeah, it's it's terrible. I can't recommend that to anyone. Even if you're like a casual fan of Star Wars, even if like you're a huge fan of the originals, that's just not functional. When you're shooting at someone and nine times out of ten your bullets don't register, unless they fix those connections and that hit detection, there's no point to getting this collection at all. And I wouldn't recommend this to anyone at all. Really. Even if it's given out for free, I would Oh, he got one hundred and one dollars. He's went at stupid fucking Fedora. I recommend it. There's no point. Defeat a Jedi hero by knocking them off the map. Take down an AT, at We took. We did this. We took down ATATs. They didn't. Maybe the trophies are bugged. What is going? What? Huh? It glitched. I mean, what? Well, guys, sorry. I really wanted to give you guys variety. That's why I bought the game to bring variety to the channel, so that we'd be able to do more fun stuff. And uh, no, it's a piece of dog shit. They fucked it up. Anyway, guys, thank you. For watching i'm sorry it sucks and i guess we're not gonna waste any more time on it that's that sorry guys so look, the game doesn't work this is fucking yep he stopped playing it and he went straight to the q a i think there's more to it well, yeah because i know store hogan has another part of this too i'm gonna see what happens. tell you something brother Got the drip. Yeah. okay he has more like gameplay stuff with that too like towards the end of it so at least we get more insight on that I guess on tonight, we're just doing a hangout stream, right? We're probably just doing a hangout stream. Uh, I don't think he showed off the terrible Yoda impression, but honestly, thank God that that never was happening. Where we just chill and talk and see what you guys want to talk about, because I don't think playing this another second is going to be worth it. It's such a bad game. We've got to have money. Such a bad game. Vanguard Nice donated $2. Uck, Phil, just come out the damn closet. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> But then again, Cat is his beard, after all. Thanks, Vanguard. Or better yet, if you want a better Star Wars game that's not this, Dark Forces. I would just say just go buy Dark Forces or just go buy the Jedi games, the Survivor and Fallen Order. Just go play those instead. Or Republic Commando. Play that one. Those are better. What's up, Marana? Uh. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dead. I do want to say thanks to those of you who did chill here and uh and support the stream. Thank you. I appreciate that. 
Why not do single player? Yeah, eight yeah, eight years of streaming. Does it have a backup game to play? Nope, does not. Meanwhile, other streamers that if they're dealing with issues, they have backup games to play. Like the guy, the con why do you want to see? Like example, if I was playing this on PC and I was having issues with it, I refund it. Hey, we're going to play Power Wash Simulator instead, or I'm going to do that. Play single player in a 20 year old game. <laughs> I'm, I'm a. I thought the whole appeal of the game was to play online. Why would you want to see me do the single player campaign of a of a 20 year old video game? Then again, though, Phil, why do you try to fucking hype it up as like, oh, I'm going to play this game, guys. I really enjoyed it. I played this. You hyped it up, fucktard. The command post is no longer under Empire control. The Empire also, one minute man gave him $24. Not look kindly on defeat. A command post for the I almost, thought this uh, said, I almost thought that said Metroid droid for a second, but it's a medical droid. If only the game worked, it would be fun. I know that when I played it when it worked on PC. It was super fun on PC back in the day. Phil, you never played this on PC back in the day. Shut up. My favorite by far was the silent, the silent match I had where the audio just refused to work. So I had to do the, the music myself. It wasn't anyone's favorite, Phil. Shut up. Anyway, yeah, it's it's terrible. I can't recommend that to anyone. Even if you're like a casual fan of Star Wars, even if like you're a huge fan of the originals, that's just not functional. When you're shooting at someone and nine times out of ten your bullets don't register. I we were lucky to get the ATAT -AT stuff working to actually take down those ATATs -AT with the rope. I'm surprised that worked. But everything else doesn't. Like the actual core gunplay doesn't work. So Unless they fix those conditions. Phil, it's not the fact that it didn't work in some cases. You just suck at aiming. Connections in that hit detection. There's no point to getting this collection at all. And I wouldn't recommend this to anyone at all. Really. Even if it's given out for free, I wouldn't recommend it. There's no point in playing it when you can't play it for real. Like, I don't feel like there was a single match there that felt like I was really in control and doing oh, it. Oh, Phil, as a stormtrooper, he would be the first to go. <laughs> anything competently because the game doesn't work. Right? <laughs> this is like playing baseball and someone, you know, pitches it and you swing perfectly and your bat just passes through the ball and passes through the ball and passes through the ball. Then on your eighth attempt at bat, finally the bat connects with the ball. That has no fucking sense, Phil, because you're comparing it to real life. If that was there for the case, Phil, then that would be stupid. Like, why am I going to play it? Right? And like, fuck this able to rope yeah the collections it's it's 60 plus gigs initial download and then this morning there was a 17 gigabyte patch for the game so the game is over 70 gigabytes in size check the trophies yeah that's true we didn't get any trophies for it how do you check the trophies it wasn't that big whenever i downloaded this phil shut up it was 25 gigs how do you do this i have no idea how to check trophies on this fucking thing phil just go down uh where do you check trophies? Anyone know? Phil, go down! Anyone know? Like, I can see the trophies right there. It's like, down, down, right there, click X, you're done. Not like you can easily do it anymore. They fucked it up oh, on this one console. Minute, it used to have its own menu. It doesn't have it anymore. It does! Trophies. It does have its own menu! There's that, and there's also going to the game, scrolling down. Not hard. Zero. I played for three hours. I got zero trophies. Reach sergeant rank, captain rank, general rank. How do you get these? Earn, earn frenzy medals. How do you get those? Earn your first gunslinger. How do you get any medals? They don't exist. Is this all campaign? If maybe this is all campaign, right? Is this all campaign stuff? Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Yeah, what, what a boomer. <laughs> Way a boomer. Defeat a Jedi hero by knocking them off the map. Take down an at, -AT we took it. We did this! You did it! We took down at, -AT -ATs. They didn't- Hey, Republic Commando, better game. Maybe the trophies are bugged. Yeah, he needs to play this in single player, which is There's also doing. no leveling system. Does it act, act like there's a leveling system? There's no leveling. There's no leveling oh. system, bro. There's no leveling. What uh, happened? I don't know what any of this means because there's no leveling at all. Is this all single player? 
there's leveling, but what is it? I mean, it? what Phil could do to actually br like bring variety to this channel is just do the single player stuff, but he won't do it because multiplayer is dead. Multiplayer sucks. Game's dead. Online? It's only single player. So literally all the trophies are single player, except... Except... This one... But this is is this Battlefront one? Because I took down two of them with the tow cable t today, and I didn't get this. Defeat a Jedi hero by knocking them off the map. We didn't knock anyone off the map. So I think these are the only two online trophies. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, else no is online, so that's why I got nothing. yeah no trophies for being the worst player on the team. Thing for playing today, as if I never booted the game. How nice of them, huh? <laughs> Oh. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah. So he has the karma force and the recorded force. Also, he needs to stop lying about how he played this in the past. If you did, you remember how to play it since you're a gamer. He could have. He should have. But he doesn't because he never played this game. He only played the EA ones. Yeah, Boss Man Jack is not a smart gambler. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah, I'm not playing this again. And I, I wasn't ever, I had no intention of playing the single player. I don't care about it. I just, I bought it to play the multiplayer. That's what I played in the original games on PC too. And the original game. Stop lying. Games are superb multiplayer experiences. And this is just a complete. Then why don't you just get the PC versions of it and play it there, huh? You could do so, Phil. Waste of time and money. Doesn't work at all. The fit detection's so bad. <laughs> Well, guys, sorry. I really wanted to give you guys variety. That's why I bought the game. To bring variety to the channel so that we'd be able to do more fun stuff. And uh, no, it's a piece of dog shit. They fucked it up. So I recommend it to no one. If someone offered to give you this game for free, I would say I would turn them down and say no, please. If someone offered to pay you to play this game, it would depend on the amount. Like if someone said, I'll give you $100 to play the Battlefront classic collection you're like maybe phil you already got a hundred dollars a hundred and one percent to be precise okay but don't play it it's bad hopefully they would put time into it to fix it but the fact that the hit detection you're point blank with a shotgun shooting them through their body and nothing happens like phil your aim just sucks bruh and if you're trying to shoot with a shotgun you do it from far away why would you even play it right i mean <laughs> Eat it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm sorry it sucks, and I guess we're not going to waste any more time on it. That's that. Sorry, guys. Uh, guys, well, here's the thing. I can't play Baldur's Gate 3 tonight. People would be upset. I'm not going to do Like a Dragon tonight because no one's going to show up for it. People are like, play Final Fantasy, but I, I literally told you guys I'm not doing any more Final Fantasy until we finish the other games. So. I, okay, how he could have done this, he could have just said, okay, we're playing Final Fantasy VII, last, like the last stream of it for right now. I'm going to put it on the back burner. He could have done that, but no. He decided to go to the fucking Q&A stream. Oh, I think tonight we're just going to have a hangout session. Yuck. Come by tonight, and we'll chill for two hours, and we'll talk about whatever it is you guys want to talk also, about. Also, I saw they did that with the PlayStation Rest Mode. I think that's a nice touch. About, and we'll, we'll just hang Life out. Life hard, dude. And that's it. Rather than waste time on anything that's going to fuck stuff up, we're just going to hang out tonight, okay? Yeah, that's why I was saying, Nugs. Like, Sony's, like, policies when it comes to refunds, it's very finicky. It's weird. But he won't get the refund, though. And then tomorrow, You're we start... Colorado. Baldur's Gate and Like a Dragon Mania, where for the next week to two weeks, I just focus on playing them and beating them, so that way we can focus on the next new game, which will either be Dragon's Dogma 2 or Rise of the Ronin, and I need your feedback on that over the week. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the podcast. I revealed a whole bunch of stuff on the podcast today about changing the schedule and stuff, so please give it a look, okay? All right, guys. Thank you. He could, he could switch to COD, but he doesn't want to play that. <laughs> give it the channel less variety. And uh, I hope to see you tonight how, co how come he can't do a Q&A while playing the damn game the reason why he won't do it is because it interferes with the game he wants the videos just to be nothing but the game nothing with the chat nothing with the tips none of that at all but it still involves with his fucking chat like videos anyway chill late night session of just hanging out all right guys thanks see you tonight i got the drip going i got the drip going
got the drip go. I 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 got the drip go. It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. Tap the mute button. This is what it is. It's dumb kid. Tap that mute button. What do I have next? Oh. Oh, this is what I have next. Okay. In this case, I wouldn't go to the Q&A segment. But we're doing the Q&A segment. Please clap. Because I heard he said a lot of stupid shit. RPGs to finish you guys really like Holy shit 27 minutes of nothing Holy fuck dude good evening everybody. I oh, there am we go about to get set up I just need to get the chat open and then a few quick things on the laptop and uh, we can hang out It's just a hangout session tonight. Nothing more nothing less. Uh which is fine. We haven't done one of these in a few weeks. Last time we did one, you guys really liked it. Uh, and actually wish that we could do it more often. And When doesn't he say stupid shit? Anon, you're absolutely right. Please clap. Sometimes Stupid shit is the right word. Yeah, you're right. Retardation comes out of this stream. Because I feel like it's better. His stream, not mine. Better to just unwind and just relax than to do something impromptu that either people don't want or a lot of people would miss. And I think that's the situation we're kind of in right now. Um... Because, for example, if I were to throw in a late night stream of Baldur's Gate 3 or Like a Dragon or Final Fantasy 7, then people would be upset because they missed it. Because, uh, you know, they want to be here for those streams that have been regular streams. Uh, you know, at certain No, Phil, here's the thing with that, though. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, it wouldn't matter. You put those in the night streams anyway. Final Fantasy, night stream anyway. Baldur's Gate 3, you never put that on the night stream. You always put that at the day stream because you know that's when the people come out to give you money. Time slots, well, and they're narrative-based. You know, you miss a stream in one of those games, you're behind on the story, you don't know what the heck's going on, and, also and that's bear. a problem. You I know, know you're like, oh, I missed a stream of Street Fighter or something, right? Where, okay, so, you know, we know he won and he lost some. But it's not he could have done that too. He could have just said, "Hey, we're doing Street Fighter," but no Q and A. A big deal that you have to be there for. It. You know, when you're doing a narrative-based game like an RPG, uh, you kind of want to be there for those streams. So you kind of want to be there, dude. That's why we're just kind of hanging out tonight, and it's fine. You know, is not it? every stream has to be ultra serious. This is actually good because I am about to head into overdrive of overdrive. RPGs he says. To finish up both Baldur's Gate. Final Fantasy VII is a reference to, like or Project Seven is a reference to that. Dragon, and knowing that, I think it's going to be a little bit uh, refreshing just to have a night where we can just hang out and chat and nothing serious tonight, right? So, yeah, you guys, Star Wars is terrible. Star Wars is awful. Raven says, why aren't we doing Star Wars tonight like originally planned? Because it's broken. It doesn't even work. Like, there's not even a reason to play it. It's that bad. Um, You shoot at things and you have no effect. Your bullets literally pass through the enemy standing an inch in front of you. And then sometimes you'll kill someone and the reaction is like a got second later. To have money. Murano GC donated $2. You couldn't pay me to watch him, so I'll pay you. <laughs> Big ups for that, Murano. It's like, you don't want to pay him just to ask stupid questions. Like, he just asks, gets the dumbest questions. Or questions he already answered already. I, I've gotten dropped from multiple servers. Just in the middle of a match, uh, it's really bad. They, oh, poor they baby! They did not test that thing. There's no way that they tested it and thought that that was acceptable to release in that state. It's a joke, and I'm sure they'll probably fix it, but it won't matter. It probably is by one then, minute, no one man. Won't care anymore, right? Uh, and of course, one other thing too. I'm sure we'll talk about this because people are going to be joining and asking. But but um, oh, I'm on the wrong uh, screen. Hold on, that's not the right screen. Here we go. I'm sure people will ask me like. Uh, so, you know, how did it go? Every video Shut I did of Star Wars up! earlier today already demonetized on YouTube for the music. Even though I had streamer mode enabled, it would still play music anyway and demonetize completely. So, enough is now enough. I'm not wasting any more time on that. Uh, Even the game that he bought, he got $101 out of it. 
He still can't make money off of it. It is what it is. Okay? Cool. Alright. Yeah, two lines couldn't save the stream. Exactly, the save the stream. RPG storm. Exactly. <laughs> All right, uh, Phil, hurry we, up. Uh, should we start recording? And I'll, I'll do a little intro of why we're doing this. I just could talk about why Star Wars is a bust. And then if you guys go right, want to go right into Q and A, right? Let's go right into Q and A. Right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Okay, everybody. Well, good evening and welcome to a very impromptu stream that was not planned. Normally, Friday nights are Friday night fights. And for the last nine plus months, every Friday night, I played fighting games. For yeah, you play fighting games until Tekken 8 where you dropped it. And you're like, no more fighting games. First with classic Street Fighter, then heading into Street Fighter 6's release. And then after that, we had Tekken 8. But I'm all fighting gamed out. I really am. Like, I'm beat. And... So tonight, I was going to do something different. It's actually March. It only took him to play Tekken A and get demoted twice. 15th, 2024. And for tonight, today was the release. Well, I, I take that back. Cause I, originally, I thought it was today, and I actually was off by a day. It was yesterday. Uh, the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection released. Phil, the only reason why you said Friday was the release date is because that's when you were playing it. That's the only reason why. On all platforms. Oh, no. He still has not set up Frightcade yet due to the fact that he believes it would take a while for him to set it up. Even though when he was saying this, a lot of people were actually setting up Fightcade and it took him about 20 minutes. And tops. Basically. $1,000 a cat to the puns I drop off. Oh, God. That would just... It's like, <laughs> it does like that little sumo drop like Ihana does. My own Phil, it's like, oh, oh no, he's, she's gonna do it. Um, it was really, uh, really well, uh, like, like, uh, let me put it this way. It was dropped on everyone. Someone said that my super chat said, I have $1,300, yeah, $1, should I pull for Austin's? Without real build up. But when it did drop, it was a few weeks ago when it was announced, right? Like a month ago. Everyone was like, oh my god, so excited, right? So excited because Battlefront. No one was excited for it, Phil. Only you were. Is actually one of those games from back in the 2000s that is to this day still like well regarded. People wish that you could still play the classics, but the old games barely work. Like the servers don't work anymore. For uh, Phil, you could still do so. You could still boot up Battlefront 2 and Battlefront 1 on Steam. But Battlefront 2, just be safe with this as well. You can download it on Steam. It co doesn't cost you a whole lot of money. You know what? I'll do this. Let's see what I can find. Let's see. Pull up Steam really quick. See how much it costs on Steam. Give me a moment. I'm pulling up Steam. Let's see. Battle. I didn't, I didn't mean to play you. Still got a game on Steam that I wanted to buy later. Let's see. Here it is. Here's the classic. I hit titties. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Here you go. So that's how much Battlefront 2, the classic one, costs on Steam. It costs $10. Sometimes it goes on sale. Sometimes it doesn't. But you can also buy you know, if you want to spend a whole lot of money on that good fucking luck. Please clap. Regardless of that, though. It's ten dollars, and it has more players now. Yep, mm-hmm, exactly. So you can just play the game on Steam, no problems. Friends tried to save it and didn't really work, and then EA tried to pick up the reins and make two new ones in the two two twenty tens, but they don't really hold a candle to the originals. People still love the originals to this day and wish that they were still fully functional, but they're not. They are still functional, Phil. You fucking retard. So. This Battlefront... The only thing I wish is that they actually... Oh, I don't know. They bring out the Renegade and Elite Squadron games for Battlefront. I wish they would do that, but no. Collection. You know, coming out, everyone's so super excited. Me included. I played both Battlefront 1 and 2. No, you did not. Stop lying, Phil. On PC back in the day. Yes, I said it. On PC. Because back then I was a PC gamer. No, you are not, Phil. You were more of an arcade joystick guy. You are the more the type of guy that would play Street Fighter. You never played games on PC. I actually was not really playing consoles 
in the early 2000s, I was just PC only, and then I would play like Street Fighter games on console. So, um, basically, I was very excited for this collection, and since we were looking for variety on the streams, I knew that the fighting games were being phased out for now because I really need a break from fighting games after nine straight months. I, I need a no, break. Phil, you need a, a quote unquote break because because you're getting your ass kicked by fucking competent players on Tekken Eight. Rest from them, um, and people want a variety. They're like, "Don't keep doing RPGs. Do something different." I said, "Okay, this will be the first opportunity to do something different. Let's do it. Let's do this collection." So I go and I get it and I do it and it's broken beyond belief. It's Again, you're retconning everything about this. Pressing X to doubt for that one just because I can. I regret nothing. Yeah, take a sip every time he lies. <laughs> so bad. What an awful collection. They didn't even try. So basically, here's the thing. Like, I don't care about how a game looks. I don't. And the game bullshit. You do care about how a game looks. If it doesn't look pretty enough for you, then all of a sudden, nope, the game sucks. Looks kind of like an early 2000s PC game, and I'm like, I'm okay with that. I don't no, Phil, it looks like a game that came out in the mid-2000s that had, like, an HD polish. A remaster is what they call it. Or an HD port. I don't care that it doesn't look stupendous. But the game has to be playable. And it was playable for what I saw of it, but the online functions of it, on the other hand, tell a different story. This game is so bad online. So I tried to play Star Wars Battlefront 1, okay? And I hit quick match, and it throws me into a match. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm trying to get the hang of how the game plays or whatever. And as I'm playing, all of a sudden, maybe every once a minute, my character would completely lose control and go all over the map. Like, are you sure that that's you or the game, Phil? Because that sounds like a you problem. As the server tried to rectify where everyone was and where everyone what was happening because the lag is so bad, and then you get dropped randomly somewhere and then probably instantly executed, right? Instantly executed. And then you try to shoot someone. And as you're shooting them, you can see everything you're firing is hitting the enemy and nothing takes any damage. No one... No, most of the shots that you were doing, Phil, you were missing. You were doing the Stormtrooper aim. It takes any damage at all. You're like... So what ends up happening is everyone's just standing in corridors chucking grenades because no one could shoot anyone. So everyone's just fi throwing grenades randomly and things are blowing up all over the place. Phil, the reason why they chuck grenades because that's actually a good tactic to do. It's to push the enemy out of hiding. Like, again, they do the same thing in Call of Duty. And that's pretty much the gameplay of the original Battlefront Online. It's pretty bad. Um, I think I played it for about an hour. I was really trying to get a match that would work well and none of them worked well. Um... Um, so then I was like, okay, let's play Battlefront 2. Because everyone's like, just play Battlefront 2. It's going to be way, way better, okay? Well, the reason why is because they improved over the first one, Phil. That's the only reason why people regard Battlefront 2 as one of the best Star Wars games ever to be created. Along with other games like Republic Commando, Dark Forces, Nazi Old Republic. But if we're talking about Battlefront standards, the original Battlefront 2 was considered to be the best Star Wars game ever. Um, basically, I booted up. Well, there's also Renegade. Oh, not Renegade Squadron. That's that's still bad from. But I was talking about like a uh, Rogue Squadron. That's what I'm thinking of. And we jump into a match, and it's one of the conquest matches. And I'm like, oh, this is exciting, right? This is the new 64 player mode. I think it's th is it 32 on each side, something like oh, that. Exciting. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Um, and I start to play it, and I realize once again. It's exactly the same as the Battlefront 1. None of the hit detection works. You could stand there, like, point blank at someone with a shotgun firing, and it won't take their health off. It's like the game doesn't know where anyone actually is at any given time. So it's a crapshoot if anything you're doing in the game actually registers as damage. On top of that, um, a lot of people are messing around and just doing the hero versus villain mode, which is fine, but it's good for, like, a one-off match, and that's it. It's yeah, but it's still fun, though, Phil. It depends on what people really want, though. Just like having Call of Duty, you can have it set up to do domination, you can have it do it for free-for-all, team deathmatch, uh, hardpoint, HQ. There's a lot of things that you can do, Phil. You can filter out what modes you want on it. But you're like, oh, it's just one and done. Not a really competitive mode, nor balance. Oh, I forgot about Super Star Wars. The Super Star Wars trilogy is good difficult but fun so it's not very fun to play um why can't he just play tf2 on that mini pc well, he could play it because it actually would run better now but he just won't do it because the last experience he had with tf2 people were trolling him 
it's just okay for like one or two matches. You know, I prefer the standard mode with all the regular uh, troops on each side or whatever. I, I, I played Battlefront 2 for about two hours. I didn't hate my time with it. Uh, actually, you hated your time with it. When we did Hoth, uh, I actually took down an ATAT -AT twice. I was the I was the cable shooter while the guy the pilot was doing really good flying around the ATAT, -AT, and we took. Phil, you took control of a fucking. I forget the name of the ship in that for Hoth. It was like a not a speed cruiser. Because they were used for freight. I, okay, air speeders. That's what they were called. They're T-47 air speeders. They're usually known for cargo. But the Alliance, the Rebel Alliance, used it for combat. That's the only reason why... Or snow speeders. That's what they are called. I believe they're snow speeders. Let me check. Let me look. Yeah, snow speeders. Okay, there we go. Please clap. Yeah, snow speeders or T-47 air speeders that they made for combat. Got a few together, and I was like, oh, see, that was still exciting. You still... I remember 20 years ago doing this on PC. I'm like, wow, that still has that feeling of awesome epicness when you... Hey, Dare Bear, what's up? Good to see you here, man. Do it. It's like you're in The Empire Strikes Back, right? Um... But by the way, while we were doing that, the entire planet surface of Hoth that's supposed to be covered in snow instead was covered in a future patchwork. Mm hmm Yeah, we know, Phil. It got a glitch. We know. A huge rendering glitch that wouldn't render half the stage correctly, so all the ground looked like 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 plaid. Like purple plaid. plaid. I was like, what the fuck? What is going on? You know? So basically, I played it for two hours, and after that, I was like... Nah, I don't think I want to play that again. Now, some people are like, are you going to play the, the single player? I'm like, no. You know, the single player, a lot of people know it, but I didn't really play it back in the day. I bought those games to play the multiplayer. No, you didn't. You didn't even play these games at all. But yeah, you're going to be like, I played them. I played them. Just like the movie. I loved the multiplayer and played the hell out of it, but I didn't want to do the single player. So people were like, why didn't you get any trophies? We played for three hours and you go to find out. There's only two trophies that are multiplayer. Every yeah, my biggest question is why he's not playing fighting games like Guilty Gears or Grand Blue Versus. Uh, he played Grand Blue Versus before, but he didn't like it because he was getting his ass kicked and it was an anime fighter. Same thing with Guilty Gear. He just doesn't like them. He tried playing King of Fighters 15, but he was not used to the controls with that at all. Got his ass kicked and he said the game sucked. Dragon Ball Fighters was another one that it was, again, anime fighter and the rollback netcode. He hated it. Yeah, there are a lot of games that are fighting games that he will not touch. He'll touch Tekken when he wants to, but he dropped that recently. And he always will go back to Street Fighter because he loves to put on the knee pads for Capcom when it comes to Street Fighter. Every trophy in the game is from the single-player campaign. So you probably know where the effort went. They probably were just made the single-player work and didn't care about the online, and the online is probably what most people are going to focus on long-term. Glub glub gin water. But he said that this was like filtered water. Charcoal filtered water, which in reality it's just gin. And that's the sad thing too, is that Aspire it doesn't really make bad games or they don't do a bad job when it comes to certain games, but this one, the Battlefront collection, yeah, they need to be really evaluated. Oh, pretty stupid. Um so then on top of all of that. The game has a streamer mode, which I enabled as soon as we started playing, but we noticed there was still music playing anyway. I just uploaded all my videos of this collection, right? Three, three hours worth. Every video demonetized on YouTube for the Star Wars soundtrack music. So, why don't you just show us that, Phil? Show us a screenshot of it. Oh, right, you won't. The game's a mess. No hit detection that's proper. Dropping you for matches. Hard to find matches. Getting matches, they're laggy as hell. Doesn't work properly. Graphical errors. Game bugs horrid pr just performance in general and then if you actually want to monetize any content you can't do that on youtube either it's just like every possible level of fail for a launch of any game i've ever seen i love how he has to say that demonetized making money on youtube while uploading videos is a negative phil not a whole lot of people that are playing this game are just making content off of it and they're not uploading it for money they're not they're just playing it for themselves Pretty bad. I would say the only game launch that I've seen that was definitively worse, there's two. One's called Street Fighter V, and the other's called Overwatch 2. Uh, Phil, Street Fighter V actually worked. Overwatch 2, on the other hand, didn't really work at all. And the reason that those games were worse at launch is because they just didn't work at all. You actually couldn't... Street Fighter V worked, Phil. Shut the fuck up. The only reason why you brought that up is because you have a big disdain over Street Fighter V. Play them.
and they were online only, so there was zero content. You would pay for the game and just... Uh, Phil, they had a story mode for Street Fighter V. Sit there and... I believe. Stare at a screen that wouldn't go to matchmaking, so you couldn't play them. So those were definitely works, okay? This, in this case, uh, at least I was able to play. It just... Also, keep this in mind. Any game that he played that had online multiplayer at launch, they always will have problems with it. Because it needs to be updated, but he doesn't even understand that. Instead, he wants to go on and on and on about how it gave, the game sucks. Game sucks. Game sucks. But he made $101 off of it. Wasn't a fun experience. Again, like, I just don't like a, a multiplayer game where I'm standing point blank and blasting you with a shotgun. And it passes through your body and you're like, haha. Phil, you're shooting it from far away, Phil. You're not doing up close to personal. And if you do, you're missing every shot. I would so love for him to play like games like Quake or Coltec, Dusk, Blood, where he's up close and personal, bang, 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 and he's like missing every shot. Come, come on! Haha, you know. Did I have a favorite song from Chiking? Uh. Honestly, all of them were really good, though. But I would say the one that I did listen to a lot of was uh, Dark Sea the Flow's Pickle Dick. Not because it had me in the song. It was just because the way that it was done with Phil, the vocals of Phil and the beat was really well done. But I need to listen to all the other one of that. Okay, I was mistaken. Thank you, Randa, for correcting me on the story mode. Thank you very much. Please clap. Thank you for that, because I know that they did have a story mode with that. But I forgot about that, because honestly, I never really play fighting games that much. I did not play games like Street Fighter V. Tekken 7, yes. Uh, Smash Brothers, yes. Later on, Street Fighter VI, but nothing else after that. But hang on, Phil says he doesn't play multiplayer online shooters like Hell Divers 2, but he played Battlefront, which is the same fucking kind of game. Uh, not really, Dare Bear. At least Hell Divers works. Please clap. <laughs> At least that one works better. Oh, I was gonna say I did like your thing of Dense, the parody of Friends. That one was really well done for the interlude. But again, for King of the Ring, it was very hard to pick a favorite. I'm fucking, uh, Molecular Man. That's mainly a dunk on RTU's th uh, RTU, though. No, I like Pickle Dick, too. Yes, it was. Just because that art, uh, Review Tech USA had a problem with uh, Dark Sea the Flow. For some reason. And or something, and you can't shoot me because it's, uh, <laughs> it's my superpower that goes through and everything, right? It's like, what the hell, dude? Bolt Gun is great. Warhammer 40, uh, yeah, Warhammer 40k bolt gun is actually a really good boom, I'm in quotes, boomer shooter. So anyway, um, yeah, Close Tumor Mode plays music everywhere. Tumor Mode played music in the menus everywhere, and then, and then Battlefront 1 had a streamer mode and Battlefront 2 didn't. So they didn't even add it to both halves of the collection, so what did you bother with it for? It doesn't make any sense at all. It so, makes sense, dude. So that's why people were like, well, what are you doing tonight? And I said, well, we have some options. Option number one, we could actually play Star Wars again, but I don't see the point. Like, No, you didn't, Phil. At the end of that fucking stream, you said you were going to do a Q&A. There's no fun to it. It's just a stupid... It's almost like a gimmick at this point. Laugh at how bad this game is, but... You... At first, you wanted to play it for a second stream, but then all of a sudden, you saw how bad it was doing, and you're like, nope, we're just doing a Q&A. You can't have fun playing it because it's not competitive because no one can kill anyone. Um, uh, Phil, you did get kills off of it. Everyone else got kills. Now, we could very well do RPGs. Like, we have three RPGs that we're in the middle of. Yeah, you could have done that, but no. People wouldn't tune in, so Q&A time! On two of which, we're making a major push this week to finish. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out my Level 1 podcast from earlier this morning. It outlined big changes to the schedule, basically for the next... Yeah, that was the big fucking announcement, was him saying, I had enough, I'm gonna play and rush through these RPGs. Final Fantasy VII, that goes to the fucking back burner. <laughs> two weeks we are hyper focused on beating both Baldur's Gate 3 as well as uh like a Dragon Infinite Well there will be another game next Friday but it's it's undetermined what it is yet it's either going to be Dragon's Dogma 2 or it's going to be uh uh Rise of the Ronin I don't know which it's going to be yet because we have to decide over the week but yeah we basically, whenever we're, we're going to decide over it when he could just do it his own goddamn self here we do we're going to play at that launch day and then we're going to put it on the shelf and we're going to finish Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, and then go back to it so we can focus on it. Because I cannot juggle 10 games anymore, and I cannot juggle 4 RPGs. It's just never going to happen. You're not juggling 10 games at all. Max you've ever juggled 5. Happen. So that's how we have to handle it, okay? Um, but anyway, people were like, well, why don't you play all those RPGs tonight? Well, number one, 
We're in the middle of a huge, epic dungeon that everyone wanted to see me do. The House of Hope. Uh, not really a dungeon, but plot line in Baldur's Gate 3. Actually, what happened was earlier today, I'm on the podcast, and people literally said, Phil, do not play Baldur's Gate 3 tonight. Because if you do, we're going to be very upset with you. Because we love to be there live. We're the people who are supporting... Who said this, Phil? No one said this. Your streams of it. And if you do it tonight, we're going to miss it. We're going to be upset with you that you did it on a late... Yeah, day. only Phil could take a three-minute announcement and stretch it out to 90 minutes. Oh, absolutely, Jay. He did that quite a lot. He's scared... Yeah, he's scared to do the beach scene. He's putting Final Fantasy VII on the back burner. Oh, yeah. I've seen nice titties that they made into the fucking game. Come. Oh, absolutely. He's going to be scared shitless because Kat's going to be peeking on him with holding up her knife. Stream, And I'm like... So you can't do that. Like a dragon, I don't want to play because people don't know that I'm going to play it tonight. And I'm going to... Already when we play Like a Dragon, we get barely 200 viewers. Can you imagine on a night that now I'm going to do like a two-hour stream of it without announcement previous? We'll get like 50 viewers, right? Like no one here. So... I love how he's just pushing like to the fact he's like, I'm just going to get 50 viewers. But Phil, I thought you said you liked the game. That you would play the games you have a passion for. It, that you didn't matter. Now all of a sudden, attendance matters. Money matters. Everything matters. Just not the passion. Yeah, the imaginary Baldarians. When Phil's a ball of shit in, looking at how his patchy goatee looks, it looks like patchy ball hair. There's no point in doing that. And Final Fantasy VII, I already said, that's on the shelf too. I'm not playing any more Final Fantasy VII at all until we get through these other RPGs. That's I, I refuse to keep playing through 100 RPGs. I'm just not doing it. We'll go back to Final Fantasy VII if people want it in a few weeks. If not, we'll just drop it. And as soon as he said the whole thing about RPG, someone even said, Rip, Sea of Stars. I mean it, too. Like, it sucks. I think it's a good game. But I told you this would happen with RPG Overload. Like, I knew 100% this was going to happen. Glob, glob, gin time. Yay, gin. And now it's happened. And now it's like, well, that's what happens. <laughs> I thought he likes being small. We've got to have money. Oh, Michael de Router donated six euros. Filmch will face NDS a greatest king just to humble him. Oh, he does need an ass kicking. He really fucking does. I mean, if Jaha. Shut the fuck up! Almost came close to beating his ass. It would have been nice, but no, we never had that happen. God damn it. Fucking Viscont ruining everything. Didn't you want to the same thing? And the one game that I buy to play to put variety into the schedule is a piece of dog shit rip off game. Pretty bad, right? Wait, hang on, what? That's what happens. Stagnation, too much of the same thing. And the one game that I buy to play to put variety into the schedule is a piece of dog shit. Rip off game. Pretty bad. Rip off game, even though, Phil, you bought the goddamn thing. And you were hoping that it would be saving your channel. Right. And also, all the RPGs that you're playing, Baldur's Gate 3, Sea of Stars that you did play once upon a time, Pal World, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. Sure, they're all RPGs, but they're not the same type of RPG. But you dropped three of them because, oh my god, I'm not getting support off of it. Ah! Also, big up Stair Bear. Right? Um. Oh, by the way, hold on. Still Splinter, thank you for becoming a member tonight. I appreciate that, Still Splinter. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the support. Um, Still Splinter. Let's see here. What? Someone... Yeah, I love how he calls any game that doesn't work out for him a ripoff. He always does that. Game doesn't do well? Oh, it's a ripoff. Did a dollar tip. They said, I'm ready for March 22nd because the new Princess Peach, Dragon's Dogma 2, and Rise of the Ronin all call on, come out at once, and I pre-ordered all of them. Oh, yeah, I forgot. P uh, Princess Peach Showtime does come out on the 22nd as well. Honestly, I don't even know what I would get, honestly. Either two of the three or just one of the two. Or one of the three. I'll have to think about those. See, that's one thing I can't do, man. If, if I had no games in the rotation, like if we were going to finish every single game I'm playing now by then, I would totally do that. But how can I take on three games when I have three to four? He justifies that later by saying that they're all long and grindy regardless of combo systems and mechanics. Oh, damn it, Ara. <laughs> not, not because of what you said, but it's like, damn. He tries to justify everything with a really shitty take. Or lingering other games. And that's the major problem right now, is I just don't have time for new games so i need to f focus and wrap up the games i'm playing which is what i'm doing again you want the full explanation watch the podcast from this watch morning. podcast 
Uh, James Bond a tip the dollar says, when you try out the original 007 Golden Knight, it's on Game Pass, and all ninja games are on Game Pass. All ninja games? What do you mean by that? All ninja games? Ninja Gaiden games? I don't know what you mean. Um, No, when it came out, I asked people if they wanted it, and they said no. The reports were that the collection was quite bad, so I never played it. Or not the collection, the uh, remake or remaster, whatever it is, was quite bad. So I never played it, and no one really ever asked for it again. So no, I don't have real uh, plans for that. Um, I don't have plans for that, Drew. Okay. All right, so basically, guys, you saw what I just said. Battle fronts off the table because it's dog shit. No one wants to see it. I'm done with fighting games for a while. I'm not putting myself back through stressful night of fighting games. And Stressful it, night of fighting games, even though he could have, oh, I don't know, learned the goddamn game. Ah! So apparently it was a ripoff. Oh, yeah, so much of a ripoff that he doesn't say her name. If I remember correctly, Phil dropped Persona 5 as well when he got to the last boss. No, that was Persona 3. Persona 3, he dropped the game. He rage quit Nyx because he got charmed and he healed the boss. But he went back and finished the game. Persona 5, he dropped because he got copyright claims or copyright strikes due to the fact that he didn't follow the guidelines that Atlas put out just so that way he could actually upload videos for it. Because at a certain time in game, you had to stop uploading things because they didn't want people to be spoiled by it. But because he didn't follow the guidelines, he got them copyright claimed. And after that, he refused to play any games made by Atlas ever again. It makes no sense to continue any of the three RPGs I'm playing because no one's going to know that I'm doing it or show up and be upset after the fact when they miss it. So tonight, we are literally just going... Yeah, you saw what I just said? Please clap. Oh, his fucking, his fucking words to chill no it's all good vanguard it's still persona related if it's still persona you know he's gonna make up an excuse okay we just have to chill there's not gonna be anything going on it's just us talking and relaxing if you're not okay with that if you don't want to talk and relax with me have a good night i'll see you tomorrow when we go into rpg overload because tomorrow it's Baldur's gate 3 and like a dragon and we're continuing on with that schedule for a while except for the react shows okay react um, show <clears throat> <clears throat> so the thing is most people have been asking for more streams like this. When I'm on my... No, they have not, Phil. Shut the fuck up. ...podcast, and we get to the Q&A segment, no one ever wants to have it end. They're all upset when I have to end it and get to the game. No one is upset with it, Phil. There are some cases where they're like, Phil, play the fucking game. They even told you to shorten the fucking podcast. So that contradicts everything. I'm playing. Um, and then, a few weeks back, I actually had a poll, what do you want to see on the late stream? And people voted for just a hangout session. They wanted that over gameplay. So I said, you know what? Yeah, they wanted it over gameplay. Is it they wanted you to do it or you wanted to do it because you don't want to play video games anymore? But we have an opportunity tonight where we could just relax and hang out with each other. So let's just do that. Let's just hang out tonight. And yeah, it doesn't have time to finish the game. He could have just booted up Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth and play through the fucking game to get farther into the game. No, decided to do this instead. And let's see... Well, you know how it goes. You toss me questions. We'll talk, we'll talk about various topics. We'll hang out for a couple of hours, and that's the attitude. Okay? Cool. That's the attitude. So without further ado, thank you guys for hanging out and being here. If you contribute, I'll give you a shout-out. If you tag me in the chat, at DSP Gaming. Or actually, all you have to do is type in DSP Gaming, I think. You don't even have to type in anything else. It'll highlight, and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you. All right? It'll still highlight his name if he puts DSP Gaming. He could. But DSP, no, that's not going to be highlighted. Still but even if you put DSP in the fucking, just like, t like you're talking to him, you just put DSP, he'll still ignore you. ...asks, how bad was Street Fighter V on launch? Literally, it was the same as Overwatch 2. It's an online-only game. There's no other content. And you would go to boot it to matchmake, and it would just say, matchmaking error. And it would just sit there nonstop saying matchmaking error. And it was like that for two straight days. Phil, the reason why it's because it was a brand new game, and you couldn't even wait for a fucking patch. Very few people got to... Who the fuck does she think she's trying to just hang out? ...to actually play the game, because it just didn't work at all. And the weird part about that was, some people did, but it was all content creators, like like streamer, fighting game streamers. And people... No, Phil, that's just you talking out of your ass again. If that was the main case with it, you would have gotten the chance to fight people. So again, that's just um, contradicting everything. People were like... How is it that only fighting game streamers can play and nobody else when we bought the game and they got it for free? So it was a... Again, Phil, you're generalizing that most of these people that are fighting game players got the game for free. You're generalizing again. Big problem. Where no one could play the game. People were pretty upset. Glob, glob, glob. Yeah, people were upset. By upset being Phil. 
How was dinner? Dinner was great. Homemade chicken quesadillas. Yeah, I'm calling major fucking bullshit. He probably bought the prepackaged quesadillas and they just put them on the grill. Not grill, but the stove. Ah! Or the oven. Because apparently he thinks that putting it in the oven would do something better. Very delicious. Or maybe microwave. Pico de gallo and some cheese and uh, some sauce, like a chipotle sauce in there. And we dipped it in guacamole. It was super duper good. It's guacamole, not guacamole. Have I seen Dune Or maybe it's guacamole. Good game, though. Both Guacamelee 1 and 2 are really good games. I highly recommend those. Severed is another good one from Drinkbox. Yeah, no, I didn't see Dune 1, so I didn't see Dune 2. If I were a radio DJ... No, because if he went to go see the movies, he would complain about buying popcorn and drinks being too expensive. Okay, what type of music would I want? Would my best fit be? Oh, uh, probably either like classic rock or like 90s rock bullshit you don't even know anything from classic rock do you know anything from acdc metallica black sabbath beatles queen the who boston iron maiden and then we can move on to 90s rock there's also things like um and i'm saying this all the years of it it's like closer to the 2000s like system of a down you don't know anything about nirvana you don't know anything about the Melvins, Butthole Surfers. You don't know anything about those bands at all. But yet you're going to say that it's 90s rock and also uh, classic rock. When in reality, you know none of that. Because 90s is when I was growing up listening to music and I, I would know... I call major fucking bullshit on him listening to music. More about that than anything else. Probably those two time periods. Honestly, if I had a, like a radio station that had nothing but music, it would be a variety of everything. Like I cater to everyone's needs when it comes to music. If you like pop, I'll put pop on there. If you like rock, rock, metal, metal. But if I had my own way when it comes to music, I'd just put most, mostly fucking metal. Doesn't matter if it's death metal, technical metal, industry, uh, industry or industri industrial metal, power metal, groove metal, heavy metal, all metal. Uh, Turtle Dude says, maybe we can do a Game Pass tonight. No, we're not playing games tonight. We're just... Was Bon Jovi a rock singer? Eh, yeah. Please clap. Bon Jovi was. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins, Stone Temple Pilots, that's another one. Counting Crows, Dave Matthews, Band. Linkin Park is another one. I don't think he does. It's hanging out. Primus, Primus. I think it's either Primus or Primus. I think it's Tomato Tomato with that one, but that's another one. That's the point, is that not every stream has to be... Ask him who sings the rooster. I don't think he even knows. A game. And people have been asking for less gameplay and more just chilling. And that's what I want to do tonight is just relax with you guys. This is also corn. That's another one, We've too. We've got to have money. Era donated $2. He got struck by Atlas for Velvet Room Dead Air. That, that was it for a Persona 5. He, I think he was doing some... Uh, trying to think of it. fusions he was trying to do some uh, persona fusions and he wasn't even talking instead it was just him clicking with the menus disturbed is another one primus okay it is primus thank you please clap slayer is another one that's mostly metal yeah blink uh god, god damn it osiris please clap <laughs> blink 182 and then also uh green day some 41 is good pink floyd Deftone, Slipknot, Tool, Alice in Chains, Nine Inch Nails. See, a lot of 90s music out there, which he doesn't even know anything about. He doesn't even know who Trent Reznor is. It's the antithesis of last week. Pearl Jam, Soundgarden. That's another one, too. Last week, I freaked out on Queens of the Stone Age. Friday Night Fights with Tekken. I decided never to play the game again. This week, we're just going to relax before we have to focus on major push in every RPG. Tonight is just a night to sit back and relax. Okay? Time to relax. There you go. Drowning Pool, El Nino. Yeah, I think it's really... Not ironic, but I think it's kind of fitting, though, that the lead vocalist of Drowning Pool gave the mic... Actually, the guy who... He had his mic, but the lead singer... Or original lead singer of El Nino took over the mic because they were good friends with each other. El Nino is good, but I don't know what they're going to do with the band now. Hope that Den Lizzy, Trivium, Annihilator... Trivium wasn't really mostly 90s, though. Trivium was mostly, like, early 2000s. That makes sense. <clears throat> <clears throat> Foo Fighters was 90s, yes. After Kurt Cobain, uh... I can't do it! <laughs> God damn it. I didn't mean to press Indrid. But as soon as that happened, yeah. Yeah, Dave Grohl formed his own band with Foo Fighters. Phil hates everything and everyone, so he definitely doesn't listen to music. Oh, absolutely. Weird Al Yankovic. 
Oh, let's see here. A dollar tipper asks, what do you think of the live action and CGI Resident Evil movies? The live action movies start off promising and go right down the toilet. Like, the first one was not bad. It was a reimagining of the plot of the first game. And I thought, all right, lots of differences from the game, but also lots of similarities. So I like where they're going. I wonder where it'll... Winter Sun was 2000s as too. We'll go next because there were references to... Oh, well, still a good band. Red Hot Chili Peppers was another one too. But it was like... I think Red Hot Chili Peppers was more prominent in the 90s. Another band that was prominent in the 90s, Mr. Bungle. Uh, and Faith No More later on. You know, various characters perhaps becoming pirate or something like that. And then the second movie comes out and it looks like Resident Evil 2 and 3. <laughs> Nightwish. I wish I could do that as well. Nightwish Sahara. We combine... And you watch the movie and you're like, like, fuck, I can tell you like a lot of bands I, I would put on there. I would put in like Within Temptation, Epica, Camelot, System of a Down, Whitechapel, Kill Switch Engage, Lamb of God. Uh, what was another one? Bad Wolves is another one. I would even put that on there as well. I would even put down Avenged Sevenfold. That's another band on there as well. I would put down Slipknot. I would put down Korn. I would put down El Nino. I will put down Green Day. I'll put down, I'm trying to think of other bands, Behemoth, D.B. Borger, Cradle of Filth. There's a lot of bands I would put on there as well. And even some of the old other stuff that System of Down did. When the guitarist left, Darren Macklin and Scars on Broadway, Serge Tankian's mu like music, his solo projects. The rock kind. Dragon Force, I would put that down as well. Heaven Shall Burn, Trivium. Uh, what's the other one? Sabaton, I would put those as well. Uh, Ailstorm. I put those on there. What other bands are there? Evanescence and eh. Weezer. I'll put down that too. Three Days Grace. I'll put down that as well. I'll even put down try some Limp Biscuit just every once in a while, just to be stupid. Ah! Blind Guardian. I'll put down Ice Earth. I'll put down um, Demons and Wizards. That's another one I would put on there as well. Um. It, it, it also, again, if I'm feeling really stupid and random, I'll put down Panic at the fucking Disco. This is the Pixies. Yeah, that's a lot of bands. Well, yeah, what about Thin Bones from uh, Alice in Chains? That was in the 90s. That's another one. Uh, Testament, Nephilim, Aerosmith, Rhapsody of Fire, Death Clock, Wolf Mother. Uh, what was the other ones? There's another one. Power Wolf is another one, too. Radiohead. Genesis. Uh, yeah, Genesis I would put on there, too, because they're considered classic rock. It's nothing like Black Sabbath. There's a lot of bands that are. All Shall Perish and Baby. Maybe for All Shall Perish. I know that the lead vocalist of All Shall Perish went on to do um, Suicide Silence because the guy who was the lead vocalist was friends with the band members. So that's why he took over. And honestly, Remember You Must Die was a good return to form for the band. Even though, granted, Eddie's kind of... Uh. Ah! Anyways, I'll continue. Actually, give me one second. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. I'll, I'll be right back. So I'm going to... I'll be back in just one moment. I got gotta go take care of something really quick. I'm gonna put on some music really quick. Bear with me one second. What to put on? Uh, I'll do that. One moment. everyone and welcome to the show i'm dsp as always and this is the level one podcast we're busy having fun down here on level one death and taxes microtransactions my grind was slow like water but my slow like molasses still swaying on that axis staring at the past with these rose tinted glasses 15 years man singing the same song i did everything correct i did nothing wrong it's been tough Strength. Carry on. I'll never be like Justin Wong. The drama. The bullshit. My trolls. My haters. I'm laying down the law. And I'm putting my foot down. I'm done with it. I'm fucking done with it. The drama. The bullshit. I'm done with it. My trolls. My haters. I'm done with it. I'm just gonna live my life and have fun with it. I'm done with it. I'm fucking done with it. I'm tired of looking like dirt, put on a crispy shirt, take some pride in my work, stop being a jerk, spend some time with my wife and my son, stay in my lane, down here on level one. The truth of the matter is, I just want to have fun, I got some baked beans and a hot dog in my bun, basking in the glow 
of this digital summer sun. Babe, as soon as I met you, I knew you were the one. You're like a bright ray of light on my rainy day fun. So please tip me, because super chats don't help until the end of the month. Okay. The drama. The bullshit. My trolls. My haters. I'm laying down the law, and I'm putting my foot down. I'm done with you. I'm fucking done with you. The drama, the bullshit, I'm done with it. My trolls, my haters, I'm done with it. I'm just gonna live my life and have fun with it. I'm done with it. I'm fucking done with it. I'm tired of looking like dirt. Put on a crispy shirt. Take some pride in my work. Stop being a jerk. Spend some time with my wife and my son. Stay in my lane. And I'm back. I'm back with it. I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. Oh shit! Hey, Darcy, welcome to the stream. Please clap. Now I'm back. I'm back. I don't worry. I'm back. I had to take care of. I forgot about Judas Priest. Fuck me. Ah! But I'm back, guys. I'm back. Don't worry. I came back to the stream. So we're all good now. We're good. We're back. We're live. Please clap. I just had to go take care of something really quick. So I do apologize for that. Don't want to do anything with that. So let's continue. Like Resident Evil 2 and 3 at all. They've bastardized the characters. They've bastardized the plot line. What happened here? And then every movie after that literally just becomes a guessing game of... Also, thanks, Andrew. What random tie-in or character will show up but have nothing to do with the actual plot of Resident Evil? But Also, I completely forgot about what the fuck he was talking about. Ah! Be in it regardless so they can pretend like it's Resident Evil. And every movie's like that. Now, the thing is, if you watch the live-action Resident Evil movies and you don't care about the games, like, if you never heard about the games, you might actually like them. I'm serious. Like, they're not awful movies. They're kind of in line with, say, the Transformers movies. They're not intelligent. They're not groundbreaking. But they're action movie watches with some combat. And they're just stupid movies to watch, Phil. They're time killers. I mean, granted, none of them have really to do anything with the films or the games much. But they're just good time killers. Depends on who you ask about this shit, really. Explosions. You know, it's not horrid movie content, but it's also not anything that's going to make you gain a single brain cell, right? Like you're No, Darcy, it wasn't over. I had to go take care of something really quick because apparently cats love to be a nuisance. Ah! You're going to lose them watching it. Um, but for anyone who's a fan of Resident Evil... After the first one, you might- You could still watch the Resident Evil movies and still be a fan of the games as well, Phil. You could do so as well. You could watch the CGI ones and still do the same thing. Might as well never watch another one. They are so far off from what Resident Evil is and not in line with the spirit of the mo of the games just to do their own thing with the movies. It's so, there's a lot of movies out there that are based around video games. There's video game at uh, movie adaptations of video games. The Tomb Raider movies, like the Angelina Jolie ones. Granted, some people, a lot of critics don't like those movies, but I think they're guilty pleasures of mine. I like the first two of the Lara Croft movies. Like Detective Pikachu. It, it's a little bit different than the game itself, but it's still a fun watch. And no, I'm not including the ones that people really like about. Like, a good example would be like the Sonic the Hedgehog movies, the Mario Brothers movie that just came out recently. Those two types of like franchises they do well yeah avoid the resident evil one yep that one's definitely avoid yep talk to a few friends of mine that actually did watch that show and um they regret every moment of it ah! and what was it <laughs> lamb of Cow. now i'm just thinking of lamb of god now it's like damn uh resurrection man <laughs> i'm the beggar Xer man <laughs> please clap uh the monster hunter oh god don't mm -mm. I forgot they were doing a Monster Hunter movie. Just like how I forgot they were doing a Borderlands movie. It's just really uh, disappointing in my opinion. Live action ones, or excuse me, CGI ones. I've only seen like two of the CGI ones. One of them was set in an airport. I remember that. It was an airport. Outfit. Yeah, that one had Claire Redf uh, Redfield and also Leon Kennedy. 
That was a good one. Outbreak of Zombies. I saw. I think it was like uh, Degeneration. I think that one was called. Another one too. When I watched them, I just thought they were okay. These were the, some of the older ones that the CGI animation wasn't that great. I ignore the first Mario Brothers movie, the one that had Bob Hoskins as Mario. I avoid that one because, granted, I've seen it. I don't care for it. The one that they did recently by Illumination was better. And 2026 for the new one. I want to see how that will do. Um, but the plot seemed decent and looked like it could actually fit into the plot of like the Resident Evil lore. Even though they're not canon. Um, it did kind of fit into the lore of it, Phil. Um... I thought they were entertaining, but I've only seen like two and they were the older ones. I, I know there was a recent one that just came out, right? Like last year. And Death Island, and I hadn't seen it yet. I heard it was good. I never saw that one. I think that was like Degeneration, Damnation, and Death Island. Those are the only three CGI movies that I knew that came out. Have I ever thought about doing PC games like Train Simulator or Real World Online? No, I'm not really interested in those kind of simulation games. Maybe, again, you did play Microsoft Flight Simulation and you called people in Africa monkeys. Please clap. Oh, hang on, that's not the right one. Oh. Yeah, imagine how Sly figured, how, how he reacted when he came to that. He was not happy. Long term, if we're looking for like a- Why are you thinking his intro? He uses that line! A late night chill stream, and we watch something to just relax, and you play a game like that, but we're really not in that situation right now. Uh, uh, snort. Okay, hold on. Take care, Osiris. Oh, that's another band. Speaking of Osiris, you just brought up a good band that I, or not good, brought up, the, but your name did. Born of Osiris. That's another band that's actually really good, too. Don't do it, Vanguard. Do not do it. I received a dollar tip from Mario. Will you play Super Mario Land 2 apart from the basic subscription? It's a part of the basic subscription on the Game Boy app. The Game Boy app. The Nintendo Switch Online, and it's the basic one for the Game Boy. I've never even heard of that. What is the Game Boy app? I know of Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah, that's what they were meaning, Phil. What on hell? the hell is the Game Boy app? I'm not going to say that, nerd bro. I'm not going to complete that sentence. Leave that to slide to do that for me. The Mario Land games are... Because it's honestly, that's his thing. That's his thing. Just like how this is his thing. Dom the Marco, Marco. It's just like how this is my thing. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Somewhat. Good. It's just the graphics are atrocious and the sound effects are a little wonky. But the Mario Land games are quite good if you like classic Mario platformers and you didn't have a Game Boy. They're great games to play. No. The first one was not that great at all. The second one, yes. The third one, since it's Warrior Land, that was a good one. Glub, glub, glub. Yeah, that mouth is bad. Would I ever consider playing... Eh, I didn't really care for the Doom movie very much. I know it had Dwayne The Rock Johnson and it had uh, Billy Butcher in it, but I didn't care for it. Warzone or Halo Infinite for multiplayer fun? I played... Uh, Filza. Uh, all I gotta say is that part, and that's it. Halo Infinite when it came out. Because you, you just gotta go Filza what? But it's... it's fell apart of popularity and I wouldn't play it today, no. Uh, that's that's Sly's thing, Dare Bear. The Indra DeMarco's is like... Oh. Uh, Warzone I played, and again, I'm not interested in it. I don't like it. What's my favorite? No, Phil, you used to like it because you were getting a shitload of money because of the bounties, and all of a sudden, no. Saw a movie? Ugh. Saw one? I've seen many of them, but I think after, like, the first two to three, it gets so stupidly convoluted and just so ridiculous because you could tell that the, the plot that they came up with the ones later on is not the original plot, and they kept rewriting, rewriting, rewriting. So I the best way I could describe Saw, and it's not even my interpretation of Saw movies, because um, I know pro there's a uh, podcast yeah, go, go rip one for the minis I've said it on beep. Uh, okay. Please clap. <laughs> okay. Uh, I could try with that one though, but anyways, back to the whole thing with Saw though. Proton John does a uh, disc like a little podcast. It's called Disc Only. The best way that he described the Saw movies, they're essentially comedies. Due to the fact that the way that the people die and the traps on there, they're so comical. You see them straight out of cartoons. That's the only reason why they're considered like comedy movies. It's a weird way to describe it, though, because it's dumb. And agree. That's exactly what that is, Corez. Hold on, Crow. Ah! I think that's pretty dumb. Um, and I don't, I'm not in love with the later movies, so... What PC games did I play back in the day? You didn't play any. Um, man. So let's see. Yep, you know for a fact he's gonna lie about this? What PC games did I play back in the day? Hold on, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna slow it down. He does the, 
Uh, the siege mode, looking up a corner demon, and oh, that, that's a good eye look, oh my god, oh, that corner demon is giving him the shit look, mm -mm. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Comedy movie, the fuck, because of the way that they die in it, kind of like if you see, like, something like, you don't expect it to happen, because it's unrealistic, because it's a weird way of looking at it, Final Destination is more comedy, yeah, pretty much. Please clap. So let's see. My PC days of gaming actually started off in the early 90s with games like... Uh, Phil, you were a kid then. You wouldn't be playing PC games because your mom and dad wouldn't allow it. Uh, Wolfenstein 3D. Nope, you did not play that. Doom. Wait, hey, God. Big juicy butt. Oh, God. Wait, what? Oh, no. I forgot that uh, Indrid has a thing when it comes to Cobra's cooking. <laughs> Decepticon ruined her for that. Uh, pretzel, sushi, bacon, <laughs> dairy bread, the fuck? The fuck? There's no fucking way in hell that's a thing. No, no fucking way in hell. Doom 2. You did not play Doom 2. You did not play the revolutionary game known as Doom. Um, Duke Nukem 3D. Did not play Duke Nukem 3D. That's a lie. Uh, Hexen. You did not play Hexen. You did not know the name of Ravensoft. Hollow be its name. And then I got into the oh, hell on. Please clap. more simulation and strategy stuff. So you did not play that, Phil. If that was the case, Phil, you wouldn't be complaining about simulation or strategy games. For example, the original Warcraft. You did not play Warcraft. Warcraft 2. You did not play that. Uh, Age of Empires. You did not play Age of Empires. And some of its sequels. Um, and then later on... Some of its sequels, like what, Phil? On Starcraft. You did not play Starcraft, Phil. Otherwise, you would be excited for Starcraft 2. And, and Diablo it, and Diablo when it came out. Diablo 2. You are not fans of Diablos 1 and 2. The only games that you played were 3 and 4. Uh, and then I got into first-person shooters that were more 3D. So, for example, Unreal, Unreal 2. Mm, nope, you did not play the Unreal Tournament games. Um, Unreal Tournament. Uh, Quake 4, or Quake 3 Arena, Quake 4. Like the mm, Nope, you did not play any of those. True fans of Quake would start with Quake 1. And then move on to Quake 2. Maybe Juicy Quake 3. Fire. And then maybe Quake 4. Problem is that you never played any of these. And most people don't really care for Quake 4. They usually stick with the first one. Those? Um, not so much Quake 4. Mostly Quake 3 Arena. And, uh... Then mostly none of these games. And then I'm trying to think, like, like how far it went. Like, how long I played them. Because I was playing... When I was home, I would play those games on PC. And when I wasn't home, I'd be playing Street Fighter out, you know, at tournaments. And in, in, a, in a fucking arcade somewhere doing money matches getting your ass kicked in the fucking games and you get so mad you slam the money down the counter arcades and every once in a while there'd be a home port of a street fighter game that was good enough that we'd get together and practice together at home as well on the consoles yeah on console that's not on pc but that whole era of like second half of the, the uh, nintendo 64 era and the second half of the, uh, the playstation 1 era into you didn't play games on the ps1 at all shut up the GameCube era, Dreamcast. You didn't play games on the GameCube or the Dreamcast era. I'm calling major fucking bullshit of him saying that he played Paper Mario Thousand Year Door for 10 hours and then dropping it. I'm calling that as major fucking bullshit. I know for a fact he never played that game. PS2 era, I was not a home console gamer of anything with Street Fighter. I you weren't even a console gamer overall. You just cared mostly about Street Fighter. Ignored all those games and only played Street Fighter or... The only time you ever played anything is when your parents gave you a console. Games and you were hoping that you got a copy of Street Fighter on those consoles. On PC. So, you know, continuing on, I played Unreal Tournament, Unreal Tournament 2, the Battlefront games. Well, like, here's my thing. I didn't really get into, like, games like Quake and Doom until I got a little bit older in life. But the games I really do appreciate, Doom 2, and I appreciate Quake 1. Only reason why? Because I like the aesthetic of Quake 1. Then later on, as time went on, I played other games. Obviously, I've mentioned... Um, I don't know how my pause point is on point. God damn it. He's looking at a quarter DV. He's looking at, what is that saying? It says March 15th, chill Q&A late stream. Oh my God, that quarter DV is so helpful. I played on the NES. I only had Mar uh, Super Mario Land. Uh, Mario Land was on the Game Boy. Mario, there's Mario World and Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. I'm sure there's more that I've mentioned over the years. Which you have not. Because if you are truly a PC gamer, Phil, you would remember all the games that you played on PC. Like, the only games I remember playing on PC was, like, LEGO Racer and LEGO Island. But it's hard for me to... I, I didn't really play games on PC. I was mostly a console, pe like, console peasant. Remember back then, you know, all that. 
So I couldn't 100% tell you exactly what else I played on PC, but I was a PC gamer for quite a few No, you are not, Phil. You don't even know jack shit about how to put to, uh, PCs together. You saw the fans, and you're like, what the hell's this? Ah! Also, another thing that he won't tell you, he... He wants to say, oh, what's what's the first game you ever played? Oh, gee, oh, there's there's so many games I played. You didn't play any of these games, Phil. First game I ever played when I was young was Kirby's Adventure for the NES. A few years there. Oh, the early days of World of Warcraft. I played World no, of... No, you did not play that, Phil. Shut the fuck up. Warcraft, I... Oh, so I played EverQuest. You did not play EverQuest. World of Warcraft. Nope. City of Heroes, a City of Villains. Nope, didn't play any of those. I was also another thing that he would have noticed for that too. Uh, he would have mentioned the LucasArts games. He would have mentioned Sam and Max, the original ones, the ones that were like two D point and click adventure games. He would also mention like games like Outlaws. He would also mention games like Dark Forces. Nope, none of those. Huge into City of Heroes and City of Villains. I played the crap out of those games. Then why don't you just? Buy it on Steam if you can, or just find a copy of it somewhere and just boot it up and play it. to have money. That was late. Robert Tarlow donated $4.99. That disgusting dress shirt Phil is wearing makes me want to burn it. <laughs> Vomiting face. Thank you so much for that, four ninety nine, dollars Robert. Yeah, same here. He looks like a bum. It, that shirt looks yellow. It does not look white at all. It looks fucking yellow. For a long time, I really loved it. Police Quest is another one that's on there as well. There's a lot of games on there that are really good. But when I got into PC game, I got into it much later on in life. Like, because I was mostly a console present. That MMO formula. Like, first console I ever remember, like, I didn't even own it. It was like a gift for my brother, but we both played it. It was a Super Nintendo. What up, Ghost Hunter? Okay. Uh, I did play Halo Master Chief Collection when it came out. No, you did not. Came out. It was a huge mess, so I played a few of the games. A huge... The Halo Chief Ma uh, Halo Master Chief Collection? That was not a huge mess, Phil. It was actually pretty good. But it was pretty mess, broken at launch. Now I hear the multiplayer is fine, but I've noticed... It's actually really good, though, Phil. The Master Chief Collection improved a lot. I desired to play the classic Halo games. Uh, yeah, the classic Halo games. Sure you did. Uh. Yeah, he's a bum. Ah! Why don't I play co-op? I have. The problem with, with me playing co-op is very simple. It's because you have no friends. Most people who tune into my streams today, they're tuning in either for progress in a specific game that they find entertaining to see me play. So for mm, Like what, Phil? Example, the Elden Ring DLC. Mm, no. You played it for a second run, you dropped it because people were bored and that you were getting bored with it. The only reason why you want to bring it back up now is because, hey, it has a release date. We will have a lot of people here for the Elder Ring DLC. People want to see me play an ultra hard game. Yeah, your eyes are getting way too bug eyed because I'm never. You make me angry. I am man. not seeing a lot of people in his chat praising or anticipating Elden Ring at all. Suffer, persevere, learn, and conquer. They love that. No, you don't do any of that, Phil. You pretend that you're persevering, you're conquering, and you're perse like going on determined to beat the game. But you're complaining that the game sucks, that they don't know they don't know what they're doing, and it's too hard. About my streams. The, yeah, no established allies. You know, the FromSoft style gameplay is some of the best I do. Just take a look at Lies of P last year. It was the same. People absolutely love that playthrough. Not really though, Phil. You still complained a bitch all the way through, and you yelled at somebody because you misconstrued what they said, saying that you had your hand held when they were just saying it as a statement, as a generalized statement. And you were about to ban them until they're like, no, Phil, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, you could call me Dark Side Phil Thaw. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. That part really annoyed the fuck out of me. Right? So, Elden Ring, that's one thing. Oh, my God, third Elden Ring run, yay! People absolutely love. Some fighting game stuff. Not too much, but, you know, when I'm into my groove of fighting games. Yeah, your groove of fighting games, you're getting your ass kicked. Oh, my God, the lag. Oh, my God, the connections. Oh, my God, fuck the Cannon Brothers. Oh, my God, Capcom sucks. Oh, my God, Cammy's fat ass. Big juicy butt. People really like that, okay? The other reason that people tune into my stuff is to interact with me. Mm, nope, I don't see any interactions with that at all. Unless someone gives you money, that's the only time you ever interact with it. If you see something like, oh my god, someone said a lie, oh, ban. They want to come to a stream and hang out, and even oh, though I'm playing a game, they want to have some fun conversation and, and, you know, have a good time. The one thing I cannot do when I'm doing a co-op stream is hang out with the audience. Uh, Phil, when the fuck do you ever interact with the audience at all? You fucking don't. Again, money or banning? 
because instead of that, I have to co-op with people and talk with them and play, you know, concentrate on online stuff like that. I could just imagine that if he ever did anything co-op, like actual co-op talking with people, he would be the one fucking person that's like, I'm going to just go do whatever the fuck I want. Oh, y'all are taking over A? No, I'm just going to go kill things and take over B. He dies a lot. What the fuck? This game sucks. And therefore, I don't have opportunity to chill and hang out with you. This has happened many times over the years. I tried to play games like Destiny 2. Wait a minute. Has this motherfucker ever played a Marvel vs. Capcom fighting game? Yes, he has. He's played 3 and Infinite. Apex Legends, among others. And when I do that, people actually say, this is boring. We don't mm, no, they're not saying that it's boring. You're We've the one saying it. to have money. Robert Tarlow donated $4.99. I wonder if his mom, I mean his wife, keeps shrinking Phil's shirts and pants in the dryer. I think so, because I think she broke the washer and dryer. Please clap. But big ups for that, Robert. <laughs> yeah, he, that's what he does. If it doesn't have a dollar, like a dollar sign on it, won't talk to you. I don't like those streams, because all you do is talk to your co-op companion. Oh, absolutely. They loved the great white hype. Absolutely. Welcome to the stream. Please clap. They, all, they always liked the co-op stuff. They loved John Rambo. They loved Howard. They liked it. But never him, though. But if there was chemistry, it was fine, I guess. But any other people that weren't John or Howard or Leanna, well, we don't talk about Leanna at all. Bruh. Essentially, that was that was that whole interaction with that. I can't believe that's on there. Mm -hmm. It was mostly that. But anyone else that they would bring on for co-op, they did better. Like Brian so you can win but that's not fun to us we want to hang out with you so i literally stopped doing co-op oh no he doesn't have redeems for his audience the reason why because uh hearing this that would annoy the fuck out of him and he wouldn't take it at all he would hate it I had companions who i did it with and when people give me feedback we companions you had people to play with you had you, you know what they call that, everybody. Uh, repeat after me. They had friends. You call them friends. You don't call them companions, compadres, comrades. You call them friends, buddies, pals, maybe. Don't like that? Stop. I stopped. You know? Remember, I used to annually play the zombies mode in Call of Duty. I stopped. Not really, though, Phil. You really didn't. Doing it. For the feedback of the viewers. They didn't like it. They want to hang out with me, and I can't hang out with you when I'm talking with others. So that's why I stopped doing it entirely. Glove, glove, glove. Another gin sip. He has to cope with the fact he has no friends. So there you go. Now, I don't know if it will ever change, but it didn't go well. The times that I tried it over the years, so... uh. Also, the whole thing with it, though, your co-op buddies that you used to have, as soon as they found out more shit about you, they tuned the fuck out of you. They didn't want anything to do with you. Like the Jasper reveal, when someone that actually played with you in Apex Legends. Oh yeah, when as soon as they found out the whole thing about your pet, for 2000 fucking dollars, they laughed and said that was fucking despicable. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing it anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, nerd brute dits. Uh, no super real vibes. I wish folks like the Genesis Mini games, there's tons of them on there you haven't played on a live stream. I know. And when the Genesis Mini came out, remember, I played a bunch. I actually did. I probably played like maybe seven or eight of those games. Come to their got to have money. He didn't. JWASO989 donated $4.99. He drunk an uncle cosplay a sorry excuse for his deeply closeted feelings for John Rambo. He built his failing empire on lies, gin, and styrofoam. And it was all Tom Rambo's fault. Money. The big nose piece of shit. Vanguard Nice donated two dollars. Phil Fatter's wife probably broke the bed too. Probably. There's a lot of things that she probably broke. Dishwasher broke that. Shower broke that. Garbage disposal probably broke that with the help of Phil. I already some just for a taste. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy. Okay. But the thing is, with retro stuff, um, basically people... Oh, absolutely. That's absolutely a fact with that one, too. If you ever had anybody to play co-op with, as soon as the team is losing, Phil is the one to blame. And, but Phil will be like, no, it's not me, guys! No, 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 it's not me, it's the game! Yeah, no, it's you. Don't really like it. I'm gonna be honest here, right? With the retro stuff. Um, sadly, a lot of people don't dig it. They think that the games are too old. Uh, Phil, that's a big bunch of fucking cap. 
There are people out there that will play retro games. It's the person that makes it entertaining. It's not the game's fault. If you, the streamer, aren't doing anything to keep it entertaining or giving your own personal, like, less not lessons, stories of these games, like, making it fresh and, like, you know, fun to watch, then it's going to be doomed to fail from the get-go. That's why I bring up Nintendo Capri Sun with it, though. Whenever he played retro games, he would always tell stories about how this game meant to him. At a time when he was younger, he would just go tell stories about it. It's good. It's always good to actually hear these people's stories. But Phil doesn't have any stories. The king of retro has no stories. Ah! Said so the only story that he will tell is that the one day he'll drink too much to the point where he has to contemplate ending it all. In Minecraft, of course. That's what I meant to say. And that yeah, can you dig it, sucker? That sucks. I do think that's kind of stupid. That you think the games are too... Oh, also, another thing. If you go on his old videos that he has, like he was playing Link to the Past, Chrono Trigger, you will see comments that will say, Oh my god, I can't believe I missed it. Great playthrough, Phil. This was just such a fun ride, Phil. So it's, again, it's all a bunch of fucking bullshit. Old, I disagree. I think that classic gaming is a part of our history, and it's a part of... of, of you know, great stuff. I always said I want to go back one day and beat Ninja Gaiden 1. But you won't because it's too hard. It's too difficult. I want to go back and play more Meow. classics, but it seems like whenever I try to do it, nope, people aren't very interested in it. So, uh, that's why I really don't do it. That's why I don't do it anymore, because I hate retro. I mean, I love retro games. People don't like them. Bloom Kid is saying he's trying to super chat, and it won't let him. I don't know why. I'm checking right now, and everything on my end looks correct and working. So, it's not anything on my end. It very well could be a YouTube issue. Probably what it is. Or it could be the fact that Bloom Kid has already given him his money to the point where he's, um, red. James, is it cool just to talk? I've started playing. Hold on. I just started watching you play Sly 3, and Sonic is back in your background. A little Oh, God, no. Back in Mega Man 2. Huh? Oh, I think you're saying you like the fact that, that my background has those characters? Cool. Glad to hear that. Imagine you're so bored that you had to point out this shit that hits on his background. Oh, excuse me. What up? Game over. Play retro games like OG Doom in a chill stream? I did. I already did. We played through the entirety of, what was it, Doom 2? I think it was Doom 2. We played it right before that last Doom came out. Doom Eternal. As kind of a cool lead-in. He almost forgot the name of the recent Doom game. <laughs> I don't think he ever played the Ancient Ones or the Ancient Gods. And the sad fact was... I liked Doom 2 way more than Doom Eternal. I thought Doom Eternal sucked, and Doom 2 was like, it's hard as shit. I have no idea what he's talking about Sly 3. I have no idea what he was talking about with that shit at all. And also, Doom Eternal being the worst game, like being a shitty game, I disagree with that entirely. Sure, it's not the better one. A lot of people will say that Doom 2016 was better than Doom Eternal, but I think for the most part, when it came to the action base of it, it did its job. to have money. Robert Tarlow donated $4.99. Imagine Phil and Cat having a baby. They don't want to have a baby. And they actually did say that they don't want to have kids. One of the reasons why Phil doesn't want to have any kids is because, uh, mm, the detractors will make fun of my kid. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. When in reality, if it comes to children or family, we don't fucking touch them. They're innocent bystanders here. But the only reason why Cat is not considered an innocent bystander anymore is because she's come onto your content and you keep bringing her up. It's a great game. So I had tons of fun with the classic, and then when we played the, the new one, I didn't like it. Well, then again, though, Phil, if it comes to, like, all the Doom games, a lot of people will say that Doom 1, as classic as it is, it's not as good as Doom 2. And they'll say Doom 3, it is not innovative, but different for its time, but it's not that great of a game. Doom 64... Not a, lot, a whole lot of people played it. Doom 2016, Return to Form, Doom Eternal, the best action game with a kick-ass soundtrack, and it was snubbed of any awards it should have gotten. But again, that's all depending on who you ask with this. The heat, yes, the heat began today. All right. The heat began today in the fucking 50s, low 60s. That's a heat wave, according to Phil. The heat began today, and it was pretty bad. Um, basically, we went up to maybe 60, 70 degrees. Almost 70, but not yet. I think we were the highest we got was like 65, 66 in the afternoon when the sun was out. 
Nah, the only reason why you uh, people will say that the detractors have controlled his life is because he will not shut the fuck up about it. He will keep going on to say that, oh, hey, detractors, I'm not going to talk about them. I don't give a fuck what my detractors are doing. Also, Phil, did you hear about what my detractors did? Please clap. But then it dipped back down. Yeah, here it is. 60, according to this, 64. 64 degrees is not hot. That's actually pretty cool. Hold on. What's my temperature right now? I am looking at 67 degrees. It'll get up to 73, 76. That's not really hot, though, Phil. It's nice weather out. However, if it goes to 80s or 90s, then it, you could say it gets warmer. But how is it that you're saying that that's a heat wave? Phil, yeah, that means that it's getting warmer. The hottest it was today was 64. 100 degree bowl. Oh, God, don't get me started during the summer. I, I hate the summertime. Okay. Um, And I live in a state where the summers are worse. Because it's humid. Tomorrow, it's going to be 72 to 70. Yeah, John Carmack did really good with that, too. Not only with the Doom engine, but also with the Quake engine. If it's not for John Carmack, the Quake engine being revolutionary for what it was, who boy, he's one of the pioneers when it comes to engines. Please clap. 23 degrees outside, same thing on Sunday. And but what that means is that in this office, it's going to be no exaggeration in the 90s. No, highly doubt that, Phil. If it's cool outside, it's not going to be hot. However, if you have a shitload of electronics going on at once, then yeah, it might get a little bit warm in there. Not hot. For degrees Fahrenheit. Have you noticed the local type content creators' wives seem to suffer? Wings and Kelly, Phil and Cat, mm, somewhat. For the most part, somewhat. That is. So tomorrow you're going to see me in a short sleeve shirt, dressed like it's summertime. Because I have to, because it's going to be so hot in here. Mm, Phil, I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, and I'm wearing pajama pants just because I live in a state where I can do so. You don't. And I can't have my air... The first Rage was good. From the what I played of it, it was okay. Rage 2, eh, depends. Eh. Conditioner in yet. It wouldn't make sense to have my air conditioner in yet because, uh... It's too early. It's actually later on this week, so not this weekend, but later on in the week, like Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to go back down to the 50s and raining again. So if I put the air conditioner in, screw myself. So Screw yourself by putting the AC in? You don't even need the AC unit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just heat like wave. Me. It, <laughs> it is an unseasonable heat wave. Bloom Kit, yes, your super chat did just work. You just tested it, and it says, does it work? Yes, it worked. It worked. I don't know what happened. Maybe there was a, an, uh, an issue with... Uh, Phil, you didn't say anything. he didn't say anything else after that. All he said was test. Money. Johnny test. Joe Alel Tractor donated five dollars. He can't have kids cause he's saving himself for John Rambo. It's smiley face. <laughs> I can just imagine like I didn't touch her. I was saving myself for you. Ah. Perhaps there was an issue with YouTube chat for a few minutes there or something. I don't know. But it's Meryl. working again now. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for the money, dummy. Oh, uh, let's see here. I received a dollar tip. I'll say this. Game developers or publishers need to get better release dates. These are way too many RPGs. Wait, hang on. I'm going to restart that over. Also, I'm not wearing Zelda pajamas. I know I'm not. Oh, uh, let's see here. We've got to have money. Fats12 donated $10. It gets petty, but I hate DSPS background. It's the kind of shit your well-meaning grandma buys for your birthday because she remembers you like video games and you say thanks and sell it back to GameStop. <laughs> Big ups fats for the 10 spots. It's, like, it's kind of what it looks like, though. It looks like this is the kind of shit that you don't buy. I wouldn't say the paint, like these uh, artworks, though. I would say something like the Game Over sign or the Sonic figure. I would say that is the kind of person that a grandma would buy. But... The artwork, no, he bought that himself, but I wouldn't even have that artwork. I hate his background just because he thinks that this is an improvement. That most streamers do this, guys. When in reality, most streamers out there, they usually stream in mostly like a dim-lidded room. Like Sly has this setup where it's like almost like a dim-lidded room, but you can still see him and his mic and his like, like his, I was trying to say his interface. Please clap. While mine's more like a sound pad for a stream deck but his is just like brit like brightly lit you can see the shitty lights in the background the ring light that he has to show off his wrinkly face and you also see the shitty artwork 
that's being prompted up by fucking game boxes. I received a dollar tip. I'll say this, game developers and publishers need to get better release dates. These are way too many RPGs, We've we don't have a hundred hours to... Money. Robert Tarlo donated $4.99. 72 degrees in Renton, Washington is good. Fill open the windows if it's hot in your condo. Exactly. Thank you so much for that, Robert. That's exactly what he could do. But... He just won't do it, though. He does do it from time to time, but then he'll complain. It's like, hang on. I gotta deal with, uh... I gotta deal with the landscapers. Meh. Oh, let's see here. I received a dollar tip. Yeah, that is my cat. Yep. Cat hates him. I'll say this. Game developers and publishers need to get better release dates. These are way too many RPGs. We don't have 100 hours to beat every one. I, I've been saying that. So no one actually made it. I forgot to download it. Fuck off, Phil. It has nothing to do with the game developers. The game developers can upload... Not upload. Fuck me. I keep thinking that it's your <laughs> stupid schedule. Ah! But no, Phil, it has nothing to do with that. The game developers can have their own release schedule at their own pace. They can do what the fuck they want with it. And if they feel like the game is not up to par and it has to be delayed, they can also do so. A delayed game is always going to be great. Somewhat. But a rush game is going to be very piss poor. The only reason why I say somewhat for the delayed part, look at Mighty Number no. 9. Look how many times that was delayed and look how many promises that it didn't deliver. Please clap. And then you look at Bloodstained, which is a far superior game. But whatever the game developer wants to put out for the game, doesn't matter the release date, that is up to them to decide. It is not up to the consumer. If it was up to the consumer to figure out when the game should be released, it would be a fucking goddamn shitstorm. Someone made a picture. I have to download it and add it to the stream. RPG Overload picture. Oh, great. Someone made that for you. And you're going to take credit. That I can use to explain RPG or how bad RPG Overload is right now. Glub, glub, glub. Jin again. Also, pl get Unicorn Overlord. I'm not saying that for Phil. I'm saying it for everyone else. Unicorn Overlord is actually really good. If you like games that were made by Vanillaware and you like strategy RPGs, I highly recommend it. Hold on. Do you want me to get it? I'm going to get it. Give me a second. <laughs> Professional. You know what? I'm gonna try my new feature where I can pause recording and come back. I'm gonna do that right now for those watching on demand. I'll be back with the picture. That's okay. Bad. I paused recording. I'm just going to go grab the picture. I'll be right back. That's bad. Uh, hold on. I gotta do this. Okay. So now I can go get it. Let's see. If Please clap. <laughs> he just left. Poor Chair Kun. Chair Kun is back, but I'm gonna do this. I'm just doing this because I, I... How long does it take for him to get the picture? What the fuck? Really? Really? You had to put it on your fucking desktop and not put it on your laptop? What the fuck, Phil? Ah. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Yeah, so professional. Yeah, you go home. You go home. Why does he announce the pause? Uh, uh True MG... He's been announcing that all this shit that is in OBS is like an upgrade. Like, these features are upgrades to his shitty little streams. Like, imagine. Imagine it's like, oh, hey, guys, I have an upgrade. You know what that is? It's called turning up my microphone. That way the gain is louder and louder. It's, no, it's not upgrade. It's just something that's on the fucking mic. But also, that picture is very, ter it's terrible. That is, I'm going to go back a little bit more for that. That is a terrible fucking picture. God damn it. God damn it. I hate when I do that. Yeah, that's a terrible fucking picture. I'm staring at it. I see Garl. I see uh, Valer and Zale from Sea of Stars. I see Cloud. I see Ichabon. And I have... What the fuck is that in the background right there? I don't even know what the fuck that is. That's just something completely out of place. Oh, it's his character from fucking Baldur's Gate 3. Ah! But this is all terrible. But he's not playing Sea of Stars anymore. He dropped Final Fantasy 7. He's not, he's playing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth and Baldur's Gate 3 trying to finish it. But this is terrible. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Game companies agreeing to stagger their release dates as mon 
monopolistic behavior, therefore illegal. According to Phil, that's what it is. Okay, there it is. Emulators. Emulators are great to have, too. RPG Overload. Yep. That's pretty That's a still a terrible picture. Honestly, I want to hang that up just to burn it. Alive. Much what I'm going through right now. What I expect from the dents, uh, for them to actually wake the fuck up and see that Phil is using them. But that'll never happen, though. I'm surrounded by non-stop RPGs in every direction. No, you're not, Phil. You chose that. Like, just imagine that you chose all these things, and then you're like, I'm surrounded by them. I can't escape them. Phil, you could just escape them. You could just stop playing them. And I just can't get away from them. And now people want me to play, get this, Dragon's Dogma 2. People are campaigning that instead of playing Rise of Ro the Ronin, like I was originally going to do this coming Friday, that people now instead want to see me do Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, yeah, they say you want to play Dragon's Dogma 2. They want, me to see, they want me to play, guys. Oh, yeah. Which, by the way, I'm totally okay with, but you have to understand, if that's the case, then we got to finish these. We got to finish Like a Dragon. We got to finish Baldur's Gate. We got and, and Final Fantasy is going to go on hold. I, I, can't, I can't play this many RPGs at once. Yeah, that does look like a picture that you would see on there. I heavily agree. That picture of Phil right in the left, that looks like something that you'd see. Like, he took a, he, like, sat on the toilet. Someone's like, hey, Phil, can you give me a quick picture real quick? Hey, I got you. He's sat on the toilet, like, toilet taking a shit, and all of a sudden, yeah, I know, not funny. Not funny. Dick not. And it just comes right on out, and all of a sudden, that's the face that it makes. I can't, okay? So, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I guess we'll see what happens. By the way, someone came up with a great idea. Shout out to one of my moderators. I don't know if they want Disgusting. credit for it or not, so I'm not going to say their name. But one of, yeah, my one of my moderators, I'm not going to say their name. Thanks, Slayer. Moderators came up with this idea. You ready for this? So if I do end up playing Dragon's Dogma 2 this Friday, um, on my day off... He could be the RPG guy, but he's not mostly Asmongold, and he's not H.C. Bailey. My wife and I download... The Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator to my Xbox, and my wife makes a character for me. Not so you're making her do all the work for you, just to make a character. Yeah. Nice. Shut the fuck up! Phil has an undiagnosed schizophrenic, and he's hearing voices. I think he does. We've got to have money. Decker donated $1.99. Is Day SP just a giant nose with human features? <laughs> no, that that would be uh, John Rambo, that big nose piece of shit. Please clap. <laughs> My big ups, man. Thanks for that 199, man. Uh, one moment. I'm gonna, you know, I'm pulling up something real quick. Da, 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 da. Something that actually would make this stream a little bit, a little bit better. Yay. Not my character, but a pawn. Like, she creates a pawn. A pawn? That will then be one of my party members throughout the whole campaign. And it's her creation. So it's a companion she makes to be part of the playthrough. And I won't no, I won't control it at all. She'll just do it. And then that'll be part of the playthrough starting Friday. She'll just do it for me. She'll create it for me. Yay. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I love my wife. Uh-huh. I think it would be. And she. I asked her about it. She's like, yeah, I want to do it. That'd be awesome. So I think that'd be pretty neat. Um. Okay. I think that would be pretty neat, guys, that my wife creates a character for me. Yay. Because I'm a lazy sack of shit. <coughs> uh, I received a $2 tip from Chocoboco. The Steam version of Battlefront Remaster has negative feedback. They took a 3 gigabyte finished game and turned it into a 73 gigabyte unfinished game. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. tip from Chocoboco. The Steam version of Battlefront Remaster has negative feedback. They took a 3 gigabyte finished game and turned it into a 73 gigabyte unfinished game. Yeah. Oh, he's th they're talking about the classic collection for the PC version. When again, you could just take the original one, buy it for $10, and just put in some mods to make it look like an HD re-release. Please clap. I mean, it's it's so atrociously badly un unpolished and undone. You know, this is the kind of game that if they put once, months more work into it, it'll probably be Man. fine. But it doesn't play nearly as good as the original did. That's pathetic. Like I said, shooting through each other is pretty bad for a game that's supposed to be a competitive shooter. Phil, you're not shooting through them. You have Stormtrooper aim. Uh, I don't know how they possibly, possibly 
could have, have released it like that and, and not tested it and known that it was that bad. No, Phil won't do it, Michael. Instead, he'll ask his dents to do it for him, giving him all the files that he'll need. And he wouldn't even know how to do it. Same thing with Fight Cade. Uh, I received another $2 tip from DePope. It's Lent, Phil. I'm stuck eating a delicious margarita pizza instead of a robust steak sandwich. Well, let me tell you something. That's uh -huh. so atrociously bad. I'm sure so many people are upset that they have to eat delicious pizza instead of steak. Uh, you know what? Just because. I wouldn't mind a margarita pizza. That's not considered unhealthy, though. If it's actual authentic Italian pizza, an authentic Italian margarita pizza or margarita pizza, I would totally eat that shit because that sounds really fucking delicious. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> right? Yeah, you just can't eat steak because my gal flare ups out. Like, wow. I mean, so so awful that there's you cannot eat steak. No, in truth, it wouldn't even bother me anymore. Like, yeah, I, I love the fact that every time he laughs, it looks like he has no teeth. Like, he just pulled out his dentures. Like, I'm not a red meat guy. I'm not into red meat that much. Does he know that the Nexus exists? No, he has no idea. Coming from the guy that he says that he knows PCs and PC gaming has no idea what the Nexus is. So I wouldn't even care. Glob, 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 glob. Gin. Yay. Great tail. Not Italian. Yay. Uh, let's see here. We're bust. I received a dollar tip. From a troll. There we go. How, read it then, Phil. Don't be a pussy. Read it. Nor the troll. Uh, will we ever go back to Minecraft streams? You know, no, that's never going to happen. Well, funny enough, I, I told you guys. Yeah, Nurbrew, homemade pizza is where it's at. Just not Phil's homemade pizza. If Phil gave you a pizza and it looked like the way that it did, throw that shit in the garbage. Over the last few years, you guys asked me that question. And I'm like, especially from Hulk Hogan and John Rambo. He loves cleaning up. Road. Ah! <laughs> Get fucked, fat. I don't think we can because I think my <laughs> Minecraft world got deleted. I can't wow, the toxicity just rolls off the tongue today. I'm getting emails about you need to log into your Minecraft world and convert it over from, I want to say it was like Java Minecraft to regular Minecraft or something like that. Come to find out, that was about my PC version of Minecraft. Remember when I first played Minecraft, like, almost 10 years ago? Yeah, and that was actually one of your Patreon goals, to have a Minecraft server, which you didn't fulfill. And we jumped in, and it wasn't serious. It was me messing around and kind of going to other people's Minecraft worlds and stuff. So that original Minecraft world um, is what's lost, not the one on console. The one on console apparently still exists. Like, that was never touched. The console version was the more modern version. Phil, why don't you just, oh, I don't know, make a new world. Start over. There's nothing wrong with doing that, Phil, but no. Takes time for it. So, if I were to, to download Minecraft and, like, boot it on my Xbox, it probably would have the old Minecraft world still there. Because I'm pretty sure that was the old version that they're talking about. Shut yeah. the fuck up! I oh, the, think, anyway. Oh, oh, no, the bubbles. I gotta put the bubble guns away. Eh. That's what I think it said. But, yeah, I haven't booted Minecraft in so many years, I don't know if it would even work. You probably wouldn't even know how to play the goddamn thing. Um, you know, I feel like there's you enough newer angry, stuff. There's enough newer stuff. Enough newer stuff. There's newer stuff. I don't have to go back and play Minecraft if I'm looking for chill content. There's a zillion other games we can play. Like right? what? Like what, Phil? What, what chill games? Like, I find this funny, though. There's plenty of chill games I can play. Like what? What games? Don't say like yeah, like, like a Dragon Infinite Well. They're Yakuza like a Dragon. I was about to say that one. But don't say that one. That's not a chill interactive stream. Because now you're complaining you're not making money off of it. Like, what is considered a chill interactive game? Like, I would say something like Stardew Valley, Power Wash Simulator, uh, House Flipper is another one. I'm trying to think of other ones that are very good. Die in the Dungeon is considered another one. Slay the Spire. Those are good ones. Any roguelikes are great for that, too. What's my favorite Final Fantasy summon from any game? Oh, my God. I don't know. They're all different. I can't remember. I, I would either say, I don't know. You know, the, the, the Final Fantasy that I used the, summons the, 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 the most in was 4. Because in 6, they're not really needed at all. In 6, it's just like the Magisite. You use the Magisite and Esper shows up, and those are the summons in that game. Okay, film. Do you know anything about Final Fantasy 4 and 6? Uh, I rarely ever use those. So, in 6, it's really not something I use. 
In seven, I used Knights of the Round a zillion times once I finally got it. Yeah, because you spammed it all the way through. Uh, Bellaltro, God damn it. Please clap. Bellaltro, yeah, that's another one too. Anything like that. Bellaltro could be a good one. Uh, Hades is a good one too. But at the same time, Hades and Dead Cells could be kind of irritating. Especially if you had a good run and all of a sudden, hey, you died. Start over. Um. So it's probably Knights of the Round or it's probably, you know, Bahamut in... Or it's Bahamut. Or, or Phoenix. Bahamut. Phoenix is cool because it revives your whole party. I don't know. Yeah, I love this game. Doesn't remember. The emails were talking about your account for Java edition to convert into the Microsoft account, not to convert your world. The former needs to be done by a certain time. Oh, Hunt Down is another one. Blasphemous 1 and 2. Slain, Back from Hell. Vol uh, Valvaris. Those are good ones, too. I'm trying to think of other ones. I was going to say like something like Metal Hellsinger, but that one, nah, that one actually has a story. I'm talking about, like, we could talk about games that you can just keep constantly replaying over and over and over. Oh, I never did that. Well, maybe Blasphemous if you're just going to go through the, straight through the story. I never did any of that, so if that's the case, it's gone. Monster Hunter? I don't know. Whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> no scratch, Overwatch scratch, scratch. 2, I'll never play it. Wait, hang on. I'm, I'm going back for that one. List... Listen. I don't really care. <laughs> I could hear that fucking mustache. I can hear him going. Like, it's just annoying. No Overwatch 2. I'll never play it. I wanted to play it launch week. They wouldn't let me. Then I tried to play it later in the month. It's still. You didn't even want to play it either or. The only reason why you play it is because people wouldn't shut up. It didn't work. And I said, I've had enough. And I'm never playing it ever. And they can. Salt and Sanctuary, Salt and Sacrifice, uh, Hollow Knight. Those are good games too. Especially if you want games with challenge. Cuphead could be another one too. Kiss my butt. Kiss my butt. Take a spoon and eat it. Cult of the Lamb, Binding of Isaac, Meat Boy. King Lunar, yeah. Celeste. Yes. King Lunar is remembering my original playthrough of Beyond Two Souls and my Peter. Voice for Willem Dafoe. That doesn't even sound like Willem Dafoe at all. <laughs> it just sounds like an old man that's like, Get on my lawn! Godspeed, Spider-Man. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Peter, don't tell Harry. Please clap. <laughs> Not even my Willem Dafoe is not even that good. I'm not even going to try. 11 years ago. You guys still remember that. That's pretty cool that you remember that. What? No Super Real Vibes says it would be awesome for you and Kat to do a Firehouse Subs food review on new different subs you haven't tried yet. Carrion. Yeah, Carrion is good. Carrion. Is, that's a good one. That's a good body horror. That's like more like a good horror game that you play as the monster. That's a great one. Uh, we have no plans on doing... A co-op. Moonlighter's good. Uh, Rest of Tears, another one if you'd have uh, shops. It mostly deals with, like, shop things. Eating Fest on stream. I, I That would... <laughs> Willem to flow. Oh, no. Probably be pretty stupid. We probably wouldn't even be able to fit it in here, you know. Moon's good. I have a fav good. favorite Saints Row game. Uh, I'd have to say three. Because Not two, you fucking heathen. As the first one I played recently, I thought it was all right. Two is the best fucking Saints Row game. What the fuck are you talking about? Four actually went off the rails I didn't like as much, so probably three. So four going more comedic in tone. You didn't like that one, but you like three with the dildo bat. Gotcha. Gabriel, I guess you've followed zero news about... Gunbrella's a good one. Uh, Eastward's another good chill game. About the Star Wars collection. It doesn't work. It's broken as shit. The servers don't aren't, aren't steady. It's hard to get a match. It's hard to not stay on or to not get dropped from a server. The hit detection is atrocious. You fire enemies, it passes right through them. It doesn't count. Um, it's just a real shit show. They fucked up the thing totally. It's a total mess. They fucked it up. Man. I was gonna say, but then again, my go-to for favorite Saints Row game would be two, hands down. Four was good. Three was good, but eh, I I'm more of a sucker for two. I have no idea when we're going back <laughs> to urban. Oh, oh no, to urban. The Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, nor am I really too concerned about it. When I play it, almost no one shows up. The engagement is incredibly low. People obviously are not interested in it that much on this channel. It's the last thing on my mind. My th my right, right now, my mind is focused on beating Baldur's Gate 3. We've beating got Lincoln. to have money. Lord Kane 666 donated $2. Why he can't act like a human being. The child bowl. Bowl. 
<laughs> the child bear. Please clap. Yeah, he can never act like a human being. He has to act like the mind of a child. Because he's like, eh, I can't get what I want. Wah. I take my ball and I leave. I stab the ball and I leave. Wah. Oh, y'all popped my ball, even though I popped it. Wah. <laughs> Wah. <coughs> but big ups, Lord Dead. Can drag an infinite well. Then it's focused on whatever the new game is Friday, whether it's Dragon's Dogma or Rise of the Ronin. That's my focus. And then moving forward there. If we go but you already said you were going to do Dragon's Dogma 2. Shut up. Back to Final Fantasy 7, we do. If we don't, we don't. But no one seems to shit, give a shit about it. So honestly, I'm not going to give a shit about it either. If that's Did anyone catch a how how it did one or two days ago when Phil's chat said they would play Helldivers 2 co-op with them if you were to play it? And of course, Phil didn't see or mention this. Guess he didn't read it. Nope. He doesn't read it. Like, and that's the thing, though. Oh, you could just tag me into, or just say my name. I'll answer it. Doesn't answer it. Case. Honestly, I would rather just play Helldivers with just anyone else. But not with Phil, though, because I know for a fact he would just get my ass killed. Please clap. Glob, glob, glob. More gin. Stay hydrated, everybody. Don't drink gin. Drink water instead. Oh, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> hey, blessed. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm not sure. He said that he played Dragon's Dogma, but I don't think he ever played it as much. I don't think he ever played Dark Horizon. I received an anonymous dollar tip. Okay, cool. Cool, dollar tip. I just want to say, FYI, because I'm getting a lot of dollar tips tonight, just so you guys know. Oh, boohoo. Those dollar tips, the, a big chunk of that goes to PayPal, because PayPal has a flat fee that they charge for any transaction. So when you send a dollar, no exaggeration, I get like 50-something cents out of a dollar. So even though this leader... Hmm... Let's see. One point fifty of the amount. This is if you're taking the money out. If you're getting the dollar, you're getting the dollar. But if he withdraws it, he's taking out of a dollar uh point yeah, one point fifty percent of the amount. Which is ten bucks. I probably actually made it. But he is also not grateful for fifty cents. About five. He's being robbed. Like the bags ramp. I, uh, Shut the if you fuck do up! anything larger than that, they take the same small cut, but it doesn't completely negate the entirety of your contribution. I'm just saying, like, you're kind of like peeing money away to PayPal doing dollar tips. It just, it's always been like that, you know. Guys, be like that. Oh, let's see here. He's making this up. Someone else tipped a dollar and says, on April 26th, it's another dual release day. It's Stellar Blade and Sandland. And another yeah, and Lord knowing, a lot of people are going to get uh, Stellar, Stellar Games. Big juicy butt. But honestly, I would say I would get both, to be honest. I would, wouldn't mind getting both. Knowing day to have Is PayPal in Argentina? Oh, maybe. But then again, if that was the case, you would only get one cent. Multiple releases all at once like that. Uh, yeah. Multiple releases, only two! You know, I'm interested in Sandland, but again... 15 minutes later, he says, Guys, it's not the money, it's just you hanging out with me. And it's another RPG. It's like, dude, another one? The next game, I'm, that's, I'm really interested in it. It's Akira Toriyama, who, rest in peace, sadly passed away recently. Shut the fuck up. You made the whole thing about Akira Toriyama's death about you. Shut the fuck up. It's a universe of his I never stepped foot into. I've never read a manga. I've never seen an anime. I've never played a game. And it sounds like an interesting premise. Wait, 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 wait. What? Dama, who rest in peace, sadly passed away recently. It's a universe of his I never... Oh, yeah, he always gets his fucking... He always gets your fucking info if you send him money on PayPal. ...stepped foot into. I've never read a manga. I've never seen an anime. I've never played a game. And it sounds like an interesting premise. And it's a fucking RPG. Of all things. It's an RPG. Yeah, that was a big takeaway out of it. Akira Toriyama, let's talk about the life. Oh, hey, Sandland's an RPG. <sighs> Phil. Yeah, makes me want to punch him in his fucking gouty face. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, right? <clears throat> Eva Cowboy fan, me too. He says that's a sh Yeah, he had the DVD collection. But then he'll say, no, his friend had the bootlegs. Shame, I really enjoy seeing you play Final Fantasy VII. I'm sorry it doesn't get the attention. It deserves. I'm with you. I told you, it was, at the time, it was my most hyped game of the year. No exaggeration. And I, I'll be honest, I think the open world, after the second time I've done it now, the second <clears throat> open world area falls on its face because it looks exactly like the first one. 
So I think the open world stuff maybe is kind of repetitive, but the story elements, the, the combat, combat mechanics are... Money. Mokinus donated two pounds. Phil ungrateful entitled absolute sack of shite. Oh, absolutely. He's always ungrateful for anything that he gets out of everything. And he's always going to be that type of sack of shit out there that will always do this shit. But big up, Smokey. Please clap. And just because he's being a cunt. Oh, God, shut the fuck up, you cunt! Are sound and fun. The graphics are great. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were not into the graphics, that you don't care about the graphics. Now, all of a sudden, the graphics are great! I want to play the game, but it seems like no one wants to see me play it. So... Sad, but I don't know what else to say besides too many RPGs. Again, I said it before and I'll say it again. All right? This is a real thing. No, it is not. There's no such thing as RPG Overlord. Uh, oh, Overlord. I'm thinking of Unicorn Overlord again. Please clap. But no, there's no such thing as an RPG Overload. There is no such thing about that. For someone that proclaims that loves RPGs, this shouldn't be a fucking issue. And yet you're saying that, oh, the RPG community is in shambles because there's too many RPGs. When in reality, they're eating good. They got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. They got Unicorn Overlord. They got Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. They got Baldur's Gate 3, even though, granted, that came out last year. They got Persona 3 Reload. They got Sandland coming out. They also got, what was another game that's coming out? Oh, yeah. Dragon's Dogma 2 and Rise of the Ronin. They has a lot of games that are coming out this year alone. But again, he wants to look at it and go, yeah, it's bad. It's all bad. <laughs> Fuck off. In one... <laughs> but Stalin says hello. Ah! You know, in the span of three months, I've played four to five RPGs. There's actually more than this that I'm playing, right? And... Also, you played Sea of Stars and you dropped it to play other RPGs. It... And you played Pal World. That was considered a somewhat of an RPG. Which you dropped that because you aren't making any money anymore. It's too much in too little of a time. If they were spaced out, like I said, what if? Uh, uh, let's let's go. Let's start with like a dragon comes out in, in January, but then Final Fantasy came out in March, right? And then, I don't know, Standland came out in in uh you know May. <laughs> so two months apart, but knowing you, you wouldn't finish one of those games by the time the other ones comes out. And another one comes out every, every, it's every other month. Then it's fine. Then you can space it out. You can play it. You can enjoy it. But you wouldn't be able to finish it by the time the other games are coming out, though, Phil. So, again, that's a problem with you. When it's this much of this many drawn-out RPG-style games at once, it's too much. It becomes overbearing, too samey, too much of the same. No, it's not. Each RPG that you're playing, they're completely fucking different. Baldur's Gate 3, different experience. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, different experience. Final Fantasy Rebirth, different experience. It does not fucking matter, Phil. This logic is going to be completely disproven. It has already been disproven multiple fucking times. It's like I said, what? Yeah, apparently someone made him that artwork visible. They did, and it's very much bad. A lot of people say... Oh. And that's also true, Nerdbro. You don't have to play everything. You just play the games that you want to play. Like, if you want to, like, play Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, and then all of a sudden, hey, you're getting close to beating it, then you want to pick up another RPG, then here you go. There's Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, if you want to get it, if you're a big fan of it. But if you want to get a game like Persona 3 Reload, then you can hold off on it until you're done with Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Once you're done with that, move on to the next one. Constantly keeps doing that over and over and over. Yeah, all his over RPG overload fails because Baldur's Gate 3 is in the middle, <laughs> released in the middle of last year. Yeah, August. And then the console version of it for the PS5 was September, a month later. But he didn't play it until December. All these RPGs are different, right? How can you possibly say that these games are too much of the same when they're all different kinds of RPGs? You just said that they're too much of the same. Say, all right. So if you really, 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 really want to do, want to be semantic about it, right? Phil, you kept saying that but all the RPGs are samey. You kept saying it, and now you're backpedaling to try to save your sorry ass. We do semantics. Okay. The reason why he's having a problem with too many RPGs is because he does just doesn't beat the games. Got to have money. Spreads the games out over the months. Decca donated $1.99. Too many RPGs. Too many times Mr. Knows. Yeah, too many... <laughs> <laughs> Too many times, Mr. Notes, it's getting longer and longer. Please clap. Well, big ups to that. And also big ups to you, Greedy Piggy, for coming in.
No, it's fine. Can I start the stream over again? Aw, oh, shit. I, I've been streaming for about five hours and 50 minutes. Oh, no. Ah! But th this whole thing is dumb, though, because he doesn't spread out his games a lot. At all. If he was a Let's Player doing this, oh, it's going to be very fucking bad. But then again, there are some people out there that did this shit. Like, I'm bringing up Tobuscus because he did Toby Games. He would have games released in the same fucking day. He'll have an episode, like, one episode of one game, one episode of another game, one episode of another game, all in the same day. He, at least he spread out his content. Okay. Well, Atlas come. Q&A, just to waste some time. Q&A, Q&A, Q&A! Please clap. Oh, no! Oh, Atlas is here. <laughs> oh, shit, wrong button. Nah. <coughs> yes, the combat's different. Big ups, Atlas. Good. Big ups on you being Halo Reach. On easy. <laughs> Sometimes this, but, but let's be honest. What do these games have loads of? Okay, first of all, loads of playtime. Uh huh. But that doesn't mean that they're all going to be the same. All these games are long. So again, not all games are going to be the same, Phil. Doesn't matter if it's the long links or not. Loads of playtime. Loads of grinding. Uh, Phil. Depends on the RPG. Not a whole lot of RPGs require you to grind. Whether that means that you're in an open world, going through missions or combat. Right? Mm, not necessarily, though, Phil. There are some games that you don't even need to grind and you beat them. Speaking of which, loads of combat. Uh, Phil, not a whole lot of games that are RPGs have a lot of fucking combat. Right? Loads of dialogue. Uh, not necessarily, though, Phil. Loads of cutscenes. Not necessarily, though, Phil. Loads of story. Not necessarily, though, Phil. Right? Loads upon loads upon loads upon loads. Too many fucking loads. Come. That's too many. Uh, too many loads, like the one I did on May 1st. You have to have... He did play Xenoblade Chronicles. The first one dropped it too long. Less than that same kind of thing. And even though you can say, well, the nuance is that the combat in this one is turn-based, but the combat in this one is action-based, it doesn't matter. It does matter, though, Phil. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, action RPG. Turn-based RPG would be like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Same thing can be said about like Baldur's Gate 3, but it has more of a computer-based style of RPG. You can say the same thing with Persona 3 Reload. It has a social aspect, but it's a turn-based RPG. You can say the same thing about Unicorn Overlord, which is a strategy RPG. Valkyria Chronicles, strategy RPG or tactical RPG. For God's sakes, Phil, not every single game is going to play the same. They're going to have different mechanics that makes it interesting. They still feel like the same kind of games over and over. They really do. They don't. So... It doesn't matter that, oh, it's a different universe, it's slightly different here. They're the same genre. No, they're not. Going back to the whole thing with sub-genres, computer RPG, action RPG, turn-based RPG, or just regular RPG, JRPG, tactical strategy RPG, and in some cases, which is funny a fuck enough, some of them could be considered as a puzzle RPG. Some of them could just be a regular old RPG that doesn't really have anything to do with anything. Again, different subcategories. They matter. All right, and yeah, it, it's too much. Even for me, I like them. I didn't know there was a game deck. Might look into that. It's like, dude, I'm never gonna finish any of them. Too many, too many games at the same time of an insanely long length. Oh, that's true, nerd bro. All of his streams feel the exact same fucking same. He plays the games boringly, looks at his chat, bans people that say something that he doesn't like, and he also begs for money. So it's the same shit, different day. For no good fucking reason. Or for, yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics is a great one. Honestly, if I had to say my favorite one of the Tactics series for Final Fantasy, give me Tactics Advance any fucking day. I love that one. Too much of the kind of content that's too time consuming. We needed variety, and all we got for just the past three months is the same kind of game over and over. That but then again, though, Phil, you could have spiced up with different variety. You could play Helldivers. You could play Suicide, so uh, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. You could play Tekken 8. But you refuse to play most of these games, and you dropped most of them. That's suicide for these game companies. I think he, yeah, he did play Three Houses. He, I remember he played that, but he did not play um, Three Hopes. And that's why right now, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, it's like Disco Elysium. Oh shit, that that's great. I might now. I'm definitely gonna look into that. Please clap. Her sales numbers are low. They're lower than Final Fantasy XVI's. Again, though, Phil, you're going by Japanese physical sales you're not going by digital sales you're in japan you're not going by worldwide sales for both instead you're focused on one sales you go well nope that's it that's definitive proof that it didn't sell well and we also ps5 you're not 
getting that in mind, Phil, that you're looking at it because it's a PS5 exclusive. Under what they thought the game was going to sell. Why? Because it's the fucking 12th RPG in three months, and there's more coming. People talked about Final Fantasy VII for, like, a week, and then it, that was it. Mm, nope, they still talk about it, Phil. They love to uh, look at Tifa's, um, uh, <clears throat> Cosa del Sol melons. Come! No one even talked about it after. You know? Oh, you'd be surprised of how many people are making artwork of that film. You're definitely mistaken. You thought it was going to be like bombarding the internet. No, everyone was on to the next one, the next one. That's it. I still see people talking about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I still see people talking about it. What's oh. the problem? That's the problem with too much of the same. So, it is... Take care, Dare Bear. I hope you have a good rest of your day at soccer. Or, excuse me, football. That's what it is. Um... Only two cents. Excuse me, one's two cents. And he does have control over the games that he plays, but he sits there thinking that he has no control, and he just sways on the X and Y axis. Did a $10 super chat and says, I think why Final Fantasy VII doesn't get you support, it has nothing to do with support, it has to do with people showing up to the streams in general. You just said it was about support, that people weren't supporting. Now all of a sudden you're backpedaling saying, I never said it was about support, it's about people showing up. All right, the streams are very lowly attended. Uh, you also said that it wasn't getting you much support. We heard what you said, Phil. It holds such a dear place in people's hearts. Yeah, I'm here to share my love of gaming. A lot of people don't want to be spoiled. Dude, the game's been out for over two weeks, and I'm still in the second area, Junon. It's not... People are way ahead of me. It's yeah, they're way ahead of you because they actually play the game and enjoy it. They're not sitting there playing Queen's Blood over and over. They're not sticking around with side content for a long period of time. Instead, they're going through the side content, finishing the side content, moving the fuck forward with it. That people are getting spoiled. That's ridiculous. That's a really silly thing to say. Also, there are some people that either don't have it or they do have it, but they play as slow as you do, and they don't want to be spoiled. That's a fair criticism. That's a fair point to make. But you're looking at it going, no, that's not an excuse. They should be sitting right in their fucking seats watching my stream. There's absolutely no way that people and are giving me money. We're staying away for spoilers. <laughs> Anyone who bought the game is loads ahead of me. Loads, loads, way ahead of me. Loads. More, more loads. See? Loads. Come. If you had told me the first two or three days that I played it, that was the case. I would have been like, I believe you. Now we're two weeks in. Yeah, they don't take two hours to start the game. Like, imagine. Imagine Maximilian, dude, started his stream of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's just him staring at the screen, doing nothing for two hours. Yeah, you think people would watch that? No, they want to watch the game. And I'm still in the second region. That's not the case at all. Oh, hang on. Let me stop. Hold on. I just received. Well, there's not a single person staying away from my stream because they don't want to be spoiled. Or they just stay away from the screen because you're a toxic piece of shit. Glob, glob, motherfucker. <laughs> the wideness of loads. Dropping okay. the loads. I received a dollar tip. And I'm not even going to read this. Nonsense. Okay. Control tip. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I have not seen Maximilian Duke play Final Fantasy VII, but I kind of want to now. Just because I want to see how he does it. Because I really, I really am curious at this point. Okay. Uh, guys, remember, tag me in chat. Euphoric Joker says, I hope you revisit Arkham Knight sometime this year. I think you'll enjoy it a lot more in your second playthrough. We'll see. I mean, it's been nine years now, right? It's literally been nine freaking years. Ear pick. And also, you're, you're thinking about playing Beyond Two Souls after 11 years. Uh, since I played the first run. And I still remember the game. Pretty vividly no, you liking don't. it, but thinking there's too much Batmobile. That was my one criticism of it. Way too much Batmobile. Oh. Yeah, this pisses me off. I had had the money to put, uh, buy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'll probably get it with the coming paycheck. I'll out I'll, I'll pay Silly Child because I'll be pl enjoy playing it. Oh, absolutely, you definitely would. But knowing Phil, since he's dropping it for right now, so he can finish the other two RPGs that he's complaining about, you'll have a great time. Please clap and way too much Joker because the Joker... Oh, yeah, his uh, his hair has been dyed. But not his beard. Joker died in the second one, but he's fucking all throughout the third one. It's like, this is too much Joker. They couldn't let go of the character. It's pretty sad that he's, like, the main villain again. Um, 
But I'll feel what you fail to understand is that the reason why he's a villain, the reason why he's there is because he was injected. Batman was injected still with the Joker because Joker's blood was in him. Yeah, that type of thing. And that he will always be in his mind, though. That's the reason why. Because, like, without Batman, you can't have Joker. Without Joker, there's no Batman. That's the reason. It's kind of like a weird point to make. Why do you think that Mark Hamill isn't doing the Joker anymore? Because without Kevin Conroy, crime has no punchline. Please clap. Side of that, great. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. With Justice League, kill the Justice League, fucked you up. Game? Maybe I will go back and play it someday. Oh, and absolutely. Joker was not the main villain. He was more like a side piece. Scarecrow was the main fucking villain. Uh, Bloom Kit with the Super Chat says, I think it's more the Persona. And with also Arkham Knight, which was mm, Jason Todd. Persona 8, Final Fantasy 7's lunch. Um, hold on. All my friends have played that instead of including me. They can do better than a lot of people thought. No, and you see, I actually watched my wife play a little bit of Persona 3. Oh, I remember this. Atlas covered this as well. But I, I wanted to get my two cents on this shit. She liked the game. Persona uh-huh. She liked Persona 3 Reload. Persona 3 Reload, let me clarify. She liked the game. The problem was the dungeon, which we all know. That Tartarus. Tartarus dungeon is fucking boring as shit. No, it's not. Tartarus is not boring at all. It's like Mementos in fucking Persona 5. Not boring. The only reason why it's boring is because your wife doesn't like it. It's so repetitive. It's so annoying. It's a huge grind. And so, the TV world for Persona 4 was the same thing. Tartarus is the same thing. Mementos for Five was the same thing. Even I complained about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Spoilers. Please clap. But when I first played it, I said, I don't get it. In, in, in Persona 4, each dungeon is themed towards a certain character or a certain style, right? In Persona 5, even more so, why in Persona 3 is it all the same? Because the Tartarus dungeon is its own thing. Because it had something to do with the Dark Hour, Phil. They were trying to figure out the mystery of the Dark Hour. In order to do that, they had to explore the Tartarus. And then you do have mini dungeons that are based on story elements later. But yeah, like the Tartarus dungeon is so boring. And she couldn't get through it. Like she was like, dude, it's too boring. I can't keep playing this game. So she only played it maybe like 15 hours and she gave up on it. You pussy. Um, but yeah, no, I hear you. I, I saw her play it. Graphics are outstanding. Oh, hey, I'm not all about the graphics, but graphics are outstanding. Tons of uh, new voice acting. It was amazing. I was like, wow, listen to all this voice acting that wasn't in the original. I was blown away. I was Even though the voice acting was in the original game, the only reason why it's better, uh, better in quotes, is because they got new people to voice the characters. Liam O'Brien is not Akahiko anymore. It's said someone else. Yeah, uh, what was it? Vic Mignogna is no longer Junpei. They got someone else to do that. But honestly, I will say this for Persona 5, well, Persona 5, no, Persona 3 Reload, I will give it some props. The voice acting is not that bad. I think it's actually pretty good. It feels like it's Persona 5. It really does. No, it's still Persona 3, Phil. So maybe maybe you're on to something. It's Persona 3, but with kind of like the aesthetic or look of Persona 5, but still Persona 3. There, right? Maybe that could be the case. No, she didn't. I don't think she did. Case. So... What up, Malo? Uh, Sarah, no, I'm not going to be playing Final Fantasy VII while Cat plays Power Wash Simulator. First of all, she already beat it. Secondly, I like to watch her play games. That's very Please fun clap. and relaxing. Like, it's, it's our time together. She'll be playing a game, and I'm there to watch and commentate on it. And, you know, we, it's fun. It's like hanging out, doing something fun and relaxing together. That's what we like that time. Yeah, together. fuck off once, two cents. Together. I don't want to be in here playing a game by myself. The hell with that. Wait, hey, what? Or watch and commentate on it and, you know... We, it's fun. It's like hanging out, doing something fun and relaxing together. That's what we like that time together. I don't want to be in here playing a game by myself. The hell with that. Phil, you do that every single fucking day. You go into your office, you play a video game by yourself in front of an audience. Um, ah! so. Uh, up, once to sense did another whopping, this case, $50 super chat. Thank you so much. 50 Once to sense. Wow, there's a huge contribution for... Imagine saying watching your wife play is a relaxing sip out to her. That's Tyrone's job. Tonight. And once to sense says, I'm still in the first region of Final Fantasy VII. That's why I don't watch when you stream it, but I appreciate your words and reason. Yeah, you have to understand, the, r the rate that I play games these days is slower than most people. Most people are buying one game and they play it to completion. And then they go on to the next game and they play it to completion. So anyone who bought Final Fantasy VII, most people are past the, the first region. Most people are probably like 30, 40 hours in. I'm barely 20. So, 
Um, okay, we got more. And that just shows that you're slow. Tips. We got a dollar tip here from a troll, so I ignore it. <laughs> ignore I literally it. just ignore. He ignores the troll tips, but he doesn't count it, but he pockets it. So what he's doing, he's just priming up. He's just saying that, oh, hey, I actually have $15, but I'm going to put I have 11 Every single uh, tr uh, tip from this idiot, but they still keep trying to tip me. I don't know why. Um... I got a $3 tip from someone who says, I'm disgruntled. I think you made a huge mistake dropping Rebirth. I'm disappointed. I hope you go back to it in the future. Well, of all the games that I'm playing right now, Rebirth is the one. Of all the RPGs, I should say. Rebirth is the one. I'm the one. That number one, I'm the first, I'm the least into. I'm only about 20 hours into it. Of an 80 to 100 hour experience. I thought you liked the game, Phil. Now you're saying you're the least invested in. Only 20 hours in. Okay, I'm not in any home stretch to beat it. Yeah, one minute man already gave him money on the um the battlefronts the collect the collection stream, twenty four dollars. And number two, it's basically tied for the least attendance and engagement. Like I would say, like a dragon, I knew that was going to be the case, so that's why I made it a late night chill stream. I had no yeah uh huh clue Final Fantasy VII was going to be in exactly the same boat as like a dragon. No, Phil, at least. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth made more than five dollars. Please clap. There have been days. Just listen to this. There have been you days where I'm on my feel. podcast and we have 400 viewers and a bunch of people contribute. And I've switched over to Final Fantasy VII and we went down to 200 viewers and not a single, single contribution came in for over the three hours that I played it. And the people in the chat were completely bored and saying, "Man, this game sucks." Hey, Phil. Maybe it's because the way that you're playing it, it sucks. It's not the game, Phil. It's you. I, I can't change that. I'm, and the fun part is I'm playing it and liking it. While that's happening, I'm actually playing it and enjoying it. And everyone's like, oh, this is terrible. This sucks. I, you know? What it is, there's probably a certain audience for it, and it's not my audience at this point, which sucks because I love that kind of game, but I can't make people like something. I just, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. Yes, you can. You can make people like the content by being generally entertaining. Uh, but the problem, again, Phil, you're not doing any of that. Instead, it's just becoming a big, massive problem. Because you want to keep saying that if they would have just sat there and helped me with my stream, give me money, and if sat their asses in the seats and watched my stream, it would be better, but no. So you're blaming the stream again. It's like a TL yeah, TLDR. He did nothing wrong. He did everything correct. <coughs> oh, and also, he has depression. Hey, stupid. I have two big bills due this week. Glob, glob, glob. Gin water. Jessica Horror Black did a super chat says, Have you seen Last Night in Soho? No, it's a movie, right? I think I saw it on the Prime. Yeah, I don't, I hadn't seen it. I've seen it on the Prime. Video app, like, listed there, but I have no idea what also, it is. Also, Phil, it's Prime Video, not the video app. What it's about, I have not seen it. Thank you for the super chat, Jessica. Felix Domain says, I was enjoying the Battlefront collection. That makes one of us. I mean, again, it's not it's not fun when you're playing a game where you're supposed to be based on skill and shooting people and the bullets don't register. Phil, you have Stormtrooper aim. I love how you keep bringing this point over and over that, oh my god, I can't shoot. They're just going through their bodies. It's like, miss, 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 miss. Oh, hey, that missed too. Please clap. I just think that whole thing is funny. Has he ever played Dead Cells? No, he has not. I've played it. I really enjoyed it, especially the Castlevania DLC. That that DLC, chef's kiss. Like It's like, what's the point of playing? You know, why are you playing the game? <laughs> Imagine. What, what the fuck was that? Look at that. What? What? Phil, why? Like It's like, what's the point of playing? You know, why are you playing the game? Look, that's like a weird fucking pit. Like, that's like a lip touch into the mouth and a nose touch that is a combo right there holy shit <laughs> imagine if you're playing street the prime fighter but every time you tried to hit someone you just passed right through them so the matches took way too long and it was not competitive or fun in any way like it's it's just not worth playing right oh he wait he did play dead cells hang on hang on, hang on. i i because i had no idea he played dead cells i'm gonna look into this I'm looking into this to see about that. I'm going to look into that. Hang on. 
Oh, he did. Hang on. Let me see about that. I'm looking into that, too. Two years ago, I'm seeing that, too. Yeah, now I'm seeing it. My bad. It's because I hadn't even paid attention. What if, Was this for, like, an indie marathon? Yeah, thank you. Please clap. Thank you for proving my ass wrong. I'll take the L on this one. Interesting looking. We'll talk. Listen, we'll talk more about it. What I said tonight is not set in stone. The point is that tomorrow's schedule has changed and that there will be a game pass stream probably next week. But we're not going to do a daytime stream like originally I had thought. I just haven't really hashed out all the details of it yet. Okay. Important heads up. Very pertinent and great timing on that one. Okay. All right, Dead Cells. So, guys, give me your feedback. Let me know. Would you like to see me play more of this? If you liked this video and you like this game, give it a like. Oh, no. He only played it for one stream. He only played it for, like, one video. That's what I'm seeing. I thought he had multiple videos on it, but he only had one. He only had one video of it. But did he, like, play it throughout, like, the entire of a series? Then no. Then I'm mistaken on that one. But he did play it once. My bad. I, I'm, an, I'm an idiot. Ah! Loom Kid, thank you for... In, in my defense, I've been streaming for about six. Oh, about six hours. <laughs> and also... Tired, but I'm still going. Super chat. I think the reloads Tartarus is way better. They made it so much more enjoyable, but I agree. Four and five have more interesting dungeons. Yeah, I think that the Tartarus is just not fun. I bet one minute man sits in his chair, sipping on his whiskey, listening to Phil, reads his message, and says, Ah, money well spent, old boy. Please clap. <laughs> probably. Or it's probably his mom's like, I sent him his allowance. He should use it well. It's not. It's a, it's a grind. It's meant to be a big ongoing challenge of the game, but it's just not meant to be fun. And that's a problem because it's so much of the game. And I actually found out when I was playing Persona 3, I guess that's how the previous Persona... Heather, I will not go to bed, got it! <laughs> Donas were as well. Oh, welcome to the stream. Please clap. Correct? Yeah, it wasn't until 4 that the dungeons ended up being themed towards the story and more interesting. So. But even, Phil, the whole thing with Tartar, so it still was interesting, though, because it added on to the mystery of what was going on with the Dark Hour. It was still interesting, but... In the aspect of Persona games, like going with 3 onward, the whole thing with the dungeons really wasn't what made the game more interesting. It was the fucking characters and the social links that made it more interesting. Hearing more of the development of these characters, like what makes them stronger, what they are determined to do. But again, though, you just want to say, oh no, it's Tartarus. It's boring. Player, good evening. He says, I'm here for the stream. It's 10.56 a.m. now. A shame that you will mainly focus on story missions for Like a Dragon and not really do the sub-story. Slayer, I mean, I think you've seen what's going on. I mean, I'm, well, no exaggeration. I wish that this was. My views are way down. My engagement is way down. My, my, my sanity is down. My support is way down. Everything on this channel is way down for two months now. Everything's down, just like my sanity's down. Please clap. I uh, usually I, I usually get off work at like around one or two in the morning. That's the only reason why I'm up. I have like that insomniac schedule. I have to do something to make a change. I can't just sit here and ignore the problems and be like, yeah, I think I'll just go out of business now because I'm playing seven RPGs that are never finishing because I'm doing all this content. I, Way to over exaggerate. I can't do it. I have to do a change here to fix stuff. And so that change is focus in, beat the RPGs I can as quick as possible. While dropping an RPG and dropping variety. Get to a different variety of games. That's, I have to do it. It's the only way I'm going to do stuff here. You know what I mean? I think it's funny, though, how he says hey, he wants to drop one RPG, finish up the other RPGs, while picking up yet another RPG. Great logic, Phil. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Per Ooh, Persona's dungeons have been poorly designed as someone whose fusion brain is why I prefer uh, Shimagami Tensei's main line to Persona. And that's everyone's perception on that. I think the Shimagami Tensei games are good too. But which one's my favorite? That's a hard one. Uh. <clears throat> uh, Theodore. Doesn't Super Chase says, Red Bar is watching. Hope you have a good stream. Okay, thanks. I don't know what the heck Red Bar is, but thank you, Theodore. For the super chat. I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, chat, chat. <laughs> frozen, hello? Hello, chat. Are you frozen? Hello? Hel hi. Please okay. clap. Ah! It's funny because 90s guy says, I saw you're powering through ba Baldur's Gate 3 now, and I think that's actually a good thing. Uh, there's too much stuff in Act 3. I see that as a mega fan of the game. Yeah, I mean, look how many quests are in Act 3. It's insane. I love how he's like, oh, I'm powering through. No, Phil, your chat's powering through. Get it right. 
And it's supposed to be like they're leading towards the finale of the game, and it's like they've loaded so much shit into that act. You just want to, like, what is going on? <laughs> Phil, you are close to finishing Baldur's Gate 3, but you are milking it. <laughs> Garth Goldbox says, it's weird. I'm playing Battlefront 2 on the dedicated servers on PS5. I haven't had any issues. All I know is I hit quick match. I hit quick match. And whatever matches I get into, most of them don't work right. I'm just, like, shooting through everybody. You know, it doesn't work. I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, sure. Highest Darkness says, if your core audience... Oh, shit, my God, Sensei 5 is great. And I know that they have Vengeance that's coming out to other consoles as well. So that's always a good thing. Just doesn't like RPGs. What do they like? Number one, I don't think it's a it's a matter of they don't like RPGs. Okay? I don't. I don't think it's a matter of they don't like RPGs. Uh-huh. But you kept saying that they don't like RPGs. It's a matter of they don't want too much of the same thing at once. Right? Just like, for example, it's not like they don't like fighting games. They just don't want nine to ten straight months of fighting games. Or... They just don't like you. Please clap. You understand? Street Fighter Six. Imagine making a game that's that's value for money. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine it's all about the money, which he doesn't understand. People actually enjoyed, but then Street Fighter Six for nine months followed by two months of Tekken Eight is too much. You need a break. And agree. It was because the PC port of the classic collection was bad. The console version, depending on who you ask with it, it's either good or it's eh, but it's mostly eh to me. Correct. But I still have to make my fun with it. Right? That's what I mean. Like, it, it just said, if there was an RPG Failed that was like one major game, RPG, Phil. 80 hours, and I could play it for two months and beat it in two months, and it was the only RPG I was playing and I was balancing it with other stuff, there wouldn't be an issue. The problem is, I have to do it again. I can't believe I have to do it again. You ready? Oh, my God. Fuck Shut you. Fuck up. Thank you. This is the problem. They all came out within two months. And I was playing Baldur's Gate 3. So I'm playing 100 RPGs at once. It's never going to work. It's never going to work that way. There has to, Something has to give. You know what I'm saying? Something has to give. Give me money. <laughs> Gin water. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I might enjoy it Fortnite Zero Build. No, I won't. I don't care about Fortnite. I have no desire to ever play it again. I know what it is. I've played it a million times. I... Well, why? Why can't you play Fortnite? Are you afraid that you'll become a predator? Oh, right. You already are one. Ah! Don't give two shits about Fortnite. I, I will never enjoy it. Tub Tubs, thanks for being a member for 12 months. His good call. Power playing Yakuza. Yeah, I mean, that's what we got to do. We got to do what we got to do, right? We're going to have to push forward and push through and do as much as we can and get it done so we can do other games. I can't be playing the same shit nonstop. I can't. It's too much. Slayer says it's just a shame some of the side stories are integral and homage to all the different Yakuza and Like a Dragon subs. No, he never finished uh, World Tour for Street Fighter Six. Never finished it. Stories in the game, especially the reminiscent and Date links. Uh, I'm going to be doing the quick stuff that I can. not I'm just not going to be doing 100%. Can't. I'll be doing it forever, you know? If you do try it again, there's a search option under Quick Batch and Selections for Dedicated Servers. I'm never doing it again. Every video got demonetized. Literally every video of Star Wars got demonetized because you can't turn the music off and the music plays in menus and shit and you just get demonetized anyway. So fuck that game. Phil, you made $101 off of it. Shut up. Yeah, I remember that Do you too. Do have any movie or TV recommendations? No, I haven't been watching any new recent movie or TV shows. Nope. My wife and I have been casually watching people play... Um, yeah, I love the fact where he could be watching TV shows on Max, Hulu, Peacock, Netflix. He could be watching those, but no, he'd rather watch someone else like watch someone else's Let's Play just to see that. Hey, I'm better than that guy. We watched someone play. What the hell was it? Oh, uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage randomly, and now we're randomly watching someone who played Horizon Forbidden West. It's just randomly. You say you're doing it randomly, Phil. Shut up. You're watching these people because you're wanting to do, like, quote-unquote research. Like, what makes these people better than me? And then when you watch them, it's like, I can't do this because, oh, uh, they're they're boring. Ah! But you take care, uh, crust, uh, yeah, I'll say crust, just to be safe. We're just kind of picking random playthroughs and watching them these days. We're not even watching TV shows. He gets cucked after work. I think what streamer mode was supposed to do is turn all the music off, and it does. So he's playing the game for money, literally telling you, and the dads can't seem to figure it out. That's how you know how, 
Pyas tarts in there. All of these, all of them except for LARPers. Absolutely. It turns some of the music off, and then the music still plays other places, so it doesn't matter. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. What'd you do today, Phil? Tuh -huh. Nova, I already answered that earlier. I'm not going to reiterate. Uh, let's see here. I got a 250 tip from Beazle. You find more people watch and contribute when you play retro games and just bought a new chair. How is your chair? Uh, no. In reality, uh, it depends on what you mean by retro game. Okay? Because, for example, if I play a, what I consider a retro game, I consider games like Mario Brothers, Classic Zelda. Uh-huh. Uh, the NES era. Um, you know, old Final Fantasies, Chrono Trigger. Uh, how, why, huh? How do you say, how the fuck did you just say Chrono Trigger? Your brothers. Classic Zelda. Um, you know, old Final Fantasies, Chrono Trigger. Trigger. <laughs> Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Damn it! Holy shit! Brothers, classic Zelda. Um, you know, old Final Fantasies, Chrono Tr Classic Trigger. You know, <laughs> old Final Fantasies, Chrono Trigger. Trigger. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that almost sounded like Meerkat for a moment there. Trigger. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Holy shit! How can you fuck up the English language, Phil? Oh. How? Your brothers. Classic Zelda. Classic! Um, you know, old Final Fantasy. Classic! Chrono Trigger. Trigger! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I didn't expect to laugh today, holy fucking shit! Please clap. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Trigger. Oh no, don't, now I can I should just save that. I should just save that. Every single time I get money or a member, tree. It's just like me for for her tree. God damn it. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Your brothers. Classic Zelda. Classic. Um, you know, old Final Fantasies. Chrono Trigger. Trigger. <laughs> I'm. I need to move on. I need to. What is he a tree? How do I reach these keys? <laughs> Star tree, tree, <laughs> sketchy. <laughs> I regret nothing. God, why pull the cheek? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> tree. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> we we lost him. It's how would I pause it on that face? Heather, stop it. Fine. The brothers. Classic Zelda. Case. Um, you know, old Final Fantasies. Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Trigger. <laughs> My cheeks are hurting, god damn it. Ow. 
Okay. Uh, all right, let's continue onward. Intrigue. That kind of stuff. That's what I consider retro games. Oh, Phil, you could also consider the games from the GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> he is so bad with words, Heather. He really is. <laughs> tree, tree, this tree hurts me. <laughs> but yeah, anything that's like... <sighs> Xbox, PS2, GameCube, that's retro. And they're pushing onward for a 360 PS3 and Wii to be considered that too, but I don't consider that at all. <laughs> Him, hold on. For a lot of people, retro games are like PS1 and PS2 games. They are. I don't think those are retro games. Oh, feel that triggers me. <laughs> <laughs> that triggers me. You know, for me, the, it's not that old. You know what I mean? Um, but for some people, those are the games they grew up with, right? So, depending on the game... Yeah, I'm triggered! Him <laughs> saying that PS1, PS2 is not retro, that triggers me! If it's like a fan-favorite game that I've never played, and people request it and request it and request it, and then I go and play it, yeah, sometimes those games, those games do really well. Uh, typically, when I play older games, what I consider a retro game, it doesn't do well at all. No, Phil, we can look at the comments! We've got to have Ow. money! Mokinus donated two pounds. Play it again. No, I'm not going to. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please clap. <laughs> I don't want to die with Jig. <laughs> okay. I just muted myself for that. Remember when you played Trigger? <laughs> they get Roomba Trigger happy. Hevic. Please clap. Hevic. You know, I've tried it many times in my career. No, Phil. You didn't make the game entertaining, though. That's the problem. And you want to say that no one liked it? We can go on your old videos like Link to the Past or Chrono Trick. <laughs> that game. And we see comments there's like, this is really good. I play a game like Earthbound. I play a game like Final Fantasy 4 or 6 or, you know, and I say, oh, this is a game near and dear to me. It makes me emotional. The only reason why people know about Earthbound was because that's when you lost your stream labs when you were playing Earthbound. And oh, god damn it, my fucking cheeks are hurting. I play it. I love it. And we get a core audience that night likes that. But for the most part, no. The most of my, the people don't come out to play those for whatever, or don't come out to watch those for whatever reason. We'll always have, like, low attendance. Every once in a while, support will be good because someone will be, like, feeling so reminiscent for themselves. And they'll yeah, feeling so reminiscent? Sure. Who, Phil? Who? Do, like, a big contribution and say, gee, thanks for playing it. But for the most part, no. Doesn't seem to resonate with my audience. Um. Yeah, he cried to Ricardo <laughs> He cried about it because he was like, it's so emotional. <laughs> He, oh, Chrono Cheeker makes me cry. For whatever reason, you know. Okay, uh, I received a $2 tip. Yeah. $2 tip. Gorilla Pimp, who's been banned 7,000 times, thinks that by tipping... That they're gonna get unbanned. They can't understand the fact that <laughs> Gorilla Pimp, with... you burned way too many bridges with people, me and others, and people don't want you back. If I were to unban you, people would just complain nonstop anyway that you. What did he do? What did Gorilla Crip? What did Gorilla Pimps do? They triggered you. Back. The be the best bet that you can do is to do what many other people have done: is to just make a new account and come in, and no one will know it's you. So ban invasion, Phil. That's stupid. You do this with Kirk all the goddamn time. And just be behave this time. You did it. You get my oh, fucking god, Phil. You're making me mush out of my cheeks. Dom the Monko, Monko, Monko. Phil, you do this all the time. You fucking do this. Kirk does it, and you're like, oh yeah, Kirk, yeah, Kirk, sweetheart. If you just come on back, uh, no one will know it's you, a uh, Vietnamese comrade. And I know that's not you. Ow. Stop asking me to unban you because I'm not going to. People are going to have an issue with that. Okay? 
<laughs> How is the chair? <laughs> I'll behave. My chair is comfy, Beazle. This is the most comfy chair I've ever had. That chair does not look comfortable at all. It really doesn't. It looks very stiff because he can't lean back in his chair. He can't do anything with it. That's uncomfortable as fuck. Because it actually has really, really good lumbar support. And back support. These two <laughs> pillows, I don't know how well you can see them. So this pillow angry, is very Phil. supportive. Much better than those crappy back pillows. Well, that's what I'm not saying that. And there's a lumbar pillow down here. There's a fuzz stuck to the chair right there. Uh, there's a lumbar pillow down here. See this? It's it's thick. No, thick thank you. Thank fucking. you for pig explaining your goddamn lumbar support. Oh, and it's really a nice. Oh, Ed. <laughs> I was watching Rocco's Modern Life recently, and goddamn, that show is trippy as fuck at times. Solid support on my lower back. Did you see the bottom? Did, did you see the bottom of my chair? It's so good. <laughs> Ow, my cheeks. It's really good, and I've never had that before in any chair I've ever had. So, when I sit down... I know for a fact, I know how we can raid somebody. Just say that this tree... <laughs> this tree curses me! Ow. Oh yeah, chair streams are always the best because you don't hear fear at all. It's quiet. It's contentful. When I sit down on this chair, immediately I get great lumbar support in my lower back. Lumbar support. I've always needed. I've always had a bad back. I never had that in any sitting arrangement I've ever had before. Phil, I can sit in any chair and I can make myself comfortable because your posture always has its way of being like, okay, how I sit in my chair at times, I have my leg over my other leg, kind of like a, I don't know how the best way to describe it though, but my left leg is being, re is resting on, or right leg is resting on the left leg because of weird sitting arrangement, but it's comfy that way. I sit back like this and I'm like, oh yeah, he's definitely full of shit. Oh my God. Right? Oh my God. I just farted loudly, Phil says when he just looks at the chair, staring at his chat. Like this is really, really good. I love this chair. The only bummer is it creaks and squeaks, but you can't hear it anymore because now I have filters on my mic. You hear that? Yeah, you're looking like a retard, Phil. Yeah, we saw that. You hear that creaking? If not, the filter has filtered it out. You can't hear it anymore, so you'll, you'll never no, hear it. I heard that. Well, other chair creak, Phil. Great. Good stuff. And I love how he is so stupid that he thinks that, oh, oh yeah, there's audio, Phil. You, you don't hear me do this. And it's like, oh, hey, it didn't catch it. Fuck off. <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh, Han Solo did a super chat and says, top three of your favorite games of all time. I don't have a top three favorite games, but I have favorites of Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 6, and Street Fighter 4. There you go. There are your three favorite fucking games. Please clap. The genre. So, for example, like, my favorite platformer of all time is Super Mario. No, Phil, this has nothing to do with genres at all. Like, if you're doing it by genres, then you're saying more than three fucking games at that point. Mario World. My favorite fighting game is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Phil, that's stupid, though. If someone came up to me and asked me what my three favorite games of all time, I couldn't give them a definitive answer just due to the fact I have too fucking many. But if I can name you three of my favorite games from the top of my head, I would say Stardew Valley, I would say Yoshi's Island, and Final Fantasy IX. There you go. How hard is it to do that? Please clap. It's not that fucking hard. See, my favorite RPGs would probably be Final Fantasy IV and VI and Chrono Trigger. All right? So, that's how I, I work. I don't have an overall favorite game or anything like that, but I have favorites in genres, so I just threw a few out there for you. But you didn't throw out games at all, though. You kept you kept saying this. But then again, this is just a weird, convoluted way for you to say, here are my three or four favorite games of all time, but different genres. That was Han Solo. Yeah, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy, or Infamous 2, Mass Effect 2, Halo 2, StarCraft 1. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo is his only favorite game. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Please clap. Hello, 989. 989. Okay, uh, shout out to Only Iced Coffee re-upping their membership. And says, uh, I've been at my for a bit. Hope all is well. Uh, well, let me put it this way. <laughs> We've, I've been through the ringer these last few months, all right? Oh, fuck off. I don't give a fuck about it. I've done some good improvements to my... Dishonor to Mario Odyssey Payday 2. Yeah, it's not hard. My streams, the audio is sounding a lot better than ever before. The volume levels are better. I have pop filters on my mic. Like, oh, I felt all these things right there, these are not upgrades at all. They're just little improvements, but they're not upgrades, though. But you don't want to say that these are upgrades to your streaming quality. It's not. 
Also, I will say another thing. If I had to say, like, favorite indie games of all time, I would tell you this. It would be Dead Cells, Stardew Valley, and Bastion. The only reason why I say Bastion and not Hades is because that's the first game that got me into Supergiant. And if I had to say, like, favorite classic games, classic games, I would have to go with either Link... I will go with Mario RPG, Yoshi's Island, and also Link to the Past. Final Fantasy, eh. But then again, I'm, I mentioned games that were on the Super Nintendo, though, which is great. But if I had to say modern games or newer games of the of this year or the modern era excuse me i would say games something on the lines because this is a little bit harder though but i would say games like persona 5 i would also say another game I'm trying to think a few of them from the top of my head shit it's really hard to do really i'll come back to it right I i've been trying to improve things as much as i can you yeah, but you haven't though but we've got to have money Free 99 donated $5. I introduced the pig to a couple of friends and they're convinced this is a character. I tried to tell them no, this roach is a real narcissist. Big ups for the nine, for the five free. Uh, that's the thing though. You tell people what, who Phil is and you try to show him to people. Some people would think this is an act like Avery, like the Angry Vendor Game Nerd, like James Rolfe. But this is a real human being. And yet he's trying to retcon his whole life into believing that everything that he's done in the past was a character. When it's not. Game selection has been... Oh, hang on. I know I know two more of the um, modern ones nowadays. If I had to think of it from the top of my head. Um, I would go with... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I already said one of them, which was shit. I had it on top of my head and I lost it. I would say Mario Wonder for the first one. And then I would say Persona 5. And then I would say for the third one... I hate where it's like classic games and indie games. I can tell you, but it's like all the other modern AAA releases. I can't tell. Yeah, fuck. It's hard. It's really fucking hard to do. I'm trying to think, what game did I really play that I really enjoyed? Hmm. Fuck, but it's like one of those things that's really hard to do. <sighs> Fuck me. Let me look behind me. Oh, you know what? 13 Sentinels. There we go. Please clap. Poor. What I was that sound? I don't know. Inkles, I'm sorry. Feel because it's oh, it's me trying to think of something. I was trying to think of a game from the top of my head. Sorry. Oh, I completely forgot about High Fry Rush. Thank you. Please clap. So... Scratch 13 Sentinels, Hi-Fi Rush. Or Metal Hellsinger, really. Too samey with these, all, or too many RPGs. GTA, the only GTA I really liked was 4. 4 was my favorite one. Because of that, my viewership, my engagement, everything's down right now. We need a reinvigoration of new games that are going to bring freshness to the channel. Uh, you know what? Baldur's Gate 3, Stardew Valley, and Spider-Man 2 for modern games? That, I'm not going to lie, that's actually good. Really better than the one I could have thought of. Please clap. Yeah, shit. You know what? If, but then again, I was going by, like, modern games. I wasn't going for, like, indie games. I was thinking way too outside the box. It's number one. Number two, yeah, those fake gifted memberships that went through all through oh, January. Oh, no, they treat <laughs> January and all through ah, Okay, God, God, stop saying that word. Fuck. February really hurt me badly, and I haven't recovered. You know, this channel had between 500 to 800 paid legit memberships. And no, I you didn't have 800. The most you would ever have is usually about 550, maybe 400 tops. Or minimum. Check the other day, and it looks like no exaggeration. Probably right now we have between two to three hundred, and that's it. So I've seen a giant decline in revenue because of that, and also because of the fact that we're doing a million RPGs, and all that's down. I'm oh, Phil, the RPGs have nothing to do with it. It's you. Super chats and everything have been down. Witcher three, I would say that's a good one too. If I didn't think about, it, I completely forgot about Witcher three. Two. So basically, it's been it's been bad these last few months. I'm hoping by the end of this month, we're gonna have a big reinvigoration with some of the new games I'm gonna play. We reinvigoration. Got my birthday coming up. That'll be a way to have a, a special marathon event, and hopefully, then in April forward, we get excited for new stuff. We'll see. Glob 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 glob. More gin, yay! Um, let's see here. Yeah, it's always about the fucking money with Phil. Better call Darth Maul. Give me a dollar. Any show recommendations? I'm watching an Apple TV show called Manhunt about hunting down hunting down John Wolf's booth 
after his assassination of Abraham Lincoln. No, like I said, my wife and I I have not been watching any any shows as of late. We're just watching some randomized playthroughs on YouTube, and that's about it. I don't have any recommendations there at all. Sorry. Oops. I thought I heard Jasper's bell jingle. Hold on. Let's see if he's around. I thought I heard him in the hallway, but I guess not. I love the fact that I was trying to talk, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, hey, I forgot my mic was muted. Whoops. Ah! But I will say this, though. Randomized playthroughs. It's like, Phil, can't you recommend people that you are watching on YouTube? Be like, hey, do you have any recommendations? Because a lot of people give you recommendations straight out the fucking back. Or bat. Back. <laughs> Bad backs. Ah! But I would say, yeah, randomized playthroughs, randomized playlists, like, what the fuck are you talking about, Phil? Honestly, I would say, like, if you want people that are really good with their content, uh, Super Gaming Bros, Some Call Me Johnny, and uh, Civi11. Those are great channels that I like watching. And the reason why I'm into boomer shooters a lot more is because of Civi. So, yeah, that's why. Uh, I thought I heard him in the hallway, but I guess not. Only Ice Coffee says, I hear you. Or I feel you, excuse me. I'm seeing that you are still playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3 and a few others like like, like a Dragon, Final Fantasy 7. And yes, I feel you on memberships. I knew that was going to happen a month or two after. Yeah. I feel, when yeah, I feel you because he kept because the only person that would give him memberships was only Ice Coffee. And as soon as that happened, that took away the fun. Everyone on this channel, literally everyone got a free membership. Everyone got a free membership. Who cares? That should be a good thing. That way you can put your stupid fucking emotes on there, Phil. Who cares? At least people can enjoy them. But no, you took a positive into a negative. There was thousands of gifted memberships. Wait, then again, Demon Souls Remaster is really good. That's a that's a good one too. That's a good remaster. Demon Souls for the PS5 was a good one. No one paid. I did that last night. I forgot to mute myself. Yeah, I hate that too. It sucks. Please clap. For like two months. So because of that, my revenue went down, and now a lot of people didn't renew. And it's like, I feel like some people would renew. If Actually, they're... you know what? If I could think of like three more indie games that I really, really enjoy, I would say games like Papers, Please is really good. Power Wash Simulator, I consider that to be an indie game as well. Kinda, to an extent. And the other one that I would highly recommend is Slay the Spire. There we go. Was a game that would bring them back, but I'm in the middle of three RPGs at once. It's what like... game is going to bring them back, Phil? You thought that Baldur's Gate 3 was going to do anything. You thought Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was going to do anything. You thought that Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection was going to do anything, but it did nothing. Right. And he does... Yeah, exactly. The cut nugget still gets money from the memberships. Oh, Jade says, man, first Star Wars Jedi Survivor, now Star Wars Jedi... Uh, Star Wars Battlefront Classic. What next? You know he's right. What is going on with Star Wars games being completely unoptimized and running like shit at launch? I didn't wait, even... Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Phil, when you played Jedi Survivor, it had no problems. It still played fine. You had no I real issues with it, but you were just going by a PC We've issue. We've got to have money. What the fuck? Free 99 donated $5. I got banned from his chat for being excited to taste get spread. <laughs> ha, this guy I know hilarious. <laughs> Can't spread. No one wants to taste it spread. Tastes like tuna cats. <laughs> Please clap. Uh, uh. <laughs> Make that connection. Did I oh, yeah. Tetris Effect was really good, too. I really enjoyed Tetris Effect. Had a really good soundtrack. Survivor was the same. You remember how bad the frame rate was? It was. Oh, hey, look. Only Ice Coffee, Cat Mom gave fucking 10 memberships. <laughs> People Where? Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Dick. Baltro is good, too. But I need to play more of it. We were actually we were trying to play the game, We've and the frame was. have money. Era donated two dollars. I bet he got the David Cage game idea from SBF. SBF. I no, I don't know really. I think he just got the idea because he was watching a uh, his own playthrough of Heavy Rain. But there's a lot of factors that could come into play with it. But also thanks Ara for that. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Jade is motion sensitive. Doesn't mean that's a problem with the game. Oh, the game made me sick. It times sick. It was so choppy. In part, it was making people sick to their stomach watching. One person was sick, and it was Jade. And they were like, oh, God. And now here we are. Oh, God. It time puke. Later, and this game collection's a, a piece of gar garbage. Like, what the heck, dude? 
What the heck, Droob? What the heck, Droob? It's like it's taking a pounding to your fucking channel. Such grandiose poundings. Ah! I didn't even make that connection until Jay just brought it up. Yeah, Jay brought it up because he was the only one. Then you only. Oh, and then people were saying that they had no problems with the PS5 version. And you're like, oh, but that's different. It's coffee. 10 gifted memberships <laughs> to the channel tonight. Congratulations to the following people Nemesis T Type, 90s Guy, Daniel Ye, Smoking Socks, A Ray, Gwen B, East Fondue, Grave Maker LP, Arnex, and X Coca. Congrats to all of you. Thank you so much, Only Ice Coffee, for supporting the channel. Oh, and apparently someone's like, I'm getting hate for sending you some love. No, you're being a fucking pig. Like a little pay pig. Uh, once to sense did a super chat. Ten bucks. I'm apparently getting hate for sending you love. I sent you a DM tonight on Twitter. Uh, Jay would love to talk to you. Please let us know. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, I just for just so you know, I do not really check DMs like that because sadly, what happened was last year, okay. X, I guess, changed everything. I don't know what they did, all right? But all of a sudden, I... All of a sudden, it's still Twitter, though. Oh, yeah, I did see that Aqua Teal's channel just came back up, too. And, or it was back up, and also she put a video out, too, which is a good thing, though. I wish her the best with that one. Please clap. I hope she does come back with putting out more videos with that. I hope she does. Started getting absolutely bombarded. Bombarded! With negative stuff in like DMs and shit on X. And I was like, I'm not gonna even open it. And I have it. Like I literally don't open my DMs. No, you don't open DMs because you're a scared little bitch. And no one really talks to you, Phil, cause you don't allow it. On X anymore. So I get the feeling what's gonna happen is one day I'm gonna open it and there's gonna be like 14,000 messages in there. Yeah, it's not hate, you deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it, so you better yourself and, and wise up. Oh, he should. That I've never seen and I'm just gonna close it again. Because I don't know what they did. It didn't used to be like that. And then all of a sudden, I noticed I started getting a million things. I was like, what the fuck did he do? Did he change all the settings? Because I had it so that I could, that wouldn't happen. And all of a sudden, I got like monster bombed. I did see With that. a million oh. DMs and shit. I was like, what the fuck? Shut up. I don't... Jesus. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, and I did see that uh, Catcherl said that he had a video in the works too. But it's been a while though. But again, it's going to be a grandiose premiere when he comes back. I'm not even touching that with a 10-foot pole. I'm staying away from it. So I have no idea. I'm not kidding. Oh, if you're going to stay away from it, Phil, then how are you going to get your shitty little gaming news? It's happened like the middle of last year. So anyone DM'd me in like the last 9 to 10 months. I haven't seen it. Oh, the DM tweak with me. <laughs> you know? Oh, watch what's going to happen. I guarantee you I'm going to open up. There's going to be like one-sided conversations for like four months. Watch this. <laughs> I guarantee it. I guarantee that shit's going to be like... Someone's been thinking that I was, like, ignoring them. I just, I didn't have an open day. I don't care. I don't want to be bothered with that shit. But then again, you do the same thing, though, Phil. You leave one-sided conversations, and they completely forget about you. Like, Mudahar forgot about you completely, you know? So, anyway, ones, two, cents. Thank you for the super chat. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably never going to see whatever DM you're talking about. If you want to talk to me, email me. Send me my email at darksidephil at hotmail.com. Email. But that's because he is somewhat looking like a drunken uncle. Tell me, darksidefillyhotmail. I've been streaming for about well, it was getting close to seven hours. Com. That's why I got that open. And people getting mad that I'm not going to sleep. Eagers, <laughs> damn. Email. Nineties guy gifted a membership and it went to Felipe Baxter. Congrats, Felipe, and thank you very much, Nineties guy, for support. Felipe, we're in the channel tonight. I appreciate. Thank you for giving a legit membership and not Argentinian. Appreciate that. Euphoric Joker says, did you see gameplay trailers for Omni-Man and Peacemaker Mortal Kombat 1? No, because I don't care about Mortal Kombat 1. It sucks. It's a terrible game. I would never want to play it again. Therefore, I don't care about the DLC characters. Um, The Blimp says, I am a member on this channel. I try to give small amounts of super thanks on DSP Throwback. I'll be a member. Bro, I don't know how I do it. A lot of contemplation, dude. A member on the React, the React channel, but I can't really afford it. I appreciate all you do. No, no problem, man. Again, don't ever, and I say this, I've said this. Over and over and over. If you're a fan of my content, you don't ever have to apologize for not contributing. Don't do that. All right? Because it's... F but, Phil, you always have this notion. You do this every time. If you don't get money from your dents, you make them feel bad. You gaslight them into believing that it's their fucking fault. So that's why they have to apologize to you. No one should feel that way. Cult leader fucker. Please clap. Like, oh my god, I wish I could help more and I feel bad because... No. You did that. 
going back to scorn. When you're bitching, whining, moaning, complaining, coping, seething, balding, balding, drinking, shooting ropes. I'm him. You did that. And someone was in there is like, if I wasn't getting a cat fail, I would fucking contribute. I'm sorry. You did this. You don't have to. When is he going to put back the member's goal? Never. Because of Argentina. Please clap. But well, welcome, welcome to the stream, Kadeki. Feel bad. You see how this is how the community works? Is we come, we hang out, we have a good time. When people can contribute, they do. If you can't, don't sweat it. It's all good, right? It's a group effort. That's how I've always stayed in business. That's how things have always been successful for me. Things will always go well. It's never going to be this. I, I'm not one of these chicken little, the sky is falling people that because. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You are. When you were sick, oh my god, I can't recover. Oh, the Argentinian memberships, I can't recover. These RPGs, I can't recover. Everything is down, 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 down. Down. Get a couple. You did that, Phil. You had that chicken little moment. Once that things were rough here, we're slow. Even when the sky is falling down. Ah. I'm gonna lose everything. It's not like that. Yeah, you did that, Phil. And you even said, oh, I might as well just close down the channel. Yeah, I might as well close it down. Right? It's not, it's, we'll get through it. I feel like we're on, we're on a good pace. Once I get through, uh, once I get through this, um, RPG overload that I'm Shut in right now and we get into up. other games, I think those things will come in back. You don't have to worry about that, man. All right? I appreciate you having the sentiment, but don't sweat it. It's all good. It's all good. You apologize to me, so it's all good because you gave me money. <laughs> Wait. We've got uh, to have money. Mokinus donated two pounds. I'm getting tree good. Smearing <laughs> face. <laughs> Even the stupid fucking. Po I, I'm Moki. I'm surprised that you got the fucking the right pronunciation of how Phil did the tree good. Please clap. I'm surprised you did that. Holy shit! I give you props for that one. It's very grandiose indeed. The email address is uh, the email command. Exclam exclamation point email in the chat. The command will give you the email address. <laughs> club, club, club. Tweaker juice. Tweaker. God damn it. Okay. Um. Let's split the part. We're halfway through tonight's stream. So let's do it. Let's split the part. Take a quick break. I'm going to come back. It'll be another hour of me just chilling with the audience. I hope that if you're here live, you're enjoying it. If you're watching it on demand, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, again, talking a lot of different topics. I knew. I absolutely knew. This would work. Do you understand how this is better than me just doing a random RPG night stream that people weren't expecting? Much rather... No, Phil, they were expecting it, though, because you said you were going to do it because, oh, my God, the classic collection didn't do good. Talk with you guys and hang out and have a good time, then just randomly cram in a game. So, all right. I'll split the part. We'll be back part two soon. Soon. Okay. I am going to pee. So if everyone could just bear nice. with me, I'm just going to mute the mic, go use the restroom, come right back, and then we'll continue. All Why right, right mute back. it when it's going to just completely get rid of the audio? What's the point of that, Phil? Did he do a two hour? He did do a two, a two hour Q&A. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He came back. I'm skipping, a, I'm skipping ahead of that part two. I'm skipping ahead when he comes back. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I want to let you know I'm going to run downstairs and grab something else to drink because I'm almost out of water. Like, look at that. He said, that, right, I'm going to be right back. Phil, just go pee and grab the drink and come back. And then be like, hey, guys, I know I went said I was going to go pee, but I had to go grab a drink, so I'm back now. But no, he had to go back. He's like, I don't want to leave y'all hanging, but uh, I have to grab something. I'm going to grab something else, maybe a can of something. I'll be right back, and then we'll resume for another hour, okay? I'll be right back. Uh-huh. And then I, I'll just skip ahead. I'll just skip ahead to where he comes back. Wasting time, like he always tends to do. And he grabbed a Coke. Ah! Okay. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I took like a five-minute break. I walked around the house. I used the restroom. And I tell you guys, I don't do a lot of the crazy unhealthy things that other people do because people you do you still do the unhealthy things with that too you order from doordash and get unhealthy food shut up say well how did you lose so much weight because you used to be so much chubbier but you're flabby phil and you look like you have much muscle atrophy right i said i don't do the things 
that are awful. And one of the, the few things that I've done to cut, you know, calories out of my life, I don't drink soda. God damn it, cheesy. Well, guess what? I was here, and I'm here with you guys. Oh, yeah, just drink rum and coke. Just drink plenty of rum and cokes, like rum and diet cokes. That way you can lose weight by drinking alcohol. I mean, doing this random, you know, late night chill stream, just hanging out, and I'm craving, like, a can of soda. Like, I haven't had a can of soda. I couldn't tell you the last time. So I go in my... Most people that whenever they drink or they cut soda out of their diet, they don't have a craving for soda anymore. Like, that's completely cut out of their diet. That's cut out of their eating, their nutritional value. It's cut out completely. But the whole thing about, I had a craving for soda, is a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, uh, and also, lol, chubby. I go into my fridge, and in the back of my fridge, I find a can of Coke, all right? And just to prove to you guys... What that I, looks like a newer can. I say it's true. This can of Coke... Yeah, she's not pregnant, guys. ...expired in December of 2022. You I can't. That? I can't see it, Phil. December 2022 expiration date. Can't see it, Phil. It's sitting there. Undrank. You know, some of these people, you say, oh, they get up. The first thing they do is they chug a can of, like, like Pepsi or Mountain Dew. They can't stand it. They need that first thing to get going. Mm, because if some people are trying to cut it out of their diet and they're going through a caffeine withdrawal, that's probably the reason why, Phil. I have but why Pepsi of all things? Are you trying to reference wings here? Had it in two years. It's been expired for two years. Also, I if it's expired or flat, you wouldn't hear the carbonation. The carbon carbonation. Ah! I was thinking of carbonara for some reason, but you wouldn't hear the carbonation though. You wouldn't hear the fizzing of it. I'm drinking it. What's up, Luis? I'm not wasting it. I'm not letting stuff go to waste. See right there. You clacked open. It's not even fucking flat. You can't waste that. You got to drink it. Right? I might play on my PS5 when I'm done with this, too. I could just lay in my bed and just enjoy PS5. So here we go. The only reason why I had the PS5 in my in my bedroom was just because foot pain. I wanted to try to do something to distract me from the pain. But... Uh, used to have had it in my office. Yep, and it's also Coca-Cola. Please clap. Cheers, Coca-Cola. It's the real thing. Can't, can't beat the real thing. That's the latest slogan, right? Coke is it. No one says that anymore, Phil. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you stole cat soda. I'm just kidding. It tastes fine. I'm just gonna do this. Tastes like normal Coke. It's all good. All right. Yeah, lunch, so lunch, lunch meat sandwich era. That's essentially what that is, though, with a can of Coke because they couldn't afford anything. Drinking that, I guess, for the next hour. Yeah, not a shell. So we're into the second half of uh, still Q and A here tonight. I that you guys are ready to relax with me and have a good time. Uh, looks like, hold on, I got tips. Crisis Core reunion. Honestly, at first, I did not like the voice acting for Zach. In Crisis Core Reunion, because I'm used to uh, Rick Gomez from the original Crisis Core, but kind of grew on me a little bit as I played more of it, but that's that's what happens. Better call Darth Maul, tip me a dollar, so I've been reading a book called 48 Laws of Power. A lot of crazy stuff went on in the past, like killing family members and friends for power. There's a crazy woman who kills her own baby to frame someone else. Aren't you glad things are a lot better today? Uh... Well, I, I love how Phil looks at that ne really negative thing, and he's like, <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I don't think I've ever been involved with anyone killing other family members or anything like that. Well, you did kill T, uh, so... Murder. Uh, YouTube's pretty cutthroat, but I don't think there's any murder. It's just people completely trying to ruin other people's lives for personal profit and gain. But outside of that, I guess, you know. Oh, wow, boo-fucking-who. whoop did he do You're making yourself a victim again. Like always. It's not that bad. It's not that oh, bad. See. I received a two dollar and twenty five cent tip from Super Snow Carl Thrill Richie Remix. Bold prediction: DSP will Is he okay. Will launch DSP politics in twenty twenty five after the twenty twenty four elections. It'll be a weekly Saturday night stream. Now, how would you know that? How on earth would you know that? Or why? What would you think that? Maybe they did research. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. By research, I mean, I don't know. Smoked a lot of crack. Thank you for the $2.25 tip. Then I received a two. Yeah, nice, classy. 
Sh not even a chef's kiss. 50 tip. Uh, of someone who's being very intrusive and I'm not going to read that. So there you go. Yeah, but you'll pocket the money like a dumbass. You always do so. Greedy little pig roach. Sorry. <laughs> Don't throw up on you guys if I get sick from the soda. I'm not going to get sick from the soda. I got iron stomach. What are you talking talking about well phil the only reason why you won't get sick from it is because you still drink soda you don't drink it on stream because you're like i had to bring up the perfect image of health guys with my my little paunch and my slag my saggy skin my twitchy ears and my nose picking my disgusting looking goddamn goatee yeah i'm healthy <laughs> fuck off ah! you know what the stuff i've eaten in my life Glob, glob. Swish, swish. Choo, choo. Mmm. Man. Expired flavor is so good. It's not expired, Phil. Shut it. Uh, let's see. Derek, good evening. D Derek, just stopping by to say have a good night. See you tomorrow for Like a Dragon Infinite. Well, sounds good. Am I playing in the tournament this weekend? No. I'm not in any tournament. I don't enter any tournaments for anything. So, no. <clears throat> no. Yeah, noodle arms, muscle atrophy. Am I excited to hear about r rumors of a new Eminem album coming this year? There is? No. Yeah, I felt like I had to do that. I had no idea Eminem was making a new album. No. <sighs> Boom Kid says, man, expired soda. I'll miss your streams. Huh? I'm sorry. So I guess this is the last one, drinking a two-year expired soda. Mark says, I lost six kilograms, 13 pounds from quitting all drinks containing sugar. I was addicted to Coke and Pepsi. Exactly. This is a rare instance where I'm actually drinking a beverage with, like, sugar in it. You know, this is just... Phil, you do drink sodas with... A lot, or just things with a lot of fucking... Not, I wouldn't say soda with it, but anything with sugar in it. You do so, Phil. I'm not seeing anything about it. Oh, no, I was going to say, the Marshall's, uh, Marshall Matters LP2, that's already out, though. In 2013. Unless there's like a, uh, an, I wouldn't say like an anniversary edition of it, but that's already out, though, in 2013. Plain filtered water out of my pure filter system. That's it, not water, Phil. It's just with the pure charcoal filter? That's not water for the pure charcoal filter. You're drinking Grey Whale Gin in that fucking thermos, and it's you can just smell and taste the botanicals. And I drink the... And his sauce is mostly sugar. Thank you, Tom, for reminding me of that. Telser water is during my first stream, and that has a sugar substitute in it. It's not sugar. So anything without sugar... But it's still a form of a sweetener, though, Phil. You're eating... Not eating, but you're drinking something that has somewhat of an aspartame, artificial sweetener. Which, honestly, it's worse for you. Sugar... Seriously, you will cut so many calories out of your lifestyle and you will not put on that extra weight. It's crazy. Because I used to be, I used to drink uh, coffee and tea all the time with sugar in it and creamer. And then I would drink sugary soda and stuff. And then when I stopped doing that, I said, ooh, perfect. No. Okay, you're perfect, huh? Then why is it that you're having a hard time trying to get up the fucking stairs? Why are you having a hard time, Phil? Do I like country music? No. I love music, guys. Do you like rap? No. Do you like country? No. Do you like metal? No. Do you like K-pop? No. But you but you get some K-pop music for Slayer? No. Ah. Yeah. Trigger community night for Street Fighter Six. At least black black coffee with sugar is actually good. It's a little bit better though. Trigger community night for Street Fighter Six. And just because he's going to do it again. I hate these stupid fucking, like, zoom-ins. It just makes you want to punch him even more. I had to do it twice. Not twice. Not three times. 
But four fucking times. Because I can't stand that shit. It's really annoying. I don't like it when he does the thing. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and be funny, guys. Uh, uh, no. It's like, shut the fuck up. Shut up. I don't like it at all. Did I see the game Squirrel with a Gun? I did. It looks fun. I would play Squirrel with a Gun. Yes, I actually did. I actually did see Squirrel with a Gun um, on Twitter. Or you ever heard of a thing called playing the joke out too long or like just mm, essentially like that? But yeah, that's what you're doing right now. X. Uh, earlier today, I guess I didn't see it, but I saw like a, a, a screen of it, and I was like, a squ "There's actually a game where you control a squirrel, and the squirrel has these powers." Like, beep. honestly, I'm more of a dark roast type of person. Medium dark or dark roast? Give me a good Colombian any day. People up and shoot people. And pause. Please clap. Like, oh, interesting. But I don't. I uh, he dropped uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was because he's trying to focus on all the other RPGs, and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was the least invested in. So he decided to drop that one and go back to it when he's done with all the other ones. See actual gameplay, but I saw like a frame of it. <clears throat> really? Because I saw a video of Squirrel with a gun. It looks fun. And I made a rhyme. Fuck. Ah! If I don't drink soda, how will I make epic drink hacks? I guess I'm just going to have to skip that part of my life. Most people go through an epic drink hack, you know, phase. But I just skipped that entirely. I went right to the old crotchety man phase where I complain about everything, hair goes out of my ears, and my balls sag down to my kneecaps and clack together like one of those perpetual motion machines, the balls clacking. That's what my testicles look like. That wasn't funny, Phil. <laughs> yes, I'm still going. Yeah. Am I excited for Joaquin Phoenix's Joker 2? Oh, uh, I liked the first one. It was creepy. It was very, very well acted. Uh, I don't know how different the second one will be. Consider but in your review of it, though, you kept bringing up diversity for some fucking reason. It's supposed to have Lady Gaga in it, and it's supposed to be a musical. Yeah, it's Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. Honestly, when it comes to the Joker 2, uh, Folie, yeah, Folie de Quoi, or Folie de... Yeah, I think I forgot. Folie du. I don't know how it's going to play out. Like, honestly, I kind of... I'm skeptical when it comes to Joker 2. Like, Lady Gaga is a great singer. But you don't listen to her music, though. So how do you know she's a good singer? I saw her in American Horror Story, and I thought she was just an okay actor, not great. Yeah, she's not a bad actor, though. Or actress, actually. Ah! But she was also in A Star is Born, the one with Bradley Cooper in it. She did a good job there, too. So I don't know how well she'll do in this movie. Then again, I didn't see... I guess she was in a movie, right? It wasn't, like, A Star is Born, and I didn't ever saw that movie, so... I don't yeah, know. which was a remake of a remake of a remake. Which is any good in it. But I don't know what she's going to bring to the table in this movie. <clears throat> well, if it's going to be a musical film, she's going to provide her fucking vocals. Oh, uh, let's see here. I see the dollar tip. Better call Darth Maul. Zero Coke tastes... Yeah, how are you sure? How are you sure she's a lady? Identical to regular Coke these days. Always, ba anyways, baseball season is about to start. Are you excited? It's time for the Yankees and Dodgers to buy another championship. Uh, I haven't followed professional sports in a zillion years. I don't even know who's good at baseball anymore. Because you don't really follow sports at all. You hate sports. Or do I care? But I thank you for the tip. I forgot she was in Gucci too. I used to drink Coke Zero back in the day. We've I thought it tasted to have money. Vanguard nice donated two dollars. Okay, Phil, you're really getting me triggered, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Triggered, bitch. It overly sweet because it had again a <laughs> sugar, Vanguard. sugar substitute that didn't taste like real sugar, so it tasted weird, but not bad. Like it wasn't. All but Phil, artificial sweeteners do not taste that great at all. If it's like stevia, it's still gonna taste kind of off. Awful. Like other su sugar substitute drinks are quite bad, and I didn't think that the Coke Zero tasted that bad. I just I didn't love it, but I didn't think it was terrible either. She was amazing in A Star is Born. She can act when she has to, says Bloom King. Okay. Well, yeah, because she's a performer. She's an entertainer. She would have to do whatever needs necessary. That's... 
No sleep real vibes says I'm eating Wendy's while watching the stream. New spicy chicken sandwich and queso fries. It's disgusting. How dare you tell me that? Why? Because it's fucking Wendy's? Revolting. Do you think superhero or comic book films? Uh, what up, name plays older? Films have been played out? Yes. Wait, have, have what? Revolting. Do you think superhero or comic book films have been played out? Yes. It depends on what you really ask for that, Phil. I will agree that the whole thing with the superhero or comic book movies have been played out a little bit, but there are some movies out there that I'm actually really excited for or I want to see. Like, a good example would be Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I want to see it because I really like the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and I'm excited for Deadpool and Wolverine because I like the Deadpool movies and I like Deadpool as a character. And Ryan Riddles does a really good Deadpool. Who's your favorite football team? I don't have one. I don't follow sports. Yeah, but yet you have a Super Bowl event. Joker is the only good DC comic movie I've seen during the decade. Wonder Woman and the Dark Knight movies were the last great DC movies before Joker. Mm, disagree. Ah! I would say this. Out of all the movies before Joker, I would say the Keaton Batmans, like Bat, the Bat, not the Batman, Batman, Batman Returns, those are great ones. Batman Begins, the Nolan trilogy, is good. The third one, not as good as the first two, but it still did the job done. Wonder Woman did okay, was a good one. Aquaman was a good one for the most part. Shazam's a good one. But the sequels to Shazam and Wonder Woman were eh. Yeah, Joker wasn't really a comic book movie. Agreed, it wasn't. But it was based off of a comic book character, though. Still based around the DC Universe, though. I never saw Wonder Woman. Probably never will. Yeah, you won't because you see Gal Gadot and your wife will hate you. Uh, I did like the Dark Knight trilogy. Oh, also, uh, Justice League. I did not care for Justice League, but the Snyder Cut was a hundred times percent better. Although I think the first one, well, the second one's good too. I didn't really like the third one that much. Kind of boring. Too. Wait, wait, hang on. What? I think the first one probably never will. Uh, I did like the Dark Knight trilogy. Although I think the first one... No, well, the second one's good, too. The second one was good, too. You, you're you hesitating. I didn't really like the third one that much. Kind of boring. Too long and too boring. The third one had its moments where it was good, but at the same time, though, it did a good job with it, though. I would have to rank it as the Dark Knight being the better one out of the trilogy. Third one was just okay. Like, that's what it is, though. It's just okay. Gummy Worm Joker was just a, re a good retelling of the character. Oh, absolutely. Joaquin Phoenix did a really good job as Joker. If you ask me the same question another time, I'm just going to start timing you out. I have like I watched any DC animated movies? I have. But mostly the ones I've seen were mostly the Batman ones. Under the Red Hood was good. John DiMaggio as Joker, he did a really good job with it. Uh, Mask of the Phantasm, one of the older ones with Kevin Conroy's Batman, he did. Re that was a really good fucking movie. Uh, Return of the Joker for Batman Beyond was a good one. Fun fact, never really saw Batman Beyond, but I have seen Return of the Joker, and I liked that movie. It's very dark. I answered you. I don't get But that. I'm trying to think of all the other DC movies I've seen, though. I'm trying to remember them from the top of my head. I did see the one with Batman and Superman, where it was like a crossover, like the original Batman versus Superman, in quotes. But that one was a good one. Joke, either. I just forgot what the name of that one was. But yeah, him saying that the Dark Knight was okay, that's sacrilege. Who's my favorite Spider-Man live action actor? Uh, Tobey Maguire, of course. He's the only one. No one else after him is truly Spider-Man. I will agree with Atlas when he said this. He said that that was a based opinion. It very much was on this whole entire Q&A. Like, oh, Batman versus Robin. I, the killing joke. Oh, God, don't remind me of the killing joke. The killing joke was okay? When you cut off the first part of it, get rid of the first part of it, the killing joke was fine. But the beginning part of that was what really kind of made me go, eh. eh. Ah! I heard Gotham by Gaslight was good. The Long Halloween was good, too. Batman vs. Robin, I heard, was good as well. That's what it was. Batman and Superman Public Enemies. Yep, that was it. Thank you. I, I couldn't remember the name of it. Am I excited for the Elder Ring DLC? Yes. Oh, hang on. I forgot what he said about that. It's truly Spider-Man. But I would say this. Like, all the Spider-Mans, I'm not including the voice actors of it, though, because there's too many voice actors that played Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire was a great Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield does good on his own. Tom Holland does good on their own. 
But I would say this, each actor that played Spider-Man provided their own take of the character, which I really enjoy. I really enjoy it whenever an actor or actress take a hold of a character that is, like, well-loved, and they give it their own spin of it, like Michael Keaton. Like, honestly, I think it was funny, though, with the Oscars, though, you had Arnold Schwarzenegger and also... Danny DeVito going on there and they see Michael Keaton he's like there he is and you just see Michael Keaton just sitting there as Batman and he's like doing yeah come on bring it and it's it's such a great fucking time I love that part of the Oscars like honestly more of that please please clap more of that please Hollywood bring us more award shows when that shit happens because that shit was fire I'm excited for the Elder Ring DLC yeah Andrew Garfield's nerdy look he had a good look of it though but that's what I was saying, though. Like, all the Spider-Mans did really good of their own. Yes. Do I miss E3? You don't even care for E3, so shut up. I thought I had another one. Hold on. Yeah, you had the question mark. Oh, I do! Ah. Do I miss E3? Did I possibly miss E3? No! No, I don't miss E3. It hasn't served a purpose for me. Yeah, how he do you in? <laughs> he killed me with he killed me. He's like, oh, with ice, love. Oh, with heat, love. He threw me out of a window. Many many years. I don't care about it. I'm glad to see it gone. Okay. Okay. I've never. I have Birdman. Like I owned it, but I never saw it. But I heard Birdman was a good movie. We definitely need more lights. Can we just allow Peter Parker to grow up? I want him to. I think that's what the Spider-Man games were made for, but to... Uh, don't talk about two sweet baby eating fucking assholes. Like this. I'm happy to do nights like this. I'm not. I, I think it's that boring. they're fun. The thing is, we're usually so inundated with a million other things, we don't have a chance to do nights like this. So I'm glad I take time out every once in a while to do one. Takes a while to do one, yeah. Oosie. One button dash. We've talked about Hell Divers two a zillion times in the last month. I hey, what's up, War Dog Leader? Welcome to the stream. Please clap. Doesn't miss E three. Yeah, it had a slide and already and always an event for it. Oh yeah, he always did. He always loved talking about E three. But as soon as that happened, gone. I don't know where you've been. Sorry, the only Birdman that I'm thinking of, Nerd Brew, it's Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. That's a great series, but I know it's not DC. Do I do any mix drink mix combos? I don't know what that means. I guess not, because that's just, I don't know what... Watchmen is a good one, or Watchmen is a good movie as well. The guy who played Rorschach did a really good job. He, honestly, he was like the best part of that whole entire movie was Rorschach. And also, uh, Jeffrey D. Morgan as the comedian. Like, it was really good. But some people probably didn't like it because it's Zack Snyder. I know some people have a disdain for him, but... Uh, it's, eh. What it means, I guess the answer is no. Or, oh, hold on. I guess, since I don't know what it means, I guess the answer is no. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Do I miss major game stream showcases where they would show, shun a ton of games at once rather than a separate one-hour streams for a single game? Uh, when did they start doing one-hour streams for a single game? I don't think I've ever seen ever one-hour stream covering only one game. Even the Starfield expose last year wasn't wasn't an hour for one game, was it? Shorter than that. I know what you're saying. Do I miss that? An E3, Xbox would do their big showcase. Sony would do their big showcase. Nintendo would either do a showcase or their Tree Tree House of Horrors video. Uh, EA. I'm just going to do this. Because I know what he's trying to do when it comes to the whole thing with the Nintendo Treehouse thing, which nobody really cared for Nintendo Treehouse, but Nintendo Direct was better. Like, I get what he was trying to say with that, though, but again, it's not funny. Bethesda, yeah, I mean, it was nice to have all of that centralized. At the same time, it's fine for them to do their own stuff whenever they want. That way you get it over the time rather than all condensed into one, you know? Okay. I received a $2 tip. It's Mr. Game Master. I have something to say about Capcom. I got to give them credit for learning from their failures like Street Fighter V and Resident Evil 3 Remake. And they went to, on to masterpieces like Resident Evil 4 Remake and 2 Remake. Well, 2 Remake came out, came out before 3, for the record. Let's hope Dragon's Dogma 2 is amazing. Okay. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Game Master, for the tip. I love how he had to correct. He was like, oh, two came up before three. Well, no fucking shit, asshole. Ah. It's <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Okay. I'm following online trends. No. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Cat had no interest in coming on here tonight. When's the last time I called my parents? Last weekend, I call them every weekend. You don't call your parents. Shut the fuck up. Get them caught up on everything going on. Yeah, I love the fact that he's like, I catch up with everything. My parents, I call them every weekend. Why? For money? Glob, glob? Choo choo. Mm -mm. Slayer, I do not envy you. And you're fasting during Ramadan. I do not envy you at all because you eat once a day, right? So, Ramadan? Not Ramadan! That would be rough. That would, you know, and the thing is, I don't gorge myself or whatever. But basically, I, when I get up in the morning, I'll usually wash up or shower, you know. I kindly doubt that you fucking shower. I think you shower like once every two weeks. And then do some errands and things around the house, and then I'll make myself, right before I go to stream, I'll make myself my breakfast, which is usually like a bagel, or even some cream cheese, or something else like that. Similar. I don't think that you eat a bagel with cream cheese. I think you just order yourself a burrito, and you eat that really quick, and you go on there. Blur with a coffee, right? Then I'm on stream, and I don't eat again till dinner, which is like, you know, 4.35 p.m. So you figure, I'm eating roughly around like maybe 10 in the morning, and then I don't eat again till 4.35, you're talking that's like a seven hour differential. All right. Then after that, I don't eat until maybe late at night, but it's more like having the lunch. My, my eating's out of order. I have breakfast, dinner, lunch instead of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Phil, you're still doing that though. It doesn't, that, that just doesn't make any fucking sense. Ah! I, I do breakfast, dinner, and lunch. That doesn't make any fucking sense, Phil. It's still considered as a lunch though. I have breakfast, dinner, lunch because my middle meal is my big meal of the day. Uh-huh, but that could be considered a lunch. You could say that you had a big lunch, so? And at night, I usually have, like, a... He said he'd get up and take a shower, but yeah, he doesn't brush his teeth. Yeah, he's very disgusting. Why do you think that his teeth look all... Bleh? A night snack or something like that. Uh, like a sandwich or something like that. You know, depending on what we have in the house. So... He has no idea how Ramadan works. Like, fasting would be a different thing with it, though. But you don't have to fast to, set, like, do anything for a Ramadan. Uh, yeah. Rad, rad, rad man. <laughs> now I'm reminded of that fucking family guy bit where it's making fun of a uh, naked gun. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. Why? I had no idea. An opposite. But I mean, basically between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m., I eat like three times. To only eat once a day is wild. Like, man, I'd probably be starving by halfway through the day. There are some people that can actually do that, Phil. They have one big fucking meal after they're done. Most people that work out a lot, they'll eat one big meal and then they're done and they're set. Or they'll just eat a lot due to the fact that they're burning a shitload of calories. How would I feel if I didn't eat breakfast? Probably. Does he even get what breakfast means? <laughs> I don't think he does. Tired. Because you, you're, you're a lack of energy, right? Your body's looking for that energy boost in the morning. If you don't give it, and it has nothing to run on, and you probably feel real tired out, right? And there are some people that actually can fast, and they can actually do everything around the house. They can do a lot of errands, though, Phil. They can do that problem is that you just don't seem to understand that at all plus a lot of people that do i don't know if this counts as breaking a fast if you drink a protein shake i don't know if that counts as breaking a fast or not but i do know that, that some people they do drink like water and they drink like something that they add to the water like lemon that can help out with it but i'm not sure if that's breaking fast though i could be entirely wrong mm. oh breakfast is always the important meal of the day did you ever play any city builder games? No, not really. I thought you said you played simulator games, Phil. And all of a sudden you're like, nope, oh, nope, I don't play them. Even back in the day, like SimCity and stuff like that, I didn't really do anything with. Like I said, I used to play like Age of Empires and stuff like That's that. That's still a city builder game, Phil. Yeah, but never into the real city sim. Do you know? Did you know you eat to gain energy? Oh my god, science, bitch! Ah! <laughs> I just, I just imagine going, Jesse is like, yeah, science! I have no idea what Hollow Live Hollow Fez is, so I can't comment on that. VTubers. Player says you can eat when it's time to break the fast around 7 plus until 5, about 5 plus, then you cannot eat. You mean PM. You mean PM, right? Not plus. So you can only eat the once a day at seven around 7 p.m. Ooh, that's rough. You 
What's my thoughts on Prime Video not putting ads on regular shows and doing a more expensive tier? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's illegal, but I don't think anyone's going to sue them for it. Because if you're already in a subscription service and you paid a certain amount of money for that service, all of a sudden that service decides to change its terms. Yeah, he, he's never touched Age of Empires. He has not done that. That's why I said the whole thing with City Builders. That's the whole thing. It always contradicts himself. He's never played Age of Empires. But he couldn't even get through fucking Donkey Kong 64. Yeah. They have to notify you. That yeah, big ups to all the VTubers that were making fun of fucking Phil. Big ups to those people. That change? And you should have to approve it. Then they can make... Oh, it's never illegal. But Phil likes to say, it's illegal. Change. Not they just make the change too bad. If you don't like it, cancel. But I already paid you for the annual membership. Like, I paid for Amazon Prime. So it's not like I could change in the middle. You're not going to give me a prorated refund because I canceled my Prime. I paid for the year. I'm stuck with it for the year. And now you're changing the service halfway through my service term. That's illegal. No, it's not, Phil. It's policy. That's what they're doing with that, Phil. If you cancel it within the middle of the year, you still have that year's worth until the year is done. It's not illegal, Phil. For God's sakes, you don't know jack shit about anything that has to do with law or how business operates. Ah! Really? That's illegal. So I think that if someone actually sued them for it... I've been streaming for way too long. Like a class action, they would win. No, they would not. Because they would look at it and be like, Really? You're expecting a refund for canceling a membership halfway through? Yeah, get the fuck out of my court. So I don't know how they think they're going to get away with it. You know, if they had said when it came time for everyone to renew their Prime membership for the year, and then they said in your new year, now there'll be ads on your content, that would have worked. But they just decided to flip a switch and do it for everyone, which you cannot do. Yes, you can, Phil. They always send out a notification that says, oh, hey, we're doing some changes to our service. They always do that, Phil. But the problem is you don't look into it. Instead, once you look into it and you see an ad, you're like, what? What? That, that, that's illegal. What? That's stupid. Please clap. Yeah. Ah. So. When? It fucked up. They can't, you, you know, I do think it's pretty much illegal to do what they did. And they think they can just get away with it because they're Amazon. I think they got a rude awakening coming. Fuck off, Phil. Just fuck the fuck off with that statement. Take a sip of your Coke and shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, Wendy's chili is disgusting. Don't ever eat it. I've told you a million times on stream, don't get it. It's really gross. Yeah, but then again, who really cares about that, though, Phil? I would just say make your own damn chili, but you just order it straight out anyway. Guitar player Star Wars Battlefront is not functional. If you find a match and you get in it, it's laggy as shit. You're teleporting everywhere. You shoot people point blank. It doesn't work. It's basically not fun to play at all. Uh-huh. For I you. I guarantee you they'll probably fix it within, like, you know, a few months. And by then, the player base will already have moved on and not give two shits. It's just not a playable game right now. It's a waste of time. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> uh, I don't know anything about Wawa Pizza. I've never... I haven't been to a Wawa since I was like a kid. Wawa. <laughs> I don't think he has any Wawas in here. It's more like an East Coast thing. And they don't have them on... Not, I'm not sure about Wawa because I've never been to a Wawa. I heard it was like an East Coast thing. The West Coast. No, oh, no, no shit, you never been to that one, even though you lived in a place where they probably had one. What do you think of The Sims 4 on stream? Been there, done that. When it was new, I played it. Mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna fact check that really quick. Hmm. He has played The Sims. He had Hunter Sims, and he also had the regular Sims co-op. I believe he played that with Leanna. I'm not... Yeah, it looks like he played with Leanna. He also played the demo. And it's just... Eh, I, I'm not looking... For, I'm not looking into that at all. Ah! I did a run where I did, like, me simulated in the game. And then I did a run where I made, like, a fantasy character. So I did, like, two different sim runs in the game. And then that was it. There was nothing else to do in it. So I never played it again. But yet, you had Leanna do it for that as well. And also, I remember this as well. You said that it doesn't have a player base anymore. And that it was dying off. Yet it has a great, a good fucking player base. And the DLCs are constantly adding on more content. So, that's where you're wrong again with that, Phil. Oh, interesting. Slayer says, I heard plans maybe Chick-fil-A will open in Singapore soon. 
Amazing chicken sandwiches. I mean, I've only had them like two times, but the two- Amazing sandwiches! Only had it twice. Two times I had them, I absolutely love them. Excuse me. I should check out Spider-Man No Way Home and give it a review. Yeah, I never did. Never uh, did. Because never bothered with it. Never did because my wife doesn't like Marvel movies because her ex forced her to watch the movies while I forced her to come on streams. What I do is fine. But what he did was wrong. Again, I'm, I'm well, guys, welcome to the stream. Please clap. I'm kind of like marveled out. I don't really care. The last Marvel movie that I think I watched and cared was like Infinity War, like the two Infinity War movies. I don't think you've seen. Nope. I don't think you've ever seen the Infinity War movies, just due to the fact that. The last one I do remember him watching was Civil War. That was the Captain America movie. Just because, and he reviewed it, and it was a bad fucking review. I don't think he's ever seen Infinity War or Endgame at all. Because that was during a time whenever he was going out with Cat. And Cat didn't want to watch Marvel movies. And that's it. Like, I don't think I even saw another one after that. Now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> DSP can't play the Sids. It's too, it's too sexy. Ah. Especially with the woohoos. I, I watched, um... I watched the Scarlet Witch show that was on WandaVision. Uh, Disney Plus. I can't remember what it was called now. The one where she was like sucked into a TV show or whatever. It was her getting over the uh, the loss of vision. That was the whole entire premise of WandaVision. There, I saved y'all a bunch of time because WandaVision was eh. So I saw that. <clears throat> but outside of that, I don't think I've seen a, a Marvel thing since. I have not seen a single Marvel movie. I just don't care about them. And apparently no one else does either, because they just keep flopping now, right? They're just doing horribly. Yeah, the only one that I know that didn't really flop was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. That one didn't flop. No, we're not doing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth tomorrow. Why are you asking that? I've already explained that the schedule now is we're going to be doing Baldur's Gate 3 on day streams, and Like a Dragon on night streams. Only exception is the React Day on Sunday. Well, we're doing that nonstop till those games are done. Then one week from today... And no, she was not sucked into a show. No, she was not. It was just her creating a reality where she was getting over the loss of vision. It's it's sad. It's fucking sad that even I, I've seen it once and I don't remember anything of it except for the fact that it was her getting over the, the fact that she was getting over vision. That's the only thing I remember. Please clap. And I heard Echo was not that bad either. I think the only dare, like the only shows I've watched that were Marvel related that I really enjoyed was Daredevil. I loved all three seasons of Daredevil. Jessica Jones first season, the other seasons didn't care for. Iron Fist didn't care, didn't watch it. Uh, what was it? Luke Cage didn't watch it. Defenders didn't watch it, but I needed to get around to watching it. And that was mostly it, though. Punisher I watched the first season, enjoyed some of it for what it was worth. Second season I didn't watch it. But I need to fix that. Werewolf by Night was great. That, that's a good one. Please clap. New game, and we have to choose if it's e Peter Piper Pizza. I don't No, I have not heard of Peter Piper Pizza. I'm not sure about that one. Either going to be Dragon's Dog. Wait, there was a Malcolm. I forgot there was a Malcolm in the Middle tribute to that. I did not know that. To or Rise of the Ronin. <clears throat> yeah, ever. I, I wouldn't say since Infinity War. I would say after Endgame. That's when the movies kind of tanked. And those are going to be, well, Bill. that's going to be played on long. Daredevil is Marvel. That it is, um, oh, what was it? Matt Murdock. He is a DC, not DC. He's a Marvel character. And Charlie Cox did a really good job as Daredevil. But then you also had Ben Affleck, which, on eh. Launch day. And then after that, we're weeding. No, there's Daredevil. You, the one character you're probably thinking of that was probably DC was Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's name originally was from DC. But then Marvel took control of that, and Captain Marvel became Shazam. And we're beating the other two games first, and then we're going to heavily play the new game. I have no plans whatsoever right now for Final Fantasy VII. I don't even know when we're getting back to it. Yeah, Daredevil was on Netflix, but now it's on Disney Plus now, because Netflix took it off uh, of their, of their I was going to syndication or on their streaming side of it. So now it's on Disney Plus. Still the same, though. I just don't care because my audience doesn't care. Again. Oh, Vin yeah, Vincent D'Onofrio did a really good job as uh, Wilson Fisk. He did a really good job. Least attended, least engaged, incredibly low supported game. No, it's not a problem, Sh Sheltark. It's not a problem with that, though. 
Some people, when they look into the like, comic book characters, they'll think, oh, that's from DC. No, that's from Marvel. And it's kind of confusing at times. And what's Captain Marvel is bo so boring as a character. Especially due to the fact that Brie Larson plays a terrible Marvel. Please clap. Funny thing is, I was expecting that for Like a Dragon, not for Final Fantasy VII. So, again, it's a symptom of RPG overload. <clears throat> Eh, I would say the the Spider Verse version of Fisk. He wasn't a bad. He did a good job. But yeah, I heard that they made Fisk kind of. Eh. Uh, I received a dollar tip. Marvel Man, Captain Marvel, Shazam. There's a mess with all these names of characters. Oh, absolutely. I completely understand it. Better call Darth. Better call Darth Maul. What do you think about the Don Lemon situation? He did an interview with Elon Musk on Twitter and got fired afterward. Speaking of, are you interested in the same interview? Which comes out in the said interview, which comes out on YouTube on Monday. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know who Don Lemon is. I have no idea what he's talking about either. Maybe someone could, uh, someone could clarify me on this one. <laughs> who the fuck is Don Lemon? I never, I, who cares about that? I never heard of him. What does that have to do with me? All I know is Don DeLuise. Hey, uh, how about let me ask you a question? What do you think about uh, Joe Spaboni? Huh? Any comments, any comments on Joe Spumoni? The fuck are you doing? What do you here, mean bro? you don't know who Joe Spumoni is? He lives right up the street. You don't have any comments? <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna look this up. Who the fuck? I. He is a TV journalist. Don Lemon. He worked. Oh, he was a um. He was a host on CNN from 2014 to 2013. And he, uh, apparently, okay. Uh, Don Lemon's show is canceled. Ex-CNN host says Elon Musk is mad. Oh, okay. Don Lemon puts a squeeze on Elon Musk for canceling his ex-partnership. Good soldier. Okay, that, that makes sense. I don't know who that is. Who the fuck is Don Lemon? Or, or, who the fuck is that? Journalist. <clears throat> Who is Don DeMarco? Don DeMarco. Oh, he was a CNN guy. How could I have not possibly known about some CNN guy? Who the fuck cares? Yeah, <laughs> who, who the fuck cares? It couldn't be the fact that he's urban. It couldn't be me. <laughs> who cares about that? Of course. It shows how out of touch Phil really is. Oh, let's see. Slayer uh, says, yeah, I don't know if they would be halal, halal friendly. Probably not. I wouldn't think so. Full I don't full. think that Chick-fil-A would care about that. They, uh, you know, like you said, they're a Christian-owned company. They probably would not care about being halal friendly. Okay. And? Come on. Hello, Phil. Hello? Phil, hello? Hello? Are you there, Phil? <laughs> You laughed. Ha ha. Hello. Are you there? Say something, fucktard. I like to put melted American slices on my fried bologna sandwich. Yeah, he said that he was. But I don't want him to. Then I dip it in ketchup and I mix it with mustard. So essentially you're making a ch like a cheese dog. What? With your sandwich. It's like a cheese dog sandwich. Because, I mean, bologna is very similar to the flavor of like an Oscar Mayer hot dog. Phil, you could just say that you had a grilled, che a grilled bologna cheese sandwich. So... <laughs> I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, why wouldn't you like that? Those are flavors that go together, right? Congrats on finishing Chapter 4 in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Iron Man. Congrats. Who cares? Could you Marine DSP in a Fallout world? What should you name the horse your family's getting you for graduation? Fear and Loathing. That's what you should call it. Why, don't fe know why. why fear and loathing? Are you trying to say fear and loathing in Las Vegas? Slayer says the clip from Whose Line Is It Anyway didn't get blocked on YouTube just batched during the stream. Oh, I got matched but not blocked. It got I it, I couldn't monetize it. Any anything from any shows, I, they always get matched, and I can't monetize it. Well, no shit, Phil. The reason why it's copyrighted, you know, more and more increasing. Like I can't even play this Star Wars game I played today. Every video got got claimed. Well, no shit. It was copyrighted music for the Star Wars series. 
So if I continue to play the game... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, grilled ham and cheese sandwich. I would never make any money on the videos. I have to rely on people on the streams, which is horseshit, quite frankly. Uh, YouTube's just getting worse and worse and worse with this. How is it getting worse and worse? Why? By following copyright? That's not... Following... Oh, god damn it. That's all wrong with this! Ah! It's gonna, it's gonna come to the point where, like, half the videos uploaded to YouTube get claimed by some bullshit company who thinks they own the world when they don't. They don't understand fair use. They don't give a shit. You don't understand fair use at all. You think that buying a video game means you own the license to it. You know, it's fucking ridiculous. I received a generous $10 tip that is our biggest tip of the night. $10. From Guitar Player. He says, I'm sorry Star Wars didn't work out. I'm not surprised that a multiplayer game doesn't work at launch. It, it's, it's a really, really bad, sad attempt. Phil, all games, if you're involved online multiplayer or just multiplayer in general, will not generally work well at launch. You might get lucky and it might work. Or it doesn't work and it needs to be updated at trying to get those games to be to, to be played again uh they really needed to put more effort in i don't know what happened how it's that. yeah i think it's funny though bill how he's like he's blaming youtube for this he's blaming youtube for copyright law it's like phil you make me angry phil oh uh, you take care heather i hope everything goes well for you bad honestly like i said I, there's no way that they tested that and didn't realize it was unplayable like the moment you get to someone's face and you fire a gun and it passes through their body 700 times and then maybe two shots connect and the damage registers like two seconds late. Phil, the reason why you didn't go through or it quote unquote went through the body is just because you have Stormtrooper aim. I'm repeating myself with this. Like, what the fuck? The moment you're trying to play and your character literally starts wobbling in place and just j jumps all around the screen going da 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 I mean... Now, how can you say that's a multiplayer experience, right? Yeah, like, that's that's a bunch of fucking like <laughs> mushmouth gin talk. Thank you, J J B. There's nothing profound to say, but you keep going despite a lot of setbacks. Keep it going. Keep it go. Keep it up, and it should work out. I think you'll enjoy games more now. Once I get through these RPGs I'm playing, and we get more more variety and refreshing things, I think things are going to be fine. I do I do believe that. Glob, glob, glob. Oh, I'm taking a sip of my Coke that I claimed I don't drink off screen. Mm, yummy. Chew. You liked my Yoda songs. There you go. I did not. I was doing my horrible Yoda impression voice and just singing wildly as I played in the lag. Because you thought it was funny. And you're playing in lag. No, I've never built a Gundam model, nor do I have any plans to. Yeah, what's wrong with Gunpla, Phil? It's a nice hobby. Especially if you know what you're doing. I'm not into Gundams at all. Any fun oh, you're not into Gundams because it's a Gundam. Fun times I had when I was 25, I have no idea. I'm, I'm 41 now. I don't remember specifically when I was 25. Am I quitting like a dragon too? No, I said... Oh, my God. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Oh, boo fucking who, Phil. How many times do I have to repeat myself? You just did. Again. Oh. Anyway. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> he he doesn't repeat himself saying it's not canceled and he just keeps going. Connor says, I just want to say I love your streams. I don't chat that much, but I do listen to your podcast every day at work. Keep it up. Thank you to Connor. Appreciate that. That's a sad thing though, because some people remember what happened when they were twenty five though, but I think it's due to the fact that DSP keeps drinking way too much. He forgets a lot of memories that he has when he was in his younger days. That's a nice positive message. Yeah, not everybody comes to the start of the streams, or not everybody watches the Level 1 fucking podcast. No, I've only saw Deadpool 1. I never saw Deadpool 2. Yeah, he drops Final Fantasy. Uh, no, I don't want Rebirth spoilers. I please. Yeah, he drops Final Fantasy 7, which makes him more money, but then all of a sudden keeps like a dragon, like, infinite wealth. That doesn't really make him a whole lot of money. No, because I might eventually play it. I might end up, like, turboing through just the story and not doing the open world side content. Just to see the story. We'll see. So please, no spoilers. Don't spoil it, even though he'll look up a oh, guide. Uh, uh. Johnny Retro took the dollars. Has ever thought about having fans on your stream and playing games together? I don't do co-op. Like, I've already explained a million times why co-op doesn't work. 
I tried doing co-op streams in the past and people hated them because I didn't have time to interact with those who were here with me. People prefer a social stream where I talk with you guys while we play games. To, or I feel like almost it's like a group effort when we're playing a game because we're talking while I'm playing it a lot of the times. No, Phil, all this shit right there, this just makes no fucking sense. How are you having a social interaction when you're not talking with anybody? Instead, you're just talking to yourself and you're thinking that people are following along with the discussions that you're saying and no one's following along. If you had someone with you, like you did in the past, that actually helps you out with the games and they play games with you, it would be a more fun, interactive time. But you don't have that. Because you have no friends. You know, I won't understand. So I have seen absolutely nothing from yesterday, and I hear Twitter whispers that he's dropping Final Fantasy VII and is upset with other YouTubers for his failing metrics. Need to finish games, but no night game. No, you're absolutely right, Jed. So he did drop Final Fantasy VII for now. He's trying to focus on finishing Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, and Baldur's Gate 3. Yesterday, he played Star Wars Classic, the classic collection for Battlefront, but he didn't like it. He dropped it, and he did his stupid Q Night stream when he could have played an RPG like Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth to get further in the story, but decided to do a Q&A instead. Please clap. TLDR. I've seen a game mechanic, someone will explain it to me, and that's kind of part of the fun. If I'm playing with other people in a team, all I'm doing is focused with interacting with that team to, 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 you know, complete the objective of the game. And people don't like that. I tried it with Destiny 2. I tried it with Apex Legends. I you didn't try it with any of this. And you actually had someone that was a partner with you for Apex Legends, but you weren't cooperative. I tried it with Zombies in Call of Duty and other games. I call bullshit. No one liked it. People said stop doing it, so I stopped. Guys, I'm super desperate to finish playing Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon has a random cute, random night stream open up. Now I just waste two enough to, two hours talking pish. Ah! Pretty much. And yes, about to be eight hours. Oh no, okay, don't remind him of that. Do I ever plan on playing any Final Fantasy games before 7 or bringing back the King of Retro series? Uh, I, I own the Final Fantasy 7, uh... Wait, huh? What? Huh? The retro series. Uh, I, I own the Final Fantasy 7, uh, Pixel Remaster collection. The Final Fantasy 7 Pixel Collection, uh huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? You what? Marcus. Phil, that's the Pixel Remaster collection that has 1 through 6, not 7. Although, granted, it would be kind of interesting to see Final Fantasy VII in a pixelized form. It would be an interesting little fan project someone could do. I bought the whole collection. So far, I've played five, because that was the one that I never did a playthrough for you guys of before. And it gave us some great moments where you're banning people for spamming the pride flag. But it's more modernized of the ones that I haven't. And the cherries. I liked doing that. Would I like to go back and play more of them? Yes. Now, what would I play? Well, if you want nostalgia, four or six. Four or six are my favorites. And I've, I've replayed up! both. Like, I've played both on YouTube before, but I haven't done it anytime soon. I think, like, each playthrough, like, is maybe, like, 10 years old, if not more. So it would be cool to do the Pixel remaster. <clears throat> the Pixel remaster versions with widescreen HD graphics and everything. I think that would be really neat. <clears throat> but I don't know when we would do that. Again, we're already in RPG overload. We've got no. Sea of Stars that we're just around halfway through, and it's on hiatus. Phil, you are not halfway close to beating Sea of Stars. At most, you are like barely close to a quarter, maybe close to a third. You are nowhere close to beating that halfway so that fight too. God damn it, Phil. Ah! We've got RPGs that I now need to try to push through and finish before we can go to more hey, RPGs that are in limbo angry, and more new Phil. RPGs coming out. The last thing I'm thinking about is, hey, when can I bring back a retro RPG game into the mix? That's ridiculous. Maybe long term, though. Well, Phil, the most of the retro RPGs are shorter. Yeah. Okay, anything else, guys? Any other topics? No, no interest in Dune. I believe the original Dune movie... I had to watch when I was in uh, college, you know, my university days. And what did you have to learn in your college days in business school? I was in a actual, like, pop culture class. I think the last time I remember it, though, I got to the other island, though. And I had, uh, let's see, there's... 
I got my fifth party member, but I'm not going to spoil it for those that hadn't played it. I had the I have the fifth party member, and I'm on the other island though. I'm trying to go to the other uh, dweller. Yes, they had that, and we had to watch several different movies. One was Blade Runner, and one was Dune. And Dune, much like Blade Runner, I found incredibly boring. I fell asleep halfway through it. I couldn't stay awake watching it. And I remember, I've seen it as a kid, too, because I remember certain scenes in it. Yeah, you remember certain scenes, but what is Dune? I just never liked it. I always thought it was crappy. But maybe it's that was just me when I was younger. Maybe if I were to see Dune today, I would like it. Mm, but you won't, though, Phil. You'll still find it boring. But then again, now... Phil forgot he already played Final Fantasy IV and VI back in 2019. Whatever happened to... It's better to just react to my old content to just play the whole entire game entirely problem with this though if it's a retro game he has no problem going back to do a quote-unquote second run and it's just pathetic they have the new dune so i don't know if i would watch the new dune i heard the new dune was actually not that bad i heard it was pretty good i don't know that's what he's trying to do nightmare inc you're absolutely correct i don't know Am I excited for... G the original Dune, the first... Not Dune, not the original Dune. The first Blade Runner movie was really good. The director's cut is the best version of that movie. And then 2049 is really good. James Gunn's new rebooted DC Universe movie started... Pigman says there's too many RPGs. He's going to play Rise of the Road in an action RPG. Or Dragon's Dogma 2. Because apparently he has it up to for a poll, up to debate with his dents. Superman next year. Well, this is a big interesting question. Because what you have to realize... No! No, I'm not excited for it. <laughs> okay. Glob, 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 not funny. Didn't laugh. I, <coughs> uh, I received a dollar tip. From Better Call Darth Maul, have you reached the Golden Saucer yet? No. The reason I ask is because did you know you can experience a fantastic, whimsical, romantic gondola ride with Barrett? That would be neat. No. Well, also, not Jesus Christ, hang on. I, I saw what Jet said. like, $1,367 in one night. Jesus Christ. Wasting all that money on a, a fucking mobile game that provides nothing. Close, I'm in part, I'm in Juno. Not, not a problem, Dashie. We're about to do, next time I play the game, whenever that is, which could be weeks now, uh, we're just going to do the Junon story. Because I finally finished the Junon uh, open world. I was supposed to do the next Fort Condor mission, but now I don't know when we're playing it again because... I have to finish other RPGs to make room for RPGs. So yeah, that's your fault, Phil. You chose them. You've got to have money. Mokinus donated two pounds. Tell Jad about how you got tree good. Go on. <laughs> tree good. No, I don't wanna. Ah, fuck. Oh man, why, 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 why? I don't even remember where he was talking about this. I don't even remember at all. That's the sad part about it. But hang on, let's see. Let's see. Du, 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 du. All right. Let me see when I can find that. It's a matter of they don't want too much. Is I've played it a million times. I don't give two shits about. Fun. Okay. Wait. Gamer of anything with Street Fighter. I ignored all the. I don't even Actually, remember it out, where. It was a huge mess, so I played a few of the games. I think you're saying you like the fact that surrounded by non-stop RPGs in every direction. Control it at all. She'll just do it. I don't even Play remember it. as good as the original. And going to other people's... Um, it's just a real shit show. They fucked up the thing totally. It's a total mess. I have no idea when we're going back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, nor am I really too concerned about it. I had no idea there's a it, transcript. It shows up. The engagement is incredibly low. People obviously are not interested in it that much on this channel. Ah, uh, here it's, it is. You know, old Final Fantasies. Chrono Trig. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! God damn it, why? Why I find it now? Fuck me. Mario Brothers. Classic Zelda. Um, you know, old Final Fantasies, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger! <laughs> Chrono Trigger! Jed, I have to ask, have you ever heard anyone say Trigger like Trigger? Right. Classic Zelda. Um, you know, old Final Fantasies, Chrono Trigger. That kind Chrono of Trigger! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, no. Kronos to Eager. Classic Zelda. Um, you know, old Final Fantasies, Chrono Trigger. Trigger. Final Fantasies, Chrono Trigger. Tree. <laughs> Chrono Trigger. God damn it. Hang on. I gotta go back to where I was originally. Yeah. Where was I? Uh... <laughs> I'll, I'll go back here. Oh, there we go. I found it. There we go. There, that's where I'm at. Intriguing or interesting spin on the word makes me think that Phil would say the N word in a similar way to avoid a whooping. Ah. I think he would. No. Yeah. Yeah. Final fantasy. <laughs> Chrono tweak. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of that. Good evening, Venom Snake. How are you tonight? No. No. Do I have interest in the Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age remaster? Do you really think that right now, when I'm experiencing what I have termed RPG overload, Shut up, playing Phil. too many games that are RPGs at once, that the last thing on my mind, or the the right the tip of my mind, is to play Final Fantasy XII? You think? Let me, let me, what do you think? I'll answer your question with a question. You think I'm really thinking about playing Final Fantasy XII right now when this is the situation that I'm in? Well, allow me to answer your question. Ready? Hold on. Hang on. Am I considering... Yes, we're actually playing Final Fantasy XII starting tomorrow. We're dropping everything. We're clearing the schedule. Final Fantasy XII Remake tomorrow here on DSP Gaming. Everything else is, is off. We're canceling all of the play. Excellent. Thank you for the idea. I'm sure this will save the channel. <laughs> yeah, Phil suddenly speaking like a Latino. Ahuevi! <laughs> okay. Ahuevi! Yeah, you think that he thinks he's being We've funny with this. We've got to have money. Hoff the donated five Canadian dollars. I summon the power of the peaches. You've been streaming for too long. Underscore I Vega Gold Peach Colon Underscore I Vega Gold Peach Colon Underscore I Vega Gold Peach. I love how he even tells you the name of the whole thing. He's like, I Vega Gold Peach, I Vega Gold Peach, I Vega Gold Peach. Hold on. Ah. You know, it's been too long since you do a stream. Then it's like, oh, hey, let's just restart the stream. Let's just let's restart the stream. Let, let's, let's do it. All right, the stream, <laughs> the stream has been restarted. Let's go back. Underscore. He admits the business. Have I tried Wendy's secret. Yes, he has revealed that the business is failing. Menu items. I don't even know what they are. You know what? Let's do that. I'm I'm speeding this fucker up. I'm going to. I'll 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 do this first. I haven't had regular Wendy's regular menu items in uh, ages. I can tell you the last time I was out of Wendy's. I don't remember. You felt you door dash Wendy's because you were craving a Baconator. Shut it. So, no. I've not tried them. I don't know anything about where YouTube is headed or anything like that. I haven't paid attention. You know, since their, their other CEO quit. Remember, she, like, retired or whatever? I'm not sure what she did when she was CEO to begin with. I don't think she did much of anything. Um, But then she retired and the next guy stepped up or whatever. And, uh... Is he talking about YouTube? I don't even know what's happened since. I'm not really following. I wish that YouTube would keep everyone in, in the know, but they oh, don't yes. really at all. So I have no Well, idea. you already saw some of the changes that were already implemented. The whole thing about harding the tweets and the like, not tweets, harding the super chats, liking the super chats, and also the gifting of the memberships. Ah! Idea. Well, I think we went back in time a little bit. Am I not a James Gunn fan? I'm a fan of James Gunn as the director of Suicide Squad. Excuse me. I'm a fan of James Gunn as the director of Guardians of the Galaxy. And that's he was a he was the director of the Suicide Squad, Phil. He did a really good job, too. That's about it. That's the only work I ever saw of his at one point, and I loved it. 
And then as soon as he started doing other things, like Peacemaker, don't like it. You never liked it, though, even though Peacemaker is actually really well done. Suicide Squad movie he made, don't like it. You don't like the Suicide Squad movie? Get fuck out of here, Phil. Shut the fuck up! Phil, you make me angry, Phil! That was a major fucking improvement over the first Suicide Squad movie. But it stands to reason I'm not going to like anything else he's doing either. I don't know how... Basically, like, so Guardians of the Galaxy is this idea. Right? Let's do the Marvel superhero movie, but let's actually make it over the top funny. And it worked. Right? But then when you literally do that with everything else you do, it just doesn't become fun or special anymore. It's just... Phil, it's following by James Gunn. The way that James Gunn writes his stories, he has his own style to it. And it works. That's why people like Peacemaker. That's why they like the Suicide Squad. The same formula rehashed, it's not as good in my opinion. How do you know it's the same fucking formula, Phil? Like, being honest. Like then again, Phil... I don't think you would have realized that that one scene with Harley Quinn, where it's like the flower effect, where it looked trippy as fuck, that's a callback to Lollipop Chainsaw, something that he wrote. I feel like <clears throat> the first idea was good, but then the entire 99% uh, of Peacemaker wasn't funny to me. It was bad humor. It was puns and cheesy attempts at, at laughs that didn't work. Oh, so your attempts of humor and cheap laughs is funnier than Peacemaker? I'm sorry. Put scat humor in front of a fucking like a fucking uh, crowd of people at a comedy club. You get kicked off the fucking stage. Put Peacemaker in front of that. Oh, it'd be fucking hilarious. There were a few times that I thought things were funny, but for the most part, entire characters that didn't even make sense. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds has the same formula, like, but Peggy won't like it. Nope. And wasn't funny at all. I was like, you know, I just it drives me nuts. So I just uh. But so anyway, um, no, I just don't like the stuff that he's doing. Honestly, um, I think that's too samey. What do you know that's samey? What is he doing that's samey there, Phil? Provide examples of it. You're not providing any examples. All that we're hearing from you is that, oh, I didn't like Peacemaker. I didn't like the Suicide Squad. What is samey? Oh, I'm not going to tell you. I just don't like it. Made it the fuck up. Ah! I do. I do. It's way too samey. And he needs to maybe do more variety. Now he's in charge of the whole DC universe, correct? And it's like, what are you going to do with this? Or is every now, is every thing he does gonna have to be like Guardians of the Galaxy? Why is every single thing like that? He's not a director, Phil. He's a fucking goddamn, pr like, head of everything. So whoever they get to do any of these movies, it's entirely up to the director. God damn it, Phil, you're a fucking idiot. I don't like that at all. So I definitely hope that we'll move forward with different stuff in the DC Universe, but honestly, I'm not invested in it. Like, I'm just not. I casually watch some of it, but I don't really care that much about it, so I'm not really invested or caring. <clears throat> <laughs> you just don't care about it overall because you think that, oh, hey, they have jokes in it that I don't like. It's not funny. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I feel like I'm just in, in total burnout of the whole superhero thing. I don't really care that much anymore. I think he did like that, Dice. I think he did. Right? 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 It's just blowing into the fucking mic. Way back you're forth. trying to tip me but none of my moderators are responding to you what do you what do you need a moderator to respond to you to tip me because most of the time you either don't respond to it unless a moderator said something there's dollar signs or something that you don't like what do you mean they don't they don't process my tips for me or anything like that oh uh, it's pretty much self-service i don't know what you're talking about yeah self-service to you because you're getting the money out of it i'm trying to scroll up see what you're saying Where's the Man. tip button? Type exclamation point tip in the chat, and then you'll get a link that you can click on. There you go. Okay. Uh, Better Call Darth Maul tip me a dollar. Says, when you launch DS Politics, can it be a recurring guest on your show for political ideas? Yeah, reason? Better Call OIC. And values are extraordinary. And have the potential to change the world. My opinions are equally mentally stimulating as they are funny. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We've got to have money. Anon voila donated $1.99. Bro, you on that for real? I went to twice already. <laughs> I've been on this for about eight hours. <clears throat> but big okay. Oh, let's see. Yeah, over exactly one button dash. Over a decade straight of nonstop superhero movies, people are burnt out. I'm, I totally don't care about them anymore. Seriously, I hope you, you don't care about them because Cat didn't care about them. That's the only reason why you don't care about them. If you start to feel more excited again, you do seem burned out. I'm burned out on the same kind of game. Like, I'm excited to do something new and different.
And when everything is RPG, 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 it's hard to feel excited. Phil, the only reason why you're not excited for RPGs, RPGs, RPGs is because you keep picking them. You keep picking these RPGs, hoping that something good is going to come out of it when it's not going to. I hear a cat crying in this video. It's not Jasper. It's my cat. For wanting attention. Ah! It's outside my door. <laughs> I don't want to let them in. It's too much of the same. I'm not the kind of guy. It's like, people say what you Let's see. Oh, I found a clip where the dude say he doesn't play video games for money like big streamers, but turns around and say he's dropping Final Fantasy 7 because of money. Oh, that's even worse. It, wh why are you going to say, Heather? What are you going to tell me? Favorite food. I don't have one. I like to eat a variety of foods in a rotation, so I never get bored of them. If literally every day you give me pizza, 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 by day six, I don't want pizza ever again. Okay, so where are you getting the pizza from? You can have the same pizza, but done differently. You can get pizza from Pizza Hut, pizza from Domino's, pizza from Papa John's, Little Caesars. There's nothing wrong with that, Phil. Problem is, is that you're expecting these different varieties, but you're thinking that it's all gonna be the same thing from Domino's when it's not. I'm so pizzaed out, I'm burnt out, right? And that's what it feels like right now with RPG, uh, RPG, RPG, uh, overload. It's too much, and I, I'm kind of bored, burnt out. I just want to finish what I'm playing and do new stuff because I don't want to do the same shit over and over. I'm tired of it. What's an audacious goal I have? I want to reach this year. Audacious. I don't have audacious goals. I don't feel like I ever had. Right? I never have these stuff. You have no goals, Phil, because you have no drive. You have no ambition. You're a loser. I hide goals for crazy things that I want to do. I just want to maintain. I just want to uh, chill. I just want to be successful, enjoying what I'm doing. I would love to improve in some ways. You know? Improve in some ways, but he'll never improve. And yes, exactly. If he did get the payout from the RPGs, he would love them, but he doesn't. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, he didn't make the amount of money that he was hoping, and he hated it. The only reason why he got that money was because he guilted his audience into giving him the money. I would like the throwback channel maybe to take off in some different ways. You know, right now the retro reacts are working. It's only working because someone gave you three hundred dollars worth of super chats. That's why. But maybe if we have other ideas of like throwback projects I could do over there. So people have been thinking a little bit of ideas there, right? Like what? Reacting to old content of Dark Souls, Red Dead Redemption, Heavy Rain. You know, your old fucking projects, which you shouldn't do anymore? What's next? Are you going to do another one with Project fucking 7? I would like to do better co-op with my wife, because right now we're going to be doing Beyond Two Souls starting the next few weeks whenever we have a chance, and then hopefully that turns out into something that works. People want to see more. We can get better ideas there. I'd like to integrate her into more content if she so chooses. Yeah, if she so chooses, but if she says no, you'll just force her on anyway. She doesn't have to. No pressure, right? Um... But I don't have any giant, like, goals for anything right now. I kind of feel like, to be honest, um, to be honest, I don't feel like having big goals is a good idea for someone like me. Because for me, I'm always kind of at risk of something stupid happening, some idiot breaking the law and screwing my business over. Phil, no one's breaking the law and screwing your business. The only one that's screwing your own business is you. You're the one that's constantly holding it up. You just go, hey, 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 chat. You hear that chat? I have the little thing right here. It's called Fuck With Me Emporium. The key's right here. Come on, come on, come get them. Come get them. I'm gonna toss them. Oh, I just, oh no, I just dropped them on the ground. Oh no, I can't pick it up because my bad back. God. Ah. It's essentially that. You're the one that's doing it to yourself. No one else is to blame for that. Uh, you know, harassing me and my family. You know, stuff that that's all Harassing you and your family. Fuck out of here. Awful. Uh, admittedly. But when you have a big goal like that and it doesn't happen, then you can be disappointed, right? I don't. Dude, you should really have make a Wii counter on every, every time he has a Wii. Oh my god. That's brilliant. Please clap. I should see if I can get other people to implement that too. Get the tractor beam to do it. I would. Oh no. If I say get Jad to do it. Actually, I think that would be a good idea, but at the same time, I don't know how many Wii's it would take to get a free space. I don't know if Jed is here. Jed, if you are, uh, get rid of the Wii cat, or just put it on the, either on the bingo card where you keep saying Wii. That should be a slot on bingo, like a space. Or, it should be like a counter instead of the snorts, because that mic, the, <laughs> the audio is fucked up. Replace it with Wii. Or something of the sort.
want to set myself up for disappointment. I'd rather just have tempered goals that are pretty realistic. You know what I'm saying? Aaron, not only is Moki doing it, but Heather is doing it to me too. They're essentially the YouTube moms of the group. Please clap. That's my take anyway. Uh, once to sense with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, once to sense for all your contributions tonight. He says, I sent you an email with information. JKB would love to talk with you. I don't know who that is. Totally get why you're not, don't open Twitter messages based on some people in here now. Oh, dude, yeah, you have to understand. It's, it's insane, you know? It's I insane. almost guarantee you 100% that if I open that, those DMs, it's going to be a wild ride. He ODs on we He gets a 100%. Okay, we're done. Hi, man. <laughs> I'm just not opening them. Glob, glob, glob on the coke. Choo, choo. Slayer, yes. It, yes, you didn't know? Yeah, Slayer, I gave you props this morning. Your idea about Beyond Two Souls. I proposed to Kat last night, and she loved it, and that's what our next co-op's going to be. He's gonna, we're going to play Beyond Two Souls together. We're doing a playthrough of it. It's just going to be, um, uh, it's just going to be, uh, man, I'm having a brain fart. I can't speak tonight. It's just going to be, uh, not right now because I have to get through these RPGs. But once I get through these RPGs I'm playing, we're going to do co-op at night streams. JKB is Rich's former editor. Oh, okay. I didn't even know that. That's, is that what he goes by online? JKB? I've never heard of him before. Okay. You never heard about anything about anything. Again, yeah, just piss off, Slayer. Ooh. Yeah, go back to Huffing Clue while listening to K-pop. The one weird thing, like, like I remember, I was I, I was having like a DM with Rich like a year and a half ago, okay, and I was trying to be civil with him because I think at the time he was having issues, like one of his kids was sick or something like that, and I was like trying to be nice to him. Oh, Vanguard! It comes to the part where I talk about review today. Let, let's go. And I was like, you know, I really hope that your kid gets better. I'm sorry to hear about that. When awful things happen to your family members, that's really awful. So even though I know we don't see eye to eye, I wish you the best. Yeah, and the thing with Rich, though, the whole thing with him streaming with his daughter, well, his daughter is in the hospital. Yeah, that was entirely fucked up. That's and I hope that your kid gets better or whatever. And he was very nice back. He was like, I really thank you for that. That's I really needed that right now. Thank well, you. Well, yeah, because he was being cordial with you. So much. How is Beyond Two Souls an actual co-op game? Uh, you play as the main character, Jody, or Elliot Page's character, and you take control as the entity known as Aiden. It's like going back and forth with the controller. That's one part of it. Or you can have two controllers. One controls Aiden, one controls Jody. That's how it can be co-op. How? I have no idea. Never implemented it. And then he, he invited me to come on a stream of his. He says, why don't you... Yeah, he invited you. He even asked you. He gave you money for that. And then all of a sudden, you told him to fuck off. Come on, stream with me and my editor. And we'll just all talk. And I, like, it was so weird to me. He's like, me and my editor. I was like, yeah. It, editor. I love how he's like his editor. Editor, Phil. It's called, it's pronounced editor, not editor. Your editor. Why is your editor on your stream? Like, well, it's like Mr. Matoker. Hey, he's your editor. He's supposed to be editing your stuff. Yeah, Jay was his editor until he fired him. Behind the scenes. Is he your friend? Is it a guy you know is a friend and then he joins your content? If he's an on-air talent, then he's technically not your editor, right? Is that what it was? Was it this, like, weird... Well, here's the thing with that, though, Phil. There's someone that I watch, Steven George. He actually has a friend who is an editor of his. Pays him, but he's still his editor, though. They're still friends. It's... How is it that someone could be an editor, but you see him as a friend? No, that doesn't work that way. It does work that way, Phil. They work together. Ah! Relationship he had with his editor. And that's where, like, the stuff happened, perhaps? The disconnect? Because I don't understand what happened. I don't follow Rich. I don't pay attention to any of his content or anything. But to me, it's like, there's a difference between I'm your editor and I edit all your stuff behind the scenes for your channel. Yeah, and? Versus I'm an on-air talent. That actually is a contri contributor to the content. That's I don't think RT stream while his daughter in the hospital was necessarily bad. Might have been a coping mechanism for him. But with the whole thing with the audio files that or the voice messages that he sent to Jay, that's why I'm saying it was eh. Frank, that's a different job entirely. I, I was, I'll tell you this, Heather. The whole thing with the TLTR, shit's fucked, and it just made it look worse. Right? So... It threw me for a loop because when he said that, he was like, would you want to come on stream with me my editor and just hang out and we'll talk? And I was like, your editor? Editor. Why would you even say it? Like, I, I was just, it was so confused. And then the funny part about that was within 24 hours of us having that very cordial, friendly interaction, okay, I go ahead and I find out he's talking shit about me and, on his Twitter. And, Phil, and... He said that he actually supports you and he actually doesn't see you as a bad person. I don't know how... But regardless with it, though, yeah, because you're easy to make fun of. So no fucking shit. Ah! 
What voice messages? Oh, ho, ho, ho. um, that is a big can of worms. I'm not gonna get into for that one. I know, do I do know that Sor Hogan has a video about it where he had a meltdown about it. That, that's the only thing I will say about that. That's it. And everywhere, he's just slammed. Yeah, he meant producer. Absolutely. And me again publicly again. As if we had never had the nice cordial conversation, he just completely erased it like it never happened. And he's just talking shit about me all over the place again. And I DM'd him, I was like, so just so you know, Rich, when you're trying to build a bridge, you probably should have burned it down behind someone's back because I was trying to be nice to you. And the first thing you do is you go online and just talk shit again. So fuck you. I don't want to talk to you ever again. And I think okay, I Okay, so and all the other times he still gave you money, he still gave you super chats, he still sent people over to watch your content, Phil. He still did all that shit with you. He was a member of yours until he deleted it, got rid of it. He was still all this shit. But yet you want to be like, no, he made fun of me. Oh, no, I don't like that. Phil, if you don't know how to laugh at your fucking self, then that's a you problem. Don't go blaming other people for making fun of you for it. If you don't know to laugh at yourself, if you don't know how to actually look at yourself and be like, okay, what he's saying is true, haha, -ha, good jab at me, good razzing. Then it's my time you need to get out the fucking internet. Please clap. Got to have money. That was perfectly timed. Vanguard nice donated two dollars. Frist tree good and now edit T E R num nut. Edit T R. <laughs> yeah, he has a weird way of pronouncing things, but thanks for that, Vanguard. Was it? We never spoke again. I like blocked him. This guy's an asshole. And I'm trying to be cordial with the guy and be nice at a time when he needs help because you know he's got personal stuff falling apart. And I said, you know, you know what? I'm going to be nice to this guy, who I usually we're not nice to each other. Let me be nice to him now, because it will help him out. And then he fucking stabs me in the back like a dick. Oh, so you try to be the bigger person by going, Hey, I'm sorry about your daughter. I hope she feels better, thinking that that would be a good deed to absolve you of your shit that you've done. It doesn't do that, Phil. One good deed does not absolve all the negative shit that you've done. It does not matter. You could cure, like, cure cancer today, but people will still remember you for the shit that you've done. They'll still remember for the times that you guilt tripped your audience into giving you money. The times that you lied to your audience saying that my parents are dying. I need to go see them just for you to get fucking married. By the time you need $2,000 for positive news just to reveal it for a cat that you already had. For the times that you had all these problems around the house. Give me money. Give me money. Give me money. All of a sudden. Oh, hey, give me more money, please. What about the money you already got? I'll ban you. Please clap. He made fun of me, re. Fuck him. You know, I don't give a shit about that guy. <clears throat> oh, let's see here. <sighs> uh, better call Darth Maul to the dollar. So what's your opinion on shrinkflation? Personally, I'm experienced Trader Joe's clam chowder has gone from every spoonful being full of clams and potatoes to just a bowl full of liquid and cream soup. I'd rather pay more for the original goodness. I'm sure it's way more prominent than people realize. That's not a good thing, though, Phil. Shrinkflation is not a good thing. Paying more for less is not a good thing. Right? I mean, I'm absolutely sure that, like, <clears throat> it's happening everywhere, but the, the common consumer doesn't notice it, right? I'm not... When I No, the common consumer is noticing it, Phil. You can't buy a bag of potato chips anymore and get more for it. For I'm saying that a great example of it. $4 for a bag of chips. And half of it's just fucking air. People are noticing it, Phil. It, they're being ripped off here. Buy a pack of something at the store. I'm not measuring the ounces on the box. You know, what, what I noticed with inflation was that buying the same products just became way more. Like, like we always get a pack of chicken thighs and because we love baked chicken. So we buy the pack of chicken thighs and when we used to buy it, it would be like five, six dollars. And then for like two years, it was like thirteen dollars. Like, so it's supply and demand here with inflation going up. There's more of a need for it. But also what you fail to understand, though, Phil, is that there's some issues, some factors can come into play where it gets higher in price. If there's less chickens, no shit, they're going to ask for more money for you buying chicken. Hey, that's twice, like more than twice the cost. How is this not news that inflation has doubled the cost of protein everywhere? So, Phil, everyone's noticed it. When people are going around buying 36 like packs, like 36 eggs... Two packs of 18, they noticed it was $14 a fucking package of them. And no one wanted to pay that. They felt like they were being ripped off. And then they lowered that back down to $7. And that's like, huh, at least it's not 14 ah. And it's not just the one brand. Like, all, all the meat was double price. And now it's finally getting back. I think I just bought a pack that was around $8. So it's... 
Yeah, and also you're going by the pound, though, Phil. There's some that's like $8 by the pound. That All in total, it's going to be $8. And by a certain pound, you'll get more $14. It depends on what you're getting with that, though, as well. And also, at least, I did notice that LTG got banned. <laughs> he got banned from Tekken 8, so he can't play it anymore. Ah! Unless he makes a new account. Not back to where it was, but at least... Yeah, what about that WWE inflation, Phil? How's that turning out for you? It's back on the way back down, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> But as a shrinkflation, uh, I'm not, I can't really attest to it because I haven't actively noticed it or observed it. Perhaps if I was sitting here studying it to observe how bad it really was and stuff like that, I'd have a better idea. No, you didn't even give a fuck about that, Phil. Even though we were going through an inflation that we were going through a bad economic stride with it, or not stride, but a bad economic turn, you didn't give a shit. You are still telling people to give you money during the fucking vest streak. You are telling people, give me money. I need it more than you do. When people are struggling with the money just to get fucking by to support their fucking families. Nope, you need it more. The guy that has no fucking family, no fucking major responsibilities, like taking care of a fucking kid. You had none of that. But yeah, give me money, please. Ah. But I, I don't really want to speak to something like that because I don't know much about it. I'd be talking out of my butt. Right? Like you always do. <clears throat> Hello, Phil. Say something, retard. Hello. No, I think it will be fascinating in regards to, I guess, JKB, who I guess is Rich's former editor. The fascinating part would be he basically had an inside view Oh. He specifically said inflation was no excuse. Yep, that was it, too. Mm-hmm. That was it. Inflation was no excuse for giving him money. Thank you, Chorus, for that. And also, thank you, Duty, for... Because you got that for Duty. Big ups to Duty. Please clap. Because that was true. He kept doing that a lot. He kept saying that it was no excuse. Give me money. How Rich operates and how he literally talks about me all the time. I did see the new Dark Sea to, or do Dark Sea to Flow uh, music. It's fire. Honestly, I think the best line out of that was the Tech 9 line. That was the best. Without me ever bringing Rich up at all. Like, I, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, the line that has me in it is the best. I don't think so. The Tech 9 one was better. I have no idea what Rich is ever up to. I never have. But I am surprised. I am actually quite surprised that he actually got Eviga from it. I'm surprised he did that shit. And then he gave a shout out to Nerd Brew and that Atlas. That was actually a nice touch of him, too. Please clap. Watch his content ever. I know nothing about the man. I pay no attention to him. But literally, the fact that he constantly brings me up, constantly brings me up in his content. It must it must have been fascinating to be there and be part of that process to see how his mind somehow just goes to me on a, on a slow day. He has to bring me up. Not all the time, Phil. There are times where he'll talk about something else, though. But then, all of a sudden, it's not you he's talking about. It's people like me he's talking about. Ah. He's talking about me and Sly and Duty, and Snort Hogan, and all the other detractors that apparently got the fucking documentary canceled in his own mind. And then he had that freak out, that meltdown. Cry harder, Snort Hogan. Cry harder, cult of hate. Please clap. And look what happened to him now. Crying because he couldn't get that little shred of recognition for the documentary. <laughs> Oh, oh God, kill me now. And say awful things about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, glop, glop, motherfucker. It's got to be fascinating just to follow the mind of someone like that. Like, oh, today's slow. Let me just, let, you know, bring up someone I'm dragging through the mud today. I am still streaming. Sounds like a good plan, right? Oh, that's a great thing. It's a great way to make a living. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Even though he has a main channel that has a million some odd subscribers on it, and he talks about other things on his own stream... For God's sakes, Phil, he can talk about whatever and anything that he wants to. But you just don't like it at all, Philbert. Uh, Last uh. Souls and Beyond Two Souls were both 2013. Yeah, you know, I didn't realize at all that Beyond <laughs> Two Souls was that old. Yeah, he got triggered. <laughs> at all. I'm not going to bed. I'm going to bed until this is done. I thought that it was like 2015, 2016. And then I heard it was 2013. Yeah, well, exactly, Aaron. None of the detractors really cared about it, though. A lot of people kept saying in the detractor community was like, he's going to cancel it. But it was all based around speculation. Some people said he wasn't going to do it, and some people said he was going to do it. 
But again, it's like 90 Day Fiance. What is he going to do next? All of a sudden, he canceled it. And to everyone's surprise, there was no surprise with that. Please clap. And I was like, wow. I didn't realize it was that old of a game. It's been 11 years since I played it. It doesn't feel like it. Uh huh. Because I don't know why, but I, I feel like I have memories of playing it here. But I didn't. I played it in 2013. I was still in Connecticut. But I have like a memory of playing it here in this room and it wasn't here. <laughs> yeah, you have a little thing called the Mandela effect, Phil. Player says in Singapore there is inflation, but it's not that bad. The government does a lot to cushion the impact. That's good. Here, the government does absolutely nothing to help whatsoever. They just leave us to figure it out. You know, you're on your own. Like, hold on. What? Huh? What the fuck was he talking about with that? I'm very, I'm so confused. But I have like a memory of playing it here in this room and it wasn't here. <laughs> Player says in Singapore there is inflation, but it's not that bad. The government does a lot to cushion the impact. That's good. Here, the government does absolutely nothing to help whatsoever. They just leave us to figure it out. You know, you're they on your don't do anything about it, though. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the whole thing with the stimulus checks, they did that. The government helped out with that. So him saying, oh, the government didn't help out anyone at all. That's a bunch of bullshit. Bro, so that's great. Yeah, how can you ban me after I spent $100 on your game? I remember that for LTG. That was funny, though. All right, well, I don't want to talk about drama with Rich all night either. I, like I tell you guys, I just don't care about the guy. I don't. I don't talk about him unless someone brings him up. I never think about him. I don't he's, talk about him, but I talk about him. It's like, a, you know, to me, he's just like another fart in a room full of stinky bells that I have to deal with every day. And just because he said that... So I don't care about it, the fart, you know, particularly. Not a big deal to me. <clears throat> not a big deal to me, Snake. Let's not talk about drama. Let's uh, let's talk about other topics for the rest of the, the show, okay? Like we still what? got about like 15, 20 minutes left, roughly. Who we adjourn for tonight? Luckily, we're about almost done. We got about 24 minutes left. And just because I feel like it, I'm going to speed it up Any other lot. topics, guys? You want to tag me in the chat? And again, thank you guys, you know, for the support tonight. J just to give you an idea, guys. I mean, no exaggeration. One of the best night streams I've done in 100 years. Yeah, really? one of the best nights. $38 in tips so far and a lot of super chats. Really? Even though tips aren't great, which is fine. And memberships. The other support is, is really good. Uh, plugging. He was accused of plugging, but also rage quitting matches. It's like, this is what I mean. People seem to like me just talking way more than me playing a random game now. It just seems to be a running pattern now. That me just hanging out with you guys is just a better time than me doing a couple hours of a random game at night. And, you know, I guess that's <laughs> that's where we're going to be heading long-term, right? Choo, choo, choo. <clears throat> yeah, no drama. Give me money. Oh, Slayer, yeah, as long as something doesn't get blocked, I have no problem reacting to it. Uh, if, like you said, if you want, like, two line clips, if I, you want me to react to them during private react, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. It's more I don't want the stream shut down, right? I don't want my stream shut down. I don't want to get demonetized. Yeah, Han Solo, I don't know how often we'll do these chill hangout sessions. I think we did one about a month ago, right? I want to say it was roughly about a month ago where we had a random night and I just did this and it seems to be fine. <laughs> I don't know what Coca-Cola... Oh, Coca-Cola Freestyle, isn't that the, the soda machine that has like every flavor? Yeah, they have those all, in a lot of different places around here, so I've, I've drank from those before. That's just a machine that has a lot of flavors, Phil. <laughs> glub glub. What genre of game would I want to play besides RPGs? Like, literally anything except fighting games, because I'm burnt out on those. Like, any other kind of game I'm down for, you know? He doesn't want to play RPGs or fighting games. No, Hobo we're not interested in any other co-op game. We know what we're playing next. Yeah, That's Beyond Two Souls, which is not a good game to do co-op with. Where people are just like, so we announced this morning what game we're playing co-op, Beyond Two Souls. So what about this game? What about this game? What about this game? No. Why Phil pulled from the documentary, I want to know. He pulled... No idea, really? But from what we all saw from it, the reason why he doesn't want to leave his house to do the documentary, he doesn't want to miss out on streams, he doesn't want to miss out on making money, in quotes, by begging. That's the main reason why I'm believing that he didn't want to pull out of it. But also, I'm believing that he doesn't want to get called out for shit, have it like retconning, because he tends to retcon a lot of shit. But also, he just doesn't want the documentary to expose him for something personal. You know what we're playing next? That's what we're doing next? We'll worry about other games after that. Jeez, you're so far ahead of yourselves. <clears throat> oh, far ahead of yourself, stupid audience.
Yeah, like, keep in mind that this was completely impromptu. This stream, this wasn't planned or anything. Oh, if Star Wars had been good, that's what I would have been doing tonight. It sucks that it wasn't. It sucks that it was so bad of a game, right? I totally would have loved. You could have played the single player, Phil. To, to hang out and play Star Wars tonight. What are you going to do? But it's good to know that at times like this, you can have these impromptu streams to fill in the blanks and people like them. Retro React currently is weekly because we are going through heavy rain. After heavy rain, which will end in two more sessions. So we got Sunday night and then one more Sunday and we're done. We'll likely do a poll to see what the next game will be. Because we'll I have no clue what you guys will want next. Um, and try to figure it out from there. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to be doing it weekly every single week. You know, I don't know. Well, you shouldn't have done the th DSP throwback stream every single week. Oh, uh, let's see. I got a dollar tip. Better call, better call Darth Maul. You're more entertaining right now doing Q&A. You don't say much anymore when you play games. I think instead of being super inoffensive, I want to be an equal opportunity offender. The last will keep coming like the old days. I, can't, I couldn't even do that. Even if I wanted to do that, I would get in trouble. I'm serious. Like, I can't do that style of commentary anymore. It's not allowed. It's just not allowed anywhere. You, you know what I find sad? So I can't do still my do old style of commentary. You can still do some commentary. I'm saying that in big, loosely in big air quotes. But you have to be subtle and more intelligent about it, more creative. But the problem is you're never creative with it. It just comes across as xenophobic or racist or sexist or much scat humor. Commentary, but there are entire YouTube channels dedicated to literally defaming people. The entire purpose of the channel is to just slander someone and insult them and say awful things about them. And that's okay. But I can't do the commentary I used to do. It's too offensive, right? It's because you're generally an offensive person, Phil. Demonetize the video, but you know, get me in trouble with, it, with my partnership and stuff like that. How does that make any sense? So my commentary, that's not intended to insult anyone. It's generic commentary aimed at a generalized audience applied to fictional characters, right? Uh-huh, and what are we going to do with that? The slave trade joke? That's offensive. It, yeah, true. It was never allowed back then. And he did get kicked out of Blip and Twitch, but he wasn't sitting there going, I don't understand. Everyone could do it, but me? Why is it that they could do it? Yeah. But when you have someone who has a targeted attack on someone on YouTube and defames the shit out of them on their content every day. Like who? That's acceptable. Who's doing it, Phil? Like Keemstar? Wow. Exactly. And the truth is it's not just YouTube selectively enforces what it wants. You know? And it shouldn't. It should be equal across the board. If this ain't good, then this also should not be good. Not you just selectively enforce whatever you feel like. Uh-huh. And that's oh, bad. What the fuck? Oh. I thought I messed up for a second. Oh, he left. Oh, he's back. Never mind. Uh, once the sense, thanks for yeah, another super chat. And he says, nice to see Chill Phil tonight. Thank you, once the sense. Yeah, Chill Phil content today. Yay. Uh, hold on. What's happening? He's gonna ban somebody. What I consider playing Red Dead 1 on PS5, now it's 60 frames. I didn't even know that it was released on PS5. There we go. Right? He provides no examples, though. He'll just say that, oh, there are people that'll do that, but no names. Birdman with the super chat says, just like others have said, these chill, low stress streams are great. Keep doing them. All right. Every once in a while, I, I like bringing up the content with them. And I know that it's an option. And that's why, that's why I find it hilarious. People are like, I don't get it. Why aren't you playing RPGs tonight? I was like, because we're playing too many RPGs. It's nice to take a break from doing but, RPGs. Let's just hang out tonight. But Phil, you kept saying over and over that you need to power through these RPGs. You could have done that with like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, but no, Q&A stream. But I don't get it. Like, well, then I can't help you. <laughs> I don't even get it. Like, if you want to power through it, you should have done that. But no, you're afraid your audience wouldn't be there to give you money. Even though you don't make money on Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth anyway. If you don't understand reality, and people like just hanging out, and they're finding this fun, then I can't really help you. You know what I mean? Like, by the way, thank you to Sai, who became a super supporter tonight. Thank you for the extra level of support. I appreciate that. I agree. He should have done that, but he didn't. But I think I ever want to play a strategy game on live stream ever again. I don't know if I ever played a strategy game live on stream. Did I? What would you consider a strategy game? What kind of game are you speaking of? Uh, Matthew. Do you have an example of a game like you consider a strategy game that I haven't played in a while? Pikmin is considered like a strategy game, like a Baby's First RTS. You could also say things like Valkyria Chronicles, Fire Emblem, Disgaea, uh, Wargroove, that's another one. Invisible Ink, that's another one. XCOM is another one. There's a lot of games out there that are considered strategy. Cheers to you, Sai. Thank you. Fire Emblem and Disgaea. I don't even... I don't consider... This guy, uh, I love how he said... He didn't say this guy. He said this guy. Consider those strategy games. That's like an RPG. It's just a different style of RPG. It's still considered a strategy game, though, Phil. A tactics RPG. Even another one would be like Final Fantasy Tactics. But it's still an RPG. You know? I don't know. What would, what would actually be like a hardcore strategy game? Total War or Warhammer, someone said? Maybe that? Yeah, okay. Maybe there I can agree. Command and Conquer. Anything that's real-time strategy. XCOM, Fire Emblem. Or better yet... Any tower defense game could be considered a strategy game. Civilization, that kind of strategy? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know.
Mario Rabbids is a good one too. I don't know. Again, when you think about strategy games, they tend to they tend to be insanely long games, right? There's no such thing as a short strategy game, <laughs> right? Uh, Jade, that's all. That's all good. I understand you don't like Baldur's Gate three. I'll see you tomorrow night. Sounds good. What is Age of Wonders for? I never heard of it. I don't think he's ever heard. Cat and of Jasper, it. great. Cat, Jasper's been relaxing in the upstairs living closet all night, and Cat's downstairs probably doing something. I don't even know. She's probably downstairs crying. Uh, she might be playing that house flipper game. She could be relaxing. She could be cleaning. Oh no! Yeah, I love how she like she could be playing that house flipper game. Phil, you just told the, you just said the title of that for house flipper. Ah, that's what it's called, house flipper. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Age of Wonders like Civilization, but it's for fantasy rate. Oh, so it's civil, oh. but not historical. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, like Greek mythology, Norse mythology. You always wanted to see me play Age of Empires. I loved it back in the day. I think I played the first two. I want to say. No, you did not. On PC. I think I played the first one kind of late, and then when two came out, I played it. It was like new. I'm pretty sure. And I really. I remember my brother played Age of Empires. He really enjoyed it, but when I tried to get into it, I could not get into it. I thought it was stupid. <laughs> that, but I was younger at the time. Now that I'm older, I might enjoy it. I really liked it. <clears throat> Again, back when I used to be a PC gamer, which is hilarious that some people don't realize that. But I was a, a PC gamer for a while there. You're not a PC gamer, Phil. Never were. Because when you're given that mini PC, you barely want to do anything with that fucking PC. The only times you ever played anything on that mini PC, Chrono Trigger, or excuse me, Chrono Trigger, and also Phasmophobia. And I'm not including Skyrim or Visage, or Visage. I'm not including those at all, just due to the fact that those were quote unquote tests. Oh. I, was, I was gonna say our uh, area, uh, or era. Unicorn Overload is, or Overload, uh. ah. Unicorn Overlord is really good. If you love anything Vanillaware, the game is meant for you. Oh, really? Like I said, he just got a new cat. It's a Men Menkun orange cat. He's really clingy. He rubs against his feet and keeps meowing a lot. I think it's supposed to be Menkun. He wants attention. He's looking for your attention is what it is. <laughs> That's what kitties do when they want attention. They'll wa walk around. They'll rub against you. Jasper will meow. He just doesn't do it in here for some reason. I don't know if he's freaked out by the camera or whatever. But No, he meowed for you once, and you were like, oh, he meowed. Uh, yeah. When a cat is attention-seeking, they'll act just like that. I've never played Total War. No, I know of Total War. Very aware of it. I remember the games being on PC back in the day. Never got into that. Like I said, StarCraft was like probably the extent of strategy style stuff that I was playing back in the day. <clears throat> One's the sense to the super chat. He says, keep doing you. I genuinely mean it. Love seeing chill, Phil, and see more, more often. Please check your email. Let us know either way. It won't be another BS side scroller hit piece. Well, the thing is, I have no interest in being interviewed. Like if someone wanted that. Oh, yeah. So now you're like, I don't want to be interviewed anymore because side scrollers ruined it for him. He doesn't want to do a documentary with anybody, but June the King's doing a documentary. And yet he doesn't really talk about it. Hang out and chill and talk with me about stuff, you know, and just, just a, a conversation. I have zero interest in doing an interview. I don't have a reason to do one, <laughs> right? Like there's nothing to interview me about. You know, anyone who wants to do an interview is literally going to ask the same fucking questions anyway that have already been answered ad nauseum. Nothing's going to change in my answer. So why would I want to do an interview, right? <laughs> I would never care about that. But if someone just wanted to shoot the shit and have a conversation about anything else besides my own personal nonsensical drama that people fabricated, you know, that's a little different. He only wants someone like the quartering. He wants another quartering interview where it's just like softball questions, soft as a feather, not going to hurt him, and not going to ask the hard-hitting questions like side-scrollers did. And that's the only reason why he's going to sit there and just be like, oh, I don't want that. I'm not interviewed anymore. Eh. Also, goddamn one two cent one's two cents is just giving him money for stupid reasons. Once a cent another super chat. He says, Yes, just hang out, no interview. Well, we'll see. Again, right now I have no time for anything. It's it's always a possibility down the line when things come down. I beat these insane lingering RPGs. You know, we'll see. <laughs> Phil, you're almost done with two of those. Just keep pushing it. How am I doing? I'm good tonight. I'm good tonight, Sway, Sway, Sway. Why do people fabricate things about me? Personal gain. They have found that the YouTube drama cycle works. That if you just lie about something or over-exaggerate or take something out of context and you blow it up to be something it's not, that gullible, dumb people on YouTube will eat it up. And Phil, that's you. You're the one that's gullible enough to actually fabricate your own drama to your own audience. You take things out of context. When we react to you and make videos about you or just make content about you or just stream you in general, we are taking what you are saying with the full context and all. We're not stretching it, we're not fabricating it, and we're always providing receipts of what you're doing and what you did. But you just want to sit there saying that we're fabricating everything, which is what you do. And then that cycle propagates more views, more drama content, more clickbait, more money. It's an endless cycle. If no one benefited from doing it, no one would do it. 
they all have found a way to, to milk YouTube into this profitability cycle. Not everybody that makes content on you are making money off of it. They're just doing it because they want to do it. They have a passion for creating content out of it. Nerdbrew makes amazing content and he's not making a dime off of it. You know, and so it will continue until YouTube stops it. Yeah, making six figures. He's making six fucking figures. Oh, he said no, I was. Man. Ah. If I made six figures doing like streaming, would I continue working my job? Yes, I would because why not? At least I'll keep my resume floating. Bloom kid did a super test. Can I interview about, interview about your love of Final Fantasy 16? Sure. Yes, you can. It'll be a very short interview, though, because I don't love the game, so. You never liked the game, and yet anyone that likes the game, you constantly disregard their opinions about it and make it all about yourself. What are my thoughts on the modern direction of Mortal Kombat? It sucks. Mortal Kombat 1 was a huge step back. Yeah, you're taking his stream out of context to the other 40 years of his life. Please clap. God damn it. I felt like Mortal Kombat 11 was a great step forward where the game played more competitively because it had elements from modern Street Fighter games and other fighting games. And then Mortal Kombat... One, it erased all the complexities they added in 11. Literally simplified the game down to a dumb stance of high-low mix-ups and these assist characters. And the game plays oh, like... Oh, Phil, not pop, okay. Dog shit. It's just not a fun competitive game. It's boring. From, from an intellectual standpoint, knowing how complex fighting games can be... Does streaming give you a 401k? Not really. Does it give you health insurance? No, because according to Phil, he has to pay for his own health insurance. You got Street Fighter Six that's like way up here in its level of complexity and all these different game mechanics and things that they implemented in it. You got Tekken, where every character has 400 different moves and you need to learn 32 different movesets to counter everything. And then you got Mortal Kombat 1 that's down here. It's like, duh, 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 duh. I do combo assist mix-up. I do combo assist mix-up. It's uh, Phil, you did the same thing about Tekken 8. You kept saying that was the same combat, like combat and gameplay, just like that for Mortal Kombat 1 with Tekken 8. You did that, Phil. You were making fun of Jade in the process when you did that. Really bad. It's just... It's, it's, I did hear that Sea of Stars is getting a co-op update. I want to see how that's going to be implemented. It's, it's insanely way low-level stuff. They didn't try. They literally just wanted another game and didn't want to put thought into it. So they just pushed out and implemented an element that's already been in fighting games. The whole assist thing has been in fighting games before. It doesn't make the game more interesting, complex, or competitive. It just makes another element to it that doesn't really add anything. And it sucked. And by the way, the online connections were awful. It's out of, out of all three games, the worst online connections of all three. Again, even though all three of them had rollback netcode. Sold like crazy based on the name and the gore. And then most people dropped it and don't play it anymore. At Evo, did you see Evo registration so far? They revealed the Evo registrations. And it's like Street Fighter 6, no duh, number one. And then there's a few other games. And that's like Tekken 8 is like third or fourth. I can't remember what second actually. I saw some other game that I was like surprised that it had that many registrations. I but, and then it's like Mortal Kombat 1 is like, like third last. There's, like, side games. It's still on there, though, Phil. It's still on there for Evo. That you would think wouldn't have a lot of entries. They have way more entries than Mortal Kombat 1. No one oh, yeah, you know what? Who cares about that shit? The game's trash. <clears throat> Phil will provide no evidence of this of the sort. Uh, no, I never saw Bear in the Big Blue House. Don't know what that is. Very suicide, no. Cracker Jackson, have a good night. What's the schedule for him? I really wonder if the whole thing with like big uh, bear in the big blue house was just like a LARPer asking the question because of pop. Tomorrow, RPG Mania. So Baldur's Gate 3 and on the first stream and like a dragon on the late stream. And then Sunday is React. Sunday, all day reacting. Monday is Baldur's Gate 3 and no late stream because I have to work on my private stuff and patron videos. And then that's done. Then I have full double stream. Yeah, days. they pay for Mortal Kombat 1 for the gore in 2024, even though that was like one of the things that Mortal Kombat is known for. It's like, for, for like, fuck's sake. People bought the game because it was anticipated to be a good fighting game. And they had really good hype behind it. The rest of the month. Also, nostalgia. And then every day, it's literally going to be Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. The one exception is Friday when we got the new game coming out, and I'm either going to play Dragon's Dogma 2 or Rise of the Ronin. But then outside of that, we have to focus on just those two games till we beat them. Okay? I would laugh if he actually bought both Rise of the Ronin and Dragon's Dogma 2. And he did a night stream of one, like a day stream, night stream of either one of those games. I think that would be fucking hilarious if that was the case. There's no way his fan base are adult uh, for adults. No adult will allow someone to treat them like the way he does. No, because they're disabled, and he takes advantage of them too. No, I would not have played Baldur's Gate three if I wasn't a streamer. I, I wasn't like I said. That game to me is not accessible. To someone like me, unless I like bought a guide or studied it, which I wouldn't want to do. Well, Phil, you have your dents that guide you through it all, all the way through because you want them to hold your hand. You never want to play this game anyway. You tried to prove a point by saying that I'll play Baldur's Gate three. I don't. It's not because it won Game of the Year. It's because I'm going to play it. 
because someone gave it to you. And the game sucks if no one helps you. No do I. It's only accessible because you guys have helped me through it. That made it fun. Because now we have this social aspect when I'm playing to help me understand all the mechanics and the different things, the lore that I don't understand. If it weren't being an interactive stream, I would have not liked that game and I probably would have stopped playing it. Oh, he's absolutely, it looks like a hobo process. Yeah, I don't even... It's, when is St. Patrick's Day? I don't even know. Because today someone said Happy St. Patrick's Day and someone else just said it. I'm like, I don't even know what it is. Is it this weekend? I'm not even following it. I don't know holidays. I don't know when St. Patrick's Day is. Give me money. It's the, oh, it's two days. It's on Sunday? Oh, I didn't even know. I yeah, didn't, I, March 17th is always St. Patrick's Day. It's always going to be on the 17th. I didn't even know that Sunday uh, was St. Patrick's Day. There you go. Huh. No idea. What was my first car ever? The first car that I ever drove was my parents' 1991-92 Ford Taurus. I didn't technically own it, but that was the first car I was driving. And then the next car I drove... Then you didn't own it. ...was a Ford Escort. And then the next car I drove was my Grand Am. That, I guess that, that was technically the first car I owned. So I'm glad I talked that out because I'm trying to remember what I drove. For I love how he's talking about all the other cars that he's driven. And he's like, oh, I didn't own those. Then you didn't own it, Phil. Talk about the car you actually fucking owned. What I owned? The first car I ever owned was like a 2001-2003 Pontiac Grand Am. That was my first car that I ever owned and was in my name. Yep, tomorrow is St. Patty's Day. There you go. It's a holiday he can monetize. It's not a holiday he can monetize like Thanksgiving or Halloween. Oh, yeah. And also, President's Day, whenever it's like, I need my YouTube check. Or Memorial Day, one of the days. And that was a nice car. Although, I got ripped yeah. off because it was a... Yeah, Escort? Because I mean, it had been an accident. And when I bought it used, they hadn't disclosed it, which they legally had to do, and they lied and said it hadn't been. And then a couple years into it, I had all kinds of problems. And I brought it into the shop, and they're like, yeah, so your car, you can definitely see it's been in an accident. You can see the damage here that it was repaired. And so, you know, what's happening is some of that stuff's undoing, and now you're having problems with the transmission and other things. But uh, Phil, they would have told you if it was in an accident, Phil. They would have told you that automatically. All right? I think the reason you didn't even listen to them at all, you're just thinking, oh, sweet, I can get a car to get some pussy with, and then all of a sudden, no. You know, basically double paying for the car. I bought it, and then over repairs over the years, I repaid for it again because I got ripped off. But that's life in America. No, that has nothing to do with life in America. That's just you being a sucker. <laughs> All right, Mortal Wombat, have a good night. Thanks for the Mortal Kombat question. Yeah, they didn't have Carfax or anything like that back then. That's true. It didn't exist when I bought it in the early 2000s. Yeah, there was nothing. You just had to rely on people doing the right thing, which they frequently didn't do. Yeah, I'm not really interested in Contra right now. Maybe maybe people want to see it, but no one's even brought it up besides you and... Uh, Right now, I think I gotta get through what I'm doing. Have a good night, Sai. All right, we're wrapping up. Last chance if anyone has any questions or things you'd like to talk about. Now would be the time to bring them up, and then I will adjourn for the night and get ready for RPG Mania this week. Yep, totally agree there, Vietnamese comrade. He says he was watching my react show from later last week about there's lack of innovation in modern games, and keep should be more. And most games have zero innovation now. Like they don't even try to make something different or new. They just copy things from other people and tape it together and say, "Oh, that's my game." No, it's not. That's this game, this game, and this game that you stole from. You taped it together. It's not a new game. <laughs> uh, Phil, there are some times, uh, some instances, where if a game has elements of another game, they're not stealing it from another game. In some cases, Pal World, that could be one of those where they're like, oh, they stole from Pokemon. But there are games out there, indie games out there, where they take elements from like Zelda, Kirby, Mario, anything of that sort from other games, and they're making it their own style with it. But I don't think Phil understands what uh, inspiration, tributes, or influences really mean. Ah. <laughs> but that's what people think it is today. It's crazy. Here we go again. Connor says, will you play Luigi? But also, this is coming from the same guy that believed that switching between Saga and Alan Wake and Alan Wake 2 was innovative. Luigi's Mansion 2 or Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Luigi's Mansion 2 I'd be interested in. I don't know exactly when it comes out. Uh, but It comes out in June. But I, like I believe June 27th. We just mentioned three a lot. Uh, uh, the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, you guys have asked me about for years. Would I ever play it? I said, maybe if it's made available. Well, now it's being remade and made available on Switch. And now here we are, RPG Overload. So I don't know. I don't know if now's the right time. Maybe because it's an older game, now's not the right time. And we go at a time when there's not any RPGs going on and we play it casually then. We'll have to see. And if he does play uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, I will be reacting Phil, to it. You make me angry, Phil. You, uh, Slayer, I got your email. I have not read it yet. No, I'm, ba I'm backed up on a lot of stuff. So I have not seen your email yet. Sorry about that. Shut the fuck up! Thank you, Jaha. Yeah, Orange says, designed by committees, killing multiple entertainment industries. 
When you have a boardroom full of people who each are saying this must have this and must have this and must have this. And the problem is none of those people are, compa are creative. They're just people here to print money for shareholders. And then after all that shit is settled and they say, oh, now go make a game with that. It's like, how the fuck do you know about any of this, Phil? How the fuck do you know? Oh, right. Business degree. You think you know everything, but fuck what you think you know. How do you expect that anyone's going to make, you know, a good game? I mean, that's exactly the case of Anthem, right? The game that literally Bioware didn't want to make explained to the parent company, we are good at making epic RPGs with interesting stories and immersive worlds. And they said, forget all that. Our committee says, we need to make this kind of game that's similar to Destiny. Go make How the fuck do you know that has anything to do with a committee? You're a fucking idiot here. So they did. And that was the end of that, right? That was the end of that. Okay. I might be a little bit late to the party when it comes to his birthday marathon. I might be a little bit late to that party. All right, guys. I do feel like, <laughs> considering the last question that just hit the chat is, do you think Elmo could defeat Mike Tyson in a fight? I think that's enough. I think we've had enough for tonight. I think that's when you know you've hit your limit of Q&A. Why and, don't you answer the question? And chill session. So what I'll say is thank you to everyone. Do we have a fail stream? <laughs> I wish. Here live, you were great. But in the end, Phil is always the failure. Audience, to everyone who supported the stream tonight, thank you. I really appreciate your support tonight. Uh, it will help a lot. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this, the, the time together. And now we head firmly into RPG Overload Overdrive Mania to finish up two games so that we can play new ones starting Friday and then moving forward even further. So uh, thank you for hanging out. And again, thank thanks you. a lot, everyone supporting. If you watch this on demand, I hope you enjoyed it too. Hope you enjoyed some of the answers. and had to I am not. All the answers were just stupid, Phil. Time with me. And I wish you all the best. Have a good night. And I'll see you in the morning for my daily routine. Morning? Because I'm triggered. <laughs> no good stuff. All right, guys. Peace out. Thanks a lot. Okay. I stopped recording, and now we're going to adjourn everyone. Again, I, I mean it. Thanks. That was a great chill session. I had a good time. It was not a chill session at all, Phil. Shut up. And uh, I'm going to wrap yeah, it up. Yeah, Phil believes that he can, still, he can beat Mike Tyson. Even though Mike Tyson is an old-ass man, he still has the agility of what he had in his prime. So for the night, tomorrow, Level 1 podcast in the morning, followed by Baldur's Gate 3 progress. We're going to finish the House of Hope, and maybe move into the next plot line. I'm being recommended that we go and do the Orin quest with the ball followers. <laughs> we can free Lazelle, then we can do her quest and keep... Yeah, there's just a bunch of bullshit coming from Phil. That's why I sneezed. Moving forward, so maybe we'll do that. Um. And then tomorrow night, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, continuing on in Chapter 10, trying to push the story. So, uh, good stuff. I hope you all will join me in the morning. For all of that, thank you all. Have a good night. Peace out. See you later. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. Toodles. Be safe. Have fun. Have a good one. Good night. Yeah, it's time to adjourn. I need to sleep. <laughs> because I've been streaming for about... Well, night. it's close to nine hours. But honestly, I actually wanted to do this... Just because there's a lot of shit to cover. I wanted to make this into a stream anyway. But I know who I'm going to send y'all over to. Even though he has a lot. Let's give him more. Give him more support. Proven that I spent money on? How would that even be proven? Yeah, give the, it to the bookkeeper. Give it to Inked. Tell him that you are triggered about the sandwiches. Toodles is sus. I agree. Tata Toodles is sus. But I will send y'all over to Atlas. Everyone have a good rest of y'all's day. Rest of y'all's night. Keep it real, beautiful people. Okay, Jaha, I'll leave. I'll shut up. I'm sorry. I love y'all. Bye. Fuck. Ah. Jaha, don't beat me up. I'm alcoholic. Ah. I think pizza should just be pizza. I don't know how to defend myself. Pizza flavor.